This is the ball shot. Let's go, cat dog. Clutch, this Brady. Uh, Brady, how you doing, man? My name, my name is Dennis, man. I got a haircut from you a couple weeks ago. Yeah, what's up, Dennis? What can I do for you, brother? Hey, listen, um, I, I wanted to get an appointment with you, man. Uh, like I said, I was there a couple weeks ago, man. My first time getting a haircut from you. Did real, real good job. So I want to say thank you for that. No, not a problem. Not a problem. Okay. Do Do you have any um in, in, any time uh, available on Thursday? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, you come up there Thursday. That'd be fine. What's 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 your name again, bro? Uh, Dennis, man. Dennis. Okay, Dennis. Well, I, I can get you in, Dennis, about about three o'clock, man. Something of that nature. I mean, you know, I know I'm work off appointments, you know. Come okay. About three. three o'clock, you'll be there. Yeah, yeah, I'll be there right through. Okay. okay. Hey, hey, I, I, I got a little bit of situation though, man. That happened last time I was there. I kind of wanted to talk to you about it, man, because it, it kind of caught me off guard. So I, I, I wanted to holler at you, man, and, and see if we could rectify the problem before I came back up there. What, what happened? Was somebody disrespect you or something? I mean, what, what was the deal? Well, well um, it, it really wasn't somebody, man. It, it was it was, it was, it was actually you. Me? Well, I mean, what's the, what happened? Well, here's the deal, man. When you was cutting my hair, when it when it was time to turn the, the, the chair, you, you didn't turn the chair... With, with 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 your hand, man. See, Brady, man, you you turned the chair with your with your private part. Oh, come on, bro. Say, Dennis. I mean, Dennis. I'm a professional, man. I've been doing this 15 years, bro. Right, right. I don't think it's anything uh, deliberate, man. I think you just do it unconsciously, man. Cause you know you be leaning over on the chair cutting, and I think you don't realize, you know, you be turning the chair with your private part instead of doing it with your hand, man. And see, my hand got caught out there, and, and I saw it out the corner of my eyes. I saw your private part coming towards my hand. I moved it just in time. You understand? No, bro. Now, now, now see, Dennis, I'm, I'm not understanding something, bro, because I don't, I don't, we don't operate like that around here, because, you know, I, I don't make mistakes like that, bro. I mean, you know, I don't know. You, you sure you're talking to the right person, man? Yeah, I mean, ain't you the third chair on the right when you walk in the door? Yeah, that, that is correct. Okay, that's what I'm talking about, man. And you cut me two weeks ago, and like I said, I really like my haircut, so I wanted to call back and rectify this problem. But, you know, you're going to have to turn the chair with your hand and not your private part. If not, we're going to have a problem. Okay, bro. I, I, I feel you, and I understand your, your complaint and everything. I mean, I, I'm not understanding what you're saying, but... But I don't do that, you know. But I mean, we we we'll be glad to, you know. what I'm saying, give you another cut or whatever. You understand, me? And, you know. But but I don't move nobody, you know, around with my private man. You know, that's just not me. You know? Okay, I understand what you're saying, but I want you to hear what I'm saying. If you put your private on there at all, when I come in there Thursday, then I promise you I'm gonna jump up and we're gonna have a problem. Well, 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 well see now, 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 right there. Dennis, I, I'm not, I'm not feeling that jump up having a problem because you know you, you don't really know me like that, bro. You know, what I mean, I'm, I'm trying to be professional here and, and solve your little issues that you got. You understand me? But, but all this jumping up and, and stuff you talking about doing, I, I don't know hey, about man. all that stuff. I'm trying to come in and get a nice haircut and walk out with a nice haircut. What I don't want to do what? is come down there. You lean over, put your private part where I got my arms and my hands at, and I got whoop your. Now that's what hey, I don't. See, 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 careful now, now. You, you starting to, you're touching me wrong. Talking about you talking about I'm okay. touching you wrong. You touched me wrong two weeks ago when you put your private on my hand, man. Thank you, folks. I ain't nobody touch you like that. Tell you feel me? Say what? I don't know who the hell you think you're talking to, man. You know we don't ride right over here. Hey, dog, all I'm trying to say is a brother trying to come in and get his hair cut and walk out feeling like a man. And not walk out feeling violated, man, because you didn't turn the chair with your private part all up against my hand and my elbow and stuff, man. Hey, hey, hold up, hold up, boy. You know what I'm saying? I don't remember you like that. I'm a grown and say, bro. You know, I, I, I tried to talk to you. Do you feel me? But now you don't rub me wrong. Ain't no crying here. You understand me? But ain't no flying there. Then keep it off my hand, then. Say, 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 hold, hold up. Let me tell you something. Say, man, we don't play that over here. You bring your stupid over here. I'm going to tell you right now, you get packed up like this. You understand me? Hey, hey look, look quicker. We don't play no punk over here. This is this ain't a salon, a it's a barber shop. It's real over here. You hear me? You hear me? I hear what you're saying, but let me explain something. You quit using your hips and your private section like a pinball machine. I'm going to tell you right now, boy, I will put something on your. You come up with that. You understand me? I don't play that. Hey, dude, I'm just trying to come and get a haircut. I'm, 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 I'm I'm trying to get a haircut and walk out of there like a man, feeling like a man. My bitch, I open you up. I'm gonna open you up, boy. You must think you out oh, here now. Now, get fuck. Watch out. No, that. No, come on, you don't. Guarantee I do something to your eyes.
What you want to be? This ain't no salon. This is a barber shop. Cooks, my You understand me? Honest. Hold what? I ain't got no time for that. Okay, okay. I'm gonna put my real name on my shirt then. You, you wanna know what my real name is? That's what's up. Do, That's what's up, baby. Okay, then you might want you want you wanna know what name gonna be on the shirt? I wanna know what gonna be on the shirt. All right then, the name on the shirt is Nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. <laughs> Hey, I got one more thing to ask you, man. What is, what is the baddest, and I mean the baddest, radio show in the land? Man, it's the Harvey Morning Show, man. Man, <laughs> 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 your wife sent me pictures. Let's go, cat dog. Yo. May I speak to Trevor? Yeah, this Trevor. Hey, man, you been sending pictures of, uh, of your damn stomach to my wife's phone? Say what? Hey man, have your been sending pictures of your muscles on your stomach to my wife's phone? Man, who the hell is this calling me with this? This fish right here. This who? This Fisher, man. My name is Fisher, but they call me Fish. What I want to know from you, have your been sending pictures of your stomach to my wife's phone? Man, I don't know what the hell you talking about, Playboy. Don't call me with this. Am I sending pictures? And if I am sending pictures, ain't none of your business. It is my business. That's my wife. And you there send this. No phone. Got, oh. What the hell you doing? You must ain't got. You must ain't ripped up like me or something. You worried about a sending pictures to it of his stomach? Hey man, get you some business. Don't call my phone to some. I got some business. My business is my wife, man. And if you send, it, let me tell you something. Tell me something. I'm finna tell you right now. When I, when I find you, if the same muscles that's on her phone is 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 is, is up underneath your shirt, I'm whooping your. Hey, man, no. I ain't hard to find, Playboy. You can find me. And if I am sending pictures to your wife, she must like it, Playboy. Hey, man, hey, let me tell you. No, you're being disrespectful is what you're doing. You understand? You being, you're being a little, you being a little <laughs> calling me on the phone with this. <laughs> you better check somebody else about this here before I had your wife rubbing on my stomach. Hey, man, who you? Hey, see, who you calling a, <laughs> man? Who you think you? you a <laughs> hey, hey, who you think you talk? Let me tell you I'm something. Okay, tell me. That time my phone about a picture. That's who hey, I'm talking to. Because I know, them, them, if I find out them, your muscles hey, on babe, my what? What? Obviously, you found my phone number, so I guess you can find me, homeboy. Hey, you, how about this here? Where are you? Let's get I'm, this I'm, cracking. I'm where, hey, ask your wife where I'm at. Where she at? Yeah. My wife is at work right now. Yeah, if you, th you think so? What? How you think she got them pictures, homeboy? Hey, man, I tell yeah. you what. When I find when I find you, you look disrespectful. Ask your, ask your wife where I'm at. Yeah, that's what you do, Playboy. You calling me with this old oh, insecure. You must not be ripped up like me. Hey man, hey hey hey, I I got I got muscles on my stomach. I got. I'm headed to the gym right now to get these get this stomach right for your wife. Huh? Hey man, let yeah. me tell you something, man. Yeah. That's all right. Yeah. That's all right. Hey, how about this here? I know who your wife feels. Nah. That's all right. I know who she is, too. Okay. Well, I, I, that's all right. And I'll be calling her. I'm calling her, letting her know what's going on. Check this out. She like my stomach, too. Yeah. 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 You like that, don't you? No, no. She I like tell you what. Too. I tell just you like what. She going to like it when I get to her. Because I'm going to let your wife know what's going on around here. Say, man, you don't know nothing about my wife. Me, my wife, and your wife might be rubbing together, homeboy. You don't know nothing about my business. Hey, man, you ain't finna be disrespectful to me, man. I done told you once. Oh, see me. Come see me, homeboy. I will see. I already asked you once, where are you? I'm going to raise up my shirt so you can see this ripped up six pack that your wife's like. Yeah. Huh? Okay. Okay. It's just a matter of time, then. Don't it's... call my phone with this You better go check your wife and don't be calling a grown man. Okay. Yeah. Well, I tell you what, I'm going to call Ayana. That's that's who I'm going to call. Ayana, baby. Say what? Yeah, yeah, ho oh, ho, then slowed you down. Now, yeah, I'm calling your wife. Well, call her then. 
We can get her on the freeway. And then I'm gonna to... and then I'll call your wife and get her on my way. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I'm, 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 I'm going to tell you this here right now. Tell what me, I need is to know. Tell me whatever you want to tell me, Playboy. I'm telling you right now, punk, where you at? I'm, I'm at <laughs> Boulevard, homeboy. That's where I'm at. Now, you got my wife's name. I, I, I want to know your name. They call you fish or chicken or whatever the <laughs> they call you. You can meet me wherever you want to, homeboy, and we can settle it. Ain't no big <laughs> deal to me. I deal with punk chunks like you every day. Okay, yeah. okay, yeah. not a problem. Not a problem. <laughs> I'll be right... How long you gonna be there? I'm gonna be there till your punk get here. I, okay, I, you look here. I want you to take my na my name down so you'll know who you waiting on. You got I you. Heard what, uh, you said your name was Chicken or some like that. Do you have a pen? I don't need no pen, punk. Okay, you do. Do you want to know who this is? Uh, you gonna show me who you was, homeboy? Well, now, I, finna me, me. I, I, I ain't told you my full name, chump. I don't need to know your name. You got my number. Calling me was a about a tattoo or. Stomach or something. It's muscles. It's, it's muscles of your stomach on my wife's okay, phone. Did, what, did you look at the other pictures? How many sit-ups do you be doing? Did, did, you, did you look at the other pictures? What other? Well, okay. Hey, yeah. hey man. Hey, man. Yeah. I'm not finna be playing with you yeah. about oh, my I wife. Ain't play, I, I ain't playing with you. I'm playing with your wife. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I'm finna okay. tell you something I'm, about I'm your saying, wife. Okay. I'm finna tell you something about your wife that you don't know. If I don't know it, don't nobody else know it. Oh, I know it. I me and her know it. I, I just got off the phone with her. You want to know? You want me to tell you what your wife told me? Whatever, man. Say what you got to say. So I can get off the phone. I'm going to say this right here. I'm going to say this, punk. This is Nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Your wife, Ayana, got me to prank phone call. Yo, ignorant, <laughs> man. How stupid are you? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> This nephew Tommy, man, from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Your wife got me to prank phone call you, dude. You, Boy, damn, you, you are more ignorant than me. Boy, that hell for that. Ooh, Lord. <laughs> Boy, wait till I see this. Ooh, wee. Tommy, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Boy, I got those. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> hey, Trevor, I got to ask you this, man. Give me, get, answer this question for me. What is? What is the baddest, and I mean the baddest, radio show in the land? The only one with nephew Tommy on it, I imagine. <laughs> 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 Y'all cold, boy. I tell you that. Oh, man. All right, Trev, man. You be easy, man. Go light on Ayana, all right? I'm going to show Will tell Steve Harvey. I say, what's <laughs> up? <laughs> <laughs> So the okay. prank is six yeah, to ten. Six to ten. That is the prank. Let's go, cat dog. Hello. Hello. I was trying to speak to Latrenda, please. This is Latrenda. Who is hey, this? Uh, hey, you work at the sandwich shop? Yes, I do. Who is this? Okay, was you there? Did you work last Wednesday, like from six to, I guess six to close? Yeah, I work every Wednesday. Yeah. Who Who is this? Hey, my name is Ralph, uh, and I I, I basically um. Uh, uh, you know, looked around to try and get your phone number. I got a bit of a complaint. Right. Wait, 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 wait. You calling me with a complaint on my cell phone? Who gave you my number? Uh, I've done the research to get your number, ma'am. And what I'm calling you about is while I was in there getting a sandwich and eating, I'm realizing that you came out of the bathroom without washing your hands. And well, when she First of all, you need to be calling the corporate headquarters if you got a complaint. Or you call that 800 number on the back of your receipt. Don't be calling my cell phone. Whoever gave you gave you my cell phone, I'm a whoop they. Hey, listen, listen. The problem is, is that you coming out not washing your hands. No, no. The problem. I don't never come out and not wash my hands. First of all, you I've been working. At, I've been working there for three years. Okay. Don't be coming to me with no bull that I hadn't came out and not washed my hands. I guess you ain't been washing your hands for no three years, and you 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 coming out, you know, unsanitizing this way you treating people. Hold on, hold on. Don't first of all, don't be calling my. Phone talking about I I ain't wash my hands. Like I said, I've been there three years. I've been employee of the month six times. Don't be coming to me with none of this bull. I don't know like, how don't you employee of the month. You must be the nasty employee of the month because you coming out. You're not washing your hands. I saw you scratch who your the, head who and the hell your is face, this? and you who ain't putting no gloves on. Who is? I always put gloves on my hands. Oh, you ain't got no gloves on there last week. I don't know who the hell you think you are, but don't be calling my phone with this. 
You need to be calling headquarters if you got a complaint. I tell you what, I'm going to call headquarters. I'm coming there tomorrow to see if you're going to be up in there with some gloves on or you're going to come out there out of the bathroom again with the same thing. Come on up there. I'm going to be there from 6 to close. 6 to close. And I bet you if you come up there tomorrow, I'm going to make a sandwich out your You're going to do what? I'm going to make a sandwich out your who you think you talking to? Yo, you said your name was Ralph, right? Don't be calling my phone with this b Hey, let me tell you something. All I'm saying to you is this right here. If I come up in there tomorrow and find out you ain't got them gloves on, you gonna mess around and get whooped. Oh, uh, you gonna whoop my You gonna whoop 6 to 10 I'm gonna be up there from 6 to 10 and I ain't gonna call nobody. I ain't calling my brothers, my cousins, my uncles, or nothing. I'm gonna whoop your by myself. Excuse me, you gonna, you, 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 you finna try to take on a man? I'm gonna whoop your by myself. That's what I said. You need to get your little nasty behind in the bathroom and wash your hands six and keep and put, a, or put one of them nets ten. on your head six so you don't become up there some people food like that. Bring your phone up there, 6 to 10, you know where I work, 6 to 10, and I'm going to whoop your Who do you think you're talking to? I don't even know who the you are, but I'm going to know your tomorrow. I'm going to know you tomorrow. Bring your on up there, 6 to 10, and I'm going to whoop your I'm coming up there tomorrow. Come on. Come I'm on. coming up there tomorrow. Matter of fact, I'm going to show you how to be sanitized. I'm going to be with some gloves on. Do you hear me? you going to be my, and you steady talking about whooping my That's cool. Bring your up there, and we're going to see who's going to get that whoop. What kind of man is you anyways to be talking about fighting a woman? You a and you a What? What you call me? A B. T H. I'm coming up there to see you tomorrow. Is you go, is you gonna be ready when I get up there? What kind of you anyway? Gonna call up here talking about you gonna fight female over some hand wash. Bring your and I'm gonna show you what it is. Six to ten. I'm gonna be here. At six. Matter of fact, I'm gonna be there at five forty-five. Bring your up here before I clock in, and I'm gonna whoop your. Who you think you talking to? See, I don't give a. You gonna talk to bring up here tomorrow, six to ten. You gonna see, you gonna see what's up. I got one more thing to say to you before I come up there tomorrow. I don't give a f you got to say. I don't care. I'm gonna whoop your f say that. I got, I got one more thing I need what? to say. What Listen to me. To say? What? Are you listening? What? What? This is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Who you? You say who? <laughs> this is who? <laughs> Hey, this is Nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Man. You just got pranked by your co-worker. Man, you man. See, man, y'all got me, man. <laughs> That's all right. 6 to 10 tomorrow, I got something for her. She going to have to watch her back every hour. <laughs> every hour on the hour, I got something for her. I ain't going to hurt her, but I, I'm definitely going to do her in tomorrow. Believe that. Was you ready, though? I was, hell yeah. I was going to whoop the <laughs> man. You don't even know what you had in store for you. You was going to have to have your uncle come pull me off, and that probably wouldn't have been enough either. <laughs> hey, I got one more thing to ask you, baby girl. What What's is up? what is the baddest radio station in the land? You already know, the Steve Harvey Morning Show. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Make a wish ministry. New Baptist, this is Terrence. May I help you, please? Brother Terrence? Yeah. Uh, how you doing? I, I got your uh, your number. You you with the uh, over the church? You with the Make a Wish Ministry? Yes, I am. I may help you. Well, listen, I'm 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 actually uh, I'm 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 terminally ill, brother brother Terrence, and uh, I I don't you know as far as what the doctors tell me, it it, it could be six months or, or, or another year, but I know uh, my time here is is, is definitely limited, you know. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, but we're definitely here to help you out with whatever you need or whatever we can help you with. So what can we do for you? Well, you know, I, I, I truly believe that sometimes people have, you know, I've seen one of them old movies they got where they got a bucket list or whatever they call it, you know, with people trying to do things before they leave here. I, I guess I'm just sitting around trying to figure out what I could do and what I wanted to do before I, I, I left this world and went on. To what he has for me next, I, you know, I, I don't believe in, in doing anything unless uh, it's prayed on first. Oh yeah. Uh, if, if, if you don't mind, maybe you can 
uh, you know, before I even tell you my wish, we we pray that the wish will come true. You 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 you, you, you mind doing anything like that? Oh no, I don't mind praying. That's what we're here for. Uh, bow your head with me. Yes 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 sir. Is your head bowed? Yes sir yes sir it is. Father God, we come to you in the humblest way we know how. Yeah. Lord, we ask you to touch this young man in every which way he hurt. And then we ask you to deliver him for whatever is going on with him. And let him know that we, the church, is here to help him with whatever his needs is in his last days. In Jesus' name I pray. Say amen with me. Amen. 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 That's going to do it. He's amen. Do it. Amen. Now, you a member of the church here of New Well, I, 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 I was a member. I, I still consider myself a member. It's just been quite some time, probably over a year and a half, two years since I've been able to come, you know, due to my, my illness. But uh, uh, definitely I was a member there. Well, that's all right. We're not worried about all that. We're just here to take care of your last and final wish. That's what our ministry is for. You no. know, we help people with 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 anything they they need. You know, like uh, what 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 all? I mean, when when people call and want things, what all of you you all what all of y'all help them with? Well, we've uh, helped them with their rent. Uh, take them to the store. Uh, help them with a utility bill, come out and cut the grass, anything like that that they just can't do. Take them to the doctor's appointment, anything we'd like to help them with, we do exactly that. Okay, well, I, 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 I pretty much got those things taken care of. I, I think what I'd like to do between you and, and, and myself, Brother Dan, and I've never told anyone the, the, what I'm about to tell you, uh, I, I've, I've never been with a, with a, with a woman before. Huh? I, 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 I'm, you know, I'm 38, but I've never been with a woman. Well, uh, I, I guess that might be a blessing. You might, you might be pure. That's a good thing. Well, you know, but sometimes, you know, I, I guess before I leave, I, I guess that's a desire that I have. And 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 uh, what I wanted to ask you was, there is a lady there at the church. Uh huh. And before I leave, I, I, I think that's the woman that I would actually like to, 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 to be with. Well, I don't know if Make-A-Wish Ministry can uh, support that kind of stuff, but uh, go ahead, let me hear. Okay, the, the, the lady that I'm, I'm actually interested in, actually, uh, I, I, she works at the church, too. Oh, really? Well, now, she, she's kind of a tall one. She's about 5'9", mm -hmm. and she's probably about a size 8, uh, beautiful long legs, man, and, 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 and sandy type of hair, sandy color, sandy brown. Man, and I mean she look like caramel. Hold on a minute. What? What's her name? Uh, I think her name Linda. Now, hold on. That's my wife. What you mean? Go ahead, say wait, it. Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. wait. Linda's your wife? Yeah, that's my wife. You sorry. Okay. What do you mean? What, what, Talk. What, listen, y'all are a ministry. Now, now, if y'all supposed to be taking care of people on make a wish and and taking care of what they want before they leave this world, if that's my wish, what is the problem? Listen here, you didn't cross every line there was about this man, so I don't give a damn about it no more. You talking about sleeping with my wife? If I see you, I'ma do something to you. They ain't gonna even be able to recognize you. So what the f you talking about messing with my wife, son of a? I'll call Miss Linda myself and see if she don't have a problem with helping me make my wish come true. Go right I'll do ahead that. and call, and you won't call no nobody else. That'll be the last call you make. I thought y'all were here to relieve people so they can enjoy themselves before they leave this world. You talking about sleeping with my wife? Are you crazy? But, but if I'm finna leave here, ain't nobody gonna know but you and her. I don't care if you die. I don't care. You ain't sleeping with my wife, and you fool with her. You probably going to go ahead and die quicker than you need to. I thought this was a ministry. I don't care now you, what now you Now you over there telling me about dying. Y'all supposed to be a ministry that helps people before they leave this world. I don't care what it is, but you talking about sleeping with my wife. You got an illness, but something must be wrong with your brain talking about messing with my wife. Ain't nobody going to even know I've been with your wife once I'm gone. It ain't going to be but the two of y'all. At least you would have helped me before I left No, it. I can't help you with nothing. And let me tell you something. I'm not the preacher. I'm not the pastor. I'm not the deacon. I'm not none of them. But if you mess with my wife, you're going to know who I am. I'm going to be the undertaker. Do you understand? I hear what you're saying, but I got one more thing I need to tell you about who I am. You ask it, you ignorant.
Doctor, go ahead. He let me in. This is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Your wife, Linda, y'all need to pray. God. No, y'all ain't. Y'all need to pray me, man. about you. <laughs> you wrong for that. Y'all ain't recording this, is you? Man, it's recorded every last bit of <laughs> Lord have mercy. Pastor ain't going to hear this, is <laughs> Oh, God. I got one more thing to ask Lord. you, man. <laughs> what is the baddest, and I mean the baddest, Ooh. radio show in the land? Steve Harvey Morning Show. Come on, church. Man, he you, hopes man. you die. Come on here, church. Man, he don't on. give a damn if you die. Make that with him. If you mess with my wife, you're going to you gonna die sooner than you have to. Man. You got one more time to call. Let's go, cat. Hello? Hello. I'm trying to reach uh, Brielle, please. Uh, this is she, Master speaking. This is Lawrence from The Job. How you doing today? Oh, I'm good. How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Listen, we got a situation at The Job. Uh, I know it's a little late this evening. Uh -huh. um, and uh, what time do you normally come in uh, in the mornings? I'm coming around 8, 8.30. Okay. Going on. So uh, are, you, are you all right health-wise? How are you feeling? Um, I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> like, I mean, I got a little well, cold, so I've been a little under the weather, but... Yeah. Okay, so so let me let me let me go ahead and, and tell you this. My name is Lawrence. All right, I work on a, a different floor from you, but uh -huh. I wanted to give you a call. You, uh, it's been brought to my attention. A lot of people are are a little um, edgy right now, you know. But um, edgy. yeah, the, because of, of the the you're you you're in a cubicle. That most of the the people around your cubicle are starting to be a little worried because they're saying that you know you're you're coughing a lot, and and coughing. you know. Yeah, so I mean, let I me ask you something. Do you, right? Okay. Do you think that you need to maybe be tested? Tested for what? I know you ain't talking about this damn uh uh what's it called coronavirus. Do you, you do you do you do you think you need to be tested? Do I think I, I think you need? No, excuse me. Wait, let me hold on. Listen, I know the world's in a frenzy, but everybody don't got no damn coronavirus. Okay, I have a cold. I'm a little stuffy, but nonetheless, like, I'm taking care of food so, and taking care of myself. I don't need to be tested for anything. Okay, so <laughs> do you do you think it's possible maybe you need to be self-quarantined and, and, and Lauren, find out? Lawrence, 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 honey, I think you are stepping on toes right now, okay? Um, I, that, that's very inappropriate. I don't know who put you up to this, but nonetheless, I think y'all really stepping on toes. This, this has got to be like HIPAA or something. Like, what the f*** is this? Okay, like, okay, I don't okay, have me, no me, damn okay. coronavirus. So let me just say this to you. We, I, I've talked to everybody on that floor that you work on, all right? I've talked, I've talked to Darlene, all right? I've talked to, what's the other girl? Her name is Loretta, I think. Loretta. I've, I've spoken with Loretta. Uh, Loretta? Loretta okay, just, just say no mess like that. What, what, what are you th Okay, so here, here, let, me, let, me, let, 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 let me say this. You got one more cough, and they're and they going to put you out of the building. One more you got. Cough. Listen, okay, Lawrence. That's her name, right? My name is Lawrence. I'm on the eighth you, floor. You yes. Work at, you, okay, you on the eighth floor, so you're not even in, in HR to even be coming at me like this. First but all, but but I but you know what? We try. I went to the we doctors. I don't know where, where y'all get off coming at me like that. Okay, I do not get paid enough for nobody to be testing me by my personal business. Okay, y'all really y'all me twisted. I went with this job. Y'all got me all the way up. Okay. 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 Let me let me go and say this here. You act like this your personal business. It's our business when you start coughing all over the building and we go in the country going through what is going through right now, what the world is going through. So you got to understand what that the we. What the world is going through. I don't give a damn what the world is going through. I'm going through my own. Sh okay. All right. I got two kids. I work very hard. I'm a single mother and I'm up here doing the best I can. I got a call and I still bring my ass to work every day and I be on time. So for anybody to be coming at me like that, that is disrespectful. Okay? I put in 10 years at this job and I don't give a damn. Y'all got me messed up. Now I need to speak to your higher up. Who is your boss? I, hey, listen, I, I'm going to say I'm gonna say it one more time. You got one more cough and your ass is out this bitch. That's it. You Ain't nobody been to get... time to talk to me like that and I'm going to drop through this mother phone and choke your ass.
looking for work. I do not call her. And other people be, you know, doing, taking a long smoke breaks and shit. And I do what I do. I, <clears throat> Listen, I, I, uh, I, I uh, 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 see, there it is right there. That's it right there. Did you, did you just cough again? Did you just cough? Listen, I, I'm Brielle, okay, did you just, cough. did you just cough? Yes, I just called. I told you I got a cold. I don't got no damn coronavirus. You know what? I ain't about to argue with you. Where's your boss? Who's your boss? Who's your mother boss? I were, I, uh, Tommy is, is, is my higher up. Tommy? Yeah, Tommy is Tommy is the person that's over me. What? What's Tommy? I don't know no Tommy. <laughs> Do you know nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show? Huh? Darlene and Loretta got me to prank phone <laughs> call you. <laughs> Listen, 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 Brielle, Brielle. Darlene oh and Darlene and Loretta got me to prank phone call you. Your girls oh is in the God. cubicles with you. Got me oh to prank God. phone call you. Oh, I'm gonna kill them. Oh my <laughs> God. Oh my God. I'm so embarrassed. They told me they say mess with her about her cold. I was like, all right, come on, give oh it to God. me. I got it. Wait, so you guys got this on your show? Mrs. It's, Mr. It's, Harvey? It's, like y'all gonna Oh my God! Uh, why would y'all play with me like that? Oh my uh, God! I'm over here fighting this cold, trying to pay my bills, struggling, single mom. Like, oh my God! I can't believe y'all got me like this on the radio. Well, I got you, baby girl. Tell me this: what's the baddest, and I mean the baddest, radio show in the land? What is it? The Steve Harvey Morning Show. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello, I'm trying to reach uh, Trina, please. Yeah, this is Trina. Hey, uh, Trina, my name is uh, Ernest Ernest Murphy down here at the bus barn with the uh, from the school district. Your son is is Devin, am I right? Uh, yeah. Okay. Now he's in the is sixth it... grade. I think. I Wait, think is everything tried... okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything is fine. I think he's on. He rides bus ninety, bus ninety three. Does he ride bus ninety three? Are you familiar yeah. with the bus number? Uh, yeah, I yeah, he does. Okay, so now the school board has implemented a new rule, and um, we're we're having to call uh, a lot of parents and let them know about the new rule okay. uh, for as far as the buses are concerned. Now, from my understanding. Each child that gets on the bus has to weigh less than 125 pounds. That's what the new rule that is imp implemented by the wait, school board. Wait, so, what did you just, uh, wait, wait, can you say that again? I feel like uh, I just missed something. Each, each child that gets on the bus has to weigh less than 125 pounds. I don't understand. I don't understand. Can, can, so wait, what's okay, so what, is, what does that mean? So starting on Monday, starting on Monday, what they're gonna do is they're gonna the the bus driver will have a scale and he will weigh the kids what? before they get on on the bus. What? I I I understand, man. Then, but like I say, I'm calling I'm calling every parent wait, that they wait. What the, the you said they, you're gonna you're gonna weigh my child before he gets on the bus? That's that's I, what the new rule. That's what the new rule. Is. If he's it, over one twenty five, then he wait, he'll either have to walk wait, or you'll have to take him to school. Wait, you, no, wait, Liz, I have a job, okay? I have a job. I'm not going to take my kid to school. That doesn't. I don't. I, that's what the bus is for. That's what I, my tax dollars pay for. But what right. is, but, but what's me, the reasoning, me, the rationale behind this? Okay, let me tell you what's going on. From what they're saying uh, okay. is that the the weight of these children is wearing down these transmissions on this bus, on these buses. Is, the transmission, the transmission that cannot take all of that. So. Yeah. They are limiting the weight of each child. So now, how much does that? I think over, that's discrimination. Huh? I think that's discrimination. But is, that, is your son to, over? Is he over 125 pounds? He okay. He is. Okay. He's a, he's then, a tall then, kid. Then, then you gonna, you're probably gonna have to take your son to school, or he gonna have to walk. No, he, I, probably, he probably need to walk to school if he already 125 pounds. That is 
food. <laughs> what the absolute <laughs> are you talking about? Like, uh, all, uh, ma'am, all I'm saying, all I'm saying is, if your son is overweight, uh, 125, you know, maybe the exercise are doing good. But like I say, the, the school board yeah, is not going to allow him on the bus. But, sir, I I will not accept this. I mean, who do I need to call? Is there a manager? Is there a city council member? I mean, this is seriously the most f-ed up discriminatory practice I've ever heard of. It doesn't even make sense. You're talking okay. about a child. I understand, but we're talking about a child that weigh more than a grown person. You, your son Listen, is a heavy. I need to get. What is your name, sir? Tell me your name again. My I'm name is this Ernest. Stuff. My name is Ernest. I'm down here at the bus ball. I would like to speak with a supervisor, like now. Okay. What do you, you do not get to speak to my about my child that way. You don't get to speak to any kid that way. You should not be working at a school if that is your attitude. I know I don't work at the school. I work at the bus barn. I'm down here at the bus barn, and they gave me your number. Evidently, they right because you're saying he's over 125 pounds. I, I am in absolute shock. This is so <laughs> cute. Like, okay. Know- so, do you have a fat <laughs> child? I mean, do you have? Excuse me. I'm sorry. Do you have a big child? Listen, what my child looks like, how much he weighs, is none of your business. I'm going to call the school. They should be working with your company if this is the way that you treat people. And you talk about children this way? But what the f*** is the matter with you? I guess what they're doing is mm-hmm. this is the way of them approaching obesity. You know, let right. the kids yeah, walk to school. Whoever, whoever over 125, let them walk. They might walk it all. Your son might. Listen, meet. listen. That is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard, Okay. I have to work. My son is getting on that g- bus, and I'm going to call the school board and should not be working with you. Maybe another bus company. I don't know, but I'm calling the city. I will call whoever the f- I need to call, but you need to give me a supervisor's name right now. Right now. Do you like, think you need to start cooking different so, so Devin don't have, uh, you know, maybe maybe it starts at home with what you feed me. F- you. Everybody you know, I am calling your supervisor, I'm calling the, the city, I'm calling the school. I am going to get you so fired. Like, I can't even believe that you're allowed to make this call. Like, are other parents okay with this? Well, well, you. I'm, I'm calling. When you're on your way to work in the morning, Trina, do you listen to the Steve Harvey morning show? Oh, my God. Uh, yes, I do. <laughs> This is Nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show, baby. Yes, yes, yes. Nephew Tommy. Your your cousin Vicky got me to prank phone call you, baby. Oh, my God. I'm going to kill her. Yeah. I mean, I was like, oh, my God. I love Steve Harvey. I love you. I was about to have a heart attack. Thank God. You got to tell me this, baby. Trina, what is the baddest? And I mean the baddest radio show in the land. Steve Harvey. <laughs> yeah. Cozy TV. Lashing out. Let's go, Kendo. Hey, it's lashing out. How can we lash you out? I'm trying to reach Bianca. This is Bianca. Hey, listen. My name is Brian. My um, my wife Jamie come up Hi. there and get her eyelashes done. Is uh, who the, who's the owner of this place? I I am Brian. What's going on? Okay. What's going on? You be you're Bianca. You the one that owned the place. I'm Bianca. I'm the owner. We opened about a year and a half ago. Proud, happy, black owned, women owned, women owned establishment. What can I do for you? What okay, here's the deal. I'm sick and tired of my wife coming up there, and then when she get back home, she got these thick ass eyelashes on, and they long as hell. You know, I mean, it's they, these eyelashes thicker than somebody's mustache. This is a damn shame. You know, now, I didn't told okay, her to take Brian, these. Brian, Brian, hold what? up, hold, hold up, Brian. Now, I, I may or may not be the person doing it, but whoever, I'm pretty sure, probably that sounds familiar. But whoever. We have a lot of customers, but whoever comes in here, they pick their lashes. We, we, you know, we collaborate, but the girls are saying what they want done. They pick it. So if they're thick, they're thick because they want them thick. Okay, you well, know? these are too, they too thick and then, and they too long. Your, your eyelashes ain't supposed to be sticking away out past your nose. That's a damn shame. Uh, but let me, let me tell you what I'm getting at, though. Here's, here's, here's my reason for calling. If my wife come home one more time. 
Oh, say what? Brian, you, can you simmer down? Because, I mean, I'm running a business here, and you sound crazy. They can hear you through the phone. The girls are looking at me in the chair. I don't know what's going on. I don't know. Can you calm down? You loud and screaming. And I, all I'm Jesus. saying is if my wife come home with these la- long, thick ass eyelashes again, I'm going to come up there and raise holy hell at that damn place. And I'm telling you the truth about that. You're not. What are you talking about? Why are you threatening me? You are not coming up here. Just I'm coming up there if my wife come home with some thick ass long eyelashes again. I am. No, you're not coming up here. We just opened a year and a half ago. We are doing good. We don't need no drama from nobody. You need to talk to your wife. Fix your marriage. Don't come out here taking it Ain't nothing wrong love. with my marriage. The only thing wrong with my marriage is these damn thick ass eyelashes and they too long. You know, That's the. Why are you. Why are you calling me with this? See, now I'm yelling. Because at I'm calling my because this is and where she got her it? eyelashes done. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Then you need to talk to your wife. Okay, I need to calm down. I'm running a business here. What you trying to do? Sabotage me? What you work for the company? I ain't people? trying to sabotage somebody... nothing, but I tell you what, if she come home with these long, thick ass eyelashes again, I'm going to come up there and I'm going to find all the violations of codes and everything, building codes, and, and I will get you shut down if we, if we don't stop these long, thick ass eyelashes. Okay, Brian, I'm from the south side. So, mother, you need to back up because now you're threatening my livelihood. Yes, I'm going to go there with you. you threatening my livelihood. you threatening the jobs of so many girls here. What are you doing? You need to talk to your wife and you need to back the up. And I am sorry to curse. We try to speak class here, but now you're making me lash out at from lash out. Mother, you need to back up. This is my job. And people have jobs. What are you doing? Threatening to come up here. I will call the cops on you, and you will not be able to come here, and we will not let your wife get her 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 eyelashes on you. And you need to fix your marriage because you got some anger issues. Clearly, you pissed off at your wife, and you calling us threatening to ruin our business. Ryan, what is your wife's name? What, what my is wife's name, name is my wife name is Jamie. Okay, does anybody in here know Jamie or do Jamie's lashes? Okay, it's like four girls raising their hand because everybody goes to somebody different. So I don't know who is does Jamie's lashes, but you got some anger issues, okay? I ain't got no anger issues. The only problem I got is my wife having some long, thick eyelashes, and, and they further out than her nose and thicker than somebody's mustache. That's what I got a problem with. Okay, you know what? Jamie just needs to leave your ass because if you got an issue, call her. Why are you calling us? It's I'm calling the people that, that put the, Why wouldn't I call the people that put the thick ass eyelashes on? Why wouldn't I? Well, first of all, you need to talk to Jamie and send her up here. We're going to tell her that to leave your ass, first of all. Second of all, I don't, I cannot help you. You are interrupting my grinding, okay? You are interrupting our grinding. And we got a business going here. What is your problem? Can't you go do some work? Go and talk to your wife and fix your marriage. You know, you know what? You know what? I tell you what. I tell you. I tell you what, Bianca. I tell you what. You're not trying to fix. No, no, no. You ain't trying to fix the problem. I'll you be up there. Be I'll be up there, and, and and I will bring somebody that will shut okay, that shit down. Somebody call the cops right now. Call them now. Tell them somebody is coming up here, and they threatening us. They lash out. Call. See, they uh, three girls calling right now. So bring your little ass up here, mother. Come on. Come on. Bring it. Bring it up here. Bring it well, up here. Let me ask you something. Is 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 Carmen up there? Yeah, Carmen is sitting in my face right now. What is going on doing? How, you know him, Carmen? It's, Why are you asking me about Carmen? Where, where, is, where is Carmen at right now? She's right here looking at me. What? <laughs> what is going it's, on, it's, Carmen? Is she, is she laughing? Hold on. Yeah, now she's starting to laugh. What, is, what the <laughs> f- is going on? Y'all got me looking crazy at my Hey, shop. Bianca, Bianca, calm down, baby. Check this out. This is Nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Your girl Carmen got me to prank phone call you. Oh, oh, my <laughs> God. Carmen! Okay, you know what? Y'all got me out here looking bad. I cannot. Tommy, <laughs> Tommy, Nephew Tommy, oh, my nephew. God. Oh my What's God. up, baby? You by the way. Oh, my God. <laughs> What's up, girl? I'm just lashing out a little bit. That's all. I'm just lashing out. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm sorry, nephew Tommy. I was acting crazy. You got to tell the nephew what is the baddest, and I mean the baddest radio show in the land.
the one, the only Steve Harvey Morning <laughs> Show. Hello. Hello, I'm trying to reach a uh, Quincy please. This is. Hey, how are you? My name is Maurice. Maurice calling you from the power company. How you doing today? Uh, I'm all right. What's up? Well, listen, we're doing some testing in your neighborhood. We're trying to make sure we don't have to actually shut the power down out there. And uh, we're, we're calling around to uh, quite a few people in your neighborhood running some tests on individual homes and making sure the uh, electricity is running correctly. Um, can I get you to do a few things for me and see if we, and the, and the quicker we get through with this, sir, and it's a possibility we won't have to turn your power off at all. I know you don't want us to have to come out and turn power off and you got stuff in your refrigerator that can spoil and things like that. So we want to try to get this done and hopefully the power with the, with the test that we run, it'll, it'll, it'll run correctly and we won't have to do anything, okay? Uh, I don't know nothing about no electricity, though, you know what I'm saying? So No, 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 I understand that. Don't worry about that. All right. Uh, here's what I need you to do. Now, how big is your house? What do you, how many bedrooms you got? Four bedrooms. Four bedrooms. Now, uh, you have upstairs or downstairs? It's two story. Okay. All right. So here's what we need to do. Um, if you can, it ain't gonna take long though, right? I got it because I'm in a hurry, man. I ain't gonna have a lot of time. No, no, no. This, 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 this won't take long at all, sir. Can I get you to take your breaker and shut down everything upstairs, and we're gonna run a test on the stuff downstairs right now. It'll be real quick. All right. Just shut, just shut everything off. I want you to keep the downstairs open and keep that so we can, so we can run our test on this thing. All right. Everything's shut. Everything's down. Okay, you you turned off Everything. upstairs. I just turned off all the switches. Okay, here's what I need you to do. I need you to uh, turn on your television and then turn it off. Downstairs? Downstairs. How many TVs you got downstairs? I got two TVs downstairs. Let's turn them both on. Hang on. Just turn them on? Yeah, just turn them on. You got them on? I got one on. Hang on. Let's try to turn that other one on. All right, they both on. Okay, now you got a microwave in your kitchen? Yeah, I got a microwave. Okay, turn that on. It's already on, man. I can see the lights on. It's got the clock on it. That's got that double atron thing that's going through there, and it's a whole different type of current. I just want to make I don't know nothing about what you're talking about, but I got to get to work, man. So the microwave's on. It's running. No, no, no. I want you to actually turn it on. I want you to actually push like a minute or two on that thing. What's that got to do with anything, man? Come on now. I mean, what I got to do? No, this is a test, sir. What I don't want to have to do is come out there and turn your power off. And I don't want to do that. You got a lot of food in your fridge, I'm sure, right? All right. All right. Hey, right, look, it's on. Microwave's on. TV's on. Okay. Now, open your refrigerator. Work, man. The electricity works downstairs. Okay, but listen, now, I know, but what we got to do is we got to make sure that this stuff isn't overpowered. Now, can you open your refrigerator? Yeah, yeah man. Now, do you see the uh, button that, that uh, actually has, I mean, you can turn the, you can push it and the light will go out. You know what I'm talking about? Come on, man. You ain't got nobody to just be able to check something outside, man. I mean, I'm in the fridge. I, I understand, but push that button five times for me. See what it does. The the what the the light button? Yeah, push that light button five times. Come on, man. All right, does it did it go off and on every yeah, time? Yeah, it's did off it? and on, man. The, 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 it ain't nothing wrong with the refrigerator. The refrigerator is plugged in, man. Okay. Now here's what I want you to do. Right there, if you're in the kitchen, turn your sink on for me. Turn the sink on. What they got to do with electricity, man? Well, see, that's a nitro current. That's a nitro current. You wouldn't understand that, but I need you to turn that on for me, too. Just turn it on full blast. Got it on? I got it on. Okay, now go in your master bedroom. I can turn it off? No, let that water run. Go in your master bedroom and go in the bath for me. I appreciate you helping me out on this. Man, Quincy. come on, man. Quincy, I appreciate you. I'm in a you. hurry. I mean, everything is everything's working. I'm in, the, I'm in the bath. What's up? Okay. Flush that toilet for me, Quincy. Say what? Flush that toilet for me. Flush the toilet? Yeah, flush that toilet. Man, it ain't even electrical. What it is, it's an it's a, it's a aqua boogie. Man, look, you need to get somebody. I'm okay. I'm going to flush the toilet. It ain't no electrical plugs or nothing in this area, man. Right, I understand that. You don't see what it is. This is an aqua boogie current that flows through that water. F- flush that thing for me one time. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Okay. All right. Toilet works, man. You ain't got nobody in the area that could come out here and just check this shit out, man. Quincy, I'm trying my best not to come out and and, 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 and and turn your power off. And I know you got somewhere to go. Why you like turn my power off, man? You're supposed to be making sure the power stay on. Right, I understand that. Now, do you have, Quincy, do you have a blender? Yeah, I got a blender, man. I got a blender, I got a TV, I got a refrigerator, and they all work. The toilet works, everything works. 
All right, what I want you to do is get this blender, and we'll just throw you a few cues of eyes or something in there and turn that thing on for me. Come on, man. We're almost done. I got to get to work, man. Just work with me, the quick. Blender. I appreciate it, man. This is just a blender. Come on, man. This is some bull Yeah, that's that isometric current. Oh, that's that working this house, man. Good. You need to check the next house. You don't have no problems with no smoothies or nothing in that thing, do you? You serious? Man, what the hell that got to do with anything, man? I got to get to work. I understand. I understand. Listen. Give me a minute, man. This is going too far. Okay. Have somebody okay. come out here or do this because I need to get to my job. And I, I, and I understand that. Job. But I, well, I could just call and have people go through the damn house playing scavenger hunt. I got to get to work. Okay. Now, listen, Quincy. One last thing. Are you able to shut that breaker, put that breaker back on, and then shut off downstairs and then go upstairs and check some stuff for me? Shut off what? Shut off the breaker downstairs. Go ahead and turn it off. I'm not shutting off no breaker downstairs. I shut off the one upstairs. We didn't turn on every damn thing down here. You didn't have me. I got the blender. I didn't turn on the microwave, the refrigerator. Come on, man. Flushing the toilets and I got to get to work. Quincy, I need you to lose this attitude you got. I need you to get somebody down here to do this. My electricity in my house work. It worked for you. Call me. The only thing that ain't work is my ain't at work because I'm here doing this bull playing off and on. Get somebody in here. This Work. Now don't piss me off and make me turn it all the way off. Piss you off. My sh work. And when I get back from work, my sh still should be on. I got one more thing I need to say to you, Quincy. It better be the last thing. This is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just got pranked by your sister Gail. <laughs> Gail better be in a witness protection program, man. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> uh, let me turn this water off, man. You got me. Uh. Hey, man, let me ask you something, man. What is the baddest, I'm talking about the baddest radio show in the land? <laughs> That's got to be the Steve Harvey morning show. <laughs> Cozy TV. DPCA. What is that? What Dead that People Collection Agency. Running cat. Hello. Hello, I'm trying to reach uh, Daryl, please. Is he? Hi, uh, Daryl. This is uh, Tony with DPCA. We wanted to give you a call. How are you doing today? Uh, well, what, what's what's the company? Uh, DPCA. Well, what would that mean? Uh, DPCA is a dead person collection agency. We actually collect uh, money from those that have been that have that are deceased, but. People still owe them. Are you familiar with um, Carlton who passed away six months ago? I, I know him. Yes, you could do, but uh, what do you want from me, though? Okay, it's been brought to our understanding that you actually owed Mr. Carlton Fisher $1,200. Is that correct? Nah, nah. What are you talking about? Nah. Okay, so. Nah. How? How, and, though? As Mr. Okay, let me let me get this, this let me get a clear understanding here. You actually worked with Mr. Carlton Fisher, correct? Fact, yeah. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Yes. So, have you borrowed money from Mr. Carlton Fisher before? Why are you asking though? I'm, I'm asking you a clear question, sir. Have you borrowed money from Mr. Carlton Fisher before? I don't feel like I should answer though. It's not your business, though. Um, no, it is my business because I'm with the collection agency and it's been brought to our attention that you owe $1,200 to him. I don't know what you're talking about. And you didn't even send me no letter. So I'll, I don't no. even know what's going on. Uh, I'll, I'll repeat myself again, sir. My name is Tony. Did you send me a letter, though? With... Did you send me a letter? I, Did you send me a letter, no, though? I, I haven't sent you a letter. I'm, I'm so Tony. I don't know why the... you call me then if you don't send me no letter, though. Okay, sir, you owe this money to Mr. Fisher. I'm with See, I don't understand. I don't understand. You didn't send me no letter, though, and then you're going to call me, though. That doesn't make no sense. Okay. okay. So here's the deal, sir. If you don't pay the 1200 we will come and take something. We will compensate something of the same value. So I'm letting you know you're that. Send me, no, you, you, you even even send me no letter, though. If you do that, I'll call the police because you didn't send me no letter, though. You know what I'm saying? That just I, makes I, no I'm sense, though. What, no, I'm hearing what you're saying, sir. But at the end of the day... Now you're not hearing what I'm saying, though. You shouldn't even be talking to me right now. You got to send me a letter, though. That's how it is with bills. You did not inform me anything. Right? Sir, you owe you owe the $1,200, sir. We both know that. You're now well, I'm saying you're skipping, a, you're skipping a step right now, though. 
That's what no, I'm saying. Okay. You're infringing it right it now. doesn't infringing. matter about the steps, sir. You know what you owe. And, and I'm just going to let you know. I'm not going to go back and forth with you. I'm going to let you know this. We will come and compensate something of the same value. You twelve hundred. I'll let you know, not, but I'll let you know first. Though you cannot do anything without sending a letter. You did not send me no letter. You didn't send me no nothing though. You call okay. me. You harassed me right about now without even sending me no letter. I was saying like this: is the deal. This is what happened. This is when it's due. Yada yada. You didn't even do that. Shit. Okay. So let me let me say this to you. We do know that you have a 2017. Pickup truck. We do. Now you threaten me. You threaten me. You threaten me. I'm just letting. I'm letting you know we're picking up something of the same value or more. Okay. You threaten me now. That's not. That's bullshit. Threaten me now. You ain't even send me no letter. Yeah. You just call me up saying like I owe you now. You ain't even give me no date. Like this makes no sense though. Sir, this is DPCA. This is what we do. If someone passes away, I don't care. I don't care. You're you're a government agency. You should be sending me a letter. Sir. You owe Mr. Fisher twelve hundred dollars. He's now deceased. We are going to collect this money, or we're going to collect but something of the same. But what I'm saying is, you skip the step. You skip the step. You did not. You did not inform me that I owed money to him. You just tell me right now on the phone. You should have to send a letter, though. Sir, do you want to send us send us the money, or do you want me to pick up? Your I don't truck? even know what you're talking about, though. Are you talking about my truck? You talking about my truck? I, no, 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 no. We're not doing that. No, we're not. T- you're not touching my truck right about now. You know what I'm saying? Now, no, yo, that's it. We done. We done. If you come f- my truck, I want to f- with you. You hear me? You know what I'm saying? I don't care what your. It's, it's either twelve hundred dollars. It's twelve hundred dollars. I don't give a f- dude. Yo, yo, yo! I'm telling you right now. You didn't send me no letter. Now I'm angry. Now you're gonna turn me on truck. You come at me. I will come at you hard. You know what I'm saying? Baseball bat, all that. F- don't f- with me. Don't f- with me. You get jump. I'll jump you. I'll jump you. I'll take your truck. You hear me? So stay the f- away from me. Sorry. I'm not playing I'm right now. Me. I'm not. I'm not playing either, sir. Are you registered? You're, yo, yo, you, yo, yo. Are you listening though? You know I'm, I'm, I'm listening to you. Are you listening to me? You're the person you that don't owns. Know, you don't know the type of dude I am, man. I, I, you don't. Yo, you sound mad comfortable right about now. Good. Don't be uncomfortable. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I'm. A, I'm gonna let you know this. If I don't get this money by today, then then you might as well start not sleeping at night because there's a strong possibility what? What? your car. What? Your car what? might not be there in the morning. Say that again. Your car, I'm, Say that again. I'm, 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 I'm saying it as clear as possible, sir. $1,200 or your car, your truck may not be there in the morning. This is your call. Do you want to be there after the next morning, though? What are you trying you know to say? Saying? What are you trying No, tell me what you're trying to say. What are you hear? What you heard? What you heard? What you heard from me? Okay. Exactly. Okay, Don't f*** with me, dude. When can, yeah. when can we expect, when can we expect the $1,200? I'm telling you right about now. Don't f*** with my car. I'm done with that shit, all right? I'm done with you. Don't f*** with my car. Don't f*** with my car. Don't f*** with okay. my car. Don't want to f*** you. Don't call me back, all right? I'm done. Mother hung up. Call him back. Call him back, man. Call him back. Who is hey, this? man, who you, th- who you think you hanging up on, man? Who you think you hanging up on? You call me again? You call me again? You damn right. Call I'm me again? You again. I'm waiting on the $1,200, Okay. Now, Yo, I told to... you this. I told you. I told you that. Now, now you're getting me angry, though. Now you're getting me angry, though. I told you this. Don't call me, all right? Send me the letter. You don't send me the letter? Now you're talking about taking my truck? I'll f*** you up. Okay. Dead ass. Okay. I'll okay. f*** you up. Okay. You know what I'm going to do? I'll I tell you what. What are you going to do? I'm, what are you going to do, though? What are you going to do? I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to tell you right now. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? I'm going to let, I'm gonna let gonna Tommy do? come get the truck. I'm going to let Tommy come get the truck. Who? I'm going to let Tommy come get the truck. I don't know who Tommy is. Uh, which Tommy? Oh, Tommy who? Tommy. Tommy, baby. Nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show, baby. Your boy Trevor at your job got me to prank phone call you. Ah, oh, motherfucker. <laughs> man. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this some... <laughs> he always be listening to y'all, too, man. Damn. <laughs> I got you. Ah, oh, oh, sh- baby. Ah, oh, sh- Man, you. I hope I told all the hairs. I hope my parole officer ain't hearing right now, man. For real though. You on parole? Uh, I, I, I'm. Uh, no comment. <laughs> okay, all right. No Come comment. On, no not, comment. There you go. No I comment. tell you what, this, this is the only comment I want. Tell me this: What is the baddest, and I mean the baddest radio show in the land, baby? Give it to me. Who is it? The Steve Harvey Morning Show. Y'all, a bunch of crazy motherfuckers. <laughs> Uber hurts. Oh yeah. It sounds crazy. Let's, 
Yeah, let's let's Uber hurts. Hurts. Okay. Uber hurts. Let's go. Hurt. Hurt. Hello? Hello, I'm trying to reach Sean, please. Yeah, it's me. What's up? Hey Sean, how you doing? This my name is Brian. Um I got you on schedule. Um you you ordered a Uber for tomorrow morning. I'm a, I think yes, you're sir. Yes. Okay, you are you are you scheduled to go to the airport, correct? Absolutely, yes. Okay. All right, and I want to make sure you you wanted an SUV? Yeah, I wanted an SUV. Okay, and that's 92 West what is that? Holman? 92 correct. Holman Drive? That's correct. Okay. All right. All right. So I'll be outside uh, tomorrow morning. You, we're talking about uh, seven p seven a.m. pickup, correct? That's it. I got you, you. Got it. Everything's on point. Okay. All right. So listen, I wanted to let you know this, man. You uh, you ordered an SUV. I'll be there tomorrow. Um, I'll be there probably a little bit before seven a.m. You know, when you guys order Uber uh, way in advance, you know, we try to get there almost like a car service and. Make sure we get you where you got to go, and I, I know the traffic's going to be a little crazy. So, um, you know, I'll be there on time. I'll be downstairs waiting on you. All right. I'd appreciate it. Okay. Now, now, listen, I'm 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 a SUV, but it's a kind of a little different. So that's why I kind of the reason for the call. I wanted to kind of give you a heads up that uh, I, I I am an SUV. So I just want you to look for the uh, the black hearse that'll be outside. A hearse. Yeah, I, I'll be in a black hearse tomorrow morning uh, at 7 a.m. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. I thought so, it's, it's an SUV or a hearse. No, no, it's a hearse. It's a hearse. Actually, what's happening is is I, I have another drop off at the airport as well. You know, there's a. I mean, it's, it's, it won't affect you at all. But there'll there'll be a body in the back. But that has to. We're, we're trying to get that to the airport too. But uh, a, you know, like I said, and, and a, as a matter of fact, it's a actually, body. Wait a minute, hold on. Yeah, you, you f with me, man? No, no, no. I, I ain't no, trying to ride on my body. Well, there's a, there's, I mean, there'll be a body, but actually, this is costing you less. You know what I'm saying? So you don't have to. Look, you know man, what I mean? well, I'm supposed to lay down next to this motherfucker. What, 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 what you talking about, man? Dude, it'll be. I, it'll I, be I, a, I ain't ride with no motherfucking body. Hang on, man. Listen, you wanted an SUV. I'm not riding with no motherfucking body, dude. Are you tripping? Cancel this trip. I, I'll get another Uber or some shit. I'm not riding with a body, dude. Okay, if you cancel, that's gonna cost you fifty dollars. Fifty dollars, my man. Yeah, like you, you know, like I just downloaded the m Uber app. Here's the deal. I know for a fact when you cancel Uber, this is five dollars. I'm canceling, and that's gonna be five dollars. Not gonna be no fifty dollars, dude. It's gonna be fifty dollars, sir. It's different when you have. Look, my man, you can pay me a thousand dollars. I'm not riding with a m body. You, you feel me? No, I understand you. I understand you now. But do you want to get to the airport or not? Look, why don't you lay down next to the body and you drive yourself there next with the f body, like, in, in the passenger seat? I'm not doing that sh Tell me what the problem is. I mean, obviously, you used to drive around with bodies and sh That's not my thing, you know what I'm saying? What What's the problem? I mean, you're going to be in the front of the hearse. You're not going to be in the back. We'll put While your the luggage body's in, in the back. We'll put your luggage in the back. I mean, that'll be fine, right? Yo, my man, you tripping, man. This is a crazy sh You calling the wrong m with this crazy bull sh dude. I'm not doing none of that what, what part of that don't you understand? I, I'm going to get you there on time, sir, but it's going to be in a hearse. That's all the difference is, man. Don't You'll be riding, a riding in a hearse when I'm supposed to be laid out in it. You understand? Right now, you got me up. What kind of phone call is this? Well, I mean, what's, you, what's, what's the problem? Obviously, you're used to rolling with, with dead bodies and hearses and all that shit. Since when it over, start rolling with hearses to pick up regular live motherfuckers to get them from place to place. This is some crazy okay. shit. I want you to think, when when did you think that it would just be cool as a regular picking up a body and just driving around in the street? I, I, I don't know, man. I mean, you know, I got two jobs. You know what I'm saying? I do Uber, you know, and I also, you know, work for a mortuary. So, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, but my vehicle is is certified and, and Uber approved it, so I'm able to use it as an SUV as so, well. So you, you call them is and you give them rides to live motherfuckers, and they don't have no reaction, no reaction to riding around with a motherfucking body in the back. Well, you know, uh, sometimes there's a few people acting a little, you know, a little, it's a little different for them. I get it, you know. But like I said, the only reason why I'm calling you well, like obviously you, know, you don't get that because you're trying to hit me with a fifty dollar motherfucking charge that I'm not, I'm not going for, and you're trying to get me to ride with a 
fucking dead body, dude. I'm not doing that shit. So I'll tell you what, bro. I'm going to tell you this right here. I'm going to get off the phone. Uh, tomorrow at 7 in the morning, me and Tommy going to be there. So be looking for us, here. Yeah? Who's Tommy, the fucking body? No, no. Me and Tommy going to be there tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. You understand? Just be ready for that. Then you and Tommy going to have a problem. Okay, okay. All right. Tell that to Tommy, though. Because, see, Tommy don't, Tommy don't take this too kindly. So tell it to him in the morning. Who's Tommy? Is he, he fucking on right now? Okay. You don't know who Tommy is? No, I don't. Who the f*** is Tommy? Okay, do you know Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show? Do you know nephew Tommy? Oh, come on, man. <laughs> 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 hey, oh, man. Oh, that's a f***. Oh, man, that's a f***. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, hey, man. you not coming in a hurry? <laughs> no, man, your boy, your, you got a boy named Chase that you work with. Chase gave me your number, told me to give you a call. Get oh, me. man. <laughs> Yo, that, I'm going to put that m- in a hearse, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 Hey, man, you got to give me one more thing, man. What is the baddest? I'm talking about the baddest radio show in the land. The Steve Harvey Morning Show. <laughs> hey, man, I'll pick you up at 7, all right? Be there. <laughs> Cozy TV. Diva Lounge. Let's try it. Come on, cat. This is Larnetta. Yeah, uh, Larnetta. I'm trying to, um, you you the one on the Diva Lounge, right? Yes, sir, I do. Okay. Well, my aunt trying to, um, my Aunt Phyllis was trying to get an appointment, say y'all re- rejected her or something like that on getting an appointment. Uh, for, uh, for uh, la- this past Saturday, she wanted to get get in and get her get her hair did. I'm sorry, sir. I, no one rejected her. Right now, I'm not accepting any new clients. Hold on. What? So what? What do you mean you're not accepting no clients? I don't, that's the part I'm not trying to understand. Cause my Aunt Phyllis, you know, she done called up there like two times from what she's telling me about she can't get in there uh, to Diva Lounge that she can't get in there and get her hair done because every time she calls, they saying that they, you know ain't want nobody uh, uh take her or give her an appointment. Sir, I am the only stylist at the Diva Lounge, and right now I am not accepting any new clients. I am so sorry for your aunt, but there are other salons in the area, but right now I am not accepting any new clients. No, no, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait a minute. No, that. My auntie wanted, she want to come there. that. that. Who the hell are you cursing? I'm just saying this here. My auntie trying to get her weave done. My auntie trying to get her weave done. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. You you just cursed me out for no apparent reason. I just no, told, all I, I, told I, I just you. said f- that because basically what I'm trying to say is I don't understand how it is you can't get my any hair done. She's trying to get her weave done so she can be right for church. So I don't understand the problem. But, but the problem is your f- attacking me. How the hell are you gonna call me talking about your damn aunt wants a damn appointment? But you cursing me out. You won't be able to get an appointment with me talking to me like that. Now, okay, so, what I so said, what's, what's, excuse uh, what, what's me, the what? sir, excuse me, let me talk, because you just cursed me out. Now you're going to hear what I have to say. Sir, I'm not accepting any new clients at this time. Now, she could have called, but right now I'm not. I'm just not accepting any new clients. I apologize, but there's nothing else I can do. I work on Hold on, because you know what? I already know the deal, because I didn't already ask around town. You you got all these, everybody over there got all these Big time cars, Beamers, and Range Rovers. So them the people, them only the people you do. You can't what? do. So my my ain't a regular person. Listen, you can't do no. Listen, let me tell you one damn thing. I don't discriminate. I don't give a damn what you drive. You can drive a damn Ford Pinto for all I care. I don't discriminate. Right now, sir, my damn schedule is booked, and I cannot take any more new clients. There are a thousand damn salons in Montgomery that you can go to. Okay, let me let me let me let me say let me say this to you. Uh, uh, what's your name again? Lawnetta. Let me tell you this right here. I'm gonna bring my auntie. I'm gonna bring my auntie up there. I'm bringing my auntie. Hey, you 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 gonna shut up while I'm talking? Hey, look, I'm gonna bring my auntie up there. I'm sorry, say what? No, no, but you ain't finna just reject my auntie. She trying to get her hair did for church. Somebody gonna put. Okay, hold on. All professionalism is about to go out the door with your ass. Now, I have been trying to be professional with your ass since you just called me. But you, you insist on cursing me out, and I haven't done anything to you. I have simply said, sir, I cannot take on any new clients. But you insist on cursing me out. 
Bro, I insist, I insist, I insist on somebody doing my any hair. Somebody go put my any wig. Another damn salon. You won't get it done here. I'm trying oh, to no, tell oh, you. Oh no, you gonna you gonna do it? Cause I'm gonna bring my any up there on I'm Saturday. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. How the hell are you gonna make me? What you gonna make me? You gonna do what? You gonna do what you, you gonna got to do? Somebody gonna put somebody yeah, gonna put this weave in my Listen. any hair. I'm telling you now, I can go from zero to 100 real quick. I'm trying to be professional with your ass, but right now that's going out the door. Because right now you're being so disrespectful to me. Let me say this again. Saturday, I'm coming up there. Somebody put my any weave in her head. Weave? Sir, I don't do weave. I only do short hair. That's what I specialize in. That's my strength. So you definitely have to find another salon. I don't do weave. Period. Who the f*** got a hair salon don't do no weed? Who do that shit? Me. Me. I don't do no damn that weed. That don't make no damn sense. What kind of damn hairstylist? You just a short hairstylist. That don't make no damn sense. Well, that's what the f*** I specialize in. As a matter of fact, I'm damn good at it. Ask around. If you, you research me, you've already done your damn research on me. Ask around. Google me. That's what you do. Google me. I'm the best at this don't call well, me. I, Don't call I tell me. you what. I tell. I, I tell. I, 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 let me say this here to you. Don't call for me now, because I'm ready for your. You know what? I'm not even gonna be sitting here going back and forth with you. I'm gonna say this. Sad that I'm coming up there and somebody gonna do my any weed. But bottom line, her weed gonna be done for church on Sunday. Who oh, in the you think you're talking to? You listen to me. I'm so tired of your punk. Ass. If you don't went around asking everybody about me, you punk. Ass. So know that I don't do nothing but short hair. I don't do no damn we find some damn not else to do your damn your aunt hair. You and your aunt can go to hell. That's what you can do. Cause I don't give a about you. I try to be professional with your ass, but you're stupid and you're ignorant as hell. And then your aunt can't be no better. She gotta be crazy as hell to be with your stupid ass. Don't call me no damn more. Because I don't I don't appreciate you calling my damn cell phone. I don't know who the who the hell gave you my damn number? Because this is a damn private number. I haven't even given no damn back. Then you saw my damn cars in my damn parking lot. I listen, don't worry about the cars in my parking lot. Everybody show the love to me. I don't want customers like you. Hey, 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 hold on. I'm, let me you know what? Let me just tell you this here. Tommy one gave me your damn number and told me that if I talk to you, you would do my any hair. Who? Tommy. Who Tommy Tommy one gave Say what? I don't know, I don't know no Tommy. Tommy. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. You know nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You know him, don't you? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. Uh, well, I must have had a wrong number. Um, I'm ch- uh, my name is Marcus. I'm trying to find. Is this the person that lives in um in 19A? 
Yeah, yeah, 198, Gary. What's up? Um, I'm trying to find the, the lady that lives in in 19A. Am I calling the right place? You talking about Bree? Bree, that's uh, yeah, that's it. Bree, is is Bree available? Uh, nah, man. She she's probably at work. Oh, okay. All right. Well, listen. I'm I'm li- I live in um I live on the 18th floor. Me and some of the guys on the 18th floor are throwing throwing a party uh, on the rooftop, and we were gonna we were inviting a few people. So I was trying to see oh, if. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we was gonna invite Bree. I had never seen you before. I didn't know you. So you live in the building too? Yeah, 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 man. I live in 19A with her. Yeah, that's my girl. What's up? Wait, when, when's the party? Ah, uh, okay. The party's Friday night. All right. A party Friday night, so yeah. Well, like I said, we was we were reaching out, and um, you know, we wanted to invite. I'd never, you know, I've seen Bree coming in out of the building, and um, and uh, you know, the doorman told me that he thinks she lives on the 19th floor somewhere. So, so yeah, I was trying to um, um, yeah, where now you're, to come you're, what, you're on the 18th floor. Yeah, I'm on the 18th floor. I'm in 18th. Oh, that's what's up, man. Yeah, yeah, I'm at 18. Yeah, so the party's um, you know, is on Friday night, like about 10 o'clock, 10 to 10 to one. We're inviting a few people out, so, but, but, um, like I Hell said, yeah. I, didn't know, I didn't, I didn't know you lived um, with Bree, but, but this is a, this is a cool thing, man. But so we're having a, um, we're having a, a, a panty party on Friday night. What? A panty party? Yeah, yeah. On, on, on the rooftop, we're having a, a panty party. You know, we got food and and drinks and all that kind of stuff. So, I, I was wanting to see if she wanted to come out. So, so that, that's what you do, Mark. That's what y'all do on the 18th floor. Y'all just hit up folks and, and try to get. Dudes, girls come to a panty party? A panty party? Panty we party. have a party once once every, you know, once every once a quarter we we throw a party. So, yeah, you know, well, keep, this keep, the... keep up this bullshit, bro. It's gonna be the last party you're throwing. What the fuck is the matter with you calling me out? Hey, 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 the language. The language, bro. Hold on. Hold on. First of all, I didn't know Bree lived with someone in nineteen A. I've never seen anybody other than Bree. Okay? Yeah, it's because I work I... my ass off, dog. Who are you? Marcus. Okay, so so okay, I, I'm, I'm Marcus, but let's just calm down. Like I said, all I'm trying to do is invite Bree to um, to, you know, to a party. Now well, Bree ain't coming to no f- panty party, boy. What the f- you? What the f- the matter with you? Okay, so let, let's let, let me ask you this, sir. I call for Bree. I don't know nothing. Yeah, about and you got Gary. I don't know. Well, I, don't know I don't know nothing about no. Gary, okay? So Bree will have to let me know that that she doesn't want to come to the party. But um, I'll, I, since I thought I had the right number for Bree, what I'll do is find out how to get in touch with Bree directly because, once again, I didn't know I was getting in contact with a Gary. I thought I was getting in touch with Bree. Yeah, yeah, you're going to be worth much to Bree, man, when I cut that off. Who the f*** are you to call me? That's my girl. That's my girl. Okay, so it's your girl. All right, but like I said, I didn't know she had a boyfriend or anything. But that doesn't stop me from asking Bree if she wants to come to the party. Yeah, well, she ain't single. She's not single. The only the only thing single in 19A is that single barrel. That's the only thing that's single up in 19A. Okay, so let me ask you this, man. How long have you and Bree been together? Can I ask Don't worry about what the f- I am with my girl. Who the f- yeah. are you? Hey, I think I think Bree can make her own decision. Or if she want to come to the party, I just call her directly. I just got the wrong number mixed up. That's all it is. No, you got the right number, Marcus. You got the you got the right number and the wrong mother. So are you trying to say Bree can't make up her mind on if she want to come to the party or not? Bree is all she can make up. She can make up her mind if she wants to. I think she has made it up, Marcus. I think she has. Well, how do you know that? I haven't even asked her to come to the panty party. Hello. What the do you want, Marcus? What do you really want? I want Brie at the panty party. That's what you I want. Can't, you can't have Brie at no panty party. That's mine. Listen, mother I'm at, the, I'm at work right now. Don't come at me with this bullshit. I've been in that building for years. I've never heard of no panty party before. Are you going to ask her to come to the panty party, or do I need to ask? That panty party, and you, Marcus. My girl ain't coming to no damn panty party. All right, all right. I see what I got to do now. I got to go to the door, man, and get Brianna's, get Bree's number, and I ask her to come. Cause you're not gonna pass on the message that I want her to have. Let me let me tell you, to you something. You better not come to no door, man. You better not come to 198. That's my girl. Stay the fuck away from her. Okay, okay, okay. All right, cool. So, I, I mean, I don't know what else to say. Party's in a few days. 
And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna let up until I get, at least give Bree an um, invitation to come out to the panty party. Your invitation, Bree ain't coming to. The only mother you're gonna see there is me. So let me ask you this: Are you ashamed of, of Bree's panties? Do you not want her? Do you not want us to see her in the, in in, the, in her panties? I mean, what is it? Mother, don't worry about me or my girl or her panties. You got me. You got me. Okay. All right, man. I'm at, I'm I at got work you. right now. If I wasn't at work, I'd crawl. I'd mother you lucky you call me at work. I know you were at work, and I, because somebody told me you were at work. You know who told me you were at work, Gary? Who the told you I was at work, mother? No. Bree, Bree told me you were at work. This is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just got mother. Me. I told you stop saying about Bree. Oh, what the? <laughs> hey, 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 Gary, 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 listen to me. This is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Your girl, Brianna, got me to prank phone call you. This is a prank. <laughs> Shut the <laughs> <laughs> you, you all right, man? G, G, you all right? Man, I'm in the broom <laughs> closet right now, cutting your ass out. <laughs> man, get your ass out the broom closet, man. You man, man come man. on, bro. Why are you, why you doing me like that at work, man? I need this job. I got bills to pay. <laughs> oh, man, your girl got me to prank you, man. She said, you got to prank my boyfriend. And get dead in his ass. All you got to do is say something about me, and he going to go straight crazy. Oh, my God. Get the f*** out of here. Oh, Matthew T. <laughs> Come on, bro. Why you gotta... I love y'all so, man. Why y'all got to do me like that? Uh, it's what we do, baby. It's 2020 and more to come. Now, I got one more question, man. What is the baddest, and I mean the baddest, radio show in the land? That's the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Come on, man. You know that. <laughs> Cozy TV. Praise, dance, let's go. Hello. This is a day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. How you doing? I'm looking for uh, Sister Tanya. This is Sister Tanya. Sister Tanya, this is Brother Fuller from the church. How are you? Oh, I'm well, Brother Fuller. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Um, uh, we wanted to give you a call about the uh, about the praise dancing that's at the church. First of all, I wanted to really show you how much uh, uh, you're doing a great job over there with the praise dancers, and you you definitely do a great job on uh, every third Sunday that you guys actually perform. Everybody seems to really like it. Well, thank you, thank you. What can I do for you today? There is a bit of a situation with uh, you know it's been brought to our attention. We actually had a small gathering, a little meeting about it, and wanted to. I've been elected to actually give you a call. And who is this again? I'm sorry. Who are you again? Uh, Brother Fuller. Uh-huh. And, and 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 who had a meeting? Uh, some of the brothers at the church and and uh pastor actually sat in for a moment on it, and uh, I was actually elected to actually just give you a call. It, it, nothing that I don't think we can't get uh, rectified and, 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 you know, move on smoothly as we normally do. But I, I just think it's, we wanted to reach out to you and kind of make you aware of it, if, it's a, a, if you don't mind. Okay. Um, and what things are those? Well, uh, Sister, Sister Tanya, has any of the praise dancers um, before they became praise dancers was mm-hmm. was, was 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 any of them strippers? I, I beg your pardon. Was any of the praise dancers that at the church that you have uh, uh, on the praise team right now was any of them strippers in the past? I'm sorry, sir. I don't I don't really know who you are. Um, and I don't really understand this line of question. Well, like I said, I'm, I'm Brother Fuller. I don't think we've met, but uh, I, like I said, I've been elected to give you a call. Now, now it, it, it seems like what happened is this past week when you all actually uh, danced, it seemed like a couple of the girls was actually gyrating during the praise routine. Say what? Gyrating. Brother Fuller, I don't know who you are, and I don't know what you saw. None of my girls were gyrating. They were dancing for the Lord. Well, some, some, and I think some, if you look through your Lord's eye, perhaps you would see them better, instead of maybe you were looking through the gyrating eye. No, no. Well, see, a couple of these girls, we can point them out. A couple of them have uh, uh, strip girl tendencies, evidently, because some of them have been gyrating. Strip, 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 strip girl tendencies. You know what? Sir, uh, I think we need to uh, complete this call. Perhaps I need to call Bishop and speak to him myself because, you know, I don't know what you do all day, but I have a real job. And I'm sitting here holding a conversation in my office about gyrating strippers in the church. Are you kidding me? Ma'am, listen. Now, here's a couple other things that, that they're talking about. Some of the girls' uh, feet are real ashy when you all are performing. 
and they want to see if maybe you can you can I don't know maybe I don't know if y'all need the grip or whatever that y'all don't y'all don't put lotion on. I, we're not sure what that is. Um, as well as the the the, the, uh, the toenail polish. Everybody has three, four, five different designs and everything. Is it any way y'all can be in unison with your toenail polish? But the most important thing is the gyrating doing the dance routine. I don't know what your feet look like. I don't need you calling me, talking to me about my girls, their feet, their nail polish. Perhaps your man should be on Jesus instead of on them. How about that? Oh, you know, hard, I, man, for no, my no, mind no, no, to no. be. I don't have time. I don't have time. It, it, I don't, I don't it's know hard what your for my mind is. to be on Jesus when somebody's shaking their butt at the church. Now, that, that's the problem. Hey, you know what? Look, I'm at work. Now, I'm trying to keep a work tone. You're going to make me curse up here. Now, let me tell you something. Don't call me anymore. I will deal with Pastor. If he has something to say with me, he can say it to me personally. But I'm done with this conversation. Are you going to deal with the gyrating is what we want to know. Maybe, you know what, it, it, it just hit me. Maybe you one of the ones that's doing the gyrating. I, look, let me tell you something. My girls ain't doing no gyrating, and neither am I. Now, I am done with this conversation. Do you understand you, me? But, but listen. I'm done. Are you done with the done. gyrating? That's done. what we want to stop. So we, can, we can't praise the Lord if the booty is shaking. You know what? Sir, look, I I got to go to work. I got to go. Now, I, I, again, I don't know what your issue is. It sounds to me like you have an issue with gyrating booties. I have not heard so much gyrating booties in one conversation in my entire life. Now, my mind is set on Jesus. I don't know what your mind is set on. Well, Sister Tanya, before you was a praise dance uh, uh, oh, 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 ministry, over the ministry, did, did you ever use to strip? No, I didn't do no stripping. Now, did you want to do any stripping? Uh, what? Did your mama do any stripping? What, what did you What did you mean, Well, you heard what I said. You heard what, how you like when somebody called you and asked you if your mama did some stripping? How you like that? I got oh, I'm, you. know what I want to know? When is the next rehearsal? That way I can come and pick out who it is that's doing oh, this job. No, 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 no. You don't have you don't have any business at my rehearsal. I don't want to see you at my rehearsal. I don't want to I don't want to see any parts of you in my rehearsal. If I see you near one of my girls, I swear I'm coming up to you myself. Do you understand me? We need to find out who's doing that job. You don't need so to find out. Thing. You need to stay your butt in your own house. Yeah, and, and I'm glad y'all ain't dancing when the plate is being passed, because there ain't no telling how you act with them wands coming through that. You know what? That's it. That's it. You call me disrespecting me? I'm at work. I can't even handle this anymore. You know what? Don't call me no more. Don't look at my girls no more. Matter of fact, come near the church and see what I got for you. I want to know is you going to stop the job rating. When I'm is not, you going to stop gonna do do it from moving? That's, I'm not going to do it. Thing. Who you think you're talking to like that? You're supposed to be a, a minister. I'm talking to you. I'm done listening to you. Now I'm getting ready to go. Well, I got one more thing to say to you before you leave. Now you ain't got a thing to say to me. I said I was done. And I said I got one more thing to say as you listen. You know what, man? Get off my phone. I'm going to say it anyway. This is Nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Your entire praise ministry congregation, all your girls, got me to prank phone call you. Oh, I'm a shitty for real. Oh, oh. oh they got me cursing on the radio. Oh, hey, oh, 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 I think I'm going to have it. Hey, I got one thing to ask you, Tanya. What's what that? is the baddest radio show in the land? Nobody else but the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Super Bowl trip. Let's go, cat diggity. Hello? Hello, I'm trying to reach a Martina, please. Oh, she's not in right at the moment. Can I take a message or something I can help you with? Uh, actually, I'm uh, giving a call to make sure I'm uh, double-checking on confirmation for Mr. and Mrs. No, man, no. Uh, that may be a mistake because she's going by herself. I'm not oh. going, so that just should be, should, that should be Mrs. That's all. Oh, Okay. All right. Well, I, t I tell you what, we have we have her schedule. We wanted to make sure we gave the confirmation, and uh, you know, with a big weekend like this, we're double checking and making sure everybody's actually coming and getting their grooms because you know you're subject to get charged for it. And we definitely have the honeymoon suite waiting on her. Oh, oh honeymoon suite, man. We've been married 17 years. What you talking about, honeymoon suite? Well, we got you. You, you, um, you say Mr. and Mrs. What's the name on that? Miss Martina. Is that right? Yeah, that's my wife. Yeah. All right, and we've got Tony as well. Who the, what, who the is Tony? My name is Vernon. You say what now? My name is Vernon. Who the hell is Tony? So I, I'm, wow. We we have, we're, this is, I think uh, I got the wrong one. I think y'all got the wrong one, man. Okay, did, did you guys make reservations here at the hotel and for the Super Bowl weekend? 
my wife is going to this weekend to be with her sick auntie. That's what she told me. Now, I don't know nothing about no and those, but you know what? Yeah, keep talking to me. Yeah, okay, player, keep talking to me because uh, this is getting real interesting right here. She's coming to the for the, well, to the I, I, have, I, have, I have uh, Mr. and Mrs. Martina and Tony are coming. We have the uh, honeymoon suite here for the Super Bowl weekend. Checking in tomorrow and checking out on Monday. Oh, no. You know what? This is the right here because, see, like I got to she told me she was going to see her sick auntie, and I told her, cool, I paid for the damn ticket myself. I got my tax return back, and I paid for it my damn self so she can go out there. And you telling me this half of the made reservations and I mean, what the hell? I mean, no, uh-uh. Uh, 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 Victor, Victor, what's your name again? But my name is Vernon. Okay, Mr. Vernon, sir. I, I, first of all, I do apologize. I'm just a, you know, I, I'm, I'm here in, in, in the uh, reservations, and basically they just got us calling because it's a big weekend, and, you know, if you, if you don't come in, you, you, your car will definitely get charged. Man, so they got us double checked. You know what? Well, oh. Y'all better not charge nothing to my car. Don't, don't charge Matter of fact, I want to cancel this reservation. She can and fall back in it as far as I'm concerned. This is the let her walk her up in here right now. Let her walk her up in here right now because see, this is this. Is okay, crazy. sir. Let's let's just slow. Let's slow down a minute. Let's slow down. Maybe there's just a mistake here. I mean, uh, no, man. Uh, uh. The, the honeymoon suite at the. No wonder she told. No wonder I'm like she told me she needed two hundred dollars for them hotel. I me mean, for the hotel room. Yeah, well, actually, it's uh. Well, they must be splitting in here. It's 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 about four hundred something a night for this room. Excuse me. She didn't pay that much for my damn wedding ring. Uh, uh, wow. Okay. Well, I tell you what, sir. I, is there any way I can I can call back and speak to Martina so you I can? I never in life call back to this. Okay. Because see, if you call back here talking about this, because see, I don't even normally answer this phone. Okay. This is her phone. She went to go run an errand for me. And but don't you never call this phone back again because see, she ain't coming to. Not this lifetime, she's not. But uh, I, I, you know what? I want to thank you though. I appreciate you letting me in on what was up. Yeah. Knew it. Okay. Okay. Mr. Vernon, can you slow down some, man? Hang on. Okay. Now, listen, what I have to do is I have to talk to the person that made the reservation in order to cancel it. No, but you I can definitely talk to, need me. to speak to you, me. You can cancel this right now. But I need to hear that from Miss Martina okay. that it's canceled. Trust me, when she gets back, she's going to be able to talk to you. You can cancel it now. I'm telling you now. Cancel it. It ain't going to be no honeymoon, okay? We've been married for 17 years. We got four kids. And I'm sitting back here. And no, cancel it now. I'm telling you to cancel it. I cannot cancel it without speaking to her. I tell you what, you, you, your best bet is to cancel that because if you put a charge on it, I'm going to drive to and find Joe. What's your name? Excuse me? What's your name? I'm Brian, sir. Brian, if there's one charge on my critical, I will find you. Okay, sir, well, let me find Martin, you. Do you have Tony's number where I can call him and maybe. Man, you know what? You know what? I'm going to have Tony's number in a minute because I got her phone. I'm just going through it and find it because this is some and she's going to be living with Tony. So if you call back here, you're not going to get her because she's going to be over there with that Okay, sir. Now, there's one more person that's on the, that's scheduled on the room. A, a, a one more person? What are they doing? A threesome? Uh, I'm not sure. Now, I've got another person on the, on schedule on here. This can't get no worse. Come on with it. You want the, I'm sorry, you want the name of the yeah, other I person? I want the name, yes. Come on with it. You didn't tell me everything else. Okay, I got a, a uh, somebody named Nephew Tommy. Excuse me? <laughs> Hey, man. Get the f out of here. Vernon, this is nephew Tommy, man, from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. <laughs> Your wife got me to prank phone call you. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to DNA out there. <laughs> the DNA out of this is <laughs> Hey, man. Okay, that's who she been talking to on the phone. Yep. All right. <laughs> Yeah, you got me. You got me. You got me. Hey, Vernon, I got to ask you, what is the baddest, and I'm talking about the baddest, man, radio show in the land? Steve Harvey Morning Show. <laughs>times uh do you have a girl you have a girlfriend uh why what's up do you guys do you guys live together or, or what? Uh, what what is this your business like what what what's what's the deal what's what's why are you asking about my girl well let me ask you this here what's 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 going on with you and at the job 
what what do you, what do you mean? What's you, going on with you, like like? I mean, the, I mean, you you know you know, right? I mean, so what? Like, what what's what's the deal? What what who who are you? Like, who the, who the f- are you? Like, what what what's the f- what, what is this for? Like, why are you? Like, I don't even know you, bro. Right, right. Like, I, 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 just calm down, bro. Just calm down. Like I say, my name is Ben. I work in Villa too, you know. And I know. I'm just telling you now. I know you got. I know what you and doing. Okay, I know what y'all doing at the job. I already know, and a couple other people know what's going on. And I know you got a girl. I know you got a girl at home. I know that. What? So, so, so what? What? What the? F- what? What is this about? Like, why? Why you call my phone trying to harass me about some bull? Like, who are you? Like, what? What? What is your problem? Like, hey man, hey, 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 calm down, man. I ain't finna, I ain't trying to tell you a little secret or nothing like that. I ain't trying to do that. All right. But I but but I'm gonna be real with you, okay? I like I said, I, you know, I got one of your names. I got your number from one of our coworkers, okay? I got your number. I said, hey, I want to I want to give in the car and he talk to him about something. That's how I got your number. So oh, yeah, who gave just, it to you? I, 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 we'll get to that later, okay? We'll get to that later. But let me but let me say this though, I know what's going on with you and to the guy, all right? And I ain't gonna say nothing about it. You know, that's just our little secret or whatever. But I do have something that I want you to do though. What what do you want, dude? Like what 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 the f- do you want? You call me bugging me about f- and all this bull. Like what do you want? What do you want? Well, here it is, man. Listen, I ain't gonna say nothing about what you got going on. I right? that ain't that ain't even I don't even care about that. But here here's what I do want you to do. I do need some help from you. All right, listen, my little girl is selling Girl Scout cookies, and I want you to buy fifty boxes of them. All right, with via cash app because she gotta have them sold by tomorrow morning. Are you f-ing kidding me, Dude, bro? You okay? So you on some blackmail bull? And l- listen, dude, who the f- gave you my number? Cause you gonna call me, ask me to buy some f-ing cookies, and you you should just be a man and ask me about it. Like, don't be f-ing calling my phone trying to give me that bull. Like, come on, man. Like, I, I ain't got no f-ing time for this. Like, all I'm asking you to do is buy some damn cookies, man. That's it. You know what I'm saying? I just, I just, I, I, I'm just saying, I just want you to buy some cookies. I need you to buy 50 boxes of Girl Scout cookies. Can you do that no, or not? No, 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 no. You ain't going to call and try to manipulate me into buying, like, your your, your sh- talking sh- and then you're trying to make me buy sh- So I ain't going to do nothing for you. you sh- disrespecting me, calling my phone, trying to act like you, like, just trying to manipulate sh- I ain't down with that, bro. I ain't down okay, with well, that. Okay, well, let me ask you. So you, you don't want to buy my cookies, though. So do you want me to call your your girl and see if she'll buy my cookies? Bro, you better stay the f*** away from my girl, man. Like, don't don't f- come near her, okay? You don't call her. You don't come near her. You don't come near me. You just need to get the f*** out of here. I'm about to start 69 this f- figure out who you are and come right after you, man. Like, cause I ain't playing, bro. I ain't okay, playing. Okay, so I'm, 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 I'll tell you what, man. I ain't gonna argue with you. I ain't gonna argue with you. But I, I'll get off the phone right now. I'll get off right now. And I'm gonna yeah, you call your girl. I'm gonna call your girl and see if you wanna no. buy some cookies. No, 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 no. You ain't calling nobody. You, you just get, you, you get. I swear to God, I'm gonna find out who you are. I'm gonna find out who gave you that number. I'm gonna call you up. Like, you don't, you don't call me trying to harass okay. me. Okay, hey, man, hey, hey, you know what, Adrian? Cool. We're still talking about it, all right? I'm going to get the phone right. like you. So, so, so I'll get off the phone like you want me to, Adrian. I'll do that. But let me, let me ask you this, though. Let me ask you this, though. You sure you want me to call You sure you want me to do that? Right? Isn't that, isn't that her name? Man, you a up individual. All right, look, how much are these cookies? How much you want? Hey, man. Tommy told me you would buy the cookies. Tommy. Yeah. Tommy told me you would buy the cookies. Tommy? <laughs> Tommy? Hey, man. Hey, man, check this out. This is Nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Your co-worker got me to pray phone call you. Uh, <laughs> oh, 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 my God. I'm going to kill him. Damn! Wow. I was so shit, bro. Oh god! Listen, listen, so listen, Adrian. We have beeped. We have beeped all the names, so nobody knows the names at all. Okay, you're good, bro.
Yeah. Ooh, but hurt. Okay. You gonna be in a hurry. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, but hurt. Yeah. Maybe let's go. Hello? Hello, I'm trying to reach Sean, please. Yeah, that's me. What's up? Hey Sean, how you doing? This my name is Brian. Um, I got you on schedule. Um, you you ordered an Uber for tomorrow morning. I'm. A, I think yes, you're. Sir. Yep. Okay. You are you just you scheduled to go to work, correct? Absolutely. Yes. Okay. All right. And I want to make sure you you wanted an SUV. Yeah, I wanted an SUV. Okay, and that's ninety two eleven West uh, What is that? Holman. 9211 West Roman Drive? That's correct. Okay. All right. All right. So I'll be outside uh, tomorrow morning. We're talking about uh, 7 p.m. 7 a.m. pickup, correct? That's it. I got you. You got it. Everything's on point. Okay. All right. So listen, I wanted to let you know this, man. You uh, you ordered an SUV. I'll be there tomorrow. Um, I'll be there probably a little bit before 7 a.m. You know, when you guys order Uber uh, way in advance, you know, we try to get there almost like car service and make sure we get you where you got to go and I, I know the traffic's going to be a little crazy so uh, I'll be there on time I'll be downstairs waiting on you all right I'd appreciate it okay, okay. Now, now listen I'm 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 a SUV but it's a kind of a little different so that's why I kind of the reason for the call I wanted to kind of give you a heads up that uh I, I I am an SUV so I just want you to look for the uh the black hearse that'll be outside a hearse yeah, I, I'll be in a black hearse tomorrow morning, uh, at seven a.m. Uh, okay, uh, okay. I thought so, it's, it's an SUV or a hearse. No, no, it's a hearse. It's a hearse. Actually, what's happening is, is I, I have another drop off at the airport as well. You know, there's a. I mean, it's, it's, it won't affect you at all. But there'll there'll be a body in the back. But that has to. We're, we're trying to get that to the airport too. But uh, a, you know, like I said, and, and a, as a matter of fact, it's a actually, body. Wait a minute, hold on. Yeah, you, you f with me, man. No, no, no. I, I ain't no, trying to no my body. Well, there's a, there's, I mean, there'll be a body, but actually, this is costing you less. You know what I'm saying? So you don't have to. Look, you know, man. Well, I'm supposed to lay down next to this mother. What, 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 what you talking about, man? Dude, it'll be. I, it'll I, be I, a, I ain't ride with no motherfucking body. Hang on, man. Listen, you wanted an SUV. I'm not ride with no motherfucking body, dude. Are you tripping? Cancel this trip. I, I'll get another Uber or some. Shit. I'm not riding with a body, dude. Okay, if you cancel, that's gonna cost you fifty dollars. Fifty dollars, my man. You got like you got know, like just downloaded the Uber app. Here's the deal. I know for a fact when you cancel Uber, it's five dollars. I'm canceling, and that's gonna be five dollars. It's not gonna be no fifty dollars, dude. It's gonna be fifty dollars, sir. It's different when you have. Look, my man, you can pay me a thousand dollars. I'm not riding with a body. You, you feel me? No, I understand you. I understand you now. But do you want to get to the airport or not? Look, why don't you lay down next to the body and you drive yourself there next with the body, like, in, in the passenger seat? I'm not doing that. Tell me what the problem is. I mean, obviously, you used to driving around with bodies and shit. That's not my thing. You know what I'm saying? What What's the problem? I mean, you're going to be in the front of the hearse. You're not going to be in the back. We'll put While your the body's in, in the back. We'll put your luggage in the back. I mean, that'll be fine, right? Yo, my man, you tripping, man. This is a crazy shit. You calling the wrong with this crazy bull dude. I'm not doing none of that what, what part of that don't you understand? I, I'm going to get you there on time, sir, but it's going to be in a hearse. That's all the difference is, man. The You'll be riding, I'm up riding in a hearse when I'm supposed to be laid out in it. You understand? Right now, you got me up. What kind of phone call is this? Well, I mean, what's, you, what's, what's the problem? Obviously, you're used to rolling with, with dead bodies and hearses and all that shit. Since when it over, start rolling with hearses to pick up regular live motherfuckers to get them from place to place. This is some crazy Good. I want you to think, when when did you think that it would just be cool as a regular picking up a body and just driving around in the street? I, I, I don't know, man. I mean, you know, I got two jobs. You know what I'm saying? I do Uber, you know, and I also, you know, work for a mortuary. So, you know what I'm saying? So, no, but my vehicle is is certified and, and Uber approved it, so I'm able to use it as an SUV as so, well. So, you, you call them and you give a ride to live motherfuckers and they don't have no reaction, no reaction to riding around with a motherfucking body in the back. Well, you know, uh, sometimes there's people act a little, you know, a little, it's a little different for them. I get it, you know, 
But like I said, the only reason why I'm calling you well, like obviously that, you, know, you don't get that shit because you're trying to hit me with a fifty dollar motherfucking charge that I'm not I'm not going for, and you're trying to get me to ride with a motherfucking dead body, dude. I'm not doing that. Shit. So I tell you what, bro. I'm gonna tell you this right here. And I'm gonna get off the phone. Uh, tomorrow at seven in the morning, me and Tommy gonna be here. So be looking for us here. Who's Tommy? The body? No, no. Me and Tommy gonna be there tomorrow morning at seven a.m. You understand? Just be ready for that. Then you and Tommy gonna have a problem. Okay, okay. All right. Tell that to Tommy though, because see, Tommy don't Tommy don't take this too kindly. So tell it to him in the morning. Who's Tommy? Is he, he on for now? Okay. You don't know who Tommy is? No, I don't. Who the f is Tommy? Okay, do you know Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show? Do you know nephew Tommy? Oh, come on, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. That's a Hey, man. I'm coming in a hurry. <laughs> no, man, your boy, you, you got a boy named Chase that you work with. Chase gave me your number, told me to give you a call. Oh, <laughs> man. Yo, that, I'm going to put that <laughs> in a hearse, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. Hey, man, you got to give me one more thing, man. What is the baddest? I'm talking about the baddest radio show in the land. <laughs> the Steve Harvey Morning Show. <laughs> hey, man, I'll pick you up at 7, all right? Be there. <laughs> All right. <laughs>
Yeah. You need to lower your voice. Okay, but now, no. I, you listen. need to go back to whoever do your credit cards because it went through when I was at the store, correct? I don't want to. I, I, I didn't go I, through already, yes or no. I told you that it went through. I explained I that. Mean, you ain't got no business on my damn phone. And don't call me with this bull no more. Hold on just a me? minute. What I don't want to have to do, I don't want to have to come out to your home and compensate. I said, what? I wish you would come out to my house, baby. We will beat you into bad health. You better not bring your ass over here. Look, you need to call whoever do your credit cards. Get your ass straight with them because your business with me is done. I got a receipt and I got an extended warrant. I will have my lawyer turn your ass up. You bring your ass over here. Now, that's I, listen, lady, I don't want to go back and forth with you on this and that. You ain't going back and forth. This is over with. I got the TV. I got a receipt. We is done. I don't know what's wrong with your machine. This is My not, car went she's, through. She's, I'm trying to get her to understand I'm, that we you, need you her to come in. You don't understand what I'm saying. Man, if you, can hang, on, if you can hang on, if you can hang on one second and let me speak with my boss, please. I don't your boss on the phone. I tell your boss, y'all don't run me, baby. I got a receipt for four TVs, and I'm gonna keep all four TVs. Listen, you know this is pretty much considered a theft process. Oh yeah. what? A theft process. You came in, you came in to ask a ticket. Listen here, Pimpin. Listen to me, Pimpin. I got a receipt for four TV. I walked out the store with my receipt. I got my extended warranty. So this ain't no theft. What this is is a miscommunication between your bank. So you need to get your straight because I got a prepaid debit card, baby. I don't owe nobody on them TVs. You need to call your bank and get the up off my phone with this you stole some TVs from our store and damn it, you're gonna bring them back. Are you gonna get your you come get them. You're damn right, I got four TVs. Your dumb machine got them coming. I'm gonna keep them. We gonna watch the game on your TV. Bring your over here if you want to. We will mop the floor with your. Don't you call me by no TVs no more. So you the one ain't gonna have no job for the holiday with your dumb. Don't call me you gotta get for using bad credit cards at department stores, and I'll get your called in. Do you understand me? So that's your problem. You put the four TVs back in. So Uncle Tom, threaten the white man for his TV. You better get you a business or some a detail shop or start a rap label. Get the out. Work for them white folks. Don't confront me about that TV. You better get the that. Get off my phone anyway. Listen, you listen to me. I got one more thing I need to say to you. I ain't there with your scary Are you listening to me? What the f do you want? This is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey morning. I don't give a f about nobody's nephew. Come over here about them damn TV. This is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey morning show. You just got pranked by your girlfriend. Wait a minute, wait a minute. This is who now? <laughs> this, this who? This is nephew Tommy, baby, from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just got pranked by, by your, <laughs> your girlfriend. <laughs> oh, Tommy, you almost got your feet. I know that didn't set me up. I was going to get your feet. You ain't that now. <laughs> It's hard. You cannot play with people like this. <laughs> oh, man. I got one more thing to ask you, baby. What is the baddest radio show in the land? Oh, the Steve Harvey Morning Show. <laughs>
at, oh, what, what does this have to do with anything of how long okay. I've been doing sign language? I know okay, sign language. So, I've been doing it for years. So how, how may I help you with this? Do you want to okay, learn sign so, language? No, no, I'm not trying to learn any sign language. Do you, do you know Miss, uh, everybody call her Miss Myrtle. Do you know Miss Myrtle? Uh, yeah, I sure do. Mm-hmm. Okay, so Miss Myrtle, that that's 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 one of my aunties right there, Miss Myrtle. Okay, All right? and, and, and she and, gave and, you my number to call me. I'm I, what? What do you need from me? Did she give you? No, my no, no, that's what I'm getting at. So, so you know, Miss, you know my, you know my aunt is, is deaf. You know she's hearing okay. impaired. You know that, right? Okay. Yes. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh -huh. So, so here's a problem. A A Myrtle is telling us that you're not doing the sign language right doing the service and like you missing some things in the scripture or something no no, like no, no 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 that's incorrect i've been doing this for a very long time and i know what i'm doing so okay. how do you so she told you uh, to call me to tell me that i'm not doing the sign language correctly that's really funny uh, uh, let me say it. let me say this to you let me say, I, I don't want us to get off on the wrong foot let me just say this to you once my once my murder told us what was going on you know we then went to one of the deacons and asked him, you know, is there a way we can uh, have a meeting, you know, with, with, with Sister Lauren so we can try to get this taken care of and, and talk okay. about it. He said, well, okay. won't you just, won't you just call and y'all can just work it out. And, and that's how I'm, I'm, I'm calling you now. I'm, okay. I, I hope, I don't know if you're at work or whatever. I apologize, but I'm just trying to get to the bottom of it. Now, let me go and say this. If my ain't murder say that you ain't signing right, then my ain't ain't lying. That mean your ass, excuse me, that means you ain't signing right. Really? So the pastor couldn't come to me, but he, but you figured you would just call me and tell me that your auntie says that I'm doing it incorrectly. That doesn't make sense to me. How did she tell you that? Did she sign it to you? She signed language to her daughter. My, my, listen, you ain't got to worry about who she's signing to. What you need to worry about is getting your, sh getting your stuff together. All right. And learning how to do this the correct way so that my auntie can mean. get, yeah. you know, my auntie needs to be getting the word like everybody else getting the word, but she not getting it because you, the word's getting lost in your hands. All I'm hearing is your voice is getting very loud and you need to match my tone, young man. Okay, let's start with that. What Don't you mean, match your, my, match, oh, oh, oh. Match match your tone, tone, young man? Yes. What is that? Match my tone because you're getting very loud and I can't hear through all of that. All right? Okay, so I'm okay, well, let me. Let me I am I'm trying to have a situation. You called my phone, correct? You have a problem that you're discussing with me, but you're getting more angry than anything else. How am I going to resolve this problem? I am trying to be as cordial. The way you resolve this you. problem is carry your ass back to science school so you can learn what you need to so my Thank auntie you. can get the word. My auntie can't you're get the gospel because you're messing it up. God anointed me to do sign language at that church. And I've been doing it for a long time and I will continue to do so. So don't call my phone telling me that I'm not doing something right. You know but what? But do God I'm know that you're not doing it right? Do God know that? Does God know that my aim Myrtle not God getting the word because of you? Lord's name, Young man, Jesus, please give me the strength to continue on with this conversation. But you know what, Lord? I'm gonna be right back. Little m let me tell you your something don't you ever call my mother freaking phone telling about i ain't doing something man if i see you in the street this can i have is gonna go upside your damn head did i make myself clear i cannot believe you talking to me like this oh now you want to be calm now you're calm now you match my phone i have engaged. I, I can't time. believe you just got you talking to me like that are we done here so you think it's cool for you to tell the lord I'll be right back. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, I needed a moment. I'm you human, right? We've been on this phone this long. You've been all skewing at me. I told you to match my tone. Match my tone. I am matching your tone. No. Can I, I say, I can, I, can I give you something yeah. else in this tone? Do you mind if I say something in this tone? You're going to hear a click and a die real quick. Go ahead. See what you have to say. I just want to tell you in this tone. That your friend, Bonda Taylor, got me to prank phone call you. I am nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show in your tone. Jesus, oh Lord, have mercy. <laughs> you have me on the break. <laughs> Bonda? Ah! Bonda Taylor. Bonda Taylor. <laughs> Tell me, you better not put this on the radio. You better not put this on the radio. Bonda, I'm going to you in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> radio. 
I'm not playing any games, Tommy. I think it's funny, but it's, this is my job here. Listen, everything is fine. I you had me going there. I had to tell Jesus, give me a minute, because you was about to bring my pressure up. Oh, Lord have mercy. I don't even want to hear this, but I will be calling Bonda because I have some mercy. Oh, Lord, Lord, Father, Lord, Father, please forgive me. Oh. Oh, Lord, okay, get, okay, you got to you got to do this for me in my tone. In my tone, in it, my it's twenty twenty. Tell me in your tone what is the baddest radio show in the land? She got now the shoplifter. <laughs> Let's go, cat dog. Hello. Uh, yes, I'm trying to reach a Tanya, please. Uh, hi, Tanya. Uh, my name is Daniel. I'm the head of store security here at your job. Yeah. Uh, listen, I'm trying to see. Um, I'm gonna have to. I know today's your day off. I'm looking at the schedule here. It seems that you don't come back in until Saturday. Um, I'm trying to see if it's possible I can get you to come to the store. There's a bit of a situation I want to discuss with you. There's about eighteen hundred dollars worth of merchandise missing from the store. What? And, yeah, there's about eighteen hundred dollars worth of merchandise, and we definitely know that this is a in-house situation this is not someone walking in shoplifting this is definitely a um an in-house situation uh, with employees who have evidently been shoplifting from the store taking things and we want to get down to the uh to the roots of the problem okay uh, so what you calling me for well ma'am it's um uh, it's been brought to my attention that there's a possibility that you may be uh, uh part of this situation and part of the situation i ain't no thief I don't steal. You don't call my house accusing me of stealing. I ain't stole nothing from no body. Okay, well, my, hang on, man. What I'm trying to do is just trying to... to... Hang on, my... You trying to say I done stole something, and I ain't stole the thing. Okay, wait just a second. Now, do you have a sister named Cynthia? Yeah. That, well, here on some of the footage that we have on camera, that uh, it's a possibility that it seems like your sister is actually wearing some of the merchandise that we sell here in the store. And okay, just because she wears something that we sell in the store don't mean that I stole it. Well, we don't see where she's at. I, I, I backed the footage up as far as I could. I don't see any footage of where she purchased this particular merchandise. And my assumption is maybe you gave it to her. I ain't gave her shit. And just because you don't see where somebody purchased it don't mean that it's been stolen. Okay. Here's what I'm going to I'm going to just get to the chase of this, Tanya. What I'm going to have to do is this. If I can't get you to come to the store, man, and matter of fact, here's another question for you before I go any further. You have children at all, Tanya? Yeah, I got children. Why? Do you, is it possible, because uh, I'm missing a lot of baby merchandise as well. And You know what? You know what? You really cruising for an this morning, okay? Because well, you don't call somebody on their off day accusing them of stealing. Okay, here's what I got to do. Uh, uh, are you coming into the office so I can talk with you? I'm not coming no where on my off day. Well, then what's going to happen, Miss Tanya, is I'm going to have to actually come to your home, check your closet. I'm going to have to check your kids and see you if they're do what? check and see if they're wearing merchandise that be, that comes from this. Come to my house if you want to, and they're going to take your ass up out of here in the body bag. You Excuse me? me? You heard what I said. You heard what I said. You don't call nobody. I bust my ass at that store. I bust my ass at that store. You understand me? I work hard for y'all, okay? You, you've been busting. You've been busting. You call here accusing me of stealing. I ain't stole from nobody. You, I don't have to steal. That's why I work all day. You understand me? I think you've been that's busting that's your butt taking day. stuff is what you've been doing. You've I been from nobody. You understand me? I do not steal. I'm going to come over there. I'm checking your closets. Things, but it ain't no teeth. You understand? And I'm checking your babies as well. And I'm making. You check my babies and see what happens. You put your hands on any damn thing in here and see what happens. Okay? I don't want to have to drag you your butt. Over here. Drag oh, you're going to drag somebody? Oh, now you threatening me? I don't want to drag you out of your house. Security guard. You're a tough security guard. You like your job that much? You willing to die for that? Huh? Who said anything about me dying? I did. Come over here, and that's what's going to happen. That's what happens. When you f*** with people on their off day, you get hurt, okay? I get a couple of damn days off, and y'all going to call me with this b***. So are you threatening me now? I'm threatening you. Didn't you just call and say you was coming over here? Yes, Bring I did. Bring your over here. Bring your I, I'm, Bring your security 
security guard. I'm and on my. Don't look. Let, let me tell you something. Okay. I can yeah. you. I can no, have you brought up on that. charges. You know that. Bring me up on charges and see what happens. That's Bring it. me up on charge. See if you get that far. I'm on my way over there now to check you and your kids. You understand me? Come over here to check me and my kids and see how they check your up out of here. Let me tell you something. I, you I, ain't got to tell me. You ain't got nothing to tell me. You ain't look, got look, nothing look, look. else you, to tell why, me, okay? Why don't, you, why don't you go ahead and tell me what you took? Maybe I'll go light on you. I'll go light you on you. You think I'm stupid or something? You sound like a damn fool. Why don't you tell me what you took? I ain't took I bet you're teaching your little kids over there how to steal, too, aren't you? What? What you teach your little ugly kids? Hey, 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 hey. Now, you will hey, not. Hey, 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 my ass. Hey, don't call me with this bull on my off day. Let me tell you one more. Th Are you listening to me? I got one more uh, thing to say to you. You ain't got nothing else to say to me. Are you listening? What? This is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Martin Show. You just got pranked from uh. your sister Cynthia. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, okay. So you and that bro want to play games, okay? Y'all want to play, right? Y'all got jokes. Y'all got jokes. I got a joke for both of y'all, okay? I'm well, around here taking care of her and all her little ugly <laughs> kids, and she don't play with me. Am I okay? Hey, all right. So you, she, told right. Me, she told me, she said, uh, that Tommy be be pranking people. You can't nobody get me with that old crazy stuff. How come them people don't know somebody calling and tripping with this? You told me you couldn't. You thought you couldn't be God. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's all right. Y'all got me. Y'all got me. Uh, <laughs> it's all good. Honey, you it's be, all good. Well, I love you. I not, love you, nephew Tommy. <laughs> I got some bugs like <laughs> 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 Hello? Hello, I'm trying to reach Franklin. Yeah, this is Franklin. Hey, Franklin, how you doing? This is Roosevelt giving you a call from Human Resources. Human Resources? Hey, hey, what's up, Roosevelt? What can I do for uh, you? Uh, all right, man. I'm calling you from Human Resources, Full Transit, Full Transit Partners, where you, uh, been, uh, you've you been driving trucks for us for uh, quite some time now. What are you, you six, six, six and a half years right now? Man, I'm eight and a half years. You two years short, baby. <laughs> okay, eight and a half years. How you doing, man? I'm good, man. Enjoying this road life, man. I love working with you guys, man. The benefits is there. I mean, um, I'm surprised to get a call from you. I mean, I mean, hope everything. Well, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sure you're on the road right now. You're probably driving. I wanted to give you a call. And uh, is this a bad time? Or can you talk right now? Yeah, I actually pulled over, man. I had to get something to eat, man. Okay, okay. So listen, let me tell you what's going on here with uh. But GTP, what we're doing is we are doing uh, some job exchange, and uh, some of the uh, drivers that we have uh, have been pulled out of a pool, and uh, some of you guys are going to be actually driving in different places now. So for the next six months, uh, within the next thirty days here, Franklin, you're going to be um, you're uh, you're going to be driving trucks in South Africa. You're going to be or, or, or for about six, for about six, about six months, you're gonna drive in oh, South Africa. Oh, whoa, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, listen, I ain't got no problem with South Africa, but y'all, y'all rather smart. I'm not going to no South Africa. I don't okay. know how to drive on the right hand side of the road, man. I love Africans. I love everything about Africa, but I'm not going. I got a family out here in the United States of America, and you're trying to tell me I got to go to South Africa. Come on, man. What type of are you on, man? It, it, it's, it's, frankly, it's part of the job exchange is what it is, man. I don't okay. know what type you're of only, job you're, exchange you're, I got going on, man. I don't want to be part of that job exchange. No, no. I'm not going to no damn South Africa. This is okay, not but, happening, but, but, man. This is just, listen to me, Franklin. Six months and you'll be back in the states, okay? Let me let me say what this. What type to you, of National man? Geographic program y'all got going on, man? I don't know this, what y'all got going on that y'all calling me. I'm in the middle of the parking lot trying to eat me a cheeseburger from being on the road all night, and you talking about sending me to South Africa? What type of are you on, man? There's some foreign exchange program y'all got going on. I'm not this, being this, part of this. You pull my name out of pool like it was a to come tell me that I'm up to be driving in South Africa. This, this must be a joke. No, no, I'm, no, no, I'm no. not. So you're, no, this no, is no, a good, no. this is a good, this is a good thing, though, Franklin. I think you're gonna like it. And no, um, no it's not a know, good thing. What are you telling me is a good thing? I got wife and kids. What am I? What, am, what the f are you talking about, South Africa? Do they even have 
roadways out there. I'm not going to f- South Carolina. Are you serious? No, no, you uh, I'm, not, I'm, not he- I'm not. I'm not. I'm not hearing this correct, brother. I'm not hearing this correct, Mr. Roses. Oh, I don't. South what? Okay, my okay, kid plays baseball. Just, just, just Are you telling me to go to f- South Africa? Are you serious? Okay, this the price. Hear me out here, man. Let me, like, like, like I said, they 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 pull names out of the pool, and uh, you and about fifteen other guys are going to be going to different parts I don't of the world. F- what type of pool you pulled it in? You better put me back in the shallow part. You going to the deep end pool? Of, man, get the. F- I'm not going to f- South Africa. I am not going to no. f- South okay. Africa. I don't, I'm okay. not taking no malaria shots. I don't even got a passport. You want me to go to? Well, listen to me, Franklin. We're going to get you all the shots you need within the next 30 days, so you'll be set to go. You know, I'm not going to. I, I, I go around go to South Africa, and Trump won't let me back in the country because of y'all. My, I'll, I'll, I'll quit right now. I'm not going to South Africa. It's a job exchange, Franklin. Okay, let me say this. What what type of job exchange? So so what what are we exchanging? You bringing South Africans over here, and then you bringing me over there? Y'all f***ing around, leave me. I'm not going. My wife is not going to be happy about this. I'm not going. My my son plays baseball. Can I I tell you this? Your your salary actually doubles the six months while you're over there? Don't try to to tell me about that South African dollars. Or American dollars. What is it? What is it? It's American. It, it, it will be American dollars. Don't, don't, don't try that. It will be American me, dollars, man. Franklin. Fra- Franklin, it will be American dollars. I'm not going to no South Africa. I am not going. Matter of fact, this is my last day in the road. Y'all can come pick up this rig in the parking lot because I'm not going to South Africa. I don't care how you spell it or you say it. I ain't going. Okay. Okay, okay. Franklin. Listen, uh, you've been with the country, company eight, eight plus years, and I just got to tell you, you are obligated. You've been chosen out of a pool. All you have to do is six months. You're going to get paid double. Your family's going to be fine. You'll be back. And I ain't obligated months. to do shit, but drive a truck like I do every day. I'm not going. You can't tell okay. me about being obligated. Let me tell you what I'm obligated to do. I'm obligated to throw this truck in fourth gear and drive right through your in human resources window because I ain't going to South Africa and I keep telling you that I told you that since you got on the damn phone I ain't going nowhere oh, okay uh, but, 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 but let me ask you something Franklin you, you've been here for what is for eight some years man you don't you don't want to continue your job here with the company I don't give a about this job right now trying to send me overseas like you're setting me up for something I ain't going matter of fact let me turn this truck on right now I'm coming down to see you Mr. Rose is out. Okay, wait, 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 hold on now. Do you know uh, Jermaine Yeah, I know Rivers. But what do you got to do with it? Okay, let me go on and say this, Franklin. This right here that you talking to is nephew Tommy. And your boy Rivers got me to prank phone call. You just got pranked by your boy Jermaine Rivers. Oh, that <laughs> mother... Wait till I see... Rivers. So you ain't no Rosa though, and I ain't gotta go to South Africa. No, oh, my God. <laughs> oh man, what the beer should I bring, man? Y'all want some beer? Man, everybody over here pretty much do Budweiser, man. Now, who, who'd you say this was again? This is Lawrence. This is Lawrence, man. I ran into your wife at the um the supermarket, and she was telling me y'all was. You know, getting together, and she told me to, you know, come on through if I had some time. So I didn't want to just come through there without nothing. You know what I'm saying? I want to, you know, come through empty handed, looking disrespectful, man. Yeah, yeah, I feel it, man. We just, we pretty much over here just chicken and watching the game, man. You can, you know, some beer, some ice. That'll, that'll be good, bro. Okay, 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 cool, man. Well, listen, um, I mean, I mean, people y'all gonna have. I want to make sure I bring enough stuff. Yeah, but who, who you? I can, I can hit, man. Who'd you say this was again, though? My name is Lawrence, man. My name is Lawrence. I went to, uh, I went to school with Glenda. Oh, okay. You went to see went to school, with Glenda. Okay, Lawrence. Huh? Yeah, yeah. We went we went to school together. So you know, we we I ain't seen her like man. I swear it's been like fifteen, twenty years. You know what I mean? Ironically, you know, I just got back to town. You know, two weeks ago, and, and to you know, run into a classmate. I was like, wow. But but you know, I, uh, she invited me out, man. I ain't been nowhere since I got here. So you know, it, it's cool just to get out a little bit. So you know, you say Budweiser, and I bring some ice, man. So yeah, we good, we good. So I'm just gonna bring a couple cases. That's cool. Yeah, man, that's that's cool. But you you say Glenda, which y'all did y'all y'all went to high school or college or what? And where'd you where'd you meet her at? No, no, no. Me and me and Glenda went to high school together, dog. 
Oh, y'all went to high school together. Yeah, that's back in the day. You know what I'm saying? Okay. You say, what'd you say? You said your name, Lawrence. Yeah, Lawrence. Lawrence. Yeah, we went to high school together, man. That was, uh, you know, that, man, Glenn is still look good, dog. That's, how long y'all been married? Man, we've been married for about 16 years, man. Wow. 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 Okay. Yeah, 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 man. You did good, man. I, I, I hate I messed it up. You know what I mean? But, you know, it's, it's neither here nor there, man. But it's just ironic that I ran into her, man. So I just appreciated the invite. I saw, I saw Glenda, man. Yo, 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 your girl looking good, man. I ain't seen her in a long time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yo, man. What do you, let's back up a minute, man. What, what you mean you, you hate you messed that up? What you mean by that? Well, no, that's, no. Okay, okay. My bad, dog. I'm, I'm thinking you familiar with my name. No, um, see, Glenda was, um, Glenda was my high school sweetheart. You know, we dated from, from ninth grade to the twelfth grade, man. We went to prom together. All right, right. Look, all right, man. I see. Um, you know what, man? I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a, let me see. All right. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what Glenda, what, what she meant by, by telling you she, you could come through the crib, bro. But you, you can't come through my house, dog. I mean, I didn't, I didn't have mine back in the day and, and, and she might have had hers, bro. But you, you can't come over my house, dude. Okay. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, man. Nah. Glenda then invited me, and I'm coming. I don't, I don't know what what the hostility is, but man, but I'm I'm coming to the house. You ain't you ain't coming to my house, though. Hey, dog, yeah. listen to me, man. I'm not gonna sit in and go back and forth with you. I done ran into Glenda in the store. Glenda said she, you know, it was good to see me, you know, come through tonight. I said cool, you know, and she gave me the number on asking you what else I should, you know, what else I should get, you know. So I'm I'm calling you saying, hey, man, you want some ice and some beer? I'm going to roll through, man. It's just a party, dog. You insecure? What's, what's up? No, I ain't no insecure. Listen, listen to me, dog. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go and get Glenda. All right? And, and this, because this right here don't make sense to me, dog. What you mean Glenda invited you to the house? And I'm telling you right now, you ain't coming to my house, bro. If you come to my house, you're going to get up. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So what you, what you threatening me now, dog? That's what you're doing? You, who, who is you, dog? I'm her first. That's who I am. Dog? I would never do that first. I'm her first. I'm the one she really remember. What you mean you, you the one she really remember? I'm her first, dog. See, man, I, I look, man. I, I, like I said, you bring your punk over to my house, and it's gonna be about twenty waiting on you. All right, all my boys over here, we kicking it. All right, you bring your over here, you gonna leave. I promise you that. I tell you what, man, I'll be over there because Glenda the one invited me and I'm showing up. And if you start tripping with me, guess what, dog? It's all in popping. One thing I ain't forgot is my first love. And my first love then invited me to the house. Man, I can't I can't even deal with this right here, bro. I'm gonna tell you, you no, know, you you obviously you don't spoke to Glenda. You know where the I live, all right? You show your up. I want you to come on, I want you to come on over and you show up. Like I said, you show up and your ain't going home. I promise you that, bro. Uh, well, I, it's, it's whatever then, man. It's whatever. Bro. This, hey, bro, look, look, man. Me and my boys over here, we just waiting on it. We just waiting on it. All you got to do is, is make the move, bro. All you got to okay. do is make well, the move. Well, I tell you what, man. I'm just, I'm, let me call Glenda. See, I need to call Glenda. Because see, 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 Glenda. Yeah, let me get Glenda. Who the f*** are you, dog? Who the f*** are you? I'm going to tell you one more time. I am Glenda. First. I don't give a and, and it sound like I might be her last, her everything. This must be out his mind, CeeLo. Listen, I got this pop on the phone, bro. Look, yo, yo, dog. Hey, let me ask you this here, man. You don't even know where Glenda's spot at, do you? Do you? What the? I know where her spot at. What the? Who the are you, dog? What the think this is, bro? Hey, man, man I... you bring your over here. I want you to show up at my. You call me with this stupid, bro. You talking about my girl? My girl's spot. You come, but I want to see you at the crib right now, bro. Get your in your whip right now. You drive down to my and I'm going to you up, bro. You ain't going to do nothing to me. What? I said you ain't going to do nothing, do nothing to, me. to you, huh? I ain't going to do nothing to you. I promise you bring over here, bro. I'm telling you, you're not going home, dog. You're not going home. Whatever. I got one more thing I want to say to you. Is you That's listening? Talking, my girl? What the I, I got one more thing I want to say to you, though. Is you listening to me? I'm not listening to you, Hey, man, is you listening? Is you listening? Because evidently you ain't. Are you listening to me? You want to say this is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey morning show. You just got pranked by your wife, Glenda. <laughs> you see? <right? laughs> you playing, man. <laughs> you playing, dog. <laughs> I'm going to kill y'all, man. <laughs> I'm...
Right, I'm so glad this is a joke, bro. I'm telling you, because one of us was leaving here tonight, bro. <laughs> Too much chicken. You can never have too much chicken. <laughs> nope. Never. Nope. <laughs> like people, we tired of it. Too much chicken. Let's, Let's go, cat dog. Hello? Hello. I'm trying to reach Jason, please. This is Jason. Hi, Jason. My name is Remy. I'm calling with uh, BPE TMC. How's your day going? I'm doing fine, but we're the BT, wherever that is. BPE TMC. Uh, it's an organization. We've been around for the last five years, and we're trying to help different things in the black community. And I wanted to reach out and give you a call and see if you would be on board or help signing a petition that we're going to have uh, going around with BPE TMC, if you don't mind. Okay, what is it about? Well, BPE TMC, uh, uh, Jason, is uh, Black People Eat Too Much Chicken. And what we're trying to do is cut back well, the, the shortage of chicken. About black people eat too much chicken. Who the hell is this? I'm, my, uh, my, name, my name is Remy, sir. Okay, what do you mean by Black People Eat Too Much Chicken? We've done a we've we've done a, uh, a a test study, and we realized, sir, that black people are the ones that are eating too much chicken. And what we want to do is try to cut back because right now there's a sh the Chinese and ask them they eat all kinds of chicken, chicken foo young, all this shit. chicken. The white people eat chicken pelly, yeah. all this shit. chicken, chicken stir fried rice with chicken and all this. Shit. You want to come to me talking about white person eat too much damn chicken? Did you ask the white people? I bet you didn't know with no white folks. I bet you don't go to them, y'all. Out of them. Uh, well, sir, we're going we're to get to the starting in the black community. You Black people are the ones that seem to buy the most chicken. Man, no chicken. Guess what? I don't eat chicken. And if I did eat some chicken, I'd be cursing. Man, who the Are you big or something? you. you hey, how in the y'all got my number in it? Where you get it sir, from? Well, actually, we're getting numbers from the supermarket, uh, and we're getting a listing of people hey, who buy the most chicken. Supermarket, you get my number in no supermarket sir what, right, the, the main thing we're trying to get you to do is cut back on eating chicken now what man, we want I you to do i don't eat no chicken and you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go and eat some chicken and don't call me with no about eating too much chicken I don't even call my phone do you got that hello hello I'm, I'm i'm trying to reach uh callaway is this callaway yeah yeah it's callaway who's this uh, how you doing? My name is Remy. I'm with BPE TMC, and uh, who, who, who? My name is Remy, sir. I'm with BPE TMC. What we're doing is we have a petition we're trying to get signed throughout the black community uh, the, of some things that we're trying to actually help out in the black community. Uh huh. So BPE TMC is actually an organization, and we're trying to actually uh, save some things in the black community. Oh, what's what's B? What is that? What's that stand for? What the hell is that? BP, what is that for? Uh, BPE TMC is, is, uh, black people eat too much chicken. And what man. we're trying to do is get. Man, you gotta be kidding me, man. Who is this, man? This is, this is Remy, sir. We're trying to get you all to actually sign a petition. What's going on is black people are buying too much chicken. Oh, uh, you gotta be kidding me with this, man. Is this a white man? Who, who is this, man? I, I am Caucasian, sir. Yes. Man, why are you calling me with this? Well, what we're Remy? trying to do is. Get, we're trying to get. How, how, how did you get my number? First of all, uh, actually, we get it. We're getting numbers from supermarkets that are letting us know. Man, the, you uh, got to be the people. That, man, you gonna get the off my phone with this man? Talk about some eating chicken, man. You, boy, you gonna make me get smack one of y'all? What the f I don't you? Okay, sir. What we're trying to do is get you guys to cut back on buying chicken. Man, who's you guys? What the f are you talking about? You guys? Well, the black really? community is the black community. Not, sir, hey, man, my, you better go on with that. We ain't got time for this, man. Don't be calling my phone with that, man. Hello? Hello, I'm trying to reach Valerie, uh, uh, Val. This is she. How can I help you? Hi, my name is Remy. I'm with uh, BPE TMC. How you doing? I'm doing fine. And you? I'm very well, ma'am. Listen, what we're trying to do is, uh, if I take a little bit of your time, we're trying to actually get a um, survey signed by people in the black community. We're actually trying to help out in the black community. The organization is BPE TMC, and what this is is black what is people. That? Eat, what, what is that? Uh, that's that's black people eat too much chicken. So what we're doing is we're trying to get black uh, do what? Black, say black say that one more time for me. Black people eat too much chicken. You see, there's been a shortage in chicken. So what we're trying to do is get black there's people to cut back. There's been a shortage in chicken, and you want to do a survey? 
what we want what we want you guys to do is sign a petition that you're not going to eat any more chicken this year. That doesn't even make sense. We just don't eat chicken. You know, we eat beef, we eat steak, we eat fish. I don't see you trying to pull that off the market. Now, why would you uh, want to tell us not to um, to eat chicken and we eat other stuff, too? Where are you okay, getting your deep so findings from? Because this doesn't the, the, make any the, sense. The test study, man, was over chicken. And it just seems like that. No, who that, did the uh, test study? Who did this test study? Well, we did, man. We're BPE TMC, and what, what we're, after doing the test study, we did realize that the the, the black people are the ones well, that are eating. the test food. only just directed to black people? I mean, did you use white people? Because white people eat chicken too. Did you guys always on diets and stuff? Okay, man. Well, that, did that, you that, use that, Asians? Uh, what about the Hispanics? Did you use them? Okay, ma'am. Listen, what the, the the bottom line is. Our first study is black people. And what we're trying to do is get you guys to cut back on eating. No, your study should be everybody. This is some <laughs> Where'd you get my number from? Man, we got to, we got numbers from the supermarkets of uh, people that you buy You didn't get my food. number from no supermarket because I didn't get my number to no supermarket. This just don't make any damn sense. You calling me, interrupting me about some <laughs> like this. This is this, well, this is Bottom line, ma'am, you're not cooking You don't anything. tell me, you're not telling me, telling me what the hell I can't eat. You don't lie to me. You got life you and Twisted, yes, you do. Just Why twisted, calling somebody, telling them that black people eat too much chicken. You and your partition. Would you like to hear what the survey is actually saying? No, I don't want to hear what the survey is actually saying. Because what you're saying is about a whole bunch of. But the survey is saying that this is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. <laughs> this is who? Valerie, this is nephew Tommy, baby, from the Steve Harvey oh, Morning. Oh my Show. God. <laughs> Oh, oh, God. <laughs> oh God. You know, Tommy, I love me some chicken. <laughs> Christmas decoration. Mm. Running cat. Hello? I'm trying to reach Cecil. Yeah, this is Cecil. What's going on? Hey, uh, this Manny, man, I live like about four or five streets over from you. This Manny, how you doing, brother? I'm doing good, man. How you doing? I'm good. Hey, uh, I see you, you you got your Christmas lights up, right? Yeah, yeah, I, I got them up. I got my whole little theme and everything set up, man. It's, it's looking real good. Okay, let me let me ask you something, man. The theme you got in your yard, where you get that idea from? What you mean, where I get them from? The idea, like you got a snowman, you got Santa Claus, some reindeers, you got your whole house decorated. You got Jesus with the manger and the uh, the wise men around him. Where did you get your idea from? I'm 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 lost. What you talking about, man? You you ask me where I got a thing from. I mean, you you trying to imply something? I'm I'm, I mean, I'm asking you a question. Where did you get the idea from? I made this up. I made this up. Jesus, Jesus, and the manger. You know that represents Christmas, man. You go with a theme that's Christmas based, man, and that's that's Christmas based. Jesus is Christmas. Jesus in in, in Jerusalem and in, in Bethlehem and. Hey, what, what's what's going on, man? I, I, who are you? Where you get my number from, anyway? I'm 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 Manny, man. I'm Manny. I got I got your number from one of the people that live on your street, and I'm just asking you uh, on the real where you get this idea from. I made this idea. I made this up, man. I made this up. This is the second time you ask me where I get this idea from. What are you trying to imply? Okay, here, here go the real deal, dog. The same thing you got if you come four streets over. I got the same thing in my yard, and it looked like you just stole my idea. And see, what, what you ain't going to do is try to win Christmas yard of the season, and you done stole my idea. That's the problem I got with you. No, the problem you got is life and <laughs> twisted, okay? Because, see, I put this together without it. I, I never even heard of you, Manny, to begin with. Secondly, I've been doing this particular theme in my yard since I've been staying over here. I've been staying over here six years. You ain't had that you ain't had that theme last year. You ain't had that I last year. I had this theme last year and the year before. And I put myself in the same place every damn time I put it down. You did not have this last year. First of all, who are you to call me and tell me about my theme and about my yard and what you got going on? I know you ain't copying me. Hey man, I'm gonna tell you right now. And I ain't finna go no further. You need to rearrange your theme and get a different theme because you got the same theme I got. No, you need to rearrange your okay? Because I ain't rearranging Jack over here. Hey, man, let me tell you something. Yes, if I got to come over there, I, let me tell you something, man, and I'm being real, as real as I can be with you. If I got to come over there and unplug some <laughs> what? stuff. If you got to what? 
come where? If I got to come over to your house and unplug some stuff. Unplug? No, no, no. See, if anything, my foot will be getting unplugged from your First of all, you ain't finna come on my street in my house and disrespect me at all about anything that I got set up in my yard. Secondly, I ain't hey, finna let it go around that way. I tell you what, then I'm just gonna do this here. I'm finna just come over there and, and take Jesus and take the oh, and, and, and no, take them no. wise men out your yard. That's what I'm finna do. You come over this way talking about messing with Jesus and the manger? It's gonna be some real problems. Cause first of all, that's like secondly, that's that's the center of the thing. Now, if you want to come over here and you want to try to do something like that, you go need Jesus to help you because there's gonna be some rolling around going hey, on. Hey, you hey, try hey, to come hey, up to my yard with the, the bottom line is this right here. You got the nerve to do the same thing I got. I'm four streets over. I'm driving through looking at everybody's hey, man, uh, here, man. looking at everybody's hey, thing. Like you the man, only I'm one that copies here, my thing. The same way, the same place, every dot long year. Ain't nobody ever told me. Your stuff look like Manny from four, five, six. Who the hell is Manny any way? Manny ain't got no right coming on my street because you don't stay on this street. You going around looking at people still trying to get your ideas, man. You not original. No, no, I'm I'm very original. I moved to this neighborhood before you did. I've been here. I've been here 10 years. You've been here about six. How, how long you been living over here? I've been living over here six years. This subdivision was just coming up when I came over here. How you going to tell me you've been running your team longer than I've been running mine? Who you crazy? Hey man, hey man, man I, ain't got, I, I ain't got time to go back. Man, you know what? I got better things to do. I still got some more lights put up. Hey, I got you know a better I go back and forth. What I'm finna tell you is just right here. I'm finna come take Jesus off your yard. I'm finna no, take Jesus no. in the wild. Can't take Jesus out my yard. I see now you're sounding like one of them crazy people. You talking about taking Jesus out of my life? That's where you got life and messed up. Come on over. Here. I got something hey, waiting on. Hey man, hey man, look do. here. Don't turn your lights on. No, my lights gonna be on tonight, tomorrow night, every other night. I'm about taking my Jesus in the mind. I'm original as original can be. Come over if you want to. I got something for you, you man. Just, you done stole my idea. And, you and what talking you... about this stealing ideas? Come on around here and let's steal okay. this. Hey, hey, dog, dog. Let me tell you something right now. Jesus and them wise men is coming out your yard today. No. You know what, man? I'm through with you, man. I'm through with you. You know what? Come over here if you want to. Touch my baby Jesus. Touch my manger. Touch Mary, Joseph, and the wise men. And I'm going to put the North Star over your Literally. Hey, man. Hey. I don't know where you get my number from. Who are you anyway? Who is it? Who are you, man? I tell you what. You talking about coming over here, messing with anything in my yard? My is on time. Okay? Set to go off every evening at dusk. As soon as it starts getting dark, my is going off. Let my not come on tonight. It's going to be some for your Hey, 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 hey dog. Anyway? Why, 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 why you can't come up with your own thing, man? Why you I can't do my your own thing? thing? Look here. I tell you what, man. Who the are you anyway? We just squash your right you say four, five, three, four. What kind of car you got in your driveway? I can find you, little. Come deal with you right now. Where you at? Hey, hey, hey dog, 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 Right dog. now. Where you at? Uh, uh, you know what? Don't worry about where I'm at. I'm gonna I'm yeah, be there when your I'm lights come now on you tonight. Just now I'm gonna come find you. No, your lights ain't coming on tonight. What? No, not come on tonight. It's gonna be some problems in your life. It's gonna be hard to breathe for you. I'm gonna let you know this. Hey man, hey man, hey man. Right. First who of all, you, who the f are you anyway, man? You done called me out of the blue. Telling me that you go come disconnect my life and steal my major and take my baby Jesus out the man. And who are you? you sitting up here accusing me of stealing your thing when it's been my thing for all these years, six years I've been doing this and I don't want best yard three years or three years running in this season? Now, I think you trying to get my but, but, but see, the problem is you don't want best yard because you're stealing my idea. How can I be stealing your best you, man? You know what? You and your and I'm ready to deal with your right Hey, 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 dog, dog. I, I, I'm not gonna go back and forth with you. You stole my Jesus theme, dog. Hold on, wait a minute. How can I have won this yard three years running, and you saying I got the theme from you? You should have been getting it. You must not be doing it. Okay. Right. Let, let me, let me, let me, let me go on and say this to you right now, dog. Well, say this. this what? Larry on your street told me to call you. Larry. Larry told you to call me. Larry gave you my number. Larry and Tommy told me to call you. Larry and Tommy told you to call me. Do you know who Tommy is? My, that, Larry, ain't, Larry ain't never missing no name Tommy to me. Who the Tommy? I'm Tommy. I'm nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. <laughs> you just got pranked by your boy Larry, man. Nephew Tommy. From the Steve Harvey Morning Show. <laughs> Larry, did this to Larry me. told me to call you. He said you win every single Larry, year. The Christmas it's, yard it's, of the year, man. Field, but it's kind of funny now. <laughs> hey, oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Let me ask you something. What's the baddest radio show in the land? Oh, man, hands down, no doubt. <laughs> Steve Harvey. <laughs>
own in the show with nephew Bye, man. It's a church queer. When you say anything about church, you got to have the cadence, church. Gospel! <laughs> church queer. Let's go, cat dog. This is Grant. Hi, uh, Grant. Uh, Grant Stevens, right? Yes. Hey, hey, Grant, this is Brother Lewis Finley. I'm calling from uh, Mount Sinai uh, Missionary Baptist Church. You, you and your wife just joined a, a couple weeks ago, am I right? Absolutely, yes. Okay. So now listen, um, uh, I, I wanted to reach out to you. Uh, I know you guys have started the uh, the orientation, and from my understanding, you you finished one one class of the orientation. You got three more to go. Is that right? Yes. All right. All right. All right. So first of all, I want to say welcome to Mount Sinai, and 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 I hope you are enjoying yourself. I, I know that you and your wife are, are a mixed couple. You you're Caucasian, and she's she's black. Are you? Uh, are you liking the church so far, uh, Grant? Absolutely. We really are enjoying it. Uh, we completed our first orientation, and, uh, yeah, so far we're really enjoying it. Okay, okay. Did I catch you at a bad time? Uh, I am at work right now, but it's okay. I've got a couple I've got a couple minutes. Okay, okay. Well, I just wanted to call you, man. I, I was worried. I know you, because I don't think you know this, but you are the first Caucasian to join our church. And I just want to make sure you kind of knew uh, the language and, and just uh, just kind of knowing what the black church is all about. And there's certain sayings and different things I think you should know so that, uh, you know, uh, I just don't want you to say the, the wrong thing while you're at the church. Does that make sense? Uh, okay. Okay. So so what I wanted to do, like, I, I wanted to give you a little black church quiz so you can kind of. Maybe if you could, so you can kind of, you are. maybe if you could, it'll let me know where you are, you know, if you're on a, a lower level or a high level as far as being knowledgeable about the black church. Like, fill, fill this blank in for me, Grant, if, and if you don't mind. I just want to take a little bit of your time and I'll let you get back to work. But first of all, give a blank to God. Give a... So what, what, would, what would go in that blank right there? First of all, give a blank to God. Yeah, uh, all I can think of top of my head is give give thanks to God. Uh, no, see that's wrong. See that's wrong. For, see, uh, see what it is is first of all give a honor to God. All right, remember that. Oh. First of all, give an honor to God. You got that? Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. First of all, give an honor to God, who is the blank of my life. What 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 goes in the blank? First of all, give an honor to God, who is the blank of my life. The love of my life. No, no. See, that's 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 wrong. First of all, give an honor to God, who is the head of my life. Did you, did Are you, you sure? That? I'm sorry. Okay. I, I was just. Are you sure? Are you sure about that? Oh, I'm definitely sure about man. Don't don't don't. I, what, what I don't want you to do is question what what I, I know. I'm from the black church. I know you. Okay, no, no. I wasn't. I wasn't me. questioning you, sir. I wasn't what? question. I'm sorry. I've just always heard it that way, but. Okay, so so uh, I'm trying to give you the understanding of knowing what the black church is about. You understand? I understand. I just I pre no, I appreciate you. I'm, I apologize, sir. Okay, now now uh, look, I I don't know these answers obviously, but I I've got a meeting I got to get to here in a minute. Like like this, I'm, I'm curious. I'm curious everyone, everyone in the church, church gets phone calls. calls? So wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, Grant. I know you have a meeting, but what's more important, your meeting or knowing uh, your position at the black church? What what what's more important? I really don't have time for this right now. I can't believe this is actually happening. Like, does your does your pastor even know that you're calling me right now? Well, no. I, I I took the liberty of myself when I realized you was Caucasian that I would call and try to help you, so you would know what to do when you're in the black church when people are saying certain things. You okay? Okay, <laughs> Grant, if you don't mind, just do this for me, Grant. Like, do do you know what hooping is? Hooping? Like who are hooping? Uh, no. Hooping is when the pastor is at the end of his sermon. So listen to this. Sing all along, good God Almighty. Do that for me if you, if you would, Grant. Oh, Lord. Oh, God Almighty. No, no, no. no. One, one, one more. You, 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 let's get, you, come on, you, you with me now. Oh, Lord. Good God Almighty. 
Uh, I, can't can't this. I can't believe I'm doing this. Oh, Lord, oh, yeah. Oh, God almighty. Okay. Hey, hey, Grant, do you think maybe it's possible that me and you can have some sessions before you come back to the church and I can prepare you more? Hey, man, listen, you have caught me at a really bad time, and I'm, I'm, I'm quite honestly just so frustrated. Like, I've never heard of a quiz like this. I'm, I'm really offended, to be honest with you. Like, do you guys not want me to go to your church anymore? Like, a matter of fact, dude, you should be calling my wife right now. She's black. But she should already know the quiz question. You the one don't know her. Why am I going to call her? I should call you. I am at work right now. I have a meeting to get to in just a minute. I don't know what you're doing. And I, I hold on a second. I have got to close my office door. This is so embarrassing. I have never, ever received a phone call like this in my life. And you better be lucky. I mean, I want to talk to your pastor. I am going to talk to him next Sunday. No joke. Well, I didn't mean for you to get hostile like that. I didn't mean to get you. I didn't mean to upset you or nothing like that. Well, can I can I can I can I say something else to you? One last thing, and I have to go. Okay, I just want to let you know that this is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Your wife Carolyn got me to prank phone call you. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I am so sorry. I am so sorry. <laughs> Are you good? You all right? I'm all right, man. I'm all right. A little embarrassed, but I'm all right. <laughs> Greg, you got to do it for me one more time. All along, good God Almighty. Oh, Lord, oh, yeah, God Almighty. <laughs> <laughs> okay, man, look at do this for me. Tell me what is the baddest, I mean, the baddest radio show in the land. The Steve Harvey Morning Show, all the way. <laughs> Oh, my mic was on like that. <laughs> a heart of a brother. Run it, cat. Hello? Hey, I'm trying to reach uh, Alan. This is Alan. Alan, how you doing, man? My name is Bobby, Bobby Booker. Uh, what What can I do for you? I got your number, man, from the uh, from the hospital. Uh, did you just, uh, within the last, I guess, three, four months, did you get a, uh, a heart transplant? Within three and a half months ago, yeah, I did. I did three and a half months ago. Okay, I, I, around faster than I thought it was going to be, you know. So I, I'm doing well. Thank you. Are you with the, are, yeah. are you are, are you with the hospital? No, no, I'm not. Uh, actually, you know, I, they gave me your number, man. I hope you okay with it. But you, you, you actually uh, the the heart that you got was from from my brother, uh, Troy. And, oh my uh, God! Really? Yeah, that was my brother. My wow. brother passed oh, away. Uh, I, I'm so sorry about your brother, but wow, I gotta tell you, he saved my life, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, so I, I, you know, I just wanted to call you, man. I hope you don't mind. You know, no, no, not at all. You know, I, 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 it's kind of like a little bit of my brother is, is, is still living. You know what I mean? It kind of, it kind of feels like my brother's still living. So, I, yeah. well, it's, it's a good nice. thing. It's, it's a good yeah, thing. I'm just glad. He, Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, 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 let me ask you this, man. I'm just curious because you, you you Caucasian, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm white. Yeah. Do you feel any any different having a black man's heart in your body? <laughs> no, no, no. I I don't feel any different. Uh, yeah. No. Okay. I didn't really think about it though. Uh, and, and this this would just make me and the rest of the family feel good that I, we knew what he was dedicated to and the things that right. really matter matter to him. Would you feel all right? Joining the NAACP? Uh, is that? Are there some people who are going to be upset that I join? I mean, is that okay? Uh, no, nah, well, you know, I, I don't know about anybody being upset, man. It's just I know my brother that that's what he was a part of, and you know, you you walking around with with his heart, man. It it would just feel different. It feel great, you know, to have to feel like he would be back in there doing what he, what he was doing and and, and fighting for 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 uh, injustice for the black community. Now, are you a Democratic or Republican? Well, you know, I'll be honest with you. I, I, I was Republican until Trump, and now I'm just really, 
I, I, I'm kind of on the fence. I mean, that's an idiot. You, you did vote for Trump? I did not, but I am a Republican. Okay. So, uh, and the reason why, you know, because I'm just curious, man, because I, what, I, what I would hate to see is, you know, when 2020 come around, you know, you, you over there in the voting booth, you know, with my brother Black Heart, and you in there, you know, voting Republican, uh, uh, you know, and, and, and that's something that I know my brother wouldn't be doing. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just... I, I, I'm just asking. Well, I mean, I'm not happy with Trump, but if someone else in the Republican Party runs, and I I agree with them, I, I'm not, I, it's it's kind of like it's my heart now. I can't change my point of view just because of that. I mean, it's yeah, but 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 but, 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 no, but what you're not gonna do though, man, is be in there with my brother Black Heart, and you up in there making some decisions that I know my brother wouldn't do. You see what I'm saying? That's a long what? way off, man. But I can't promise you that. I mean, if somebody runs that I like. I mean, I'm going to vote the way I feel. My heart and my head tell me to vote. No, well, see, no, mean, no, 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 hold on, hold on. See, no, don't, don't say what well, my heart, because that ain't your heart. You understand? Know that's my brother's heart. So you got every right to ask me what you think my brother would feel in his heart, and I'll tell you. You understand what I'm saying? I, 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 I don't know the way I feel. Hey, man, let me ask you something. Have you, have you been, like, craving different kind of foods that you don't normally eat? Mm-hmm. Have you been looking at... I don't know. I mean, girl, like greens. Like my brother ate a lot of greens. Did you? Do you feel like you be wanting some greens sometimes? Oh, I like greens occasionally. Yeah. Okay. Uh, man, have all of a sudden, do you like uh, uh, women who have big butts? Well, I love women in general. I didn't think about specifics, but you know, if they're good looking, they're good looking. Well, wait, wait a minute. What the f- kind of call is this, man? I mean, you're asking me all these random questions. Well, what? I don't, I don't understand where this is coming from. It's coming from my brother's heart. That's where it's coming from. You got my brother Black Heart inside of you. You know, yeah. I'm asking you. I'm asking you to do what my brother would do, not what you would do. You you, you want to do it from your heart, and you then you're doing it from my brother's heart. When you first called me about your brother, I was excited. Now I'm thinking, how the f- did the hospital give you just this number, and you get to call me up? That's privileged information. You shouldn't get to just call me and ask me all these f- random questions, man. I just got a heart transplant. Now you're starting to get me worked up. So I'm not trying to get you worked up. Well, you All I'm trying that, to man. Okay, okay. Well, well let, me, let me just calm down. All I know is you got Troy <laughs> heart inside of you, and I'm trying to let you know the kind of person Troy <laughs> feels. Okay, so let me let me ask this: Has your music changed? Are you listening to more R and B now? R&B? Well, I do like R and B, but I listen to hard rock too. That hasn't changed. Because what's in Troy <laughs> heart gonna stay in Troy <laughs> heart? You understand? So you got to have that's in your heart now. Greens, big butts. <laughs> NAACP. That's what I'm saying. Okay, well, I'm trying to, 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 to tell you about Troy. What? Are you, are you crying, man? I'm trying to tell you about Troy. Hey, man. hey, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't. I, I know you miss your brother. Don't. Damn. I'm so. Okay, let me, let me say this. Let me say okay. this. Okay. Since you got my brother heart, I think it's only right that me and you, we get together. And go to go to a Jay Z concert together. I think that's only right. A, a Jay Z and Beyonce concert, we go together because that's what me and my brother did. We we would go see them perform. Well, I mean, they are two of the best of all time. So, am I buying both the tickets? Oh, that's f-ed up. You got your heart, and you worry about who gonna pay for some tickets? I didn't know. I thought maybe you might want to treat your brother one last time. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. Yeah, no, no, it's, it's, okay. Okay. it's okay. Listen, I'm really, uh, sorry. I'm really sorry. I mean, I get upset. I didn't mean to yell at you. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Uh, do you, do you, do you listen to black radio? Sometimes I do listen to black radio. Do you ever listen to, this, to the Steve Harvey morning show? Well, yeah, he's one of the best, man. I used to follow him when he was on Family Feud. He's great. What? what? He got a nephew on the show and he, and he does prank phone calls? Yeah. <laughs> And that would be me. Alan, this is Nephew Tommy, baby. Steve Harvey Morning Show, man. You oh, get got... the f*** out. Are you serious? <laughs> Are you kidding me? I'm, I'm not kidding, baby. Oh, my God, dude. You almost gave me a second heart attack. Jesus. Oh, my God. <laughs> You've been pranked, man, by my wife Robin and her co-worker, Bridget Potnick. You got to tell me this. What is the baddest, and I mean the baddest, radio show in the land? It's your show, baby. Steve Harvey. Come on, man.
Please announce yourself. Betty, Courtney. Brother Alvin. Hi, Brother Alvin. Good evening, good evening. How are you? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, first of all, I want to thank everybody for calling in so promptly as directed and taking the time as you travel home to call in. Unfortunately, our pastor cannot make this call. She had an emergency meeting, so I will go ahead in his absence and start the meeting. So what I like to do is I have an announcement I like to make to this announcement team that effective today at noon, we have a new director of ministry and his name is Brother Alvin. And I'd like for you all to welcome Mr. And Mr. I'll let you take over. Good evening. Good evening. evening. Uh, To bring you all up to speed, I was... um put in a position of the new director of ministries. And what we are doing is uh, I have been working for Pastor uh, Henderson for the last four weeks, and I have been watching several ministries uh, unbeknownst to you all. And I want to bring several things up to speed of what I think uh, we're not doing well and what we are doing good. Um, Mr. George. Yes, sir. Your live stream is dropping every single week. You do know this. Uh, not every single week. I would deny that. I would say it's sporadic due to internet issues that are beyond my control. All right, but you know, it, it 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 seems to be dropping way more than what it needs to be, and and the quality of it is unacceptable as well. So I, I'm I'm letting you know what we're looking at and what we expect to get a whole lot better. I have no control over as. Uh, dropping their internet connection. You see what I'm saying? Like, we pay a certain amount of money for to provide us with a solid internet connection. And if it goes down, it's literally nothing I can do about that. Or from my, from my end. I'm not going to go back and forth with you, Mr. If it's, I don't know what it is. All I know is it's happening and it shouldn't be happening and we're, it's unacceptable. So how do you fix I, it? That's on you. That, that you are the tech person, so I expect you to handle it. All right. Thank you so much, Miss Francine. Yes, that's me. And Miss Francine, you are uh, the event coordinator for the youth. Am I correct? Yes. Uh, and I know you are Hispanic descent, uh, but uh, are you having problems controlling black kids? Is there an issue with you controlling black kids? Because what I have seen, it seems that they're out of control when they're in your care. So I want to know from you, is there a problem controlling black children? There is not a problem controlling African-American children. As a matter of fact, I work in a public school system with African-American children. I do not have a challenge. Okay. All right. I'm seeing a challenge when we're at the church, and that's what I want you to be mindful of. So if you're looking, these are your notes that I'm giving you, and I'm hoping you're taking them fully and trying to take them and correct them uh, to your best way possible. Okay. Miss Portia, did she ever make the line? She's over social media. Hi, sir. This is Naya. I'm on for Portia. Okay. Here's what I need you to tell uh, Miss Portia is that Uh, it seems like whatever she's going through in her life reflects on the social media for the church, and that's not good. Does that make sense to you? No, sir. Okay. What is it that you don't understand? Do you know Portia? I'm letting you know what I'm seeing on social media. Sorry, how would you know? When I'm reading reading the social network, it seems like I'm, I'm seeing what she's going through and not what the church is going through. I will let her know that, but I'm not understanding how you see that. Okay. Well, you let her know that, and if you want to address me, I will be at church Sunday, and I'll let you know exactly who I am. All right? Yes, sir. Aaron. I'm here, sir. And I know that you are actually dating Miss Angel, correct? I am, sir. Okay. Here's what I want to know. Is she the only person that's going to lead songs? Does she lead the majority of the songs? Yes, sir. She is uh, the lead singer of the church. Um, okay. Do you think that's favoritism being uh, due to you all's relationship? 
Uh, no, sir, I don't believe that that's favoritism, sir. I think it's pretty fair. Um, and she trains other people and is teaching everyone how to lead. Okay. I would definitely be keeping my eye, Mr. Aaron, to make sure that we are doing this decent and in order and we are definitely spreading the love around of those that want to come up and lead a song. Understood? By all means, sir. By all means. Thank you very much. I think I've gotten to everyone. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Yes, sir. I will let you know that uh, it is 50-50 right now. If we possibly going to even need you on Sunday due to this line dropping in, it's just, it's just unacceptable. It could, whoa, 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 be, whoa, 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 whoa. It could whoa. be, hey, oh, be zero. Oh, wait. It Hold could on. be zero right now. It ain't got to be 50-50. I'm sorry. Who, who else is that speaking? Aaron. Okay, Aaron, do you have something you want to say? I do have hey, something Aaron. I want to say. I want to, I want to no, speak up on behalf no. of George and the graphic team as well as Portia. Well, you I'm go ahead and speak up on, on whatever you want to speak up on. I'm here for that. I want to hear I what you okay. all have hey, to say. Aaron. I believe hey, the team does a very hey, good Aaron. job of what they do. Really hey, Aaron, can I say something to you? You go go right on ahead, sir. You got I want to let you know this. This is okay. nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show, and Pastor Henderson <laughs> got me to prank <laughs> every <laughs> last week. Oh no! Drunk dialing dilemma. That's right. Wow. Drunk dialing dilemma. Wow. But right now, the mm. nephew is here with the prank phone call for today. What you got, Neff? Bad bugs. Woo. <laughs> Bad bugs. Makes you itch. <laughs> mm. Say it again. Some of y'all still got them. Some of y'all still got them. Bad it, bugs. Like Running cat. Hello? Hello, I'm trying to speak to Shanice. Uh, she's not here right now. I'm going to take a message. Uh, you, do you know when she's coming back? Nah, is this a business call or something? Nah, nah, this personal. I need to talk to her immediately. Nah, you need to talk to me. This, this a man. This, uh, who is this? This is, this is Brandon. Wh who, who, who are you? I'm 
earnest, man. But uh, how do you know Shanice? I, I got a bit of a situation here, man, uh, and it, it's basically a financial situation that I'm owed some money from her. So I kind of need to talk to her about about getting this money. It's totally disrupted my whole apartment, and I need to actually see about talking to her about getting this whole problem taken care of. What, what's the what's the situation? I mean, I, I'm basically right now I'm twenty five hundred dollars in the rears due to due to Shanice, and I, I you know I I need to see if she's going to be able to pay me for the situation or what you know. Do my girl owe you money? She she owes me twenty five hundred dollars. Twenty five hundred dollars for what? I don't even know who you are. First of all, so what's up with the twenty five hundred dollars? Uh, man, first of all, my name is Brandon. Okay? okay, and I've been I I know I've been knowing Shanice probably for the last three or four months now. Okay, so the, here you you want to know it all in a nutshell is it's like this. Shanice been coming through. Okay, for the last three or four months, been coming over here to my spot to my apartment, hanging out. I'm just now finding out within the last two weeks, um, it's, I had to get rid of my couch. I had to get rid of my mattresses because your mattress because it's bed your mattress. Wait a minute, dude. Wait a minute. So you trying to tell me she was in your bed? Yeah, she been in my bed, dude. She been in your bed. Are you crazy? Hey man, come hey on man. now, dude. Listen, you know, you hey know, dude, the problem serious is not right now. where she's been. You talking about twenty five hundred dollars? Problem is, you talking about twenty five hundred dollars? You talking about my girl was in your bed? Now, we're not even going to get into that. You understand what I'm saying? But that's $2,500, you can forget about it. No, 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 no. Hold, Hold up. First of all, no. you calling here. You calling here. You calling here. And here is dude answer the phone, and you still got the d- to ask for her, and then go tell me about some $2,500 about some d- mattress? Dude, I'm out. My, my mattresses, man, are 1000 bucks. It's it full of bed bugs. I had to throw that away. Man, nobody and, worry about no damn mattress, dude. You talking about my girl. We've been together for four years. I'm about to pop the question on her, and you want to sit there and talk about she's been hanging with you or kicking with you for the last four months. It's about to be over in a minute. Dude, Matter if you want to marry Shanice, cool. I don't care nothing about nah, that. Nah, hey, don't even worry about that now. But you over my phone talking about some damn mattress, man. That's that's a problem, dude. I ain't worried about no damn mattress. I'm worried about it. I ain't problem, got no man. mattress you right now. My house? You call it mine? Tell me that I do not <laughs> have a mattress right now, nor do I have a couch. Do you understand the problem that brings to me? I don't care nothing about your mattress or couch, dude. I don't care nothing about that. Your name, you say your name, Brandon? I'm Brandon, yes. Yeah, Brandon, okay. Don't worry about it, Brandon, because you're going to find me real soon. Don't let me find you before you find me, though. You understand what I'm saying, don't you? Dude, dude, dude. No, hey, you, can have, you can have them bed bugs and that mattress or whatever. Answer these for all I care. But what I'm saying is, you talk about some bed bugs, ain't no bed bugs over here. Okay, so, so where's she getting all the bed bugs from? She done brought them over here to my place. I don't care nothing about it. She ain't bring nothing over there, first of all. But I ain't, that ain't even a problem right now. Dude, you, Shanice, you, you, you call me been over here, man. I ain't had right nobody else over here. Right, don't worry about who you had over there, but you don't go call here talking about no money. You ain't getting nothing from here. Okay, first of all, dude, check this out. I don't have a problem with you, okay? Me and you cool. No, me we and you got cool. a problem. We already got a problem. You calling me talking about you been sleeping with my brother. Hey, dog, dog, I'm going to say it again. Me and you cool, dog. We dude, cool. We not cool. We not cool. First dog, of all, dog, I'm going to find out who you are. I'm going to handle Sinise myself. I'm going to handle you later. What you, what, you, what you talking about? You you going to handle me. I'm going to handle you later. You want a mattress, right? Hey, hey, dude. dude you want a mattress, go right? Go ahead and marry Shanice. I, I ain't got nothing to do with that. My don't problem worry about is that. getting my money back, man, for the for the property of mine that she has ruined, man. I, don't worry about that. I'm going to get you a mattress. Don't worry about that. It's going to be a casket wrapped around that no. Hey, hey, dude, dude, why are you sitting here creating the drama with me when me, me and you, we ain't even the problem? The problem is Shanice. The problem is you picked up your phone and you called here. That's the problem. Okay. Now you got two do. You ain't got no couch. You ain't got no mattress. Now you got to do that. You understand what I'm saying? You know what? I, I see I can't talk to you. When do Shanice get home, man? Don't worry about when Shanice get home. Okay. What you need to worry about is when I find you. Okay, so so when, when, I, when you going to have my money then when you find me? Because I need my money. Yeah, I'm going to have your money. I'm going to have your mattress too. Please understand. You're going to be resting real well. Okay, okay. So so let me ask you this here, man. Shanice bring bed bugs over to my house. Leave them all in my mattress. Leave them all on my couch where I got to throw my stuff away. Where I'm wrong at, man? Where I'm wrong? I'm going to ask you straight up. Did you know she had a man? Say what? Did you know she had a man? But I, I mean, kind of, kind of, sort of, but not really, though. I ain't no kind of, sort of, man. Either you know she got a man or she don't got a man. You knew she had a man, right? And you still went and did it, right? Hey, dog, I ain't got nothing to do with y'all, man. I, I, I'm dealing with these bed bugs. You understand what I'm saying? Dude, do you 
you understand you messing up a, a four year relationship. You know how much time I put in with this woman? Four hey, years. Hey, four years. We about to get. We about to get married. And you calling here with this? <laughs> when are y'all supposed to get married? Don't worry about when we supposed to get married, man. You messed that all up. What I'm trying to explain to you is, dude, you calling here on some bed bug. <laughs> Which I know she ain't got nothing to do with, but the fact that you told me that she was over your house, in your bed, that's over. It's over now. You understand what I'm saying? Now, when she get home, I'm going to deal with that. You understand what I'm saying? That's going to get dealt with. I'm walking up out of here. But when I leave here, please believe my next stop is to come find your ass. First of all, how did you get the number to this apartment? That's what I want to know. Hey, dude, she gave me both numbers, the cell phone number and the house number, and told me, you know, if it's an emergency, call the house. Okay, and this is an emergency. Yeah, this is an emergency. I well, got bad well, well, man. Well, well, learn, learn another emergency number. Learn 911, because when I come knocking on your door, either you come out or you handle it, or you better call the cops. You understand what I'm trying to tell you? <sighs> hey, man, do you think Tommy will pay for the bad bugs? Who is Tommy? I'm just saying, do you think Tommy will pay for the bad bugs? Man, who the f is Tommy? Tommy, dog. Nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Ernest, you just got pranked by your girl, Shanice. <laughs> man. Y'all, y'all. Woo. You all right, man? Boy, hey. Boy, it was over. It was over. You understand what I'm telling you? It was over. <laughs> 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 What y'all think? There it is. Yeah. Huh? Makes me it there is. It is. How I do? How I do? How I do? <laughs> You're the king. What do you, what do you want? You're the king That's of That's all I want. I just want, but you know what? I need people, I need y'all to tell people I'm the king. The show has three kings. Kings of comedy, kings of prank, and king of rap. Right here. I mean, <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> 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 That's <He's> so stupid. <laughs> three. Three we, we three kings. <laughs> king of comedy, king of pranks, king of <laughs> and the rap, latest baby. edition is the king of rap. <laughs> no, not King Kang. That's different. Kang? Kang. Oh, okay. So you you are established. Yeah, he's fire. Okay. Now, how many albums you got? Whoa, you want to go with that? None. <laughs> None. Picky, picky, picky. <laughs> All right, check it out. The nephew is coming to town. I will be there May 2nd through the 4th, Virginia Beach Comedy Club. So loud. The nephew is coming to town. I think yeah, yeah. Uh, this might be a good, good time for you to come open. Really? <laughs> this, this, this good. I, I just sold everything. You ain't got to do nothing. I don't work in rooms that small. <laughs> what? Pop ting? <laughs> did he pip pop ting me? Yeah, he, oh, did. Yeah. he did. Yeah, he, he did. said his he studio did. audience that is big. That was painful. Yeah. Well, yeah. It, no, it ain't painful to okay, me. Can I, can I, I would be in Virginia Beach. Can I bust a rap? Mass yeah. race. No. No. He didn't say Bust. it loud. He didn't even sing. But sound like to me, that was a pop ting. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> the king of rap right there, baby. King of rap. All right, thank you, nephew. Up next, Strawberry Letter. Subject, drunk dialing dilemma. We'll get into it right after this. Coming up at the top of the hour, right about four minutes after today's Strawberry Letter, uh, the subject, my past fling is her new thing. But right now, the nephew is in the building with today's prank phone call. What you got, Nev? Upright trash cans. Ooh, that sounds serious. When you come by my house uh -huh. and you get my trash, yeah. I don't need my cans laying down on the side. I need them upright when you get through with them. <laughs> this boy genius, I tell y'all. <laughs> really? You got some genius out of that? What? <laughs> Pick your own Upright trash, trash cans. Right, cat. Hello. Hello, I'm trying to reach a Kendrick. This Kendrick was good. Hi, this is Wade. Wade. I wanted to try and speak with you if I could. You, you're you actually um, one of the guys that work on the the garbage truck that comes to the neighborhood, am I right? Oh, uh, yeah. Back there. Uh, we'll route you, I, we'll route you on. What we'll route you on? I, I, uh, sir, I'm not sure about what route I'm on. I'm in Mission Forest Subdivision. And um, listen, I'm, i got a bit of a problem. Uh, it, it seems right, that... You got, you got a problem on... You need to call... First of all, how you get my number? Uh, sir, I, I, I've done the research on getting your number. I found out who's actually driving the truck as well as the people that are on the back of the truck. And um, 
want to get some things clarified here. I'm noticing that when you guys come by my home, who, you know, who, you, who you got you. Who? Hold, hold on, sir. I'm not. I'm not. Hold on. Let me get up. I will, I will rest a little bit. Um, who gave you my number? Because you said you had a problem. I'm not the person who you talk to about problems. I understand that, sir. But what has been narrowed down is it's been given to me that you're actually the person that is the problem. And, and I wanted to give you a call personally and try and see if I can get that rectified. Now, you're, you're the one that's on the back of the truck and you, you pick up the trash can thingies or whatnot and throw the garbage uh-huh. in. So the problem I'm having is that when I come home in the evenings, my trash cans are in a disarray, you know, and what I want to do is call you and tell you, I want you to start bringing them to the back by the fence and sitting them up right and put the lids back on them and put in. Huh? In a, you, you say, hold on, hold on, sir. I, how you know I'm the person that even do your house? How you know I'm even, because I know sir, you can't. I, hold on, sir. I'm, I'm, at, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying to be rude, but I'm asking the question. I know you can't be calling me on Saturday talking about your trash can and this is my first Saturday off. I'm not, I want I, I, I want to get the problem rectified, and you're the problem, sir. You don't sir. even know if I'm the one who do your house. You don't you're, even know what route you on. I, you're Kendrick. On. You're, you're Kendrick, and they've told me that you're the person on the back of the truck that comes through Mission Forest who on my t- street. Who told you that? I I I have ways of finding out, sir. Who's doing what? Okay. What, what so you, what, what I you need to find, what, no, listen to what I'm saying. So what you need to find out is the proper person to talk to about your particular. I don't know what route you. I don't know you. I don't know if I even do. Look, man, I'm not the person that you're supposed to call. I'm man. It's Saturday. First sir, of all, that's, sir, that's listen, first. listen. I don't want to take this to another level, but what I do want is my well, trash you, you put by the back level fence when you call when you call my cellular phone. Talking about your, your trash on Saturday, and I ain't been off in no Saturday in a long time, um, sir. I'm not trying to be rude, but you may need to re- research your research and 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 talk to them because I don't even know if I do your route, sir. You and, are the and, person on my route, Mister. Don't tell me I'm the person on your route if you ain't. Man, listen to me. Listen Look, no, you're, what you're going to do is put my trash cans where I want them and when I want them there and the lids on top of them and quit throwing them across the yard as if you don't care. And I mean that. Man, who the f*** is you talking to about some trash cans on a Saturday and I ain't never been off on a Saturday before ever and you're going to call my sailor phone talking about your trash cans? That's right, I because I... need to talk to, man. I want my trash cans put where they need to be in a post. I have to get out of my car, move the trash cans, take them over to the fence, put the lids on them, and I don't want to have to continue to do it. So I've done the research, and I found out, Mr. that you're the one. Man, I don't give a damn. Okay, okay, tell me how you want your trash can. I'm going to put them just like, tell me how you want your trash can. I want them put in a upright position by the back fence near the gate with the lids on the top of them, please. How about putting them right up here? Because guess what? I, I know how I do your trash can from this on. If, if I see your now, you hear me? What, what your house look like so I can throw your trash? No, matter of fact, matter of fact, let me tell you something. Matter of fact, mister, what's your name again? What's your name? Wade. I'm going to do my research. I'm going to make sure that I put your trash just like you like it all over your yard. You hear me? Excuse me? On a Saturday, talking about up my trash can, and you lost your mind. I have not lost my. I want my. I want my trash cans in an upright position. Me no call my cellular phone with this nonsense. I got one more thing that I need to say to man, you. Are you, you listening? Man, nah, I'm not listening. To you got to say. I know one thing. You don't make me tear this whole street up that you live. What street you live on again, sir? Because you don't call my cellular phone talking to me on no Saturday, man. You know I ain't on no Saturday. I got one more thing I want to you, say to you. Are you listening, Mister Kendrick? Can I tell you that? Yes, tell me. This is Nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just Ow. got pranked by your boy at the job. <laughs> man, Tommy. <laughs> boy, Tommy. No, man, you. Well, you gonna get your with <laughs> Tommy. You and <laughs> gonna get your. I ain't gonna get this Tommy. Y'all funny. Y'all real funny. Boy, y'all about to make me blood you, boy. 
Sure, and my blood went up. Oh, <laughs> and I ain't been off on a Saturday ever. <laughs> Call me on, ooh, on my damn phone. Woo, man. Hey, man, I got to ask you, man. What is the baddest radio show in the land? Oh, man, the Steve Harvey morning show, man. Y'all, <laughs> y'all, I don't care who your uncle is, Tom. You call me on my cellular phone ever again. <laughs> Whatever your name was. Man, you, you funny, boy. Yeah, nephew Tommy. <laughs> I'm my cell phone. <laughs> now, am I the only one that wants his trash cans upright when they finish? Now, come on now. Well, no, you're not. People, of uh, course, you know, don't want their trash cans down. Okay, but. Yeah. Don't nobody so what, have time what, what, for that as a sanitation worker yeah. to place your trash can. When you, you get want. through dumping it, put them up right. To do a whole prank about it? I don't know. <laughs> play too much. Yeah. All right, let me drop these dates because I got a new date to drop on you guys. Okay. Here we go. Uh, it's almost sold out. Keswick Theater. Glenside, Pennsylvania, Saturday, April the 13th. That's me and the beautiful Samoa. Two shows, 7 and 10 o'clock. They got about, uh, uh, about 10 tickets left. That's about what they got, 10 tickets. And then you got me and the one and only Bruce Bruce the following weekend, Friday, April 19th, Knoxville, Tennessee, at the Civic Auditorium. Tickets are on sale right now. Uh, Virginia Beach. Virginia Beach Comedy Club, May 2nd through May 4th. Tickets on sale right now. And then the one I have never been to. This is brand new. Mother's Day weekend, Saturday, May the 11th. The nephew was going down the street from my hometown. Texarkana. Texarkana. Texarkana Convention Center, May 11th. Mother's Day weekend. Tickets are on sale right now. Texarkana, the nephew, is coming to town. All what right, y'all now. think? What you think, Uncle? You've been through Texas, A little bit of Texas, a little bit of Arkansas. Yeah. yeah. Right yeah. up in there. What you, what you need? I need an opener, man. That's what I really <laughs> need. That's what I really come need. On, I need an opener. Yes. Yes. Oh, wow. Yes. You know what, you know what, Tony? You know what, Uncle? If you go out there and do 30, go do 30. <laughs> boy, then, then what you going to do? Because, <laughs> boy, <laughs> let me tell you something, Tommy. I don't care how long I've been on. You a young warrior. I'm a beast out there, man. Thank you, guys. Okay, uh, you gonna mess around? The king cometh. <laughs> we well, gotta go. On, king? Strawberry, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Strawberry letters coming up next. My past fling is her new thing. Yeah. That is the subject. We'll get into it right after this. Coming up at the top of the hour, right about four minutes after, it's my strawberry letter for today. Subject: My son caught me cheating. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. This one. Ooh. But right Damn, now. Mama. <laughs> exactly. Damn, mama. Right, Steve. I'm a tell yeah. daddy. <laughs> <laughs> right now, uh, it is the nephew on tap here for today's prank phone call. What you got for us now? My auntie's bike. Dang, you're so aggressive. My auntie bike. That don't sound good. You have to yell every prank. Oh, to, listen to it. My auntie yeah. bike. That don't sound the same. Don't sound No, that don't sound right. My uh, ain't is bike. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> All right, let's rock. Hello? Hello, I'm trying to reach Vaughn. Yes, Vaughn? Hey, man, this this, this K-Dub, man. Listen, do, 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 do you know somebody that live on Yeah, my mama, my mama stay on Hey, who is this? Hey, this, this K-Dub, man, my auntie, Miss Tinsley, she live on now, my auntie say you uh came over here and stole a bicycle and some other stuff out of her garage. Okay, hold up. Oh, well, first of all, who is you, man? I, I stole a bike out of somebody's garage. Who, who is this? Who is K? I don't know no K-Dub. This is, this is K-Dub, man. My, my auntie, uh, Miss Tinsley, live down the street from your mama. And my auntie just got you telling me you the one came over here and took a bike and, and a toolbox or something out of that garage. Man, first of all, I don't even know no damn Miss Tinsley. And second of all, I don't steal. Your, your auntie Miss Tinsley say I stole something out of her garage. Oh, hey, put, put her on the phone, man. Put your auntie on the phone. I ain't stole nothing from nowhere. I ain't got to steal. Can't, she can't talk. My auntie can't talk to you. Why she can't talk? She say I stole something. No, my aunt, my auntie Delph, she sign language me and told me that you the one stole, stole the bike. Your auntie Delph, and she told you, she sign language you. And said, I stole the bike. Hold on, wait just a minute. Well, how you get my number? Hold on, wait how a minute, man. She sign right? language with me now. Hold on. What the f okay, she say, quit all that damn lying. You know damn well you the one that stole the bike. Hey, hey man, hold the f up. So your auntie is cussing me out through you in sign language. That's the f you telling me that I done stole the damn bike. 
Say, man, for, for, hey, first of all, how the hell you even get my number, man? I got, you, I got I your number from you some people that live down the street that say that I asked them for Miss, uh, ain't your mama Miss? Yeah, Miss, my mama. Okay, okay, well, look, man, the people down the street evidently knew your number. I told them I needed to talk to you as soon as my auntie told me that, that you was the one that stole the bike out the garage. Now, look, I ain't trying hey, to have hey, no problem. Hey, I just hey, need hey, you to bring hey, the bike Can back. you, can, 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 hey, man, all that. Can you sign language back to your auntie? Yeah, I can sign language back to her. Tell her that I said I ain't stole no bike. How about that? Tell your auntie I ain't stole no I'm damn bike. Right what now, man. Hold on. A grown man. I'm trying to tell her right now. Wait a minute. Okay, hold on. She's saying something. She said your black <laughs> is lying. And you know damn well you got that bike. Man, look here, man. You, your damn auntie, that street don't with nobody on this street except for my mama. I'm a grown man. What the f I got to steal a bike for? Yo, deaf she, she must be dumb, too. She deaf and dumb. She think I stole something. Y'all don't, I mean, I don't even know y'all. Who the f are you? My auntie ain't deaf and dumb, dude, okay? My, my auntie don't never lie. And if Miss Tinsley say that, that, that somebody took something, that dog, she telling the truth. My auntie don't be lying. And just to be lying, why she just gonna lie on you? Why she gonna pick you out? Man, you know what? I, I don't know what the f going on. But I ain't got no reason to steal no bike. Now, I'm a gr I got a car, d that ain't paid for it. I got I'm a grown man. I'm trying to get custody of my son. So I'm gonna come in somebody's garage and steal a bike. Is you crazy? You crazy as she is, man. Get out of my line with that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. My ain't talk. I don't give a what she's saying. Wait a minute, man. I'm trying to see what she's saying. Oh. She say that black know damn well he took that bike. And he better bring that damn bike oh, back. Okay. That's that. Look at man, I don't know why the you still on my line, man. I ain't took no bike. The dumb ain't his line. Do he, do he, is he even sign hey, man, put, that right? Hey, hey dog, let me tell you something. You gonna respect my ain't You hear me? Hey man, you gonna respect me? You call my phone with that. I'm here trying to get my together. You call me some. Hey, who are you? Who the are you? I don't know who this is. I don't know no I'm no K-Dub, man. I'm K-Dub. Everybody know K-Dub. I ain't never heard of no K-Dub on in my life. My mama been staying on for 15 years. I ain't never heard no K-Dub. I ain't heard no Miss Tinsley. I ain't heard about no deaf lady. I ain't seen no bike. Get the off my line, man. Hey, man, CC, you gonna make me go down and steal something out of Miss house if you don't bring that damn bike back. Oh, you got me Bring somebody to my mama's house if you want to. I'm on my way over there. Bring somebody to my mama's house. My family is going to be over for you. The deaf, dumb, ain't you got? Whoever down there gave you my number. Everybody, you got me. We'll we blow this up. I'll that street up. You go by my mama's house. You better not step in my mama's grass. You come by my mama's plant. I'm going to you up. You got me. up. you going to turn me to the dark side. I'm on my way right now. I don't know why we still on the phone. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What you say? I ain't... My ain't say ain't nobody scared of your... Ow. That crazy. Say, tell your deaf ain't to bring her outside. And I'll bet you she hear them licks I'm going to be putting on your... Yo, I'll beat your... She going to be undeaf today. I bet she get cured when she see me whooping your... Hey, man. Hey, hey look. I ain't coming by myself, homie. Tommy going to be there with me. Tommy going to help me whoop your... Who the is Tommy? Tommy Tell me who? Tommy, man, nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. <laughs> you just got pranked by your mama, Miss Vera. Ah, uh, that's that <laughs> right there, man. Ah, uh, my, uh, my mama, no, I don't like nobody <laughs> with him, man. God. Uh, your mama you say, your mama say, my son love me to death. He don't let nothing, he take care of me. He don't let nothing go wrong with me. Already. He don't let nobody mess with me. He said, all you got to do is act like you're going to do something to his mom. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I hope she heard it then. I hope she hear me cousin like I did, man. God, dog. I'm in the mirror sweating. I'm mad for real. <laughs> Y'all did this one, man. I swear to God, I wasn't myself. Don't judge me, man. Tell my mama she wrong for that, too, dude. <laughs> what up, nephew? What up, baby? You you, you off the chain, boy. You off the chain. You Y'all just like me, man. boy. You love your mama. I ain't mad at you. <laughs> hey, I got to ask you, man, one more thing. What is the baddest, and I mean the baddest, radio show in the land? Man, without a doubt, man. It's the Steve Harvey <laughs> Morning Show, man. We'll be a few times, man. Without a doubt. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Hey man, tell Miss Vera I said, hey, all right. I, I go, I go, we're gonna go drop off that little two hundred dollars. But she wanna, she wanna play games though. You know what I'm saying? Don't <laughs> <laughs> might be on her now. <laughs> that is. Straight Woo! stupid fight. Just yeah. stupid. That's all. I'm just trying yeah. to be a little stupid this morning. Play That's all. too uh-huh. much. You know, a couple drops of stupid in here. Uh-huh. That's all. Boy. Thank you. Tell him yeah. what. Team Tommy. Boy. Huh? <laughs> boy. Why I can't be a team? This boy's stupid. <laughs> Most damn near all the time. <laughs> on and off, Steve. He just up. plays stupid on the radio. He's he playing really too damn that good that to be stupid. playing. Let me say this. Uh, first of all, thank you to Knoxville, Tennessee. Came out and Steve, Uncle Steve, he, he wanted me to make sure I. T- man, tell Steve Bruce Bruce said hello, man. Uh, that's my dude right there, man. Tell Big Steve. Uh, you sound just like Bruce, Bruce, my dude. Man. <laughs> Bruce. Just like him, Bruce Bruce. <laughs> I love me some Bruce Bruce. He wanted me to tell everybody hello, Steve Harvey Bruce, Morning Bruce. Show. Thanks to Knoxville, Tennessee, laying in the cut. I got, uh, what I got? I got Virginia. Virginia Beach Comedy Club uh, starts on Thursday. That is May 2nd all the way to May 4th. And uh, that's Thursday, Friday, Saturday. You got a lot of stuff And them tickets on. by gone. They by yeah. gone. You know, who headlining that show? Me, boy. <laughs> You're not going to do it. Steve Harvey. You're not going to do it. Me, and if you show up, me. <laughs> Oh. Oh. No, we oh. team. I ain't gonna keep taking oh, these pimp pop team. team. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna keep taking. Them. You gonna stand up for yourself, nephew? Oh, mine, you get mine, right on that table. Mine, and stand mine up. is not a zip pop team. <laughs> sure, <Cheryl> large. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen, we gotta get out of here. Thank you, nephew. Up next, strawberry letter. Subject: My son caught me cheating. We'll get into it right after this. Coming up at the top of the hour, right about four minutes after, it's my strawberry letter for today. Subject, that's not what Steve Harvey wrote in that book. What? You heard uh-huh, that's the subject. Oh. That's, the subject Ooh. is, that's not what Steve Harvey wrote in that book is the subject. But right here, right now, Nephew Tommy is here with uh, today's prank phone call. What do you have for us, Neff? What you got? Well, you know, before I bring this prank up, you know, I want to go around the room. We're going to order a pizza this morning. How do you like your pizza? We're going to start with the beautiful Carla. How you how you like your pizza? Uh, Pepperoni, uh, some vegetables, mushroom. Uh, Let's see. I just love mm. pizza. I don't care. Okay. Shirley? Yeah. I like pizza with my pizza. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. I ain't mad at no pizza. Extra ain't cheese. Lies. Yeah. Thin, thick crust, uh-huh. whatever. Junior boy? Meat lovers. <laughs> there you go. There we go. Meat lovers. The, the big dog. Lou Malnati's classic sausage pizza pie. Ooh. <laughs> That just sounds. I just love just pizza. Sounds. I mean, yeah. you right. can't go wrong with pizza. Can I tell you something? It's my favorite food. Wow, you you I just can't it. go wrong with it. Mm-hmm. Oh, you can go wrong with it now. No you can go pizza. wrong Uh-oh. if you put them anchovies on there. Oh, yeah. Today's title <laughs> is no anchovies. That's what this is. No anchovies. <laughs> Run it. Hello. Hey man, who 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 is the person I need to talk to about? The, um, I got a pizza that's been messed up. Who do I need to talk to? Well, you can talk to me, sir. Well, what's going on? What happened to your pizza? Somebody put some f-ing anchovies on my pizza. Black people, uh, black people don't eat no f-ing anchovies, man. So, so uh, who, 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 the f- would, who would do that? Who would put anchovies I, I, on my damn pizza? I, I, I didn't want Settle down, settle down with the language there, pal. All right? You know, if you got anchovies on your pizza, you just must have gotten mixed up with another order. I'll send you another f-ing pizza. It ain't a big deal. But I ain't asking no anchovies, man. What, what, matter of fact, let me ask you something. What the f- is an anchovy any damn way? It's uh, like a f- sardine. That's what a f- anchovy is, okay, pal? It's like a f- sardine. Hey, 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 let me tell you something, man. First of all, what's your name? What is your name? I'm Gino. I'm Gino. So you're the owner of the damn pizza place. Yeah, I own the damn pizza place. I don't need people calling me and cursing at me because it was a mistake. You know, mistakes happen, pal. Worse things go on in this life than, than you're getting some anchovies on your pizza. Hey, man, hey, okay, so here's the deal. I done had a bunch of guests come to my house, or order pizza, and every last one of them got anchovies on them. You know what I'm saying? So I got an issue with it. I done spent over $50 with you with these pizzas, and the, and the shit made wrong. Nobody likes anchovies? No, I told you something. Folks, black people don't eat no f-ing anchovies, man. <laughs> okay. Hold on, hold on. I, 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 I'm almost certain I've served anchovy pizza to black people before. 
Okay, the black people that I know don't eat anchovies. Okay? okay, well, then we'll send you some pizzas without any anchovies on them. Hey, you know I what? I don't, like your, I don't like your attitude. You know what, man? You don't mess well, around maybe if you didn't come at me with so much attitude to start with, you wouldn't get no attitude. Okay, okay, look at it. Don't get your ass whooped, okay? Don't get your ass whooped. What did My you ass just... Ass what, excuse said, me, don't... what did you just... Did you just threaten me? I said don't get your ass whooped. Do you no think you're talking... Who the f*** do you think you're talking to, f***ing face? I, I, I'm talking to Gino, the owner That's of right. Pizzeria. You. That's f***ing right. That's right. You don't tell me you're going to kick my f***ing okay, pal? You know where the pizzeria is. You know, okay, so, you just so, calm so, the down. Do, do you, do you, okay, that's it. I'll tell you what, man. In the next three to five minutes, I'm going to walk down there and kick your little ass behind putting these f***ing anchovies on here and having a little pompous attitude like you think you can't get your ass whooped. You come on down here, okay? And we'll see. Do me a favor. Go f*** yourself and the f***ing horse you rode in on, okay? And bring it on down here. All right, we'll take care of it there. Uh, stop some anchovies up your f***ing all right, pal? Okay, 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 cool. All right, cool. Okay, you okay, know. okay. You like to say okay a lot, do you? Just yeah. because that's one you, of your you, favorite you, words, okay? You, you need to have somebody there with you when I get there, because I promise you, Gino finna get his ass whooped. Yeah, Gino's shaking in his f***ing boots, pal. Me and my anchovies, we're sitting here scared out of our minds right now. Okay, you okay, let me, me tell you. I've dealt with clowns like you my whole f***ing life. Please. Okay, let, let, let me tell you this here. Do you, do, you, do you know who you're talking to? I'm talking to some f***ing idiot who don't know how to talk. That's what I'm talking to. No, you're talking to Nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Mr. Gino, you just got pranked. <laughs> you telling me I'm throwing F-bombs all over the radio? <laughs> <laughs> you dropping F-bombs all over the radio, who, baby. Who, who, I want to know who did this to me because they're getting some F-bombs. Do you, do, this you have, do you have a guy that works for you? Uh, he says he works uh, five to close. Andre, you got a Andre? You got a Dre that works for you? Yeah, I got a Dre that works for me. And Dre's going to be spending some time in a walk-in freezer. <laughs> uh, this Black people again. don't need anchovies, huh? <laughs> Black people don't need anchovies, baby. Hey, I got to ask you this, Mr. Gino. What is the baddest, and I mean the baddest, radio show in the land? Your show, <laughs> the baddest radio show in the land, is the Steve Harvey Show. <laughs> With no Steve Harvey show, Morning. No Steve Harvey show. Morning Show. <laughs> I mean, I'll be saying, I'm going to send you some pizzas. I'm sending that station dozens of pizzas with anchov double anchovies on every one of them. <laughs> <laughs> No anchovies, baby. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> you be tripping. No Crazy anchovies. Much. What do we say about anchovies off the air? Do black people eat anchovies? No. Yeah. I, no. They, no. Yes, they do. They do now? Terry Kennedy, who runs my uh, production company, East 112, mm -hmm. loves anchovies, and so does Reginald Hutland. I was oh, sitting yeah. with two black people uh -huh. having lunch, <laughs> and both of them ordered anchovies. She ordered a dish of them. Ooh, just wow. a little salty fish just in the little bowl, huh? I don't know what your <laughs> breath <laughs> smells like after you lay a anchovy in it. Well, I know what they smell like when they up round my mouth. Uh -huh. I put anchovy in my mouth, man. I spit so far. I spit it on you. <laughs> The whole thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Everybody going to get some of this damn man, Joe, because I'm not finna for to suffer by myself. But I do like the I've Caesar never had dressing. It. Yeah. I ain't You've never had no anchovy. I, I don't think oh, I've ever had anchovy it. dressing. Uh -huh. Oh, it's delicious. Yeah, it's very good. Yeah. You've never had an anchovy, Tommy? No. I don't think so. How? I don't. Mr. Caviar? Wait a minute. Is this you know Mr. What? Caviar talking? Do they have a. Wait, whoa, whoa. Do they have a caviar pizza? Dude, of course. I'm sure you can. Yeah. Oh, boy, sure don't, 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 boy, don't tell me this. Of course. Don't, don't you, tell you me caviar. this, boy. Yeah. Of course. Uh, um, you, had, you had caviar on your pizza before? Uh-uh. <laughs> well, if they got an anchovy, can't be far behind. <laughs> don't nobody do that. <laughs> <Damn>. That's <what laughs> you don't eat caviar on no damn pizza, but they got it. <laughs> okay. Tom, you can All right, let it. me put it out there. Uh, Glenside, Pennsylvania. If y'all got anchovy, uh, not anchovy, if you got... Caviar on your pizza. Bring your boy one. I will be there. 
Saturday, April 13th, along with the beautiful Samoa at the Keswick Theater. Come round back. Black people ass. Your concert finna be stinking so bad. I got them, Tommy. Got your anchovies. We got two shows, one at 7 and one at 10 at the Keswick Theater. You don't want to miss it. Tickets are on sale right now. That's Glenside, Pennsylvania. And then April 19th, a Friday night, Knoxville, Tennessee, me and Bruce Bruce. Now, me and Bruce Bruce will eat just straight meat lovers. Knoxville, Tennessee at the Knoxville Civic Auditorium. Tickets are on sale right now. Come get your laugh on. We're putting them out there. All right. Thank you, nephew. With, without anchovies. But I accept all caviar on my pizza. You can't make no damn caviar pizza at your house. <laughs> you picky. You know, you picky with your rich, dog. You really are. Hey, all right, dog, we got to go, guys. I have to tell you what they eat now. Don't tell me this, man. We got to go. He'll tell you off the air. Thank you, Neff. Up next, Strawberry Letter Subject. That's not what Steve Harvey wrote in that book. We'll get into it right after this. Coming up at the top of the hour, right about four minutes after, it's today's Strawberry Letter. The subject, the cookie drove my best friend crazy. Hell yeah. <laughs> me too. Me too. Yeah. But right now, the nephew is here with today's prank phone call. What you got, Neff? That ain't my brother, baby. Huh? That ain't my okay. brother, baby. <laughs> you sound drunk. I mean that. <laughs> what? Okay, that's it, huh? That's self-explanatory, pretty much. That's, that pretty much speaks for itself. Yeah, it that does. ain't my brother, baby. It does. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right. So we're gonna run it. Here it is. Right. Don't worry about it. It's something I need to take care. I talk to. Hello. May I speak to Terry? This is she. My name is Daryl. Damon is my brother. I don't live in Dallas where y'all live at. I'm uh, the one that live out of town. But we didn't have a family meeting and talked about it. And uh, I know Travis is your son. He eight years old. But the problem is the reason why I'm calling you, uh, Terry, is because we didn't find out that Travis ain't none of Damon's child. Excuse me. Travis ain't none of Damon's child. He been paying you child support here for the last Wait. eight. Hold on, and you said your name was who? I'm Daryl. I'm Damon's brother. And who gave you this information? We we all done found the information out. We actually going to go down there to the courthouse and get all this stuff rectified, but we done found out that D- Travis ain't none, of, uh, ain't none of Damon's child. And he been sitting up here sending you money, seven dollars $800 a month, and this child ain't even here. Now, I hate for Travis to find this out, and he going to have to find it out. Oh, but, wait, 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 he ain't finna find that but why are you calling me? Look, the family didn't have a meeting, and I'm the one that they decided to make the phone call and tell you what's going on. No, you, 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 you don't have a damn thing to do with this. You, you ain't nobody daddy over here, so I'm not sure what you're calling for or who died made you king or wanted you to be head in charge to call. But that is not going to work out. But let me, why Why are you doing this to my brother? That's what I'm saying. For eight years, the man been sending you 700 something dollars a month, and, and, and this ain't even his child. Well, you know, I, I, why, am, why am I even talking to you? I'm not really sure. Uh, your brother need to call me if he has any problems or questions. You have a good day. They, they, Hello. You don't hang no damn phone up on me. Damon told me your little ass was hard headed anyway. Now look. Wait I'm, a minute. You know what? You you got the wrong one, baby. Like I'm trying to not lose all my religion today, but you about to make me lose it on your. About to make you me lose. Who, what? You don't know who you with over here. So like I said before, uh, my son, your uh, nephew that you trying not to claim over there. I don't know why you came from wherever there. You said you came from the Dallas to try to cross the from, I came from California down here to Dallas, and I'm telling and you, you need to take your black back to California because down here it, it, you don't know me like that. No, I don't know you, but I'm finna know you, and Travis finna know that my brother ain't his daddy. Not, I, not, I, and I, I don't know. You know what? You need to talk to your brother again. That's what you need to do, and you don't need to be talking to me. You finna send us all the money my brother didn't sent y'all. <laughs> And when I do, look, when I send when I send all that uh, eight years worth of money back, you you gonna send every dime back because it belonged to my brother. That ain't my brother child. Now we ain't got time to be going on no Mari Povich show or nothing to find out who the daddy. Right, you know what? Like I said, you picked the wrong one. It'd be your best bet not to call me anymore. You actually, it is a good thing that you call. 
Because if you can't knock it on my door, you'd have got your ass with the day. No, you go. That, uh, that's my second thing I'm finna do if we can't rectify it over the phone. I don't have a problem coming over there, knocking down some doors and getting some questions answered. Because, damn it, this ain't Damon's baby. It, obviously, you must wish it was yours since you're taking so much interest. No, it ain't mine. But but it, it ain't Damon's either. And we got 700. You, you must not have any and looking for some. But I, I'm sorry. This one's taken over here. And Damon will continue to pay what he owes. Damon don't owe so another. Fine with, that's what's wrong with you brothers. No, you don't want to pay. I'm sorry. He's going to continue to pay. And you can call whoever you want to call him. Do whatever you want to do. So go back and tell your mama and everybody else who, 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 who waiting for this meeting to let them know. It ain't happening. Look, my mama ain't got nothing to do with it. Mama so been... You said, my, your mama, you said your mama and all y'all got together. She the same way. That's, I see where you get it from. You act just like her. No, no. Some nosy, y'all some nosy people. Mind your own damn business. That's a grown man. That ain't... My mama said it from the get-go that it wasn't her, that it, it wasn't Damon child. Nah, that mean your mama's a two-faced lot because you ain't what your mama said. You ain't finna sit here and bring my mama up in this? Well, if you know so much, then you better come knock on my door. Come knock on my door if you want to. We done done the math. $750 times 12, <laughs> then times 8 is $72,000. <laughs> <laughs> that's how much money my brother didn't send you, and that's how much we want back. And I need you to get to working on this money now. Mm, okay. Why don't you come over here and get it? Don't get your <laughs> whooped today, Terry. Come on over here. You don't see them get their <laughs> whooped. You, you in Dallas. When is, you, 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 I don't care nothing about, but I'm in no Dallas. This ain't California. So what? Well, is, I don't even know what the hell. I don't, why I'm, I don't even know why I'm wasting my time talking to you. Like I said, you, your, your brother is is a weak. If he got to have you, y'all had a meeting and you got to be the one to call. I, I'm not really understanding. Look, I got one more thing I need to say to you. Is you listening to me? You know, you do know my damn nerves. That's what you're doing. You, you, you respect me. Are you listening to me? <laughs> You what? This is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just got oh, pranked. My <laughs> oh my! You just got pranked by your sister Tanya, baby. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> she said, "Talk to her about her baby daddy and that baby." Yeah, I don't play with the children. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so embarrassed. All right, let me ask you this. What is the baddest? I'm talking about the baddest radio show in the land. The Steve Harvey Morning Show. <laughs> <laughs> that is. That ain't my brother's baby. Whew, I guess not. <laughs> you play way yeah. too much, Tommy. You what cuss you me mean? out all you want to. That ain't my brother's baby. <laughs> But it is always the family member that gets into it. That uh uh that baby don't look nothing like him. I need a DNA test. You need one. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Maury Povich, you are not. Yeah. Oh and my God. On, now that's where you that's where TV. you see it at, Carl. Uh -huh. Right there. It's still on. Oh, I TV. love it. Oh, they come I love out it when clowning. it's not the um the person that's on there and they take off running to do that. <laughs> uh, doing a yeah, happy when he's dance, not the father. Where that. you be going back there? For? <laughs> yeah, they be running. Are oh, you trying to get out of the way? You trying to get out of that camera, uh -huh. dog? They, they done ran back there so many times. They done already set cameras up back there. <laughs> yeah. And then what about the times when <laughs> this guy comes out? It's not his baby. This then another guy comes out. They take the test. It's not his baby. Then another. You're like, one. What have you been doing? Like, You're what? right. You've been busy. Yeah. You been busy. What you been doing? <laughs> Did they put the baby on the screen? Yeah. And the baby yeah, hands that be up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the baby be like, well, who is? Oh no. Hmm? Are you my daddy? <laughs> Look at him, Levante. Look <laughs> at him. Look at him, Levante. <laughs> then they look take, just like you. I know. Then they take the lie detector test. Yeah. That's wrong. No, Man. no, no. Not Ooh. the lie detector. You. <laughs> but then Maury gets up with that brown envelope. Yes. Man. Boy. I love it. I love After the fourth person they ain't found a baby dad, I like what Maury says. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, tell me, where you going to be? Time. I'll be at the Keswick Theater, Shirley. I'll be at the Keswick Theater along with the beautiful Samoa. Uh, Saturday, April the 13th, baby. Glenside, Pennsylvania. Uh, we will be in the building. We got two shows, one at 7 and one at 10. And tickets are on sale right now. Don't miss out. If you're living in Glenside, Pennsylvania, get your tickets. They're on sale right now. Following a week later, baby. Uh, April 19th, Friday night, Knoxville, Tennessee. Me and Bruce, Bruce. Mm -hmm. At Knoxville Civic Auditorium. Tickets available at all Ticketmaster outlets. Me and the one and only Bruce Bruce will be in the building having fun. Never been to Knoxville, Tennessee before, but I'm on my way. So 
stupid is coming to Knoxville. Y'all don't understand me, Knoxville. Stupidity is on the way. Tell them, Junior. Tell them who's coming. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, nephew. Up next, it is today's Strawberry Letter subject. The cookie drove my best friend crazy. Mm. I had that happen it's, before. They oh. driving me crazy. I don't oh. know why, why that's even a letter. Oh, okay then. Well, it's a little twist to it. Oh, okay. It's a little different than what you think. Well, if it's it just be. look as, as face value, uh-huh. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Going on the subject. All right. All right. It's based next. on the title. <laughs> I'm in total agreement. We'll get into the letter right after this. Coming up at the top of the hour, right about uh, four minutes after the hour, it's the Strawberry Letter. For today, the subject post-Valentine's Day drama, but right now, the nephew <laughs> is in the building. He's here with today's prank phone call. What you got for us, Neff? The title is Jean, I Got You Girl. Jean, I Got You Girl. Come on, cat dog. Hello? It's me to Jean. Yeah, what's up with us? My name is Vernon, brother. What's playing? What's going on? I need to holler at you for a minute, my man. About what? I want to holler at you about your wife. So you got a minute? Yeah, I'm listening. Uh, I don't even know how to break this to you, dog. I just want to be straight up with you, man. Me and your wife been kind of seeing each other. And uh, really, she want to let you go, but she ain't, you know, she really ain't got it, got it up in her to say she want to let you go. So uh-huh. you know, I'm coming to you like a man and letting you know, you know, that... uh. She really wanted to shut it down with you. We've been seeing each other for a minute now. Uh-huh. So I don't know how we can, you know. I'm just coming at you like a man, brother, trying to let you know she don't even really want you no more. You know, we, right. we done talked about it, talked about it. And uh, I'm just trying to get it all I know. I'm tired. Right. I'm tired of hiding with it, really. Okay. Okay. Well, you know, it's a lot smoother than I expected, player. I mean, it is what it is. It is what it is. I mean, long long as you, long as you cool. I, I thought you know, I just want to be a man, call and holler at you, and let you know. Have you seen her today? And where you from? From Jersey. I'm up around Newark. I mean, you said it's a lot smoother than you thought it was gonna be. Well, you know, anytime some another man finna call another man about his wife, I mean, yeah, you don't expect it to be nothing, you know, pretty simple. That's for sure. I mean, that- I didn't contemplate it a long time by calling you, so I, you know today I just said to hell with it. I'm How you get my number? No, I've been had your number. I had your number a long time. All right, now you say you looking. Uh, it's a lot smoother than you thought it was gonna be. It ain't that smooth, but you know. Well, you don't like, want you know. Like the, the the thing is, you got one up on me because you know my information. Now I gotta come find you. Okay, wait, 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 hold up now. Yeah. You feel like... Oh, no, nah, I don't need to hold up. You uh, tell me what you're going to say. Okay, you feel like you need to be looking for me or something? Yeah. Brother, look, look at this. Let's check this out. This is a decision that the wife has made. You understand what I'm saying? See, you have no reason to be mad at me about anything. You have no reason to be coming looking for me or any information on me. Because, see, when that happens, then it's going to really get stanky up in here. And I'm trying not to let that happen. That's why I'm calling you like a man, brother. Trust me, man. It ain't nothing that I'm never worried about. Okay. Well, I'm just letting you know, man. I'm letting you know up front. She, we, me and her contemplated a long time, yada, yada. So now, you know, here we are. So I said, you know what the hell with it. I'm calling today. Well, y'all should have did this on the phone together. I'd have respected both of y'all a lot more. Okay. Well, you know, and, and then, you know, if, if that's what it's got to be, we'd be face-to-face together, whatever it's got to be, man. So well, that's what I prefer, you know. Okay. So, but but let me ask you this here. Where is going then? Once we both stand flat-footed and tell you how it is, then what? I ain't, I ain't going to never be flat-footed. Okay. Well, 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 flat-footed or upside down, any way you want to look at it, bro. I'm trying not to get into this physical part, but it seems like you're leaning that way with me. It could be whatever, you know. It could be on this side of the dirt or the other side. It don't make a difference. It, it, it never does, brother. It never does. When two bulls come together, one of them got to go down. Now, guess what? We ain't doing too much talking. You got my information. Guess what? Now, I'm lock loaded and hunting for you. You lock and loaded? Well, there's no need for you to say it. There's no need for us to discuss anymore. Okay, cool. You know, mind, while, while we at it, man, let me go and drop it all on you then. Because it seems like we need to go and get it all out the way. You cool? Right. You know what I'm saying? 
I think you need, you know, matter of fact, if you want to just keep it all the way real, you might want to go take a blood test about Alana and make sure you the papa to that. All right. Feel me? Got it. So, uh, I'm going to have your wife give you a call, man, because we didn't contemplate it too long. And it's time. You do, yeah, you do that. You know my information. Like I said, you, you said enough. You hit enough bones there. Now I'm really locked loaded, hunting for somebody. So, you know what? I mean, somebody got to go. What you Nothing mean? Near you. Wait, 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 wait. What was all this? Somebody got to go. Huh? What, you, what you saying? Somebody got to go. Somebody got to go, like. Okay, you talking about either me or you? One of us got to yeah. go? See, see, because well, you're saying the wrong thing, because what you must understand is if I've given you as much information as I already have, that means I have enough information to know where you are, brother. You know right. nothing about me nor where I reside. So if you're going to talk about lock and load and somebody got to go, then you're saying it to the wrong person because I'm already up on you, player. At, you got first to... off, you do... At first off, you ain't really a north because you got a country accent. So second off, like you're dealing with a real street so however you want to handle it, you know my information. Guess what? I don't reside there no more. I ain't there no more. So guess what? Now you got to start from scratch like me. So I'll tell you what, man. On, boy. Here go the math, man. You ready for that? You ready for this math? You ready, What's player? Here go What's the, the math? math. This is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You've been pranked by your wife. I'm a killer. <laughs> Yeah, black man, chill out, boy. You you, you kind of had me scared for a minute because you really wasn't flinching. You Whatever you eating over there, you never did stop eating on it. Oh, I ain't going to stop eating. <laughs> I'm going to keep eating. So um, I listen to y'all every morning. What's the baddest radio morning show in the land? The Steve Harvey Show. <sighs> That one is that so was chilling. a real no, like Tommy, that real was, guy, that was, real yeah, gangster geez. guy there. Yeah. I, Tommy, that was Tommy. Geez. I was scared huh? for you, Tommy. I was. I was. He, he was he was gonna do something to you, man. Uh -huh. Yeah, he, yeah, he yeah, yeah. I felt hurt while he was talking. I yeah. felt pain coming. He, I was like, okay. I was, <laughs> hey, player, I was saying to you myself, want all please of it? Tell him it's a joke, quick. <laughs> Hey man, you, hey, hey man, you wanna you 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 wanna keep it all the way real? You probably need to get a blood test for little Alana. Yeah. So yeah, he, he said right there. He said right there. You cross the line now. He said yeah. Somebody yeah. got to go now. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. See. Not, and he said, tell me, he said he don't live there no more. So I'm looking for you. That was checkmate right there. That was yeah, a checkmate it was, for me. Jay. Yeah. I'm still uh, scared. Jay, I actually got scared, Jay. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> I'm still you know, scared right now. Yeah, I'm still you, you, scared. When your heart start pumping and you say, you know what? This is not something I shouldn't have. I shouldn't see, have But Tommy, see. <laughs> you ain't from the north with that country accent. With that country ass accent <laughs> you got. You ain't no north side blankety blank nowhere. <laughs> I'll see what you don't know I'll is you messing with a real. Yeah. <laughs> that, was, that was scary, Tommy. That was really scary, man. Oh, and yeah. the fact that I know he wasn't afraid of you, he never yeah. stopped eating. He yeah. never. Right. Because most people put their food down to make a point. He was now, eating Jay, now, and Jay, making you was, points. Let me ask you something, Jay. You was listening. You was listening. And what was he really eating? What was that? What? I don't know what it was, <laughs> but he was able to keep his mind on his food and you at the same yeah. time. And he didn't miss a beat. He didn't was miss Chinese a food. beat. Uh-huh. <laughs> Uh -huh. yeah. Some shrimp oh, and broccoli or something. Yeah. <laughs> well, I made it through it, and uh, he's okay. Yeah, he's not did, looking man. for me. He's not wanting no, to do something looking. to me. But he sounds like uh, a guy that don't let the joke go, though, Tommy. He does sound well, no, like that no, guy. Well, no, but let me tell you this, Jay. After we got through recording, I did stay on long enough to make sure. Are uh, you and I, are, are we cool? Did he are me and you he, cool? Did he ever Do you need smile? anything from me? You know, Did he ever you need an smile? autograph book from Steve, whatever you need, uh, I got that. You know, you need saying? Steve just, to call you or something. Yeah, just, that's my but nephew Tommy. playing. You know, whatever you. Need. Did he ever crack a smile? Did he ever like never up once? A bit? Yeah, never. You, it, you know, like when we got off, he's like, you know, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna let you make it, you know. But you know, oh, hey, you, you know, you messing with, with the Tommy. wrong one, you know. Hopefully, Tommy. I'll see you though, Tommy. With Hopefully, black I'll man see go. you. I'm like, well, uh -huh. what, what do that mean? Hopefully, you'll yeah, see me. But, what is, <laughs> when a black man go, uh huh, uh huh, mm -hmm. uh huh, I hear you. He's just bring, he's just taking in information. He ain't afraid of nothing. Yeah. Like, and I know a uh -huh. neck bone when I hear one. Nah. I, mean, <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. He's shrimp and broccoli. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you, nephew. Coming that was up. Good, Tommy. <laughs>
We got the strawberry letter subject post Valentine's Day drama. Dumbest letter you ever heard when we come back right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Coming up at the top of the hour, right about four minutes after, it's my strawberry letter for today. The subject, get a load of this, guys. I like big butts. I cannot lie. Yes. Yes. <laughs> we'll my get into of that. <laughs> yeah. We'll get into that a little later. Right now, the nephew is here with today's prank phone call. What you got for us, Neff? Well, we're still in black history, so we're going to... Shed a little light on it. This right here is Johnson's Freedom Papers. Johnson's oh. Freedom Papers. <laughs> yes. Let's go, cat. Hello? Hello, I'm trying to reach uh, Franklin Franklin Johnson, please. Uh, yeah, this is him. Franklin, uh, how you doing today? My name, is, uh, my name is Kyle, Kyle Green. I'm with the uh, uh, Immigration Department of the state of uh, Tennessee. Uh, yeah, how could I help you? Now you were you were born and raised in Tennessee, am I correct? Yeah, born and raised in Tennessee. Okay. Now, uh do you do you still live in in the Tennessee area now or are you in a different state? I'm right in Memphis. Still here. All my family, all the Johnsons, he's still here living good. Okay. All right. So, here's what's going on. Um it's been brought to our attention here at the immigration that Anyone in the state of Tennessee who has the last name of Johnson, um, I, and I don't even know how to break this to you or tell this to you, but it's, it's been brought to our attention here at the immigration that anyone in the state of Tennessee, last name Johnson, for some reason, and we're going to fix the problem, but for some reason they're saying no Johnsons are free. You know, like there's some huh. clause or something and some paperwork or whatever, but what we need is we need all the Johnsons to come in by six to, by six o'clock today, so we can try to take care of the problem. If not, if, if all Johnsons that are not reported in by six will have to get picked up. Uh, I know this is a joke. Like we we've been. I know this is a joke, baby. I'm free. What are you talking about? Like, well, uh, you calling me talking about you talking about the Johnsons ain't free. What are you What are you talking about? Since you saw. Pumpy Johnson got for the home. Everybody's attacking Johnson's now. Uh, no, sorry. This is this is the real. This is. I, I know this is a, a crazy to get a phone call like this, but like I say, it's it's. We got some paperwork here. Everybody's scrambling around trying to get to the bottom of this. But bottom line is, we need all the Johnsons to come in because uh, right right now in the state of Tennessee, no person with the last name of Johnson is free right now. Hey, get the. F- out here. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Are you black? Yeah, I'm black, but, but yeah, I, I'm black. Are, 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 are you free? Yeah, I'm free. So what are you talking about coming to me talking about since my last name Johnson, my family got to come down to immigration because we ain't free? Who the hell are you calling me talking about some crap like that, man? Okay, sir, the, the, the pro- we're going to fix the problem, but we need all Johnsons to come in. We're going to fix it. Who are you, the head, of, paper- you the head of the census or something? I'm, I'm sorry. Are you the head of the census? Oh uh, no, I'm not. Or something like that. Like, why are you calling me talking about Johnson? This, it, you are some Uncle Tom ass calling me talking about Johnson that we ain't free, and we got to come down and, and you you're threatening my family. This guy, I'm not, I'm not, sir, I'm not, sir, I'm not, I'm not, sir, I'm not, I'm not threatening you. All right, like I said, my name is Kyle Green. I'm with immigration. I'm just trying to fix the problem. You know, so you're I don't want... me because your name is Green. So y'all so I, came no. down to the Johnsons. Sure. I'm not saying I'm better than you because my last name is Green. I'm saying we yeah, have a are, problem. Kyle. You are so saying that, Kyle. Mr. Green. My name is Johnson. We come from a long line of Johnsons. And don't let me have the bumpy Johnson on you because you saw how he was cutting my throat. Oh. Don't play with me. Oh, 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 okay. Sir, can we... Uh, I want to help you and I want to help all the Johnsons. Okay. You ain't helping Let's nobody get... but yourself, Mr. Green. You Uncle Tom. I saw y'all lights in Django. The house mo. Okay. I bet you on them light skin green eyed Terrence Howard looking mo. Thank you. Those are good hands. I'm black not, not... ebony. I got a wide nose and I'm proud to be black. And they gonna have your light skin ass for me. Somebody bring my my family down there. You got some guy for nerve. 
It's all oh, this oh. tribalism amongst us. Oh. Sir, can I expect you to come down to immigration at six o'clock before six? Kyle sound like a light skinned mother. Kyle Green. Oh. That sound light skinned. Oh. Sir. Can I get you to come down to immigration by nah, 6 o'clock? No, you cannot have me come down. I'm going to come down there with my god a whole bunch of Johnsons, and we're going to turn it up. Okay, so is, 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 is your wife last name Johnson, too? Don't worry about what my wife's last name is. Don't try to set her up. Okay, is your is your mother still living? Don't worry about my mama still living. You don't have to. I'm about to hang this god on up. You question me. You, you, you've done crossed the line, you light-skinned mother Okay, okay, sir. All I know is that you know we got to. We were trying to get as many Johnsons as we could to come in. Tommy, Tommy is the one that told us to call you. Okay, Franklin, that's who told us to call you. Who? Tommy said you you probably want to call Franklin Johnson and get him on the line because he you know a lot of the other Johnsons and you can get them all to come in. That's what Tommy said. What you think? You think I'm that motherfucker that's gonna round up all the Johnsons? That's how they came over from Africa. It was one black motherfucker that got took them all of the boats talk about they was going on vacation and they came all the way over here. I'm not rounding them no god Johnson. And who the hell is Tommy? Tommy, man. Tommy said you would do it. Tommy said you would be cool with it. I don't know no god Tommy. He sound like him too. Okay, do you know do you know nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show? Do you know that motherfucker? <laughs> oh <laughs> I got my blood pressure. <laughs> hey, man. Oh, man. Hey, Franklin. Yes. Hey, Franklin, take this out, man. Your boy J-Rob is the one that got me to prank phone call you, man. <laughs> oh, he ain't he ain't allowed over to the barbecue no more, man. Was he a whiskey? Was he, was he, was he drinking some of that whiskey when he called you, man? That mother... I don't know what he was when I called him, bro, but he wanted me to make so he Frank Franklin. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, you got to tell me this right here, Franklin. Give it to me, baby. Franklin Johnson. You got to tell me this. What is the baddest, and I mean the baddest, radio show in the land? The Steve Harvey Show with Nephew <laughs> Tommy. <laughs> Really, yes. Tommy? You him. went there on him. Oh. Hey, Tommy, but you know what, though? Like but, Tommy, green but, Tommy, but Tommy, <laughs> but Tommy, he had you shook up a little bit, though. Cause yeah. he, he sounded like he had you all balanced a little bit because he was serious with it. Yeah, uh -huh. Bumpy Johnson when he said Oh, okay. Johnson. Oh, you think I'm going to round up all the Johnsons? I ain't that blankety blank. <laughs> See, you like skin, ain't you? <laughs> you, you probably one of them light skinned Terrence Howard yeah. looking ass boy. Green eye. <laughs> boy. Green eye. Boy. With good hair. <laughs> boy. Boy, he was mad. He was hot. Kyle mm. Green. Sound light skin. <laughs> hey, yeah. Hey, hey man, is your is your wife last name John? Don't worry about my wife. That's is right. your mother still? Boy. See, man, you done crossed the line now. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Yes, Tommy, sir. He was gonna come <laughs> down it. there and yeah, be he was. bowed it. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Need he all was. the Johnsons uh -huh. to come down so we can get these papers together. But y'all, y'all not free <laughs> yet. About that life. <laughs> Hold up, man. <laughs> Is you black? Yeah. Oh, so you done got your Uncle Tom ass. Now you gonna round up. Whoa. See, that's you that, that you was on Django. He, yeah. he was, <laughs> right, right, he right. Had yeah. all, he, yeah. all his reference was light skin, Terrence Howard, mm. Django, mm. you a house in, you a yeah. Uncle Tom. He had Tommy, he was through with Tied you. Yeah, yes, he, he was. was. He was. He really Nephew, was. Nephew, happy Black uh, History Month. Yes. Black Black history, baby. Yes. Yes. Happy Black History to everybody and all the Johnsons out there. Happy Black History. <laughs> all right, Nephew, thank you. Coming up, Strawberry Letter subject, I like big butts and I cannot lie. We'll get into it right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Hello? Hello, I'm trying to reach a uh, Miss Glenda, please. This is she speaking. Uh, Miss Glenda, this is Gary. Gary, I'm with the um, Black History. Of okay. You, uh, you, you participated last year in the in the Black History Parade. Am I right? Yes, I sure did. Uh, okay, I got your name from one of the members on the committee, 
and we're trying to see if you can actually build some help for this year's Black History uh, for this month. I sure would. Be glad to help. Okay. Listen, um, we're having an auction tomorrow and wanted to see if you could uh, actually maybe build some help with the auction that we actually have going on tomorrow. Yes. Do I need to donate anything, or what is it that you really need me to do? Um, uh, what it is, is is we're having slaves for a day, and what we're going to be doing is auctioning you off, and somebody's going to buy you tomorrow, and you'll be their slave. Slaves for the day. Slaves? Uh-huh. Yeah, you'll be their slave for the day. That's what... The, that's what we've decided to do with the Black History. We've decided. I didn't to do. mean. I. I don't. I want to participate, but being a slave, no. Okay, but see what you. But, but you, I want you to understand that this is a worthy cause, though. You know, I understand we want to, it's we, a worthy cause, but I'm not gonna be no slave. Well, well, you. I mean, you don't have to call it a slave. I mean, a, a servant. You know, a, a, a butler. You know what I mean? Slave, Whatever you want to call servant, it. I'm just saying. Same but, damn thing. No, I ain't gonna be no. Slave. Okay, okay, ma'am, ma'am, ma'am Miss, Miss Glenda, what I'm trying to explain to you, this is a worthy call for the black history, and we're trying to get you to be there. Somebody may buy you for $500 tomorrow. No, I'm not going to do it. Okay, are, 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 you, are, you, are you turning us down for a worthy cause, Miss Glenda? Yes, I am turning your down. Don't call me with that kind of no more. I mean, I don't understand what, what the problem is. Uh, uh, you know, sometimes we got to repeat history so we don't go back to the history. Sometimes we got to do it again so we don't go back to it. You understand? But here it is, it seems like you you acting like a, 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 a house Negro or, or something. Like you too uppity a or house something. house Negro. A house Negro. Who's the chairman of, of this? Excuse me? The chairman. Last time I spoke with Mr. Wilson and we didn't have no like this. Okay, and I understand that, but what I'm trying to explain to you is this is something that... I don't want you to explain a thing to me. Do not call me with this kind of again. Are you going to show up tomorrow so we can sell you? Do you understand me? Are you going to show up tomorrow so we can sell you? We already have... You're not going to sell me. We have you listed to be sold tomorrow. Sell your... We've got you listed to be sold tomorrow, ma'am. Can we please make sure... I'm not going to be sold. And you. Do not call here again. Hey, listen, if you don't show up tomorrow, then we will come to your house and sell you there. Come to my house? I, I, I wish got, you, if I got to come I to wish you sold, would come to my house. Bring your me? over here if you want to. Listen, I will come there to sell you if you're not going to come out to the auction. Come on to my house. You bad. Come on to my house. Okay, I tell you, and you know what? I need you to do this. You, you need to start saying yes, sir, and no, sir to me right now. Okay? Kiss I need my, to get you in the, in the frame of mind of, of being a slave my, of the day. Okay? I didn't hear what you said. Kiss my g- black I'm coming to your house tomorrow, and I'm going to sell you in front of your house if you don't come down to the auction tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock. You better not bring your to my house. You better not. Do you understand me? I don't march for civil rights. I don't have time for no like that. you. I Do understand, not. but right now we're trying to raise some money for black history, and we need to sell you tomorrow morning. You're not going to sell me you're not going to sell me. F*** you and don't call my house no more. Do you understand? Do not call. I understand exactly what you're saying. Can I tell you something else? Who else going to be sold tomorrow? Hell no. Don't tell me. I, I got one more thing I do need to tell you. What is it? This is Nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just got pranked by your sister. My sister? <laughs> my sister. <laughs> I can't believe that. Uh-uh. I'm going to get her. I can't believe she done did this. Miss Glenda, you all right? I'm all right. This is some crazy. I can't believe this. I'm going to whoop her. I'm going to whoop her for this. It don't sound like you were going to get sold. No way. Hell no. You wasn't getting on this auction block, huh? No. No way. <laughs> Because Miss Linda's been there. I've been at the sit-ins, the marches. I've done some of everything. Yes, ma'am. Well, I tell you what, Miss Glenn, if it wasn't for people like you, we probably wouldn't be where we are today. That's so right. We we, we show thank you. We show thank you. I just wanted to play a joke on you. Did I get you? Yes, you did. <laughs> you sure did. <laughs> All right. I got, one more, I got one more thing to ask you. What is? What is the baddest, and I mean the baddest, radio show in the land? The Steve Harvey Morning Show. <laughs> Hello. Uh, hello. I'm looking for a uh, William Gniffer. This Mr. Gniffer. Uh, how you doing? Listen, my name is Vernon Simmons. I was uh, 
I don't know how to. Uh, oh man, my wife and I evidently go to the same um, fertility specialist that you and your wife go to, Doctor uh, Doctor Gnastagin. Are you familiar with Doctor Gnastagin? I'm familiar with Doctor Gnastagin, but that's supposed to be confidential. Yeah, I'm aware of that as well, sir. My wife is out on business right now. She's she's gone for won't be back until Tuesday. But uh, I got a call today, a very disturbing phone call, and wanted to. You know, I looked your number up. They did tell me wh- what was going on and kind of so, wanted to let somebody, you. Somebody told you my number? You got you got my number from somebody? No, I I, I looked up your number. Uh, <sighs> here, here, here it is, Symphony in the nutshell. My wife and I, evidently, we, you, you and you and your wife have go- been going through the same type of problems of trying to get pregnant and, and so forth and so on. And uh, from my understanding, your wife is, what, four, five months pregnant? I'm, I'm not sure. Wait a minute. Yeah, my wife is exactly five months pregnant, but I'm still confused on how you're getting in touch with me and what this has to do with me. Well, I mean, all that stuff that we've gone through is totally confidential, and I, I'm kind of uh, offended that you're calling me. I understand that. Well, what's what's happening is um, I got a phone call from the doctor's office today. I, you know, oddly, to get a call on a Sunday, you know, you, it kind of raises a red flag. But um, I got a call, and it seems like there's been a huge mistake by the doctor's office. Evidently, your wife has been artificially inseminated with my seed, and I, 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 I was what? I, I mean, I, I'm just as disturbed as you are. You know what I mean? Because I, I mean, me and my wife are. You know, my wife is two months pregnant, and finally, I, how could they do something like that? I mean, that, that doesn't make any sense. I, I mean, sir, I, I, I have no idea. All I know is is that you know, I, I hate to, to use the expression, but I'm, I'm. I'm your wife's baby's daddy, and and <laughs> no, okay, okay, wait a minute. I, 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 no, no, no. no I, <laughs> so I, uh, you, makes no, that, that, that didn't ha- that doesn't happen. No way. So I'm trying to make sure I bring the news to you and see if there's anything that we can do to. I mean, I mean, after being five months pregnant, it's kind of hard to rectify the problem. So okay, I, I, and I don't want this to sound rude, and I don't want this to sound wrong. You said baby daddy. Are you black? Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're yeah. fucking black, and my wife is gonna have a fucking black baby. Well, yeah, your wife is gonna have a black baby, but what I want you to know is, I'm not paying no damn child support. That's you're what I'm not. Worried. You're fucking worried about child support, and my wife is fucking having some other black dude's kid. Are you fucking crazy? No, I'm not. Are you out of your mind? No, I'm not out of my mind. I'm just saying I didn't lay down and conceive a child with your with your wife, so I'm making sure I'm not gonna be paying no damn child support. Man, I'm not even worried about the fucking child support. I'll pay the fucking child support. I'm worried about my, some doctor making a fucking huge mistake. And, and, and oh, my God. Your wife uh, is having... going to have a black baby. I can't believe that. that, that well, no, oh, this is unbelievable. It's well, unfucking believable. And I can't believe you didn't even fucking call my fucking house. What? And give me this fucking news. The doctor should give me this fucking news. Well, don't you I'm want it? It doesn't matter who gives you the news as long as you get the news. Now, what I want you to do is this. Please don't be giving the baby no white names and stuff. Make I sure. <laughs> white fucking names. I can't believe that you're, you're so... This is incredible. This is fucking incredible. Oh my gosh! Oh. Call me on fucking Sunday. Give me that. I'm, I'm ready to go fucking beat somebody's ass right now. This is fucking crazy. This okay. is crazy. Okay, uh, this this is this is no reason to be violent, sir. You see what I'm saying? This is already <laughs> no lets reason me... to be violent. You're you're worried about me about paying child support and talking about your seed and and your baby's daddy and all this shit. Oh man, this this is bringing the best out of me. I can promise you. Unfucking believable, man. Let me let me ask you something, sir. Do you think you may need anger management? I mean, you're not going. <laughs> you know, are you going? You're not going. You're not going to beat my child, are you? <laughs> oh man, <laughs> you, you know how to push man's buttons. I can promise you, man. That's fucking crazy. No, I ain't gonna fucking beat nobody's baby. I, you fucking crazy. You're, you're, you're I don't want crazy, you. Dude. I don't want you being violent to me and your wife's baby. <laughs> Nope. Oh, spin this thing around, huh? Man, where, where the fuck do you live, man? Who the fuck is this? Okay. Who the fuck is this? Because I, oh, man, this I, is fucking crazy. Well, here's what I'm going to ask you. Do, do you think you might want to be the godfather to the child? <laughs> to, to my own kid? No. Well, I, I guess it wouldn't be my kid. It's, it's not your, your kid. Seat. It's me and your wife's God child. God damn you. Don't you fucking say that, you fucking crazy bastard. Don't you fucking say that.
Don't it, you fucking say that. That drives me fucking nuts even thinking about something like that. It's Don't me. Don't you talk about something like that. But it's me and your wife's child. No, it ain't you and my wife. It was a fucking mistake. So don't you even fucking talk like that, you fucking crazy bastard. I'll fucking tear a hole in your head. Don't you talk like that. Okay, okay. You're going to tear a hole in whose head? In your head, you crazy bastard. See, that, this, see this, me up. You know, this, is the up, same, this is the kind of thing I don't want my child around. This <laughs> kind, This type of talk. This type of violence. So you white folks get mad and want to kill everybody in the room. Once you kill who you mad at, why do y'all do that? God damn you. God damn you. Who the fuck is this, man? Can I, can I, can I say one more thing to you? Can I do that? <sighs> I don't know if I can take any more news from you, man. I'm fucking ready to just jump to the phone. I got one more thing to say to you. This is Nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just got pranked by your wife's <laughs> Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, I'm going to beat her ass, man. I'm going to kill that. Don't, don't beat her ass. She's pregnant. She's pregnant. I'm not going to beat her ass, man. Oh, man. Why was that? Oh, it took us so long to try to get pregnant. She's going to play, play a game like this. That's wrong. Oh, Drive you got me, man. You freaking got me, man. Yeah, we listen to Steve Harvey radio show all the time, man. That's awesome. You guys are great. Oh, man. I'm, I'm going to go find her and give her a big kiss. I'm going to do that for her. God damn. All right, man. I got you one. son of a bitch, <laughs> I got one more question for you, baby. What is the baddest radio show in the land? The Steve Harvey Radio Show in the morning. <laughs> Woo, man. Hello? Hello, I'm trying to reach a Valerie. Valerie. Um, this is she. Uh, hi, Valerie. Listen, my name is Kadeem. I'm from Adoptions. I'm giving you a call. Uh, I'm sure you're aware that we're coming by tomorrow and... and uh, we great. First of all, I wanted to say thank you for being a part of um, of this adoption thing for Black History. We really greatly appreciate what you're doing. We want you what? to know that we um, have you scheduled tomorrow that we're going to drop two Caucasian kids off uh, at your household. And uh, hello, you're going to drop them off at my house? Right, right. Uh, are Are you familiar with what's going on with colorful no. adoptions? Uh, no. You're, okay, let me, well, wait a minute, hang on. You, your name has been submitted to us that you are volunteering to take in two Caucasian kids here during Black History Month, and you're going to teach them as much as you can about black history for a week. They're going to be with you for seven days. Uh, how many rooms do you have in your apartment so we can make sure that the kids have adequate space? Okay, can you tell me who submitted my name? Uh, Ma'am. Can you tell me, uh, do you guys have a back door so that, you know, there's an, as an a access uh, okay, and front where are entrance you and back entrance? I'm sorry? Where are you calling from again? I am calling from <laughs> adoptions. But I, what okay. I do need to know is I do need to know, will the kids have transportation? Do you have a vehicle that is definitely yours? No, the, that... kid, the kids won't have transportation. I'm sorry. You're asking me, no. Who are you again and... <laughs> My my name is Kadeem, ma'am. I'm calling for <laughs> adoptions. Okay. And who submitted my who submitted my information? To ma'am, do you have was... adequate space to accommodate the children? No. Who submitted my name to you to say that I was going to take two more two more? What ma'am, I'm asking office? you. Do you have adequate space, and do you are you going to be having enough food to you know for the food for the kids no, to be? I uh, know because I have three children. I'm trying to feed these three over here, and no, I don't have enough food to feed two more children now. You're calling me, and who gave you my information? Ma'am, I'm going to ask you another time. How many bedrooms do you have in your apartment unit so we can make sure that the, sh the kids are accommodated pr uh, properly? No, no, don't bring any kids to my house. I don't, I don't care w no, what color they are and what you need. Who submitted my information to you? Okay, ma'am, let me ask you something. How long have you, uh, have, how long have you been on your job? Okay, um, what the f***? Oh, no, hell no. I mean, you, your name has been submitted by... Uh, I don't care what you but say. That's not, I'm not interested. You know what will happen if you drop two kids off, two white kids off in my house? Uh, n no, ma'am, I don't. Oh, no, we're not... No, that's okay. I don't have time. I work 10 hours a day. I don't have time for that You know, it's okay. You can drop your... You know what's going to happen to them if you drop them off? But they going to be right where you drop them off at when you come back to get them next week. Okay, okay, ma'am, right are I, I, have you? Uh, somebody has submitted your name that you don't mind volunteering to take. No, no, children. you can take them to the who submitted my name. Take them to that. I don't need them. 
Okay. I don't need them. I work ten dollars a day. Take them to whoever submit. How about you take them? I'm, so, ma'am, I'm, I work for the agency, ma'am. I'm I'm here to try and get these kids a, a great place to get uh, educated. And I know that's okay. I'm not even say no about it. No, no, thank you. And you whoever told you this, take them to, take them to that. I have three children of my own. I'm taking care of. Who the uh, will tell you that? Well, I, 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 I don't know uh, exactly who submitted your name. All I know is that, that they said that you would be good as far as taking care well, of the you, children and, and teaching them about them black history. Kids to them. Who told you that? You uh, ma'am, I don't. You know, I, like I said, I'm, I'm working here. At adoptions, and I'm. I'm yeah, I don't know, give I'm a who you work for, and I have three kids of my own. I work ten hours a day. That's the. I'm teaching about Black History Month. Okay, I mean, yeah. is it is it is it a problem teaching two more children and and two Caucasian children who probably don't know as much about Black History? It is a problem. I work ten hours a day. I got three. I'm trying to feed on my own. What are you? What you need to take them children to that who told you to bring them to me? How about that? Ma'am, I, I I don't know. I'm not at liberty to give out the names on who exactly submitted your name. I want the name of the Black who told you to bring some kids to my house. I don't even care that the kid's wife. Who? I want the name of the that told you that. That's what I, I want. I, I, ma'am, I don't have their names in front of me. I don't. Who the f- told you to bring these two kids to my house? Ma'am, I, like I said, I don't know who told me that. All I know is we're scheduled to drop them off at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Oh, uh, what kind of f- man? F- they gonna be out there when you come back to get them. I didn't sign up for any more kids. You, you, who the f- Give me the name of the person who told you to bring me to my house. I don't have the name in front of me, and, and actually I'm not uh, at liberty to, to let you know who submitted your name. All I know oh. is we're scheduled to drop two kids off at 10 o'clock tomorrow. Did you not hear what the f- I've been asking you? How the f- sign me up to bring two white kids? I don't even have a problem with the kids being white. They could be Mexican, Asian. That's not the point. Who the f- gave you my name? I don't know who submitted your name. I don't know that. Oh, no, you got to know who gave you my information, because ain't nobody been to my house. All I know is, ma'am, I'm scheduled to bring those kids over there at 10 o'clock in the morning, okay? Oh, that's Who the f- told you that? Hey, don't bring no kids to my house. I don't even care if they white. Just don't bring two more kids to my f- house, period. Period. I will see you in the morning, Miss Valerie, okay? In the morning, b- I have one more thing I need to tell you about tomorrow. Are you listening? You. Are you listening? Yes, I'm listening. You say what the f- You have to say to me right now. This is Nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just got pranked by your co-worker named... Oh, f***. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> oh, I got these three f- kids and one of them daddy ain't... <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I thought you were... F- <laughs> Valerie, you all right? I'm all right. <laughs> all right, Valerie, I got one more thing to ask you. What is what is the baddest, and I'm talking about the baddest, radio show in the land? The Steve Harvey Morning Show. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? I'm trying to reach This is Hey, Jay, what is this? This is Wendell. I live down the street from you, man. Listen, I got a question that's, that's been bothering me for quite some time now. Um... Uh, why? Why is it that I'm noticing that all you bring inside your house, man? I'm noticing that you always bringing black ladies in and out of your house, back and forth. And I'm not the only one that noticed this. There's some other neighbors that have noticed it as well. And I just called to ask you. I I just I gotten tired of it. I want to ask you this: Why is it that you don't date white ladies? Why are you always bringing black women in and out of your house? Don't you can't can't because I'm, I'm just it's bothering me. I just want to go on and get it out there. It's bothering me. Can't you date? Some white girls and bring them in and out your house, but all times of the afternoon and the evening, man, you got black ladies coming in and out your house, and you got a nerve to be a player with it. It ain't even the same black woman. Uh, hold on. Who is this now again? This is Wendell. I live down the street from you. Down I, from me? How, yeah. how did you get my? How, did, how in the hell did you get my number? I I got your number. Then someone, in, I, me and the neighbors have been talking about it. I'm just asking you straight up. Why is it you can't date some white women? Why you gotta have black women coming in and out your house? Hey, so let me get this straight. Your is calling me at what? What time is? It? Why in the hell are you calling me in the middle of the day? Don't you got something to do? Don't you have a job? Don't I, you work? I got a job, but I'm. I, this is this is my problem. I'm having right now though. 
Are you kidding me? I mean, is this a joke? I'm just wanting to know why is it that you gotta have why you can't date some white women? Why you can't do that? But you got black women all kind of times of the night coming in and out your house, and you got I didn't see I know at least four different black girls. First of all, l let me ask you this: When the hell do you get the audacity to be calling me up and telling me what the f to do with my life? Why is it that you dating black women? I mean, and hey, hey, hang on a second. Um, I'm sorry. What your damn name was? Wendell. When Wendell. In, in, okay, Wendell. You know I must have moved in Wendell. my sleep, man. Wendell. Okay. Listen, I must have moved in my sleep because this damn street is named Downing Street, and I, I don't think you own this street. I mean, I don't see, see your stupid name on this street. So when the do you get off telling me who I can and cannot bring to my house? Who you think you talking to? I mean, uh, hang on. Who you think you talking to? Not hang call. on just one second. Hang on just one. I mean, let me ask you this. I mean, are you discriminating? I mean, because it sounds like you're discriminating to me, you stupid Oh, you ain't going to sit here and talk to me crazy. And I, what, I'm not discriminating. All I'm saying is, why is it you can't bring no uh, uh, white girls to your house? Why you can't date the white ladies? What's wrong with that? So, okay, if, let, let, let me ask you this then. So if I can understand you correctly... Let me give you an example. So what you're saying is if I don't, if I want to go down to the grocery store and I want to walk down the fucking ice cream aisle and get some ice cream, so you're saying that I can't get, I got to get vanilla ice cream, I can't get chocolate ice cream? Is that what you're saying? I, is that what you're saying to me? I, I, that, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying, I'm, I'm not, I'm talking about the ladies. That's what I'm talking about. You, how'd you bring See, ice cream? I'm using an analogy, man. You, I mean, you, 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 dude, you need to get off your meds, man, because... I mean, that's why they made cookies and cream. If I want to bring black ladies to my house, I'm going to bring black ladies to my house. What the f is it to you? Because it's on my street and I don't like it. I don't well, I like it. What you like and don't like? I live here too. I mean, I don't see you calling up Seal's ass and telling him he can't date Heidi Klum or marry Heidi Klum. I don't see you calling up Holly Berry and telling her she can't be dating a white boy right now. I, first of all, I'm not Holly Berry. Bet not to do it. But I'm not going to be too many more. Now, I'm going to ask you one time. I want you to stop bringing the black ladies to your house. I tell you what. Won't you shut your doors? Won't you shut your windows? And I, you know what? Hell, you don't even have to do that. You can bring your happy over here and get the beat out of you. I don't give a but I'm going to keep bringing black women over to my house. What did you say to me? I can do what? I said bring your happy over here. And you can even watch me with these black ladies. Oh, you're not going to disrespect me now. Now, that's what you're not going to do. You're not going to I'm going to say it to you, and it's the last time I'm saying it, and I'm getting off the phone. I don't want to see no more black women over there. You hear me? you got to be crazy. I'm going to bring whoever I want, whenever I want, to my house. Where did you say you live at again? I live three blocks down. Now, I'm just asking you. It doesn't matter where I live. The, the fact of the matter is, can you quit bringing black girls to your house? I'm going to keep bringing black girls to my house, and if you don't like it, you can kiss Wait, let me, let me, you know, Just let me ask you something. What is it about these black girls that you like anyway? Just what is it? Black is good, man. What does it matter? What? You should know. Yeah, I mean, I, I got a black woman, I'm, but, I'm, but, I'm, but I'm black, though. I'm just trying to figure out why is it that you, you have a black woman. What, what do you see in her? Why do you have to have my Nubian queen? I can't, first of all, I can't, again, I can't believe you're f***ing calling. You know what, I don't even have to answer that. Because, again, I am going to bring whoever I want, and it's none of your damn business why I want to bring black women, why I like black women. All you got to know is that I'm going to keep on bringing black women to my house. Listen. If you don't like it, don't look at it. Move. I got one more thing I want to say to you then. Oh, uh, I can only imagine. This is Nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just got pranked by your co-worker, Randy Tillman. Oh, uh, <laughs> son of a... <laughs> I be damn. Oh, Y'all man. Y'all crazy. He told me that you listen to the show sometime, and he said, you thought you couldn't be got. <laughs> man, he got me. I gotta say, he got me. I even told that <laughs> she would never get me on something like this, and he did get my... Hey, man, I got to ask you, what is the baddest radio show in the land? Man, I got to say, man, it's the Steve Harvey Show. <laughs> Son of a <laughs> I listen to y'all all the time. Hello? Hello, I'm trying to reach Eduardo. Uh, this is Eduardo. Eduardo, how you doing, man? Uh, I'm one of your neighbors, man. I'm actually, like, two streets over. Uh, I, I wanted to see if you could come around here, man, and help me out, man. I got a leak in my roof.
Are you able to come around the corner real quick and, and see about fixing my roof? Who? Who's this? Hey, yeah, this Sammy, man. I live like two streets over from you. You, you Eduardo, right? Yes, it's Eduardo. Okay, hey, I, I need you to. I got a leak in my roof, man. I want to see if you can come around here and and take a look a at my leak roof. Leak in your roof? Yeah, I want you. I want you to charge me. What does that have to do with me? I, no, no, I, I got a leak in it. I, it doesn't have anything to do with you, but I wanted to see if you could come around here and fix it for me. Well, how did you get my number, man? What, I mean, where, where, where do you think uh, I'm? I would fix your roof. I, I got your number from one of the neighbors, but you, 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 um, you, 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 you're Hispanic, right? Yeah, uh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm Hispanic. Well, I'm not from Hispania. I'm Mexican. If that's what you're asking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, what I'm American, saying, I mean, Mexican, I mean, American. I mean, are you? Is it, are you trying to be funny or what? what what are you talking about? Why do I got to go fix your roof? I mean, I mean what don't, are you talking don't, about? Don't, don't all Mexican people know how to do roofs? You know what, man? Don't talk to me like that. I'm an educated Mexican. I'm your worst nightmare. Who the do you do? Who, who the do you think you can call me? Because think that all Mexicans fix roofs? Listen here. I'm not a roofer. I work at a bank. Okay? You understand that? No, I, I understand you work at a bank, but from my understanding, all Hispanic people—I mean, what do you, what do you, what do you do at the bank? I mean, you lay, you, do you lay tile at a bank? What do you, what do you do at the bank? Listen, you ignorant! I work at a bank. I'm a loan officer. I am a dangerous. I'm a Mexican with good credit. Okay? I'm a dangerous Mexican. You with the wrong person. Are you that stupid? Huh? What is the matter with you? Who, who gave you my number? Where do you live? You can't be one of my neighbors. I haven't seen a retarded person walking around my neighborhood lately. I'm two streets over from you, man. I'm, 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 like I said, I got a, a, a leak in my roof, and somebody gave me your number. I thought all Hispanic people knew how to fix roofs. Oh, really? <laughs> Maybe if I <laughs> don't cut your grass, like a if you're going to stereotype us all, huh? Would that be cool? Huh? Why don't you come over to my house? I'll tell you what. Hey, 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 man! You, 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 you taking this? You taking this the wrong way? I'm trying to give you some work, man. I'm trying. To, what you, all I really wanted to see if you could come over here and fix the leak. You know what I'm saying? That's that's really all I wanted to do. And I heard, you know, that most Hispanic people, you know, all y'all supposed to know how to do root. I mean, okay, let me ask you this here: Can you can you cut y'all? Can you cut my yard? Are you are you kidding me now? You stupid. I work at a bank. I've got a degree. You didn't hear me. You're one of them ignorant that don't listen to anything. I live in a nice neighborhood, man. What do you do? You sell drugs to live in this neighborhood? You piece of look at this. You're making me degrade myself by just talking to you. I don't do tile. I don't do construction. I don't fix roofs. I'm not a mechanic. I don't do yards. Okay? Do you steal? There's nothing wrong with being a construction worker for laying brick or doing tile or doing roofing. There's nothing wrong with that, man. I got a lot of relatives. I've done those jobs myself, but I educated myself. Now I've got a degree, and I work at a bank as a loan officer. Don't you f with me. F Don't you ever call me again. Hey, 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 you, man. What, 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 what are you saying, man? What are you saying? Hey, man, don't, to... don't, don't be upset because I speak two languages and you speak one. Oh, wait, you could probably speak pig Latin or something like that, hey, hey, right? Hey, hey, hey. You, know, you know what, man? I don't, even, I don't even like to talk like this. I work at a bank. I got to deal with customers every day. And I deal with ignorant. I mean, like, I deal with ignorant on a daily basis. Like, you, you think I play with you? Huh? Man, I grew up on the West Side. You. you need to you need to watch your tone, okay? Man, you. Hey man, let me let me let me ask you this though. Do you know Julio? Do you do you, do you know Julio? Yeah, I know Julio. That that's my cousin, man. What, what does he have to do with you? Okay, okay. Julio is the one that told me to call you. This is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show, man. Your cousin just got me to prank phone call you. Nah, man. I nah, dude. Nah, man. That's... <laughs> Hey, and what? Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, I listen to that show, man. Y'all got me. What? Man. <laughs> well, well, you were, I, whew, I was ready to be a real Mexican from the hood, man. Golly. You all right, man? You got me, man. Uh, I was going to go back to being like my cousin. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, boy. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Hey, man, I got one more thing to ask you, Eduardo. What is the baddest, and I mean the baddest, radio show in the land? Man, 
man. Steve Harvey in the morning, man. He got me. <laughs> hey, Tommy, Tommy. Oh, man, before you go, man. What's hey, up? tell your boy Steve to wear some Stacey Adams with those suits, man. Hey, the homeboy from the hood would love that, man. He'd be one of the homeboys, man. <laughs> Hello? Hello, I'm trying to reach uh, Nicole Fristhoff, please. This is she. How you doing? Listen, I'm giving you a call. Uh, you, you happen to be... Um, uh, in a relationship with a with a black man, am I am I right? I'm sorry, who is this? I'm sorry, my name is Brian. Uh, well, I don't want to give my uh, full name, but it's Gia Dia, Gia Dia Malcolm. Okay, and and I'm sorry, why are you calling? Okay, now you 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 are a Caucasian woman, correct? <laughs> okay, why I'm I'm still trying to get to why are you calling? Uh, uh, well, what, what's going on is um, uh, I'm with an organization, and we're calling people who are in interracial relationships. And, and from my understanding, you are in a interracial relationship, correct? Yes. Okay. I'm with NBFU, and that's uh, NBFU is No Blacks for You. And what we're doing is we're trying to get uh, uh, races to go back to dating each other, you know, which means Caucasians going back you, to dating. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. At first, I, I don't know who you think you are calling my house, but that's just not going to happen. And I don't know where this organization is based out of. I mean, you must be some country bumpkin or something, because this is like 2009, and you have just really called the wrong house. Okay, well, no, when... Uh, 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 NBFU, ma'am, has been around since uh, the early 1940s. And yeah, I can, imagine, I can imagine. I can imagine that. Now, I'm sure at some point you guys have to shut the shit down because this is just ridiculous. Do you know? I mean, Obama's mother was white. Are you going to go knock on his door too? What the hell are you I'm, talking about? I don't have about? time to knock on no. Obama's door. He's busy doing no, other I things mean, right for now. Real. What like, I'm trying who, to do is get the rest of the country who, to understand who gave, about NBFU. Hey, hey, who you talking no to? No black. Who <laughs> And that's what I'm saying. Wait, what I'm trying to tell you. trying to tell us we can't be together because you're black and I'm white. He's con. Yo, what's up? Who this? Uh, 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 okay. Who, 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 who is this? This is a. I'm a. I'm a man. Who this? Okay, this is G. Uh, G. Adia. G. Adia Malcolm. And what I'm doing, man, is we. We. You know, I'm with an organization called NBFU. And NBFU, man, is no blacks for you, which what we're trying to do is we're trying to get all races to go back to each other. Dude, what you talking about? Dude, you tripping, man. You are, what, what, what kind of organization is that? Y'all are tripping. Okay, what, brother, let me ask you, you something. You don't, feel, you don't feel empty without the sister on your side? You don't feel empty without uh, no, uh, a no, loving bro, uh, black woman on your side? That's what I'm asking you, brother. Well, I got I got plenty of black women on my side, but that don't mean that I got to be in a relationship with a black woman. I'm in a relationship with a woman I love. So that's what it's about. And I don't feel empty. That's the first problem with your organization right there. The, the premise is wrong. Okay, 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 but brother, what we're trying to do, man, we don't want to lose our race. We don't want the blacks to lose the strength that we have. And if blacks continue to date and mate with blacks, then we would be as powerful and stronger than any other race in the world. Where, how, where'd you get this number from, man? Excuse me? How'd you get this number in the first place, dude? I mean, I ain't got time for all this, man. This is some nonsense, bro. How you, why are you calling us? Hey, man, because aren't y'all an interracial uh, couple? Well, yeah, but what difference does that make? That ain't none of your business. Hey, but it is my business. Is I'm with if I'm with NBFU. No okay, who you with, you. Dog? And you are a black who... person that are integrated within another race. And what we're trying to do, man, is get you to understand, to come back to your race and be comfortable and happy in your oh, race. Oh, dog, oh, you really fucked up now, dog. Come back to my race? I ain't never left my fucking race, dog. You are tripping, yo. NB, fuck you. Fuck you. Y'all get off our phone, man. Don't call here no more with that bullshit. Do you think that you are happier with a Caucasian woman than you would be with a black woman? Look, man, I, 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 don't even, I don't even want to entertain this. Don't call here no more. Don't call here no more. Uh, do you, but let me ask you something, brother. Be a man and answer the question. Oh, dog. You, you know what? You about to get your ass whooped, dog. You, you know what? You really, you really going to get your ass whooped. Be a man. I'm asking you to be a man. man. That's what I'm asking and you. know what? If you bring your ass over here, you'll find out how much of a grown-ass man I am. Hey, man, don't get like your said, ass don't. whooped, man, while I'm in the middle of asking you these questions. Because I ain't got no problem coming over there. I got your phone number. I got your address, too. Bring your ass on over here and see what you find. 
I'm asking you about these relationships, man. Are you more comfortable in a relationship with a Caucasian woman than you are with a black woman? Dog, I told you, man, it ain't even about that, and we ain't even going into that. So, look, just please, brother, can you stop calling here? Don't call my girl no, man, no more. We're Don't calling call all house. interracial people around the country. That's what NBFU does. We call all of y'all, and we try to talk some sense into you and see if you can change the world and go back to the races from which you came. <laughs> You're tripping, y'all. You're really tripping, man. You know what? Obviously, you, you, it's a, a mental institution you're calling from because there's something wrong with you, motherfucker. So, look, don't call here no more, and we ain't got no more problems, all right? Can I say this, I can I say this to you? I'm going to your, your girl's job, and I'm talking to her face-to-face -face tomorrow about this whole situation. And you know what? And you're going to get your ass whooped. No, I ain't getting my ass whooped. I'm going tomorrow, and I'm talking. Matter of fact, right. I ain't even called to talk to you. You put her back on the phone. To hell with you. Put <laughs> her back her on job. the phone. Show us at her job tomorrow and see what happens. I'm showing up Show. at her job. Put her back on the phone. Show up at her job tomorrow and see what happens. You're going to mess around and get your ass whooped. See, you done got with this white girl, and you know what, man? Man, you yeah. didn't change, man. You changed. You don't know me from the beginning, dude. How you gonna tell me I didn't change? You don't know me. I, I look know at me. I know how you brothers get, man. I'm as black as I ever was. You can't measure my blackness because of who I'm dating. You show up at a job tomorrow, you're gonna get your ass whooped. You ain't gonna sit here and threaten me, man. I am with okay, him. We're done. You you done worked him up and now I'm worked up. You're you're done. You're done. I don't know where you're calling from and I doubt it's from anywhere around where we live because everybody around here lives in two thousand and fucking nine. So you can stop calling the house. I'm coming to your you job would. tomorrow. Do you understand me? Job. I'm coming I to get you. You, you would. would to me. Please do. Are you Please listening do. to me? Matter of fact, you can have your man at your job at lunchtime. Not only am I going to talk to you at lunchtime, I'm going to whoop his ass while oh, I'm there. there's not going to be any talking. You show up, there's not going to be any talking. Yeah, there's it's going to be any talking. talking. Me and you have a discussion to uphold. NBFU okay. wants to okay. talk to you. Okay. You know what? There's a saying. Arguing with a fool makes you a fool. So this conversation is fucking over. Can I say one more thing to you? What? First say of all, smart. I need you and your, your man. To, I need both of y'all to be on the phone. Y'all on speakerphone. Just say it. Are y'all, where he at? Is you listening to? I'm right here. What you want? Because I'm going to whoop your ass tomorrow. Is you listening? <laughs> oh, Babe, yeah. who is this? I dude? don't know. This is, this is just you ridiculous. Come on tomorrow. I'm, I'm waiting for you, bro. Come on. I Can I tell y'all something? What? This is Nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just got pranked by your girlfriend, Lorraine. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh my goodness! <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, you he, he's about to take his blood pressure medication. <laughs> what? Hey, 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 nephew Tommy, I ain't never liked Lorraine no way. This is talent. <laughs> wow. You all right, man? I'm good. I'm good now. I'm good. Hey, now. man, y'all keep doing what y'all doing. Y'all keep y'all relationship together. Keep your head up, and y'all be happy. But I gotta ask y'all before I leave, and I need to hear this from both of y'all. What is what is the baddest radio show in the land? The Steve Harvey Morning Show. <laughs> okay, I'm pretty good. You you actually came in a couple of weeks and filled out some forms. And... Yeah, 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 yeah. I did. I did. You're, you're you're seeking employment, correct? Yes, sir. I am. Okay, okay. Well, listen, I got a few things here I'd like to go over. If you don't, if you have the time, I'd like to uh, get a couple questions from you. I think I I actually have something I could send you out on on Monday. If you actually fit the criteria, okay? Oh, okay. Well, hold on one second. Let me grab a pen real fast. Hold on. Okay. All right, go ahead. I'm ready. All right. Are you used to physical labor at all? Yes. Yes, I am. Okay, so that's not a problem health-wise or physical. You're, you're, you're able to handle that kind of stuff? Yes. Okay. Uh, about how tall are you, William? Um, about 5'8". Five 5'8". Eight. Five eight. Okay. And um, how much do you weigh? About 150. 150. Okay. All right, let's do this. Now, um, have you done any singing at all? Uh, not, not, I can sing a little bit. Not, you know, I'm not a singer singer, but, you know, I could, I could, I could blow a little bit. But not, not, not professionally, but, you know. Right, right, but you're, you're pretty good at holding a note at least, though, right? Yeah, I can, I can hold a note, uh-huh. Okay. Not bad, not bad at all. Are you good working out in the heat? Is that okay? Yeah, yeah. At this point, man, I'm I'm willing to take anything. Yeah, I'm I'm cool with that. Okay. How long you been out of work? 
Ah, uh, man, for about a good, about a year and a half now. Okay. Well, man, we're going to try to fix that for you. I know uh, with the way the economy is, you know, I, I know how people can be out of work and not be able to find what they're looking for. But I, I think we've got something up our alley. Now, let me ask you this question. Are, are you good working barefooted? Barefooted? Yeah, without without shoes on at all. Uh, well, I mean, I, I, the, I guess if the job requires it, then, I mean, yeah, I can do that. Okay. Now, we're going to start Monday morning right at sunrise. So we're talking about 5.30, 6 o'clock here. We're going to need you uh, to report to the field to actually get ready, okay? What kind of job is this? I mean... Uh, uh, what you're going to be doing, William, is you're going to... What you're going to be doing is actually picking cotton. And we want you to do it barefooted, and we, we'd like for you to actually sing uh, while you're doing it. <laughs> man, you got to be kidding me, man. Are you serious? I'm dead serious. The job pays... Uh, Ten bucks an hour, you know. We're gonna get you some good hours out wait, there. I know wait, it's gonna wait, be. A... Wait a minute, wait a minute, man. Uh, I mean, with all due respect, man. I mean that. I mean, you talking about picking cotton and bare feet and and ten dollars an hour, man. I don't. Well, you, you, I mean, you're gonna. Be, kinda, and, and don't, don't, don't forget, I, I I do need you singing. It's gonna be a. Do you know any Negro spirituals? No, I don't. And I don't. I don't. I don't think. Uh, <laughs> Who is this again? Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm Daniel. I'm one of the uh, employees here. I work at employment agency. You know, I pulled up your file and, and saw how long you've been out of work. And, you know, I, I've got something that I think you'll be perfect for. Okay, but what, I mean, what is this job really about? I mean, you talk, you're talking about picking cotton. Well, you, you know, basically and, it's kind of like a, you're getting paid, you know, the 10 bucks an hour. You're probably going to get about 10 hours in a day, so... So you know you, you're gonna make a hundred bucks a day. It's 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 a it's it's kind of like slavery, but it's not. It's I mean. Whoa, you get whoa, 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 hold up, hold up, brother, hold up. Uh, <laughs> man, I didn't sign on for nothing like this, man. I mean, I'm I'm thinking you guys are supposed to be helping me with a up to date job. I mean, slavery don't even exist no more, man. I mean, I mean, it, it does not exist. Nowhere, we are going to pay you. You understand, but we do want you barefooted. Man, you are sing. telling me I gotta I gotta sing and walk barefooted, picking cotton, singing some some slavery songs, bro. I don't do no like that, man. Uh, 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 I'm I'm voting Tuesday, man. This, this that slavery is over with, man. What the hell are you talking about? I can't believe. What, 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 what did you say, man? I'm I'm thinking that you guys are gonna be finding me a a job, a job, it job. That's not a damn job. job sir. It, it, regardless <laughs> of 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 what, how you like it, it's a job. Now, I need you to report first, 5 o'clock Monday all, morning out in the field with no shoes and ready to sing your song and pick man, up. Man, I am not reporting no damn where at 5 o'clock in the morning at no damn field, brother. I mean, I, I don't know why, the, why you even calling me with this Matter of fact, matter of fact, you you know what? Go ahead and send my off because I'll go over there and talk to these people in the beginning because y'all need to be reported. Like I said, five o'clock in the morning, report. You don't have, if you you can wear your shoes. Man, I, 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 listen, I, Buck, Buck, listen to me. First of all, nah, nah, my name ain't Buck. And matter of fact, what's your name? Because you know what? I will be at this tomorrow just to meet your because this don't make no sense, man. You calling my phone talking about some slavery work, man. You must be out of your mind talking this are you looking for work or are you not looking for work? No, I'm not looking for that kind of work, dude. I mean, you calling my phone telling me about some slave work? It's work, though. You it's must work. Be out You're going to get paid. You're... Matter of fact, what, what is your name? What is your I'm name? Daniel. You can kiss my ass, okay? Listen, kiss my I don't want to go back and forth. I'm not you, doing I... no type of like that. Matter of fact, you out y'all there agency can lose all my information. You're going to get your black I mean, hang on. You're going to get your butt out there and you're going to do what you Did need you to do. Did you just say get my black well, you know what? I will be there. Put my down. Can I can I say one more thing, please? What 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 the else you gotta say, man? You didn't say it a mouthful already. I, I gotta say this. This is nephew Tommy from Steve Harvey Morning Show. Your wife Katrina got me to prank phone call you. <laughs> what? The who? <laughs> William, this is nephew Tommy, man, from the Steve Harvey Morning Ain't Show. This is a b- Man, I can't believe she did some <laughs> like that, man. And, and and she know I'm looking for a job, man. I bet you won't be saying that when the bills come in next month. <laughs> hey, man, I'm five foot eight, 150 pounds, but uh, when I'm ready to get in your, I will get all up in your. I mean, and she know that. <laughs> she-
Hello? Uh, yes, I'm trying to reach uh, Lester Tucker. This is Lester Tucker. All right, Mr. Tucker, how you doing? This is uh, Curtis Watkins, soul brother number nine. I'm with the BP of A. and uh, The BP of A, Black People of America. What the? Okay. Well, listen, we, uh, we're doing a survey today. We're calling uh, a lot of white households, and we're trying to figure out, uh-huh. have y'all been using the N-word in your house? And if you have, yeah. how many times are you using the N-word on a daily basis in your house? The N-word? What, what, kind, of, what kind of fucking survey is that? I don't use the N-word in my house. I got youngins. I don't, I don't, I, we don't do that around my house. Have you been using the N-word at your job? Oh, hell no. I got, Nick, I mean, black folks that work for me. I can't be doing what that. Did, what kind of survey is this? Oh, no, back the hell up. What did you just say? You got what at your job? I got black. What the fuck? Did, look, what business is this of yours if I use the N-word? I pay the rent in this damn trailer. The organization. I say the N-word if I want to say the motherfucking N-word. Hey, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute, brother. Now, look. No, you wait a motherfucking minute. You let, call me with your black people's ass. Hey, hey, let me explain some something to you, sir. We're do, all, all we're explain, doing, explain. Uh, all we're doing is a survey. Now I will tell you this: we do have surveillances at your place, and we will be trying to figure out if you. And my trailer. We we will be t- dictating. Uh, uh, we will be trying to figure out if you're using the N word. Let me tell you something. Let me tell. If I want to say the N word, I'll say my fucking N word. I don't want to say it. If I find some surveillance shit in my trailer, I will come and kick your black people's association the ass. This, you hear me? You this, know who you fucking with? Uh, this you Lester Tucker, ain't you? You got damn right, I'm Lester Tucker. Well, I'm Why with, you want to know how many times I say, say the N word? We're trying to get a survey on it, sir. That's what we're trying. Survey to, my ass. You just trying to start some shit. I'm with. I'm Curtis Walking with Black People of America. I don't we, give a hell. I don't give a damn who you are, Curtis Walking. Sir. Why you calling my house? Sir, I'm just here to ask: Have you been using it, and have you been using it at your job? What did I tell you? I don't use it in my house because I got kids. I don't use it at the job because I got black people that work for me. Okay, I d- don't want to run them off by calling them names. Okay, well, when you go down to the club by yourself, are you guys in there using it? Now, come on now, be honest with me. Are you guys in there using it? Man, let me tell you something. I don't know what the fuck this is about, but it sounds to me like you said, look, I got black neighbors, all right? And if they found out that I was even talking about calling somebody the N-word, Man, they may come over here and steal shit from me. I ain't, I ain't like that. I ain't like that. Okay, well, let me ask you this: when you just, when it's just you and them, them good old boys, when it's just y'all, are you using that N word? Well, let me ask you this: when it's just you and your, and your hoodlum little buddies, do you? I mean, what, the, what the hell do you call white people? You, you use the cracker word? I have not used the cracker word, sir. Oh, why? Do, why you use honky? I, I want to get like I tell you. I don't know who the hell you are, sir. I'm doing. The, I'm doing the survey here. I'm, you I don't survey. survey my ass, all right? If I want, like I told you, if I want to use the N word in my house, motherfucker, this is America. I will use the goddamn N word in my own house if I want to. How about that, Mister Curtis Soul Brother Number Nine, or whatever the hell your name is? Curtis Watkins Soul Brother Number Nine. I'm with BP of A, Black People of America. Black people. Well, I with white people of America. How about that shit? See, we can't have our own association. Oh, hell no. You calling me, uh, calling me, asking damn questions. Now, let me ask you something. Don't you work down at, um, Sheriff Construction Service? Yeah, hell yeah. In Raleigh, what about no- it? In Raleigh, North Carolina? Yeah, what about it? Okay, uh, I just got one more thing to tell you. Are you familiar with what, Williams? Yeah, he works for me. Well, this nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just got pranked by Sid Walsh Williams. Motherfucker. <laughs> you wait till I see that, 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 that motherfucker. That son of a bitch, he might lose his goddamn job today. <laughs> don't do then, You know what? Then y'all gonna have one more black man out of work. How about that? <laughs> don't do that to him. Let's the damn. Damn. <laughs> you all right, man? You got kind of riled up, man. Well, man, you wait till, you wait till I see that, brother. He told me. He said, this white guy is going to go off. He said, trust me, he does not use the N-word, but just act like he's been using it, and he's going to go the hell off. You wait till I see that, man. <laughs> that some bitch owes me money anyway? <laughs> hell, you wait till I see Damn. All right, Lester, calm down. Hey, I got to ask you, man, what's the baddest radio show in the land? Let me tell you, it's the Steve Harvey Morning Show, and you know how I know? Because them black guys that work for me have that shit blaring every damn morning <laughs> in my company truck. This is Jason. Hi, Jason. 
my name is Remy. I'm calling with uh, BPE TMC. Uh, it's an organization. We've been around for the last five years, and we're trying to help different things in the black community. And I wanted to reach out and give you a call and see if you would be on board or help signing a petition that we're going to have uh, going around with BPE TMC, if you don't mind. Okay, what is it about? Well, BPE TMC, uh, uh, Jason, is uh, black people eat too much chicken. And what we're trying to do is cut back hey, the, the shortage of chicken. Black people eat too much chicken. Who the hell is this? I'm, I'm, my, uh, my, name, my name is Remy, sir. Okay, what you mean by black people eat too much chicken? We've done a, uh, a, a test study, and we realized, sir, that black people are the ones that are eating too much chicken. And what we want to do is try to cut back, because right now there's a sh** of the Chinese and ask them, they eat all kinds of chicken. Chicken food, young, all this sh** here. Chicken and white people eat chicken, probably gay. Yeah. All this sh** here. Chicken, chicken stir, fried rice with chicken and all this thing. You want to come to me talking about a black person eat too much damn chicken? Did you ask the white people? I bet you ain't eating no sh** with no white folks. I bet you don't go to them. Y'all out of them. Uh, well, sir, we're going we're to get to that. We're starting in the black community. You, Black people are the ones that seem to buy the most chicken. Man, no chicken. Guess what? I don't eat chicken. And if I did eat some chicken, I'd be cursing. Man, who the are you big or something? You. you. Hey, who, how in the y'all got my number in it? Where you get it from? Well, actually, we're getting numbers from the supermarket, uh, and we're getting a listing of people who buy the most Supermarket, you get my I'm in no supermarket. Sir, what, right, the, the main thing we're trying to get you to do is cut back on eating chicken. Now, what Man, we want I you to do... I don't eat no chicken. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go and eat some chicken. And don't call me with no about eating too much chicken. I don't even call my phone. Do you got that? Hello? Hello, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to reach uh, Callaway. Is this Callaway? Yeah, yeah, it's Callaway. Who is this? Uh, how you doing? My name is Remy. I'm with BPE TMC, and uh, Ooh, who, who, who? my name is Remy, sir. I'm with BPE TMC. What we're doing is we have a petition we're trying to get signed throughout the black community uh, the, of some things that we're trying to actually help out in the black community. Uh -huh. So BPE TMC is actually an organization, and we're trying to actually uh, save some things in the black community. Oh, what's, what's B, what is that? What's that stand for? What the hell is that? BT, what is that for? Uh, BPE TMC is is uh, black people eat too much chicken, and what man. we're trying to do is get. <laughs> man, you gotta be kidding me, man! Who is this, man? This is this is Remy, sir. We're trying to get you all to actually sign a petition. What's going on? Is black people are buying too much chicken? Oh, uh, you gotta be kidding me with this, man! Is this a white man? Who, the who is this, man? I, I am Caucasian, sir. Yes. Now why are you calling me with this? Well, what we're Remy? trying to do is. We're trying to get. How, how, how did you get my number? First of all, uh, actually, we get it. We're getting numbers from supermarkets that are letting us know. Man, the, you uh, the people that. Let's look at the on my phone with this man talking about some beef chicken. Man, you man, you gonna make me get out and smack one of y'all. What the f with you? Okay, sir. What we're trying to do is get you guys to cut back on buying chicken. Man, who's you what? guys? What the f are you talking about? You guys? Well, the black really? community is the black community. Not, sorry, hey, man, it. you better go home with that. We ain't got time for this, man. Don't be calling my phone with that, man. Hello? Hello, I'm trying to reach Valerie, uh, uh, Val. This is she. How can I help you? Hi, my name is Remy. I'm with uh, BPE TMC. How you doing? I'm doing fine. And you? I'm very well, ma'am. Listen, what we're trying to do is, uh, if I take a little bit of your time, we're trying to actually get a um, survey signed by people in the black community. We're actually trying to help out in the black community. The organization is BPE TMC, and what this is is black what is people that? eat. What, what is that? Uh, that's that's black people eat too much chicken. So what we're doing is we're trying to get black people uh, do what? Black, say black say that one more time for me. Black people eat too much chicken. You see, there's been a shortage in chicken. So what we're trying to do is get black there's people to cut back. There's been a shortage in chicken, and you want to do a survey? Well, we want what we want you guys to do is sign a petition that you're not going to eat any more chicken this year. That doesn't even make sense. We just don't eat chicken. You know, we eat beef, we eat steak, we eat fish. I don't see you trying to pull that off the market. Now, why would uh, you want to tell us not to um, to eat chicken and we eat other stuff too? Where are you getting your deep well, findings the, from? Because this doesn't the, make the, any the, sense. The test study, man, was over chicken, and it just seems like that. No, that, uh, the test study. Who did this test study? Well, 
we did, man. We're BPE TMC. And what, what we, after doing the test study, we did realize that the, the, the black people are the ones that are eating. What's the test? Food. Only just direct to black people? I mean, did you use white people? Because white people eat chicken, too. But you guys okay. always on diets and stuff. Okay, man. Well, that, did that, you use that, Asians? Uh, what about the Hispanics? Did you use them? Okay, ma'am, listen, What the, the, the bottom line is our first study is black people, and what we're trying to do is get you guys to cut back on eating. No, your study should be everybody. This is some <laughs> Where'd you get my number from? Ma'am, we got you, we got numbers from the supermarkets of uh, people that you buy You didn't lodges. get my number from no supermarket because I didn't get my number to no supermarket. This just don't make any damn sense. You calling me, interrupting me about some <laughs> like this. This is this. Well, this is Bottom line, ma'am, you don't cook me. You don't chicken. tell me, you're not cooking me, me, telling me what the hell I can't eat. You don't lie your mind. You got life you and f- twisted, sir. Yes, you do. You, life and f- twisted. Calling somebody, telling them that black people eat too much f- chicken. F- you and your partition. Would you like to hear what the survey is actually saying? No, I don't want to hear what the survey is actually saying, because what you say is about a whole bunch of But the survey is saying that this is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. <laughs> <laughs> Valerie, this is nephew Tommy, baby, from the Steve Harvey Morning. Oh, Boy. my God. <laughs> Hello? Hello, I'm trying to reach an Ernest Newell. This him. Who is this? Mr. Ernest Newell, I'm with Wish for American Survey, and what we're doing is we're calling around to different households about the whole, um, presidential race, but right now we're focusing on calling, uh, well, we're focusing on calling. Uh, we're focusing on calling black people. Black people. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's just something that we're doing, and we want to try and figure out exactly who you people are voting for, because that's important right now. I don't think it's none of your damn business who I'm voting for. Well, we want to know exactly which way the votes are going to be going here in the in the whole running of the presidential race. So. We're just trying to figure out who you're voting for. Well, uh, first of all, it really is none of your concern about who I'm voting for, but whoever I vote for, we getting y'all people out of there, I tell you that much. Because I'm tired. I'm tired of this bullshit. You can put that on your damn survey. So, but black folks, we tired of this bullshit. I'm tired of eating goddamn, goddamn sardines and goddamn Vienna sausage. We finna change this shit around. Sir, we, and, and, and if y'all all must know, I'm voting for Obama. Well, That's uh, right. Are you voting for him just because he's black now? Is that what you're doing? You got damn right. Well, that that doesn't mean you sat back to see if he qualifies, sir. That's why that's why we're calling y'all because we think you're going about this whole thing wrong. Well, I tell you what, even if we are going about it wrong, that's how we gonna do it. You know what I'm saying? Y'all done had Bush and Hill, you done had his time to fuck things up. So get what? We finna change this shit around. You know what I'm saying? Y'all been there too goddamn long. We're going to paint the White House black. No, you, now one thing you're not going to do is paint the White House black. It's been white from day one, and you're not going to change that. Matter of fact, I want to tell you this. Don't y'all show up at none of them polls, or it's going to be some problems if you do, if you show up trying to vote. Hey, man, how you going to tell them about who to show up, man? You got some goddamn nerve to be telling somebody who to show up and when to goddamn show up. Anyway, you ain't got no business calling me on my goddamn phone anyway. How you get my goddamn number anyway? I don't, you know what I'm saying? We, that's wrong with y'all damn white folks now. Y'all think y'all run shit, but get what? Huh. That shit ain't finna happen in 08, baby. It's Bo Obama 08. So y'all might always just get ready for it. All that bullshit y'all been doing, that shit finna get cut out. And all that calling motherfuckers on the phone, trying to scare motherfuckers, I like that bullshit. Yeah, cause I'm just ready to get dead off of somebody's ass. I wish somebody would be at the poll telling me who to poll vote for, who I can't vote for. We're going to show y'all motherfuckers what time We're going to have people at them polls, and we're going to stop y'all from voting if you don't tell us ahead of time what you're doing and who you're voting for and why you're voting for them. Man, you got some nerve with it. I mean, how you get my goddamn number, man? I'm serious, man. I'm at work. I'm trying to work. And I'm going to be with you on the phone with some bullshit. This is a survey. We are randomly calling black people, and we have the right to do that. Okay, I understand it's a survey, but you need to you need to watch how you talk to people, man. You can't just be calling people with that bullshit like that. You don't you don't come calling somebody on the phone and talking to them like, like you ain't got no goddamn sense. You need to talk to me like you got some sense. You talk to me with bullshit, I'm going to talk to you with bullshit. And I tell you, that's exactly what it's going to be if you show up at them polls trying to vote. Well, I, now, I tell you what, man.
I'm going to make sure I show up, and I'm going to vote for everybody or anybody I want to vote for. Anybody on the ballot that's black, that's who I'm voting for. You know what? Because y'all ain't had y'all time. You know what I'm saying? Y'all talking about it's a goddamn recession. It's a goddamn depression. You know what I'm saying? You, y'all you, got gas and shit high as it is now. A motherfucker can't even hear. I pay more in gas than I do goddamn child support. Let me tell you something. You're lucky we gave you the right to vote. Now, lucky you, you gave me the goddamn right. Man, y'all motherfuckers crazy. You know what I'm saying? That's some bullshit. You ain't give me shit. I earn. My people earn the right to vote. And you got some goddamn nerd calling somebody on their phone with this bullshit. Don't you got something else better to do? You need to go call somebody who worth calling. Because you gonna, y'all going to stop fucking with black folks and we ain't going to hear that bullshit. We don't want to hear it. You know what I'm saying? That's some bullshit, man. You go ahead and you send word to the rest of them people of yours that we better not catch them. Oh, the- people of mine? Man, who the fuck are you, man? Who oh, these are the people of mine? They don't wrong the goddamn world today. Too many motherfuckers like you. This motherfucker, United States of motherfucking America, I can vote and do whatever the fuck I want to do. You know what I'm saying? I can do whatever the fuck I want to do. You, 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 you listen to me. You're going to go in that poll thing and you're going to vote for McCain. Man, I ain't, you know, I vote for whoever the fuck I want to vote for, cuz. You know what I'm saying? That's some bullshit, man. You need to stop calling my goddamn phone. I'm running my goddamn business up fucking with you. I'm on a goddamn cricket phone and shit, and I, I'm running my goddamn minutes out fucking with you. You need to start calling me and don't call my goddamn number again. That's bullshit. And I vote whoever the fuck I want to vote for, and you can tell them other redneck motherfuckers to kiss my motherfucking black ass. Because guess what? we going to be in that motherfucker. I tell you that much. Fuck you. Man, why in the fuck you still calling me? Didn't I tell you don't call my goddamn phone, man? I I'm, need do, I, I'm doing a survey. And man, I don't, I don't give a fuck. I told you, man, stop calling my goddamn phone, man. I'm voting. We all voting. Matter of fact, we having a goddamn barbecue. Signing everybody up to vote. We voting. All of us voting. All and hey, motherfuckers who don't even know how to spell vote voting. You know what I'm saying? So stop calling my goddamn phone. I want man, you, we're doing a survey, and you're going to answer these questions I got for you. I asked you to stop calling my goddamn phone, And man. I asked you not to show up at them polls and vote, too. I'm voting for my brother. His ass in jail, I'm voting for that motherfucker, too. You, like I told you, everybody that I know that don't even know how to spell vote, we're going to vote. He might be smart and all, but that young fella can't run this country like we can. Yeah, the goddamn gas was a goddamn dollar fifty. You know what I'm saying? But y'all, with Bush got his motherfucking ass in there and shit, he done fucked things up. Yeah, gas went up a bit. And then you want to throw Bush up in my face. We know what it takes to run this country. I know we've gone through some ter- uh, a few a few glitches here and there, but it ain't been that bad. Y'all got motherfuckers over there, over there that saying, or that fight like a motherfucker for some bullshit. Y- yeah, okay, we went to war without a plan. And... Y'all don't fuck with them goddamn China over there, because you know they don't play that motherfucking shit. They got technology over there, all them motherfuckers got to do is just wink they motherfucking eye. They can fuck this whole motherfucker up. Y'all ain't fucking with them. Yeah. <laughs> We, we, yeah. we, we, we're not afraid of anybody, and you better be afraid to come to them polls. You hear me? Man, I ain't worried about your motherfucking ass and nobody else that you fucking with. You listen to me. I got one more thing that I need to say to you. Are you listening to me? Man, fuck you. I don't listen to you. Fuck you. I don't listen to your motherfucking ass enough. This is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just got pranked by your boy, Zubir Johnson. <laughs> Oh, man. Samir <laughs> Johnson, he put me up to it, big dog. God damn, man. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> man, you got to be kidding, man. I hope y'all don't add this, man. Ernest. God damn, man. Man, I'm about to pull this goddamn truck on. I'll be the over some goddamn body. You all right, Ernest? Man, that's cold, man. <laughs> don't care if I done got ganked. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Hey, look, one thing I do, though, one thing I do know, I know you voting. I know that. <laughs> you got damn right. Ain't shit tired. You got damn right. I'm voting. I don't give a damn who call me. Hell, Bush can call me if he want. I'm still voting. Shit, fuck him. Okay. I got to ask you one Man. more thing, dog. What is the baddest radio show in the land? The Steve Harvey Morning Show. <laughs> off the motherfucking chain. <laughs> Hello? Hello, I'm trying to read James. James, please. Speaking. Hey, James, how you doing? This is um, Chad, and I'm calling from the uh, from the job. How are you tonight? I'm doing good. How are you? Um, I'm very good, very good. Giving you a call. 
I'm actually the uh, the regional manager over the over your department. Okay, uh, everything's all right, huh? Because today Sunday, if you want to make sure I'm still coming to work tomorrow. Oh, you're definitely, definitely nothing like that. You're definitely coming to work now. Who's your manager over at your office? Is it Brent? Brent. Right. Okay. Well, here's what we're doing, man. We, we're calling everybody in the company, first of all, today. But more importantly, we're, we're definitely making contact with every African American in the company. And I'm letting you know that we're paying homage and much respect to uh, Black History Month. Outstanding. That, that's something that we want to definitely let you guys know that's important to us. I think that is outstanding. How can I help? Well, listen, we've got some things that, that we want to do for tomorrow, and that's the reason why you're getting a call today. Are you up for helping us, you know, really, really push Black History Month within the company? Chad, I'm a team player. Whatever it takes, let's get it done. Okay, good deal. Good deal. I'll tell you what, here's what we're going to do. we got a lot of people that we've given a call to, and everybody's going to play different roles tomorrow uh, at the office. So we wanted to give you a call. Do you mind if you're, if you're really the team player that we think you are, and I think you... Uh, you, you've already made mention that you, you don't mind doing what it takes. I don't. You're on the right track. Okay, good deal. Here's what we're asking, man. We, want, we would like for you tomorrow to actually, if you could find these type of articles tonight, but if you could wear a, a burlap shirt, some cut-off pants, and no shoes tomorrow, that would really, really help whoa, us out whoa, on whoa. the theme that we're trying to get going for tomorrow. Whoa, 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 Chad. I, I think I heard you, but I'm not sure. Can can you please repeat that one more time, please? We want you to wear a, a burlap shirt, some cut-off pants, and, and just don't wear any shoes at all. That's the, that's the attire that we would like for you to come into the office with tomorrow. Really? Yeah. Yeah, and we, we, we're going to give it a okay. go, man. Everyone's excited about it, and we would like for you to come in tomorrow. Uh, like I said, we're, yeah, we're going chat, to... Chat, let me, let me, let me, let me give you... I mean, since we're going to celebrate Black History, let me give you one fact. The year 1619 was the first African-American slave arrived in Virginia. Today is Sunday, 20... <laughs> you think I'm doing some like that? I'm, 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 I'm sorry, right I, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't exactly hear what you said at the beginning. What did, what did you say? Slavery uh, been over with. Ain't no way in hell I'm finna come into an office. With a, see, you ain't going to lose your mind during election year. What is wrong with you? Why you ask me to put on a baseball suit to come in as Jack and Robbins? Why you ask me to put on a two-piece suit and come in as Derek Holder? What the hell is wrong with y'all? Well, what we want to do here, and I don't want you to get upset about this, James. What we want to do is... Look we, at we, what you asking me to do. To be a slave in 2012? Well, well, you know what I will do? Here, well, you, I, mean, I will come up there. I will come up there and, and uh, pretend to be you and you be on your. That's what I will do and show you some real Black Power Panther movement on your. Would you like that, sir? Sir, what we want? We, listen, we're not here to create problems. What we want to do is we want to we want to pay a homage. You call me with a problem on the Sunday to dress as a slave. That's a problem. That's a big problem. Oh, okay, okay, sir, if we're going to pay homage to black history, don't you think that all of that is a part of black history? Highlight the positive, man. Highlight the positive. You're paying me today to work for you. This ain't no slave-free labor. Do you understand that? No, I don't. I, I completely understand it. But what if we don't have where where it started from? I, I, you know, we have to have we have to have all every single uh, area of Black history, don't you think? We have to have the beginning, the middle, and the ending. Okay, well, if you want to highlight something, let me be Frederick Douglass. Let me slick my hat back. But see, the problem you got with him was his father was a white man. See, y'all like looking at our women, but y'all don't like uplifting the black man. So how about I do that? Let me be Frederick Douglass. Let's highlight that part. How about you, Chad? You like black women? Uh, 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 uh. Uh, 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 I'm here. Answer the question. I, I like all. I like all people, sir. I, I, what I'm trying to do is get a, a, a great, great environment within the company, and everyone wants. This is not a great environment. You know, the majority of the of the Caucasian people are going to be masters tomorrow. Okay. What the f did you say, masters? Did you just say masters? Yes, most of them are going to be masters tomorrow. I'll be in there with my attorney to master an EOC lawsuit on your. F How about that? Sir, do you have a problem with us trying to uh, trying to uplift the black community? Do you have a problem with that? Man, f you. You ain't uplifting the f thing. You know what I'm going to do? I'm coming in tomorrow as Barack Obama. But see, you don't like this f do you? Yeah, you f running around here want to get somebody to come in and be a slave. You be a f master. Master this f 
That's me coming in as a black man, like I've been coming in to work and like I'm up to ever come in to work. We're a major pharma company and you calling me on a Sunday with some like this? Are you out your mind? Sir, sir, what we're trying to do is uplift the black community. That's what we're trying to do. Thing talking about slavery. Uplift my and kiss my black That's what you do. Sir, I'm trying to, what we're trying to do is pay homage to black history, and here you are being negative about the entire, entire situation of what we're trying to do. Being negative, you let them be like, man, you, I'm coming in as Barack Obama tomorrow, like I said, and I'm going to have my shoes on my feet. Can you up that? Sir, there's, there, uh, there's one more thing I need to say to you, okay? There's one more thing. One more thing. hell. One more my I'm sorry? You just said all you had to say. What's your name again? Chad, sir. Chad Billingsley. What the hell you got to say, Chad? I, I, all I wanted to say to you is this, sir. Is I am nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show, and you just got pranked by your co-worker, Kevin. Man, I knew this had to be some kind of joke. Y'all playing on a Sunday? Man, I'm going to keep tomorrow. I was worried about my job. I was getting ready to come there tomorrow. And whoops, every white boy I thought looked like a mouse. And don't let me see a brother dressed like a slave. I don't know what his to. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, man, I got to ask you, man. You got to tell me this. What is the baddest, and I mean the baddest, radio station in the land? Man, the Steve Harvey Morning Show. <laughs> Black here, oh, baby. Much needed laugh. <laughs> Hello, I'm trying to reach, uh, Mr. Is it Dolphin? Dolan? Dolan, Dolan. Mr. Dolan? Yes, sir. How you doing? My name is, uh, uh, uh Clifford. Clifford. Yeah, what can I do for you, Mr. Uh, you, you, you live at, um, uh, Cheshire Drive? Why do you want to know that? Uh, well, actually, I, I, I'm, I'm at 1623. I bought, I bought the, uh, I actually bought the house that was for sale next door to you. Oh, okay. Well, well congratulations. But how did you get my number? Uh, well, actually, the realtor told me that he, he had your number because I said I wanted to reach out to the neighbors next door. And he, and he told me that Mr. Dolan was actually the person next door. And, and uh, he didn't think you would mind me, me actually getting the number. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll talk with the realtor uh, later. But what can I do for you, sir? Well, well what, I, what I wanted to know is do, do you have any problems like living next door to, 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 to black people? I'm sorry. What, what did you just ask me? I mean, like, like I, you know, like I said, I just bought the place next door, and I want to know, do you have any problems, you know, living next door to black people? Uh, no, sir. Uh, I have no problem. I'm assuming you're a black man, and uh, I have no problem with that. Uh, I judge people by their actions, not their color. Okay. Now, do you, do you, do you have any any black people experience? Well, yeah, I've worked with, gone to school with, have several friends of many different ethnicities. Uh, what, what is What's this? How is this relative? Well, you know, like I say, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be living next to you, and I, I'm just making sure that you know you and I can coincide or coexist right, rather uh, on, on the same block and not really have a problem with one another. Basically, is what I'm trying to say. Well, do you have a problem with white people? Uh, no, no, no. I don't have a problem with white people. I, I, I'm cool. I'm just, I'm just trying to make sure, you know, uh, I mean, because me and you already have a bit of a problem already, you know. Oh, oh so, we do. Yeah, yeah, we we have a problem. I'm, I mean, I'm, 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 I'm bothering me while I'm at work. What's your problem? Okay, well, my problem is this, is that, you know, after purchasing the property, I went downtown to the city and actually looked at, you know, the, the layout of this entire property. And when I look at it, you're actually 25, close to 30 feet over the property line. Well, no, you're looking at the wrong map. No, no. The fence that separates my backyard from your backyard, you are 30 feet over that. That's impossible. You know, no, no. Listen, and I know this. Now, let me, let me, I'm going to tell you how I look at You got a jacuzzi in your backyard, right? So you've been, you've been spying on me? No, I haven't been spying on you, sir. I'm just telling you. Clo- close to that, not far from that fence line, don't, don't you have a jacuzzi there? Well, you, as a matter of fact, I do, yes. Okay. Now, the pool is, the pool is okay. But, but if I, if I push that fence line back 30 and actually get the property that I'm supposed to have, I pretty much own your, 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 your jacuzzi, your hot tub. 
I see. Okay. Let me tell you something. Uh, I've been in that house for 10 years. We put that fence up when we moved in, and it was based on the property line that was that was set when uh, 10 years ago. I don't know what you're looking at, but my fence is not moving. My jacuzzi is not moving, and there's there's no changing that. Okay. Well, let me let me let me. I'm glad you you, you voice what you wanted to voice. No 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 no. You hear you hear old Clifford out. Let me tell you something. Uh, Either we're going to take the fence line and move it where it's supposed to be, or we're going to put a gate between uh, uh, our two yards, and I'm going to be able to come and get in this jacuzzi and pool whenever I want to. All right, let's let's let's, let's talk about this. First of all, there's gonna, not going to be any gate, okay? And as far as you just coming over and getting in the jacuzzi at will, uh, i got a real problem with that. Uh, you've called me at work. Uh, I'm on the job, and I'm having to listen to this on a future neighbor uh, who, who's making weird claims about how he owns part of my land. I own the jacuzzi, sir. No, no, you did not pay for that jacuzzi. You did not pay for that fence. You just showed up making a, a you call me at work and, 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 and then hand me some story uh, with no evidence. I'll go down to City Hall and look at those papers myself because I don't trust a word you're saying. I've been there for 10 years. I've had 10 other neighbors in that backyard. Y'all cycle through once a year, I swear, and I've never had any problems with them until you come along. This is some Okay, well, I tell you what. Here's, here's something you need to understand. You got a new black neighbor, and you got a new black neighbor that owns part of, owns your jacuzzi because you're over the fence line, all right? And as soon as I move in, I'm coming and I'm getting in my jacuzzi. The you will, man. You know what I mean? This no. Move into that. I'm going to use the jacuzzi on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. You get it on Tuesday, Thursday, and the weekend. That's it. Because part of this damn jacuzzi belongs to me. The jacuzzi is owned by a black man and a white man. And we're going to get along. Bottom line. Look here. Listen here, you. Who are you to dictate what days I get to use my jacuzzi? Because it's not. trying to reach a Mr. Noel. Do you know Hi, uh, Mr. Noel. My name is Mr. James. I'm with the Border Patrol in San Diego, California. Listen, uh, I hate to give you a call here on, on Sunday afternoon like this, but it's been brought to our attention, sir, that you have been, let's say, part of a group that's helping people get across the border. Wait, 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 what? What? Well, wait, let's hang on. Hear me out now. Um. I'm just saying, uh, it's been brought to our attention here at the uh, Border Patrol headquarters here in San Diego that, uh, and I know you live in Los Angeles, but it's been brought to our attention that you have been helping people get across the border from Tijuana into San Diego. Wait, wait, wait a minute, man. I haven't even, I haven't even been close to the border, man. What well, the f are you accusing me of? I don't even go near the border. Okay, I, I, you so must never run the wheel. Well, no, I think I have the right Noel, sir, but I, I'm just trying to get clarification here. Now, let me lay it out a little bit more um, clearly for you. From My understanding is that uh, I'm getting some, uh, I've got an anonymous call that you, uh, per se, Mr. Noel, is the one that has been helping people get across. And you've helped over 80-plus people get from Tijuana into San Diego uh, into the United States. Man, let me tell you, 
prove of to help people get into the United States if I just told you they haven't even been close to the border. What the f*** are you talking about? What's wrong with you? So, I mean, come on, you probably have the wrong Noel, man. I don't, sir, I don't have the wrong Noel. How can I call Mr. Noel if you live in Los Angeles and it's been brought to my attention? They've given me the correct number on you, sir. I do have an address on you. I want to try and see if we can get this clarified over the phone, but I will send a squad car out there and talk with you, and if things don't go well, I will have you brought in. No, but let me tell you, man. No, no, no. Oh, cut this shit, man. Let me tell you right now. I haven't even been near the border. I don't know what the f*** you're talking about. But let me tell you, if you are near the border, or if I were to be near the border there too, and I would see my people trying to cross over, if I were you, I would help them over. Because they're the only ones that actually work over here on this side of the river. Wait, wait. So get that into your head, man. They are the only ones that what? That work. You guys don't want to do anything. People in the United States are lazy, man. They don't want to do their yards. They don't want to get the restrooms. They don't want to serve in the restaurants. Let me tell you, this is going down the tubes because... We are the ones that make this country roll. And I'm not saying that I'm crossing people over here. I'm not saying that, so get that to your f***ing head. I'm not saying that. All I'm saying is that you should appreciate what we do over here, and you're accusing me here. Uh, sure, I'm Noel, and I'm a hard-working person over here, but don't accuse me of any f*** like that. Okay, sir, sir, uh, uh, I'm not accusing you. It's been brought to my attention, sir, that you, Mr. Noel, are the one that's helping people get across the border. Now, you, did you just tell me that if you were at the border, you would help them? Did you say that? I said I would, but I didn't say I was doing it. There's a big difference. And I'm pretty sure you understand that, because what the f*** is this? I'm over here minding my own business, and you're telling me all this f that people are telling you that I'm crossing like Mexicans illegally over here to this country? Let me tell you one thing, man. If you do not appreciate my people over here, don't want to accuse them me of bringing them over here illegally got that i i understand wholeheartedly what you're saying but listen to me i'm gonna go ahead and send a squad car over there to your house and pick you up and bring hey, look, you look, look look no 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 you listen to me look. if you send a squad car over here and they cross my yard like you say i'm crossing people over from the border you're gonna get your <laughs> kick i'm gonna guarantee you that right now you're okay? gonna you're gonna do what you're gonna get your <laughs> kick me the <laughs> you don't understand my people I do not understand Spanish. I don't understand the Spanish. Don't you do that no more. You're going to have to break this down to me in English. No, let me tell you. You're a border patrol. You should understand Spanish. Understand my people. Because look, man. Mira, I'm going to tell you one more time. Say, si tú vienes a mis cantones, te vas a partir toda la madre. Te lo digo de ahorita, güey. Did you understand? What did I just tell you, Noel? I told you, do not speak to me no more in that language. Now listen to me. I said I'm going to send a squad car coming over there, and they're going to come up in there and, and drag you out your house and put you in the car and bring you downtown until we get it rectified. Well, let me tell you. you know you've been no, 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 no. You listen to me. This is the United States, and I have rights. Oh, you got rights now. Is that what you're saying? Yes. I got a right to say. Do you have the right to be helping people across the border? Hey, man, let me tell you. Those people have the right to better themselves, they say. They have the right, if they can get away with it, to come over here. I'm not saying that I'm helping them. But what I'm saying is they have the right to better themselves, and you don't have the right to ruin their dreams, they say. People got the right to come over here and better themselves, but what are you doing to better yourself, Noel? What am I doing to say you don't even know me, you see? You don't even know me. Hey, I got my own, my own long mower service. I do the hitches and everything is that because you know what? Because the f people here don't want to do it, I say. And that's why they get people like me and like my people that are coming from Mexico. And we do, we ain't afraid of any, any little bit of heat or getting dirty. I got no oil. 24 7 is safe. I got no problem with you having a lawn service. I got a problem with you trying to get people across the border when they not. See, because you know what? Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? You ain't no uh, uh, Cesar Chavez. No, I'm not no Cesar Chavez. I'm not leading any labor union or anything like that. I'm just the guy that's trying to get it done over here, and you're accusing me of saying that. I I got one more thing I need to say to you, Mr. Noel. What is that? This is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just got pranked by your boy Victor. Victor, I'm gonna kick his <laughs> stick this ain't funny, is it? <laughs> oh, shit. man, who's this, this guy right now? This is Tommy. I'm, I'm Tommy, we're gonna kick <laughs> to it, because this is <laughs> Victor. 
He's my partner. I know. I know he's your partner. You put me up to it. He said, you got to call you see, when it, You see, we're there in the truck, and we're listening to the show, the Steve Harvey show. And, you know, when you guys do <laughs> like this, and he's laughing his <laughs> up. And, man, I never thought that he was say, well, I'm going to f*** up my partner over here, you know. <laughs> oh, oh, man. All right, man. Hey, let me ask you something, man. What is the baddest radio show in the land? Oh, the Steve Harvey show, I think. <laughs> Hey man, y'all keep listening to us, all right? Yeah, man. And I wanna I wanna let you know this, Noel, on the real. The Steve Harvey Morning Show welcomes everybody across the border. You hear me? Yes, sir. Orderly. That's Every what I want to hear it Hello. Hello, I'm trying to reach a uh Miss Glenda, please. This is she speaking. Hey, Miss Glenda, this is Gary. Gary I'm with the um Black History of Okay. You uh you you participated last year in the in the Black History Parade, am I right? Yes, I sure did. Uh, okay, I got your name from one of the members on the committee, and we're trying to see if you can actually be of some help for this year's Black History uh, for this month. I sure would. Be glad to help. Okay, listen, um, we're having an auction tomorrow, and wanted to see if you could uh, actually maybe be of some help with the auction that we actually have going on tomorrow. Yes. Do I need to donate anything, or what is it that you really need me to do? Um, uh, what it is, is is we're having slaves for a day, and what we're going to be doing is auctioning you off, and somebody's going to buy you tomorrow, and you'll be their slave, slave for the day. Slaves? Uh, yeah, you'll be their slave for the day. That's what the, that's what we've decided to do with the Black History. <laughs> we've decided. I didn't to do. mean I I don't I want to participate, but being a slave, no. Okay, but see, what you, but, but you, I want you to understand that this is a worthy cause, though. You know, I understand we want you know, it's we, a worthy cause, but I'm not going to be no slave. Well, well you, I mean, you don't have to call it a slave. I mean, a, a servant, you know, a, a butler, you know what I mean? Slave, Whatever you want to call slave, it. I'm just saying. Same but, damn thing. No, I ain't going to be no slave. Okay, okay, ma'am, ma'am, ma'am Miss, Miss Glenda, what I'm trying to explain to you, this is a worthy call for the black history, and we're trying to get you to be there. Somebody may buy you for $500 tomorrow. No. I'm not gonna do it. Okay, are, are, are you are you are you turning us down for a worthy cause, Miss Glenda? Yes, I am turning your down. Don't call me with that kind of no more. I mean, I don't understand what what the problem is. Uh, uh, you know, sometimes we got to repeat history so we don't go back to the history. Sometimes we got to do it again so we don't go back to it. You understand? But here it is. It seems like you you acting like a a, a, a house negro or, or something like you too uppity a or something. A house negro. A house negro. Who's the chairman of, of this? Excuse me? The chairman. Last time, I spoke with Mr. Wilson, and we didn't have no like this. Okay, and I understand that, but what I'm trying to explain to you is this is something that... I don't want you to explain a thing to me. Do not call me with this kind of again. Are you going to show up tomorrow so we can sell you? Do you understand me? Are you going to show up tomorrow so we can sell you? We already have... You're not going to sell me. We sell have you own. listed to be sold tomorrow. Sell your We've got you listed to be sold tomorrow, ma'am. Can we please I'm make sure don't be sold? And f you do not call here again. Hey, listen. If you don't show up tomorrow, then we will come to your house and sell you there. Come to my house. We, I, I if wish I got, you. If I got to come, I wish get you, you sold, would come to my house. Bring your me? over here if you want to. Listen, I will come there to sell you if you're not gonna come out to the auction. Come on to my house. You bad. Come on to my. Out. Okay, I tell you, and you know what? I need you to do this. You, you need to start saying yes, sir, and no, sir to me right now. Okay? Kiss I need my. to get you in the in the frame of That's mind of, of being a slave for the day. Okay? I didn't hear what you said. Kiss my black. I'm coming to your house tomorrow, and I'm going to sell you in front of your house if you don't come down to the auction tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock. You better not bring your to my house. You better not. Do you understand me? I don't march for civil rights. I don't have time for no like that. you. I understand, not. but right now we're trying to raise some money for black history, and we need to sell you tomorrow morning. You're not going to sell me. You're not going to sell me. You and don't call my house no more. Do you understand? Do not call. I understand exactly what you're saying. Can I tell you something else? Who else going to be sold tomorrow? Hell no. Don't tell me. I, I got one more thing I do need to tell you. What is it? This. His nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just got pranked by your sister. My sister. <laughs> My sister. <laughs> I can't believe that. <laughs> oh.
Uh-uh. I'm going to diss her. <laughs> I can't believe she done did this. <laughs> Miss Glenda, you all right? I'm all right. This is some crazy <laughs> shit. I can't believe this. I'm going to whoop her. <laughs> I'm going to whoop her <laughs> for this. <laughs> it don't sound like you were going to get sold no way. <laughs> Hell no. You wasn't getting on this auction block, huh? No. No way. Because <laughs> Miss Linda has been there. I've been at the sit-ins, the marches. I've done some of everything. Yes, ma'am. Well, I tell you what, Miss Glenn, if it wasn't for people like you, we probably wouldn't be where we are today. That's so right. We, we we show thank you. We show thank you. I just wanted to play a joke on you. Did I get you? Yes, you did. <laughs> you sure did. All right. I got, one more, I got one more thing to ask you. What is? What is the baddest, and I mean the baddest, radio show in the land? The Steve Harvey Morning Show. Hello? Uh, hello, I'm looking for a uh, William Niffer. This is Mr. Niffer. Uh, how you doing? Listen, my name is Zaino Simmons. I was, um, I don't know how to, uh, oh, man. My wife and I evidently go to the same um, fertility specialist that you and your wife go to, Dr. Uh, Dr. Gnastagin. Are you familiar with Dr. Gnastagin? I'm familiar with Dr. Gnastagin, but that's supposed to be confidential. Yeah, I'm aware of that as well, sir. My wife is out on business right now. She's she's gone for won't be back until Tuesday. But uh, I got a call today, a very disturbing phone call, and wanted to, you know, I looked your number up. They did tell me wh- what was going on, and kind of so, wanted so to let somebody, you. Somebody told you my number. You got you got my number from somebody. No, I I, I looked up your number. Uh, <sighs> here 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 it is. Symphony in the next show. My wife and I, evidently, we, you, you and you and your wife have go, been going through the same type of problems of trying to get pregnant and, and so forth and so on. And uh, from my understanding, your wife is, what, four, five months pregnant? I'm, I'm not sure. Yeah, well, wait a minute. Yeah, my wife is exactly five months pregnant, but I, I'm still confused on how you're getting in touch with me and what this has to do with me. Well. I mean, all that stuff that we've gone through is totally confidential, and I, I'm kind of uh, offended that you're calling me. I understand that. Well, what's what's happening is um, I got a phone call from the doctor's office today. I, you know, oddly, to get a call on a Sunday, you know, you, it kind of raises a red flag. But um, I got a call, and it seems like there's been a huge mistake by the doctor's office. Evidently, your wife has been artificially inseminated with my seed, and... I, I I I was what? I, I mean I I'm just as disturbed as you are. You know what I mean? Cuz I I mean me and my wife are, you know, my wife is 2 months pregnant and finally I, How could they do something like that? I mean that that doesn't make any sense. I, I mean Sir, I, I I have no idea. All I know is is that you know I I hate to to use the expression but I'm 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 your wife's baby's daddy. And and <laughs> No, okay, okay, wait a minute. I, 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 no, no, no. I, I, <laughs> so I, uh, you, Mixed up, that, 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 didn't ha- that doesn't happen. No way. So I'm trying to make sure I bring the news to you and see if there's anything that we can do. to. I, I, mean, I mean, after uh, being five months pregnant, it's kind of hard to rectify the problem. So okay, I, I, and I don't want this to sound rude, and I don't want this to sound wrong. You said baby daddy. Are you black? Uh, Yeah, 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 yeah. You're yeah. fucking black, and my wife is going to have a fucking black baby? Well, yeah, your wife is going to have a black baby, but what I want you to know is I'm not paying no damn child support. That's you're what I'm not. Worried. You're fucking worried about child support? And my wife is fucking having some other black dude's kid? Are you fucking crazy? No, I'm not. Are you out of your mind? No, I'm not out of my mind. I'm just saying, I didn't lay down and conceive a child with your, with your wife, so I'm making sure I'm not going to be paying no damn child support. Man, I'm not even worried about the fucking child support. I'll pay the fucking child support. I'm worried about my, some doctor making a fucking huge mistake. And, and, and oh, my God. Your wife uh, is having... going to have a black baby. I can't believe... This, this, well, no, oh, this is unbelievable. It's well, unfucking believable. And I can't believe you didn't even fucking call my fucking house. What? And I, give me this fucking news. The doctor should give me this fucking news. Well, don't you want it? It doesn't matter who gives you the news as long as you get the news. Now, what I want you to do is this. Please don't be giving the baby no white names and stuff. Make <laughs> white fucking names. I can't believe... That you're, you're so, this is incredible. This is fucking incredible. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Call me on fucking Sunday. Give me that. I'm, I'm ready to go fucking beat somebody's ass right now. This is fucking crazy. This okay. is crazy. Okay. This, this, is, this is no reason to be violent, sir. You see what I'm saying? This already <laughs> no lets me. No reason to be violent. You're, you're worried about me about paying.
paying child support and talking about your seed and, and your baby's daddy and all this shit, oh, man, this this is bringing the best out of me. I can promise you. Unfucking believable man. Let me, let me ask you something, sir. Do you think you may need anger management? I mean, you're not going <laughs> to... You know are you gonna, you're not going to you're not going to beat my child are you <laughs> Oh man <laughs> you, you know how to push man's buttons I can promise you man that's fucking crazy No I ain't going to fucking beat nobody's baby I, You fucking crazy You 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 I don't want crazy, you dude. I don't want you being violent to me and your wife's baby <laughs> Nope. Oh, spin this thing around, huh? Man, where, where the fuck do you live, man? Who the fuck is this? Okay. Who the fuck is this? Because I, oh, man, this I, is fucking crazy. Well, here's what I'm going to ask you. Do, do you think you might want to be the godfather to the child? <laughs> to, to my own kid? No. Well, I, I guess it wouldn't be my kid. It's, it's not your, your kid. Seat. It's me and your wife's God child. God damn you. Don't you fucking say that, you fucking crazy bastard. Don't you fucking say that. Don't it, you fucking say that? That drives me fucking nuts even thinking about something like that. It's Don't me. Don't you talk about something like that. But it's me and your wife's child. No, it ain't you and my wife. It was a fucking mistake, so don't you even fucking talk like that, you fucking crazy bastard. I'll fucking tear a hole in your head. Don't you talk like that. Okay, okay. You're going to tear a hole in whose head? In your head, you crazy bastard. See, that, this, see this, me up. You know, this, is the same, nuts, this is man. the kind of thing I don't want my child around. This <laughs> kind, This type of talk. This type of violence. So you white folks get mad and want to kill everybody in the room. Why don't you kill who you mad at? Why do y'all do that? God damn you. God damn you. Who the fuck is this, man? Can I, can I, can I say one more thing to you? Can I do that? <sighs> I don't know if I can take any more news from you, man. I'm fucking ready to just jump through the phone. I got one more thing to say to you. This is Nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just got pranked by your wife's <laughs> Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, I'm going to beat her ass, man. I'm fucking going to kill that. Don't beat her ass. She's pregnant. She's pregnant. I'm not going to beat her ass, man. Oh, man. Why would that? Oh, it took us so long to try to get pregnant. She's going to play, play a game like this. That's wrong. Oh, you got me, man. You freaking got me, man. Yeah, we listen to Steve Harvey Radio Show all the time, man. That's awesome. You guys are great. Oh, man. I'm, I'm going to go find her and give her a big kiss. I'm going to do that for her. God damn. All right, man. I got you one. son of a bitch, <laughs> I got one more question for you, baby. What is the baddest radio show in the land? The Steve Harvey Radio Show in the morning. <laughs> Ooh, man. Hello? Hello, I'm trying to reach a Valerie. Valerie Um, This is she. Uh, hi, Valerie. Listen, my name is Kadeem. I'm from Adoptions. I'm giving you a call. Uh, I'm sure you're aware that we're coming by tomorrow and... and uh, we great, first of all, I wanted to say thank you for being a part of, um, of this adoption thing for black history. We really greatly appreciate what you're doing. We want you what? to know that we um, have you scheduled tomorrow that we're going to drop two Caucasian kids off uh, at your household. And uh, hello? You're going to drop them off at my house? Right, right. Uh, are, are you familiar with what's going on with colorful no. adoptions? Uh, no. You're, okay, let me, well, wait a minute, hang on. You, your name has been submitted to us that you are volunteering to take in two Caucasian kids here during Black History Month, and you're going to teach them as much as you can about black history for a week. They're going to be with you for seven days. Uh, how many rooms do you have in your apartment so we can make sure that the kids have adequate space? Okay, can you tell me who submitted my name? Uh, Ma'am. Can you tell me, uh, do you guys have a back door so that, you know, there's an, as an a access uh, okay, and front where are entrance you and back from entrance? Again? I'm sorry? Where are you calling from again? I am calling from <laughs> adoptions. But I, what okay. I do need to know is I do need to know, will the kids have transportation? Do you have a vehicle that is definitely yours? No, the, that... kid, the kids won't have transportation. I'm sorry. You're asking me, no. Who are you again and... <laughs> My my name is Kadeem, ma'am. I'm calling for <laughs> adoptions. Okay. And who submitted my who submitted my information? to Ma'am, do you have was... adequate space to accommodate the children? No. Who submitted my name to you to say that I was going to take two more two more? What ma'am, I'm hell? asking you. Do you have adequate space, and do you are you going to be having enough food to you know for the food for the kids no, to be? I know uh, because I have three children. I'm trying to feed these three over here, and no, I don't have enough food to feed two more children. I. You're calling me, and who gave you my information? 
Ma'am, I'm going to ask you another time. How many bedrooms do you have in your apartment unit so we can make sure that the, sh- the kids are accommodated pr- uh, properly? No, no, don't bring any kids to my house. I don't, I don't care w- no, what color they are and what you need. Who submitted my information to you? Okay, ma'am, let me ask you something. How long have you, uh, have, how long have you been on your job? Okay, um, what the f***? Oh, no, hell no. I mean, you, your name has been submitted by... Uh, I don't care what you... But say that's not, I'm not interested. You know what will happen if you drop two kids off, two white kids off in my house? Uh, n- no, ma'am, I don't. Oh no, we're not. No, that's okay. I don't have time. I work ten hours a day. I don't have time for that. You know, it's okay. You can drop your. You know what's gonna happen to them if you drop them off? But they gonna be right where you drop them off at when you come back to get them next week. Okay, okay, ma'am. Right, I, 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 have you? Uh, somebody has submitted your name that you don't mind volunteering to take. No, no, children. you can take them to the who submitted my name. Take them to that. I don't need them. Okay. I don't need them. I work ten hours a day. Take them to whoever submitted. How about you take them? I'm, so, ma'am, I'm, I work for the agency, ma'am. I'm I'm here to try and get these kids a, a great place to get uh, educated. And I know that's okay. I'm not even say no about it. No. No, thank you. And you have to tell, whoever told you this, take them, to, take them to that. I have three children of my own. I'm taking care of. Who the uh, will tell you that? Well, I, 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 I don't know uh, exactly who submitted your name. All I know is that they said that you would be good as far as taking care well, of the you, children and, and teaching them about them black history. Kids to them. Who told you that? You uh, ma'am, I don't. You know, I, like I said, I'm, I'm working here. At adoptions, and I'm. I'm yeah, I you know, don't know who you work for, and. I have three kids of my own. I work ten hours a day. That's the f- I'm teaching about Black History Month. Okay, I mean, yeah. is it is it is it a problem teaching two more children and and two Caucasian children who probably don't know as much about Black History? It is a problem. I work ten hours a day. I got three. F- I'm trying to feed on my own. What are you? What you need to take them children to that f- who told you to bring them to me? How about that? Ma'am, I, I, I don't know. I'm not at liberty to give out the names on who exactly submitted your name. I want the name of the black who told you to bring some kids to my house. I don't even care that the kids white. Who? I want the name of the that told you that. That's what I, I want. I, I, ma'am, I don't have their names in front of me. I don't. Who the f- told you to bring these two kids to my house? Ma'am, I, like I said, I don't know who told me that. All I know is we're scheduled to drop them off at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Oh, uh, what kind of they gonna be out there when you come back to get them. I didn't sign up for any more kids. You, you, the f- give me the name of the person who told you to bring me. Ma'am, I, f- said I don't have the name in front of me, and and actually I'm not uh, at liberty to, to let you know who submitted your name. All I know oh. is we're scheduled to drive two kids off at ten o'clock tomorrow. Did you not hear what the f- I've been asking you? How the f- sign me up to bring two white kids? I don't even have a problem with the kids being white. They could be Mexican, Asian. That's not the point. Who the f*** gave you my name? I don't know who submitted your name. I don't know that. Oh, no. You got to know who gave you my information because ain't nobody been to my house. All I know is, ma'am, I'm scheduled to bring those kids over there at 10 o'clock in the morning, okay? Oh, that's Who the f*** told you that? Hey, don't bring no kids to my house. I don't even care if they white. Just don't bring two more kids to my house, period. Period. I will see you in the morning, Miss Valerie. Okay? In the morning. I have one more thing I need to tell you about tomorrow. Are you listening? You. Are you listening? Yes, I'm listening. You say whatever the f- you have to say to me right now. This is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just got pranked by your coworker named. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I got one more thing to ask you. What is what is the baddest, and I'm talking about the baddest, radio show in the land? The Steve Harvey Morning Show. <laughs> Hello? I'm trying to reach This is Hey, Jay, Who is this? This is Wendell. I live down the street from you, man. Listen, I got a question that's, that's been bothering me for quite some time now. Uh, why, why is it that I'm noticing that all you bring inside your house, man— I'm noticing that you always bringing black ladies in and out of your house 
back and forth. And I'm not the only one that noticed this. There's some other neighbors that have noticed it as well. And I just called to ask you, I, I just, I gotten tired of it. I want to ask you this. Why is it that you don't date white ladies? Why are you always bringing black women in and out of your house? Don't you, can't, can't, because I'm, I'm just, it's bothering me. I just want to go on and get it out there. It's bothering me. Can't you date some white girls and bring them in and out your house? But all times of the afternoon and the evening, man, you got black ladies coming in and out your house, and you got a nerve to be a player with it. It ain't even the same black woman. Uh, who is this now again? This is Wendell. I live down the street from you. Down I, from me? How, how did you get my? How, did, how in the hell did you get my number? I I got your number. Then someone, I, me and the neighbors have been talking about it. I'm just asking you straight up. Why is it you can't date some white women? Why you got to have black women coming in and out your house? Hey. So let me get this straight. Your ass is calling me at what? What time is? It? Why in the hell are you calling me in the middle of the day? Don't you got something to do? Don't you have a job? Don't you work? I got a job, but I'm. I, this is this is my problem I'm having right now, though. Are you kidding me? I mean, is this a joke? I'm just wanting to know why is it that you got to have? Why you can't date some white women? Why you can't do that? But you got black women all kind of times of the night coming in and out your house, and then you got. I didn't see, I know, at least four different black girls. First of all, l let me ask you this. When the hell do you get the audacity to be calling me up and telling me what the f*** to do with my life? Why is it that you dating black women? I mean, hang, hang, hang on a second. Um, I'm sorry, what, your damn name was Wendell? W Wendell. In, in, okay, Wendell. You know, I must have f***ing moved in Wendell. my sleep, man. Wendell, okay. Listen, I must have moved in my sleep because this damn street is named Downing Street, and I, I don't think you own this street. I mean, I don't see, see your stupid name on this street, so when the do you get off telling me who I can and cannot bring to my house? Who you think you talking to? Wait, I mean, uh, hang on. Who you Are think you, just, you talking to? Not hang call. on just one second. Hang on just one. I mean, let me ask you this. I mean, are you discriminating? I mean, because it sounds like you're discriminating to me, you stupid Oh, you ain't gonna sit here and talk to me crazy. And I, what, I'm not discriminating. All I'm saying is, why is it you can't bring no uh, uh, white girls to your house? Why you can't date the white ladies? What's wrong with that? So, okay, if, let, let, let me ask you this then. So, if I can understand you correctly, let me give you an example. So, what you're saying is, if I don't, if I want to go down to the grocery store and I want to walk down the fucking ice cream aisle and get some ice cream, so you're saying that I can't get, I gotta get vanilla ice cream. I can't get chocolate ice cream. Is that what you're saying? Is that what you're saying to me? I, I, that that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying I'm I'm not I'm talking about the ladies. That's what I'm talking about. You how'd you bring? Dude, ice cream? I, I'm using an analogy, man. You, I mean, you, you, you dude, you need to get off your meds, man. Cause I mean, that's why they made cookies and cream. If I want to bring black ladies to my house, I'm gonna bring black ladies to my house. What the is it to you? Because it's on my street and I don't like it. I don't, I don't like what you like and don't like. I live here too. I mean, I'll see you calling up Seal's ass and telling him he can't date Heidi Klum or marry Heidi Klum. I don't see you calling up Holly Berry and telling her she can't be dating a white boy right now. I, first of all, I'm not Holly Berry bet not to do it. But I'm not going to be too many more. Now, I'm going to ask you one time. I want you to stop bringing the black ladies to your house. I tell you what, won't you shut your doors? Won't you shut your windows? And I, you know what? Hell, you don't even have to do that. You can bring your happy over here and get the beat out of you. I don't give a but I'm going to keep bringing black women over to my house. What did you say to me? I can do I what? I said bring your happy over here, and you can even watch me with these black ladies. Oh, you're not going to disrespect me now. Now, that's what you're not going to do. You're not going to I'm going to say it to you, and it's the last time I'm saying it, and I'm getting off the phone. I don't want to see no more black women over there. You hear me? You got to be crazy. I'm going to bring whoever I want, whenever I want, to my house. Where did you say you live at again? I live three blocks down. Now, I'm just asking you. It doesn't matter where I live. The, the fact of the matter is, can you quit bringing black girls to your house? I'm going to keep bringing black girls to my house, and if you don't like it, you can kiss Wait, let me, let me, you know, Just let me ask you something. What is it about these black girls that you like anyway? Just what is it? Black is good, man. What does it matter? You what? should know. Yeah, I mean, I, I got a black woman, I'm, but, I'm, but, I'm, but I'm black, though. I'm just trying to figure out why is it that you, you have a black woman? What, what do you see in her? Why do you have to have my Nubian queen? I can't, first of all, I can't, again, I can't believe you're calling. You know what? I don't even have to answer that because, again, I am going to bring whoever I want, 
and it's none of your damn business why I want to bring black women, why I like black women. All you got to know is that I'm going to keep on bringing black women to my house. Listen. If you don't like it, don't look at it. Move. I got one more thing I want to say to you then. Oh, uh, I can only imagine. This is Nephew Timing from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just got pranked by your co-worker, Randy Tillman. Oh, <laughs> son of a... <laughs> I be damn. Oh, Y'all man. you crazy. He told me that you listen to the show sometime, and he said, you thought you couldn't be got. <laughs> man, he got me. I gotta say, he got me. I even told that <laughs> she would never get me on something like this, and he did get my... Hey, man, I got to ask you, what is the baddest radio show in the land? Man, I got to say, man, it's the Steve Harvey Show. <laughs> Son of a <laughs> try to listen to y'all all the time. Hello? Hello, I'm trying to reach Eduardo. Uh, this is Eduardo. Eduardo, how you doing, man? Uh, I'm one of your neighbors, man. I'm actually, like, two streets over. Uh, I-, I wanted to see if you could come around here, man, and help me out, man. I got a leak in my roof. Are you able to come around the corner real quick and, and see about fixing my roof? Who, who's this? Uh, yeah, this Sammy, man. I live like two streets over from you. you you're Eduardo, right? Yes, it's Eduardo. Okay, hey, I, I need you to, I got a leak in my roof, man. I want to see if you can come around here and, and take a look a at my roof. leak in your roof? Yeah, I want you to, I want you to charge me. What does that have to do with me? I, no, no, I, I got a leak in it. I, it doesn't have anything to do with you, but I want to see if you can come around here and fix it for me. How did you get my number, man? What, I mean, why where, where, where do you think uh, I'm, I would fix your roof? I, I got your number from one of the neighbors, but you, 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 um, you, you, you're you Hispanic, right? Yeah, uh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm Hispanic. Well, I'm not from Hispania. I'm Mexican, if that's what you're asking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, what I'm American, saying, I mean, Mexican, I mean, American. I mean, are you, is this, are you trying to be funny or what? what? What are you talking about? Why do I got to go fix your roof? I mean, what, I mean what are you don't, talking don't, about? Don't, don't all Mexican people know how to do roofs? You know what, man? Don't talk to me like that. I'm an educated Mexican. I'm your worst nightmare. Who the do you do? Who, who the do you think you can call me? Because I think that all Mexican fix roofs. And Listen here. I'm not a roofer. I work at a bank. Okay? You understand that? No, I, I understand you work at a bank, but from my understanding, all Hispanic people—I mean, what do you, what do you, what do you do at the bank? I mean, you lay, you, do you lay tile at a bank? What do you, what do you do at the bank? Listen, you ignorant. I work at a bank. I'm a loan officer. I am a dangerous. I'm a Mexican with good credit. Okay? I'm a dangerous Mexican. You're with the wrong person. Are you that stupid? Huh? What is the matter with you? Who, who gave you my number? Where do you live? You can't be one of my neighbors. I haven't seen a retarded person walking around my neighborhood lately. I'm two streets over from you, man. I'm, I'm, I'm uh, Like I said, I got a, a, a leak in my roof, and somebody gave me your number. I thought all Hispanic people knew how to fix roofs. Oh, really? Maybe if I go cut your grass, like a if you're going to stereotype us all, huh? Would that be cool? Huh? Why don't you come over to my house? I'll tell you what. Hey, 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 man! You, 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 you taking this? You taking this the wrong way? I'm trying to give you some work, man. I'm trying. To, what you, all I really wanted to see if you could come over here and fix the leak. You know what I'm saying? That's that's really all I wanted to do. And I heard, you know, that most Hispanic people, you know, all of y'all supposed to know how to do root. I mean, okay, let me ask you this here: Can you can you cut y'all? Can you cut my yard? Are you are you kidding me, man? You stupid. I work at a bank. I've got a degree. You didn't hear me. You're one of them ignorant that don't listen to anything. I live in a nice neighborhood, man. What do you do? You sell drugs to live in this neighborhood? You piece of Look at this. You're making me degrade myself by just talking to you. I don't do tile. I don't do construction. I don't fix roofs. I'm not a mechanic. I don't do yards. Okay? Do you steal? There's nothing wrong with being a construction worker for laying brick or doing tile or doing roof. And there's nothing wrong with that, man. I got a lot of relatives. I've done those jobs myself, but I educated myself. Now I've got a degree and I work at a bank as a loan officer. Don't you f- with me. F- Don't you ever call me again. Hey, 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 cool. hey, 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 I need English, man. I need English. English. Man, you, man. What, 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 what are you saying, man? What are you saying? Hey, man, don't, don't, don't be upset because I speak two languages and you speak one. Oh, wait, you can probably speak pig Latin or something like that, hey, hey, right? Hey, hey, hey. You, know, this, you know what, man? I don't, even, I don't even like to talk like this. I work at a bank. I got to deal with customers every day. And I deal with ignorant. I'm in the, I deal with ignorant on a daily basis. Like, you, you think I'm playing with you? Huh? Man, I grew up in the West Side. 
you you need to you need to watch your tone, okay? Man. You. Hey man, let me let me let me ask you this though. Do you know Julio? Do you do, do you know Julio? Yeah, I know Julio. That that's my cousin, man. What, what does he have to do with you? Okay, okay. Julio is the one that told me to call you. This is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show, man. Your cousin just got me to prank phone call you. Nah, man. I nah, dude. Nah, man. That's <laughs> Hey, and what, and man, what? Yeah, man. Yeah, I listen to that show, man. Y'all got me. What? Man. <laughs> uh, well, he was. Who I was ready to be a real Mexican from the hood, man. Golly. You all right, man? You got me, man. Uh, I was going to go back to being like my cousin. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, boy. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, man, I got one more thing to ask you, Eduardo. What is the baddest, and I mean the baddest, radio show in the land? Man, Steve Harvey in the morning, man. He got me. <laughs> hey, Tommy, Tommy. Oh, man, before you go, man. What's hey, up? tell your boy Steve to wear some Stacey Adams with those suits, man. Hey, the homeboy from the hood would love that, man. He'd be one of the homeboys, man. <laughs> Hello? Hello, I'm trying to reach uh, Nicole Fristhoff, please. This is she. How you doing? Listen, I'm giving you a call. Uh, you you happen to be um, uh, in a relationship with a with a black man. Am I am I right? I'm sorry. Who is this? I'm sorry. My name is Brian. Uh, well, I don't want to give my uh, full name, but it's Giadaya. Giadaya Malcolm. Okay, and and I'm sorry. Why are you calling? Okay, now you 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 are a Caucasian woman, correct? <laughs> okay. Why I'm I'm still trying to get to why are you calling? Uh, well, what, what's going on is um, uh, I'm with an organization and we're calling people who are in interracial relationships. And, and from my understanding, you are in a interracial relationship, correct? Yes. Okay, I'm with NBFU, and that's uh, NBFU is No Blacks for You. And what we're doing is we're trying to get. Uh, uh, races to go back to dating each other, you know, which means Caucasians hey, going back you, to dating. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. At first, I, I don't know who you think you are calling my house, but that's just not going to happen. And I don't know where this organization is based out of. I mean, you must be some country bumpkin or something, because this is like 2009, and you have just really called the wrong house. Okay, well, no, when... Uh, 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 NBFU, ma'am, has been around since uh, the early 1940s. And yeah, I can imagine. I can home. imagine that. And I'm sure at some point you guys have to shut the shit down because this is just ridiculous. Do you know? I mean, Obama's mother was white. Are you going to go knock on his door too? What the hell are you I'm, talking about? I don't have time to knock on Obama's door. He's busy doing no, other I things mean, right for now. Real. What like, I'm trying who, to do is get the rest of the country who, to understand who can, about what NBFU. Is this? Hey, hey, who you no black. Who <laughs> And that's what I'm saying. Wait, what I'm trying to, tell you. trying to tell us we can't be together because you're black and I'm white. He's calling. Oh. Oh. Yo, what's up? Who this? Uh, 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 okay. Who, 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 who is this? This is a. I'm a. I'm a man. Who this? Okay, this is G. Uh, G. Adia. G. Adia Malcolm. And what I'm doing, man, is we. We, you know, I'm with an organization called NBFU. And NBFU, man, is no blacks for you, which what we're trying to do is we're trying to get all races to go back to each other. Dude, what you talking about? Dude, you tripping, man. You are, what, what, what kind of organization is that? Y'all are tripping. Okay, what, brother, let me ask you, you something. You don't, feel, you don't feel empty without the sister on your side? You don't feel empty without uh, no, a no, loving bro, uh, black woman on your side? That's what I'm asking you, brother. Well, I got I got plenty of black women on my side, but that don't mean that I had to be in a relationship with a black woman. I'm in a relationship with a woman I love. So that's what it's about. And I don't feel empty. That's the first problem with your organization right there. The, the premise is wrong. Okay, 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 but brother, what we're trying to do, man, we don't want to lose our race. We don't want the blacks to lose the strength that we have. And if blacks continue to date and mate with blacks, then we will be as powerful and stronger than any other race in the world. Where did you get this number from, man? Excuse me? 
How'd you get this number in the first place, dude? I mean, I ain't got time for all this, man. This is some nonsense, bro. How you? Why are you calling us? Hey, man, because aren't y'all an interracial uh, couple? Well, yeah, but what difference does that make? That ain't none of your business. Hey, but it is my business. Is I'm with I'm with NBFU. No I don't care black who you with, you. Dog. And you I don't are care a black who... person that are integrated within another race. And what we're trying to do, man, is get you to understand to come back to your race and be comfortable and happy in your oh, race. Oh, oh, you really fucked up now, dog. Come back to my race. I ain't never left my fucking race, dog. You are tripping, yo. NB, fuck you. Fuck you. Y'all get off our phone, man. Don't call here no more with that bullshit. Dude, do you think that you are happier with a Caucasian woman than you would be with a black woman? Look, man, I, 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 don't even, I don't even want to entertain this. Don't call here no more. Don't call here no more. Oh, what do you? Let me ask you, you something, brother. Be a man and answer the question. Oh, dog. You, you know what? You about to get your ass whooped, dog. You, you know what? You really, you really going to get your ass whooped. Be a man. I'm I, asking I you to be a, a man. man. That's man. And you, you know what? If you bring your ass over here, you'll find out how much of a grown-ass man I am. Hey, man, don't get like your said, ass don't... whooped, man, while I'm in the middle of asking you these questions. Because I ain't got no problem coming over there. I got your phone number. I got your address, too. Bring your ass on over here and see what you find. I'm asking you about these relationships, man. Are you more comfortable in a relationship with a Caucasian woman than you are with a black woman? Dog, I told you, man, it ain't even about that, and we ain't even going into that. So, look, just please, brother, can you stop calling here? Don't call my no, girl man, no more. We're Don't calling call all house. interracial people around the country. That's what NBFU does. We call all of y'all, and we try to talk some sense into you and see if you can change the world and go back to the races from which you came. <laughs> You're tripping, y'all. You're really tripping, man. You know what? Obviously, you, you, it's a, a mental institution you're calling from because there's something wrong with you, motherfucker. So, look, don't call here no more, and we ain't got no more problems, all right? Can I say this, I can I say this to you? I'm going to your, your girl's job, and I'm talking to her face-to-face -face tomorrow about this whole situation. And you know what? And you're going to get your ass whooped. No, I ain't getting my ass whooped. I'm going tomorrow, and I'm talking. Matter of fact, right. I ain't even called to talk to you. You put her back on the phone. To hell with you. Put <laughs> her back her on job. the phone. Show up at her job tomorrow and see what happens. I'm showing up Show. at her job. Put her back on the phone. Show up at her job tomorrow and see what happens. You're going to mess around and get your ass whooped. See, you done got with this white girl, and you know what, man? Man, you yeah. didn't change, man. You changed. You don't know me from the beginning, dude. How you gonna tell me I didn't change? You don't know me. I, I, look don't know at, me. I know how you brothers get, man. I'm as black as I ever was. You can't measure my blackness because of who I'm dating. You show up at a job tomorrow, you're going to get your ass whooped. You ain't going to sit here and threaten me, man. I am with okay, him. We're done. You, you done worked him up, and now I'm worked up. You're, you're done. You're done. I don't know where you're calling from, and I doubt it's from anywhere around where we live because everybody around here lives in 2009. So you can stop calling the house. And I I'm wish coming to your you job would. tomorrow. Do you understand me? Job. I'm coming I to get you. Do, do you you would. To me. Please do. Are you Please listening do. to me? Matter of fact, you can have your man at your job at lunchtime. Not only am I going to talk to you at lunchtime, I'm going to whoop his ass while oh, I'm there. There's not going to be any talking. You show up, there's not going to be any talking. Yeah, there's it's going to be, be any talking. Talk. Me and you have a discussion to uphold. N B F U wants to okay. talk to you. You know what? There's a saying. Arguing with a fool makes you a fool. So this conversation is fucking over. Can I say one more thing to you? What? First say of all, smart. I need you and your your man. To, I need both of y'all to be on the phone. Y'all on speakerphone. Just say it. Are y'all where he at? Is you listening to? I'm right here. What you want? Because I'm gonna whoop your ass tomorrow. Is you listening? <laughs> <laughs> Babe, who is this? I don't know. This is this is just you ridiculous. Come on tomorrow. I'm I'm waiting for you, bro. Come on. I Can got I tell y'all something? What? This is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just got pranked by your girlfriend Lorraine. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh my goodness! <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, he he's about to take his blood pressure medication. <laughs> what? Hey, 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 nephew Tommy, I ain't never liked Lorraine no way. This is sound. <laughs> wow, you all right, man. I'm good. I'm good now. I'm good. Tomorrow. Hey, man, y'all keep doing what y'all doing. Y'all keep y'all relationship together. Keep your head up, and y'all be happy. But I gotta ask y'all before I leave, and I need to hear this from both of y'all. What is what is the baddest radio show in the land? The Steve Harvey Morning Show. <laughs>
ahead. Okay, I'm pretty good. You you actually came in a couple of weeks and filled out some forms. And... Yeah, 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 yeah. I did. I did. You're, you're you're seeking employment, correct? Yes, sir. I am. Okay, okay. Well, listen, I got a few things here I'd like to go over. If you don't, if you have the time, I'd like to uh, get a couple questions from you. I think I, I actually have something I could send you out on on Monday if you actually fit the criteria. Is that okay? Oh, okay. Well, hold on one second. Let me grab a pen real fast. Hold on. Okay. All right, go ahead. I'm ready. All right. Are you used to physical labor at all? Yes. Yes, I am. Okay, so that's not a problem health-wise or physical. You're, you're, you're able to handle that kind of stuff? Yes. Okay. Uh, about how tall are you, William? Um, about 5'8". Five 5'8". Eight. Five eight. Okay. And um, how much do you weigh? About 150. 150. Okay. All right, let's do this. Now, um, have you done any singing at all? Uh, not, not, I can sing a little bit, not, you know, I'm not a singer singer, but you know, I could, I could, I could blow a little bit, but not, not, not professionally, but you know. Right, right, but you're, you're pretty good at, at holding a note at least though, right? Yeah, I can, I can hold a note, uh-huh. Okay, not bad, not bad at all. Are you good working out in the heat? Is that okay? Yeah, yeah, at this point, man, I'm, I'm willing to take anything, yeah, I'm, I'm cool with that. Okay, how long you been out of work? Ah, uh, man, for about a good, about a year and a half now. Okay, well, man, we're going to try to fix that for you. I know uh, with the way the economy is, you know, I, I know how people can be out of work and not be able to find what they're looking for. But I, I think we've got something up our alley. Now, let me ask you this question. Are, are you good working barefooted? Barefooted? Yeah, without without shoes on at all. Uh, well, I mean, I, I, the, I guess if the job requires it, then, I mean, yeah, I can do that. Okay. Now, we're going to start Monday morning right at sunrise. So we're talking about 5, 30, 6 o'clock here. We're going to need you uh, to report to the field to actually get ready, okay? What kind of job is this? I mean... Uh, uh, what you're going to be doing, William, is you're going to... What you're going to be doing is actually picking cotton. And we want you to do it barefooted, and we, we'd like for you to actually sing uh, while you're doing it. <laughs> man, you got to be kidding me, man. Are you serious? I'm dead serious. The job pays uh, ten bucks an hour. You know we're gonna get you some good hours out wait, there. I know wait, it's gonna wait, be. A... Wait a minute. Wait a minute, man. Uh, I mean, with all due respect, man. I mean that. I mean, you talking about picking cotton and bare feet and and ten dollars an hour, man. I don't. Well, you, you, I mean, you're gonna be, and, and don't, don't, don't forget. I, I I do need you singing. It's gonna be a. Do you know any Negro spirituals? No, I don't. And I don't. I don't. I don't think. Uh, <laughs> Who is this again? Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm Daniel. I'm one of the uh, employees here. I work at employment agency. You know, I pulled up your file and, and saw how long you've been out of work. And, you know, I, I've got something that I think you'll be perfect for. Okay, but what, I mean, what is this job really about? I mean, you talk, you're talking about picking cotton. Well, you, you know, basically and, it's kind of like a, you're getting paid, you know, the 10 bucks an hour. You're probably going to get about 10 hours in a day, so... So you know you, you're gonna make a hundred bucks a day. It's 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 a it's it's kind of like slavery, but it's not. It's I mean, whoa, you get whoa, paid. whoa, whoa, hold up, hold up, brother, hold up. Uh, <laughs> man, I didn't sign on for nothing like this, man. I mean, I'm I'm thinking you guys are supposed to be helping me with a up to date job. I mean, slavery don't even exist no more, man. I mean, I mean, it, it does not exist. Nowhere, we brother. are going to pay you. You understand, but we do want you barefooted. Man, you are sing. telling me I gotta I gotta sing and walk barefooted, picking cotton, singing some, some slavery songs, bro. I don't do no like that, man. Uh, uh, I'm I'm voting Tuesday, man. This, this that slavery is over with, man. What the hell are you talking about? I can't believe. What, 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 what did you say, man? I'm I'm thinking that you guys are gonna be finding me a a job, a job, it job. That's not a, a damn job. job man. It, it, regardless <laughs> of 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 what, how you like it, it's a job. Now, I need you to report first, 5 o'clock Monday all, morning out in the field with no shoes and ready to sing your song and pick man, up. Man, I am not reporting no damn where at 5 o'clock in the morning at no damn field, brother. I mean, I, I don't know why, the, why you even calling me with this. Matter of fact, matter of fact, you you know what? Go ahead and send my off because I'll go over there and talk to these people in the beginning because y'all need to be reported. Like I said, five o'clock in the morning report. You don't have, if you you can wear your shoes. Man, I, 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 listen, I, Buck, Buck, listen to me. First of all, nah, nah. My name ain't Buck. And matter of fact, what's your name? Because you know what, I will be at this tomorrow just to meet your because this don't make no sense, man. You calling my phone talking about some 
slavery work, man, you must be out of your mind talking this. Are you looking for work or are you not looking for work? No, I'm not looking for that kind of work, dude. I mean, you calling my phone telling me about some slave work? It's work, though. You it's must work. Be out You're going to get paid. You're... Matter of fact, what, what is your name? What is your I'm name? Daniel. You can kiss my Okay. Listen, Kiss my I don't want to go back and forth. I'm not with you. doing I, no type of like that. Matter of fact, you out y'all there agency can lose all my information. You're gonna get your black. I mean, hang on. You're gonna get your butt out there, and you're gonna do what you Did need you to do. Did you just say get my black? Well, you know what? I will be there. Put my down. Can I? Can I say one more thing, please? What? What? What the else you gotta say, man? You didn't say it a mouthful already. I, I gotta say this. This is nephew Tommy from Steve Harvey Morning Show. Your wife Katrina got me to prank phone call you. <laughs> what? The who? <laughs> William, this is nephew Tommy, man, from the Steve Harvey Morning Ain't Show. This is some b- man. I can't believe she did some b- like that, man. And, and and she know I'm looking for a b- job, man. I bet you won't be saying that. B- when the bills come in next month. <laughs> hey, man, I'm five foot eight, 150 pounds, but uh, when I'm ready to get in your I will get all up in your I mean, and she know that Hello? Uh, yes, I'm trying to reach uh, Lester Tucker. This is Lester Tucker. All right, Mr. Tucker, how you doing? This is uh, Curtis Watkins, soul brother number nine. I'm with the BP of A and uh, the BP of A, Black People of America. What the? Okay. Well, listen, we are uh, we doing a survey today. We're calling uh, a lot of white households, and we're trying to figure out, uh-huh. have y'all been using the N-word in your house? And if you have, the, how many times are you using the N-word on a daily basis in your house? The N-word? What, what, kind, of, what kind of fucking survey is that? I don't use the N-word in my house. I got youngins. I don't, I don't, I, we don't do that around my house. Have you been using the N-word at your job? Oh, hell no. I got Nick. I mean, black folks who work for me. I can't be doing what that. Did, what kind of survey is this? Oh, no, back the hell up. What did you just say? You got what at your job? I got black. What the fuck? Did, look, what business is this of yours if I use the N-word? I pay the rent in this damn trailer. The organization. I say the N-word if I want to say the motherfucking N-word. Hey, hold on. Hold on. Wait a minute, brother. Now, look. No, you wait a motherfucking minute. You look. call me with your black people's ass. Hey, hey, let me explain some something to you, sir. We're do, all, all we're explain, doing, explain. Uh, all we're doing is a survey. Now I will tell you this: we do have surveillances at your place, and we will be trying to figure out if you. Am I trailer? We we will be t- dictating. Uh, uh, we will be trying to figure out if you're you, using the N word. Let me tell you something. Let me tell. If I want to say the N word, I'll say the motherfucking N word. I don't want to say it. If I find some surveillance shit in my trailer, I will come and kick your black people's association the ass. This, you hear me? You this, know who you fucking with? Uh, this you Lester Tucker, ain't you? You got damn right, I'm Lester Tucker. Well, I'm Why with, you want to know how many times I say, say the N word? We're trying to get a survey on it, sir. That's what we're trying. Survey to, my ass. You just trying to start some shit. I'm with. I'm Curtis Walking with Black People of America. I don't we, give a hell. I don't give a damn who you are, Curtis Walking. Sir. Why are you calling my house? Sir, I'm just here to ask. You, have you been using it, and have you been using it at your job? What did I tell you? I don't use it in my house because I got kids. I don't use it at the job because I got black people that work for me. Okay, I d- don't want to run them off by calling them names. Okay, well, when you go down to the club by yourself, are you guys in there using it? Now, come on now, be honest with me. Are you guys in there using it? Man, let me tell you something. I don't know what the fuck this is about, but it sounds to me like you said, look, I got black neighbors, all right? And if they found out that I was even talking about calling somebody the N-word, Man, they may come over here and steal shit from me. I ain't, I ain't like that. I ain't like that. Okay, well, let me ask you this: when you just, when it's just you and them, them good old boys, when it's just y'all, are you using that N word? Well, let me ask you this: when it's just you and your, and your hoodlum little buddies, do you? I mean, what, the, what the hell do you call white people? You, you use the cracker word? I have not used the cracker word, sir. Oh, why? Why you use honky? I, I want to get like I tell you. I don't know who the hell you are, sir. I'm I doing. The, I'm doing the survey here. I'm, you I don't survey. survey my ass, all right? If I want, like I told you, if I want to use the N word in my house, motherfucker, this is America. I will use the goddamn N word in my own house if I want to. How about that, Mister Curtis, Soul Brother Number Nine, or whatever the hell your name is? Curtis Watkins, Soul Brother Number Nine. I'm with BP of A, Black People of America. Black people. Why well, with white people of America? How about that shit? See, we can't have our own association. Oh, hell no. 
calling me up, calling me, asking me damn questions. Now, let me ask you something. Don't you work down at um North Sheriff Construction Service? Yeah, hell yeah. In Raleigh, what about no- it? In Raleigh, North Carolina. Yeah, what about it? Okay, uh, I just got one more thing to tell you. Are you familiar with Edward Williams? Yeah, he works for me. Well, this nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just got pranked by Edward Williams. Motherfucker. <laughs> you wait till I see that, 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 that motherfucker. That son of a bitch, he might lose his goddamn job today. <laughs> don't do then, You know what? Then y'all going to have one more black man out of work. How about that? <laughs> don't do that to him, Lester. Damn. Damn. <laughs> You all right, man? You got kind of riled up, man. Well, man, you wait till, you wait till I see that, brother. He told me. He said, this white guy is going to go off. He said, trust me, he does not use the N-word, but just act like he's been using it, and he's going to go the hell off. You wait till I see that, man. <laughs> that bitch owes me money anyway? <laughs> hell, you wait till I see that. Damn. All right, Lester, calm down. Hey, I got to ask you, man, what's the baddest radio show in the land? Let me tell you, it's the Steve Harvey Morning Show, and you know how I know? Because them black guys that work for me have that shit blaring every damn morning <laughs> in my company truck. This is Jason. Hi, Jason. My name is Remy. I'm calling with uh, BPE TMC. Uh, it's an organization. We've been around for the last five years, and we're trying to help different things in the black community. And I wanted to reach out and give you a call and see if you would be on board or help signing a petition that we're going to have uh, going around with BPE TMC, if you don't mind. Okay, what is it about? Well, BPE TMC, uh, uh, Jason, is uh, black people eat too much chicken. And what we're trying to do is cut back hey, the shortage the of chicken. Black people eat too much chicken. Who the hell is this? I'm, I'm, my, uh, my name my name is Remy, sir. Okay, what you mean by black people eat too much chicken? What well, what it is, we've, we've, we've done a we've we've done a, uh, a a test study, and we realized, sir, that black people are the ones that are eating too much chicken. And what we want to do is try to cut back because right now there's a sh- the Chinese and ask them they eat all kinds of chicken, chicken food, young, all this sh- yeah. chicken. The white people eat chicken probably yeah. all this sh- yeah. chicken, chicken stir fry rice with chicken and all this. Thing. You want to come to me talking about a black person eat too much damn chicken? Did you ask the white people? I bet you didn't know sh- with no white folks. I bet you don't go to them, y'all. Sh- out of them. Uh, well, sir, we're going we're to get to that. We're starting in the black community. You, Black people are the ones that seem to buy the most chicken. Man, no chicken. Guess what? I don't eat chicken. And if I did eat some chicken, I'd be cursing. Man, who the are you a big ass something? You. you. Hey, who, how in the y'all got my number in it? Where you get it from? Well, actually, we're getting numbers from the supermarket, uh, and we're getting a listing of people hey, who buy the most chicken. Supermarket, you get my no man in no supermarket. Sir, what, right, the, the main thing we're trying to get you to do is cut back on eating chicken. Now, what man, we want I you to do... I don't eat no chicken. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go and eat some chicken. And don't call me with no about eating too much chicken. Don't even call my phone. Do you got that? Hello? Hello, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to reach uh, Callaway. Is this Callaway? Yeah, yeah, it's Callaway. Who is this? Uh, how you doing? My name is Remy. I'm with BPE TMC, and uh, mm-hmm. who? Mm-hmm. My name is Remy, sir. I'm with BPE TMC. What we're doing is we have a petition we're trying to get signed throughout the black community uh, the, of some things that we're trying to actually help out in the black community. Uh-huh. So BPE TMC is actually an organization, and we're trying to actually uh, save some things in the black community. Oh, what's, what's B, what is that? What's that stand for? What the hell is that? BT, what is that for? Uh, BPE TMC is is uh, black people eat too much chicken, and what man. we're trying to do is get. <laughs> man, you gotta be kidding me, man! Who is this, man? This is this is Remy, sir. We're trying to get you all to actually sign a petition. What's going on? Is black people are buying too much chicken? Oh, uh, you it's... gotta be kidding me with this, man! Is this a white man? Who, the who is this, man? Uh, I am Caucasian, sir. Yes. Then why are you calling me with this? Well, what we're Remy? trying to do is. We're trying to get. How, how, how did you get my number? First of all, uh, actually, we get it. We're getting numbers from supermarkets that are letting us know. Man, the, you uh, got the people are. Man, you get the off my phone with this man talking about some beef chicken. Man, you man, you gonna make me get out and smack one of y'all. What the f- wrong with you? Okay, sir. What we're trying to do is get you guys to cut back on buying chicken. Man, who's you guys? What the f- are you talking about? You guys? Well, the black man, community is the black community. Not, sir, hey, man, man, you better go home with that. We ain't got time for this, man. Don't be calling my phone with that, man. 
Hello? Hello, I'm trying to reach Valerie, uh, uh, Val. This is she. How can I help you? Hi, my name is Remy. I'm with uh, BPE TMC. How you doing? I'm doing fine. And you? I'm very well, ma'am. Listen, what we're trying to do is, uh, if I take a little bit of your time, we're trying to actually get a um, survey signed by people in the black community. We're actually trying to help out in the black community. The organization is BPE TMC. And what this is, is black what is people that? What, what is that? Uh, that's that's black people eat too much chicken. So what we're doing is we're trying to get black people uh, do what? Black, say black say that one more time for me. Black people eat too much chicken. You see, there's been a shortage in chicken. So what we're trying to do is get black there's people to been cut a back. Shortage in chicken, and you want to do a survey? Well, we want what we want you guys to do is sign a petition that you're not going to eat any more chicken this year. That doesn't even make sense. We just don't eat chicken. You know, we eat beef, we eat steak, we eat fish. I don't see you trying to pull that off the market. Now, why would uh, you want to tell us not to um, to eat chicken and we eat other stuff, too? Where are you getting your deep findings from? Because this doesn't the, make the, any the, sense. The test study, man, was over chicken, and it just seems like that. No, who that, did the uh, test study? Who did this test study? Well, we did, man. We're BPE TMC, and what, what we're, after doing the test study, we did realize that the the, the black people are the ones that are eating. Want to test food. only just direct to black people? I mean, did you use white people? Did white people eat chicken too? Did you guys have okay. diets and stuff? Okay, man. Well, that, did that, you use that, Asians? Uh, what about the Hispanics? Did you use them? Okay, ma'am, listen, What the, the, the bottom line is our first study is black people, and what we're trying to do is get you guys to cut back on eating. No, your study should be everybody. This is some <laughs> Where'd you get my number from? Ma'am, we got you, we got numbers from the supermarkets of uh, people that you buy You didn't get my food. number from no supermarket because I didn't get my number to no supermarket. This is going to make any damn sense. You calling me, interrupting me about some <laughs> like this. This is this, well, this is. Bottom line, ma'am, you don't cook You don't anything. tell me, you're not me, telling me what the hell I can't eat. You don't lie your mind. You got life you and it. twisted, sir. Yes, you do. You're life it. twisted. Calling somebody, telling them that black people eat too much chicken. You and your partition. Would you like to hear what the survey is actually saying? No, I don't want to hear what the survey is actually saying. Because what you say is about a whole bunch of. But the survey is saying that this is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. <laughs> <laughs> Valerie, this is nephew Tommy, baby, from the Steve Harvey Morning. Oh my God! <laughs> Hello. Hello, I'm trying to reach a Ernest Newell. This him. Who is it? Mr. Ernest Newell, I'm with Wish American Survey, and what we're doing is we're calling around to different households about the whole um presidential race, but right now we're focusing on calling uh. Well, we're focusing on calling. Uh, we're focusing on calling black people. Black people. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's just something that we're doing, and we want to try and figure out exactly who you people are voting for, because that's important right now. I don't think it's none of your damn business who I'm voting for. Well, we want to know exactly which way the votes are going to be going here in the in the whole running of the presidential race. So. We're just trying to figure out who you're voting for. Well, uh, first of all, it really is none of your concern about who I'm voting for, but whoever I vote for, we getting y'all people out of there, I tell you that much. Because I'm tired. I'm tired of this bullshit. You can put that on your damn survey. But so, black folks, we tired of this bullshit. I'm tired of eating goddamn, goddamn sardines and goddamn Vienna sausage. We finna change this shit around. Sir, and, and, and if y'all all must know, I'm voting for Obama. Well, That's uh, right. Are you voting for him just because he's black now? Is that what you're doing? You got damn right. Well, that that doesn't mean you sat back to see if he qualifies, sir. That's why that's why we're calling y'all because we think you're going about this whole thing wrong. Well, I tell you what, even if we are going about it wrong, that's how we're gonna do it. You know what I'm saying? Y'all done had Bush and Hill, you done had his time to fuck things up. So get what? We finna change this shit around. You know what I'm saying? Y'all been there too goddamn long. We're going to paint the White House black. No, you, now one thing you're not going to do is paint the White House black. It's been white from day one, and you're not going to change that. Matter of fact, I want to tell you this. Don't y'all show up at none of them polls, or it's going to be some problems if you do, if you show up trying to vote. Hey, man, how you going to tell them about who to show up, man? You got some goddamn nerve to be telling somebody who to show up and when to goddamn show up. Anyway, you ain't got no business calling me on my goddamn phone anyway. How you get my goddamn number anyway? 
I don't, you know what I'm saying? We, they roads out there white folks now. Y'all think y'all run shit, but get what? Huh. That shit ain't finna happen in 08, baby. It's Bo Brahma 08. So y'all might always well get ready for it. All that bullshit y'all been doing, that shit finna get cut out. And all that calling motherfuckers on the phone, trying to scare a motherfucker. I like that bullshit. Yeah, because I'm just ready to get dead off of somebody's ass. I wish somebody would be at the poll telling me who to poll vote for, who I can't vote for. We're going to show y'all motherfuckers what time We're going to have people at them polls, and we're going to stop y'all from voting if you don't tell us ahead of time what you're doing and who you're voting for and why you're voting for them. Man, you got some nerve with it. I mean, how you get my goddamn number, man? I'm serious, man. I'm at work. I'm trying to work. And I'm going to be arguing with you on the phone with some bullshit. This is a survey. We are randomly calling black people, and we have the right to do that. Okay, I understand it's a survey, but you need to, you need to watch how you talk to people, man. You can't just be calling people with that bullshit like that. You don't, you don't come calling somebody on the phone and talking to them like, like you ain't got no goddamn sense. You need to talk to me like you got some sense. You talk to me with bullshit, I'm going to talk to you with bullshit. And I tell you, that's exactly what it's going to be if you show up at them polls trying to vote. Well, now, I tell you what, man, I'm going to make sure I show up, and I'm going to vote for everybody or anybody I want to vote for. Anybody on the ballot that's black, that's who I'm voting for. You know what? Because y'all ain't had y'all time. You know what I'm saying? Y'all talking about it's a goddamn recession. It's a goddamn depression. You know what I'm saying? You, Y'all you, got gas and shit high as it is now. A motherfucker can't even hear. I pay more in gas than I do goddamn child support. Let me tell you something. You're lucky we gave you the right to vote. Now, lucky you, you gave me the goddamn right. Man, y'all motherfuckers crazy. You know what I'm saying? That's some bullshit. You ain't give me shit. I earn. My people earn the right to vote. And you got some goddamn nerd calling somebody on their phone with this bullshit. Don't you got something else better to do? You need to go call somebody who worth calling. Because you gonna, y'all going to stop fucking with black folks, and we ain't going to hear that bullshit. We don't want to hear it. You know what I'm saying? That's some bullshit, man. You go ahead and you send word to the rest of them people of yours that we better not catch them. Oh, the- people of mine? Man, who the fuck are you, man? Who these guys are people of mine? They don't wrong the goddamn world today. Too many motherfuckers like you. This motherfucker, you not stay for a motherfucking marriage. I can vote and do whatever the fuck I want to do. You're you know gonna, what I'm saying? I can do whatever the fuck I want to do. You, 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 you listen to me. You're going to go in that poll thing, and you're going to vote for McCain. Man, I ain't, you know, I'll vote for whoever the fuck I want to vote for, cuz. You know what I'm saying? That's some bullshit, man. You need to stop calling my goddamn phone. I'm running my goddamn business up fucking with you. I'm on a goddamn cricket phone and shit, and I, I'm running my goddamn minutes out fucking with you. You need to start calling me and don't call my goddamn number again. That's bullshit. And I vote whoever the fuck I want to vote for, and you can tell them other redneck motherfuckers to kiss my motherfucking black ass. Because guess what? We're going to be in that motherfucker. I tell you that much. Fuck you. Man, why in the fuck you still calling me? Didn't I tell you don't call my goddamn phone, man? I I'm, need to, I, I'm doing a survey. And man, I don't, I don't give a fuck. I told you, man, stop calling my goddamn phone, man. I'm voting. We all voting. Matter of fact, we having a goddamn barbecue. Signing everybody up to vote. We voting. All of us voting. All, hey, motherfuckers who don't even know how to spell vote voting. You know what I'm saying? So stop calling my goddamn phone. I want Man. you. We're doing a survey, and you're gonna answer these questions I got for you. I asked you to stop calling my goddamn phone. And man. I asked you not to show up at them polls and vote too. I'm voting for my brother. His ass in jail. I'm voting for that motherfucker too. You, like I told you, everybody that I know that don't even know how to spell vote, we gonna vote. He might be smart and all, but that young fella can't run this country like we can. Yeah, the goddamn gas was a goddamn dollar fifty. You know what I'm saying? But y'all, when Bush got his motherfucking ass in there, shit, he done fucked things up. Yeah, gas went up a bit. And then you want to throw Bush up in my face. We know what it takes to run this country. I know we've gone through some ter- uh, a few a few glitches here and there, but it ain't been that bad. Y'all got motherfuckers over there, over there that saying, or that fight like a motherfucker for some bullshit. Y- yeah, okay, we went to war without a plan. And... Y'all don't fuck with them goddamn China over there, because you know they don't play that motherfucking shit. They got technology over there, all them motherfuckers got to do is just wink they motherfucking eye. They can fuck this whole motherfucker up. Y'all ain't fucking with them. Yeah. <laughs> We, we, yeah. we, we, we're not afraid of anybody, and you better be afraid to come to them polls. You hear me? Man, I ain't worried about your motherfucking ass and nobody else that you fucking with. You listen to me. I got one more thing that I need to say to you. Are you listening to me? Man, fuck you. I, I don't listen to you. Fuck you. I don't listen to your motherfucking ass enough. This is Nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just got pranked by your boy, Zubir Johnson. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs>
Samir Johnson. He put me up to it, big dog. God damn, man. <laughs> Shit. Man, you got to be kidding. Now I'm going to add this, man. Ernest. God damn, man. Man, I'm about to pull this goddamn truck on. I'll be the over some goddamn body. You all right, Ernest? Man, that's cold, man. <laughs> Don't tell me I done got gate. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Hey, look, one thing I do, though, one thing I do know, I know you voting. I know that. <laughs> you got damn right. Ain't shit tired. You got damn right. I'm voting. I don't give a damn who call me. Hell, Bush can call me if he want. I'm still voting. Shit, fuck him. Okay. I got to ask you one more thing, dog. What is the baddest radio show in the land? The Steve Harvey Morning Show. <laughs> off the motherfucking train. <laughs> Hello? Hello, I'm trying to read James. James, please. Speaking. Hey, James, how you doing? This is um, Chad, and I'm calling from the uh, from the job. How are you tonight? I'm doing good. How are you? Um, I'm very good, very good. Giving you a call. I'm actually the uh, the regional manager over the, over your department. Okay. Uh, everything's all right, huh? Because today's Sunday. If you want to make sure I'm still coming to work tomorrow. Oh, you're definitely, definitely, nothing like that. You're definitely coming to work. Now, who's your manager over at your office? Is it Brent? Brent Right, okay. Well, here's what we're doing, man. We're calling everybody in the company, first of all, today. But more importantly, we're definitely making contact with every African-American in the company. And I'm letting you know that we're paying homage and much respect to uh, Black History Month. Outstanding. That, that's something that we want to definitely let you guys know that's important to us. I think that is outstanding. How can I help? Well, listen, we've got some things that, that we want to do for tomorrow, and that's the reason why you're getting a call today. Are you up for helping us, you know, really, really push Black History Month within the company? Chad, I'm a team player. Whatever it takes, let's get it done. Okay, good deal. Good deal. I'll tell you what, here's what we're going to do. we got a lot of people that we've given a call to, and everybody's going to play different roles tomorrow uh, at the office. So we wanted to give you a call. Do you mind if you're, if you're really the team player that we think you are? I think you, uh, you, you've you already made mention that you, you don't mind doing what it takes. I don't. You're on the right track. Okay, good deal. Here's what we're asking, man. We, want, we would like for you tomorrow to actually, if you could find these type of articles tonight, but if you could wear a, a burlap shirt, some cut-off pants, and no shoes tomorrow, that would really, really help whoa, us out whoa, on the whoa. theme that we're trying to get going for tomorrow. Whoa, 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 Chad. I, I think I heard you, but I'm not sure. Can, can you please repeat that one more time, please? We want you to wear a, a burlap shirt, some cut-off pants, and, and just don't wear any shoes at all. That's the, that's the attire that we would like for you to come into the office with tomorrow. Really? Yeah. Yeah, and we, we, we're going to give it a okay. go, man. Everyone's excited about it, and we would like for you to come in tomorrow. Uh, like I said, we're, we're going to... Chad, let me, let, me, let, me, let me give you... I mean, since we're going to celebrate Black History, let me give you one fact. The year 1619 was the first after America slaves arrived in Virginia. Today is Sunday, 20... Well, you think I'm doing some like that? I'm, 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 I'm sorry, I, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't exactly hear what you said at the beginning. What did, what did you say? Slavery's uh, been over with. Ain't no way in hell I'm finna come into an office. With a, see, you want to lose your mind during election year. What is wrong with you? Why you ask me to put on a baseball suit and come in as Jack and Robbins? Why you ask me to put on a two-piece suit and come in as Derek Holder? What the hell is wrong with y'all? Well, what we want to do here, and I don't want you to get upset about this, James. What we want to do is... Look at what you're asking me to do. To be a slave in 2012? Well, well, you know what I will do? Here, but you, I, mean, I will come up there. I will come up there and, and uh, pretend to be you and you be on your. That's what I will do and show you some real black power panther movement on your. Would you like that, sir? Sir, what we want? We, listen, we're not here to create problems. What we want to do is we want to we want to pay a homage. You call me with a problem on the Sunday to dress as a slave. That's a problem. That's a big problem. Oh, okay, okay, sir, if we're going to pay homage to black history, don't you think that all of that is a part of black history? Highlight the positive, man. Highlight the positive. You're paying me today to work for you. This ain't no slave-free labor. Do you understand that? No, I don't. I, I completely understand it. But what if we don't have where where it started from? I, I, you know, we have to have we have to have all every single uh, area of Black history, don't you think? We have to have the beginning, the middle, and the ending. 
Okay, well, if you want to highlight something, let me be Frederick Douglass. Let me slick my hair back. But see, the problem you got with him was his father was a white man. See, y'all like looking at our women, but y'all don't like uplifting the black man. So how about I do that? Let me be Frederick Douglass. Let's highlight that part. How about you, Chad? You like black women? Uh, 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 I'm here. Answer the question. I, I like all I like all people, sir. I, I, what I'm trying to do is get a, a, a great, great environment within the company, and everyone wants to not a great environment. You know, the majority of the of the Caucasian people are going to be masters tomorrow. Okay. What the f did you say, masters? Did you just say masters? Yes, most of them are going to be masters tomorrow. I'll be in there with my attorney to master an EOC lawsuit on your. F How about that? Sir, do you have a problem with us trying to uh, trying to uplift the black community? Do you have a problem with that? Man, f you. You ain't uplifting the f thing. You know what I'm going to do? I'm coming in tomorrow as Barack Obama. But see, you don't like this f do you? Yeah, you f running around here want to get somebody to come in to be a slave. You be a f master. Master this. F master me coming in as a black man like I've been coming in to work and like I'm going to forever come in to work. We are a major pharma company. And you calling me on a Sunday with some like this? Are you at your mind? Sir, sir, what we're trying to do is uplift the black community. That's what we're trying to do. Thing talking about slavery. Uplift my and kiss my black That's what you do. Sir, I'm trying to, what we're trying to do is pay homage to black history, and here you are being negative about the entire, entire situation of what we're trying to do. Being negative, you let him be like, man, you, I'm coming in as Barack Obama tomorrow, like I said, and I'm going to have my shoes on my feet. Can you up that? Sir, there's, there, uh, there's one more thing I need to say to you, okay? There's one more thing. One more thing. hell. One more my I'm sorry? You just said all you had to say. What's your name again? Chad, sir. Chad Billingsley. What the hell you got to say, Chad? I, I, all I wanted to say to you is this, sir. Is I am nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show, and you just got pranked by your co-worker, Kevin. Man, I knew this had to be some kind of joke. Y'all playing on a Sunday? Man, I'm going to keep tomorrow. I'm worried about my job. I was getting ready to come there tomorrow. And whoops, sir. Every white boy I thought looked like a mouse. And don't let me see a brother dressed like a slave. I don't know what his <laughs> to. Oh, man. Hey, man, I got to ask you, man. You got to tell me this. What is the baddest, and I mean the baddest, radio station in the land? Man, the Steve Harvey Morning Show. <laughs> Black hair, baby. Oh, much needed laugh. <laughs> Hello, I'm trying to reach, uh, Mr. Is it Dawson? Dolan? Dolan, Dolan. Mr. Dolan? Yes, sir. How you doing? My name is uh, 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 Clifford. Clifford. Yeah, what can I do for you, Mr. Uh, you, you, you live at um, uh, Cheshire Drive? Why do you want to know that? Uh, well, actually, I, I, I'm, I'm at 1623. I bought. I bought the. Uh, I, I actually bought the house that was for sale next door to you. Oh, okay. Well, well congratulations. But how did you get my number? Uh, well, actually, the realtor told me that he he had your number because I said I wanted to reach out to the neighbors next door, and he, and he told me that Mr. Dolan was actually the person next door, and and uh, he didn't think you would mind me me actually getting the number. Okay. Well, I, I'll talk with the realtor uh, later. But what can I do for you, sir? Well, well what I, what I wanted to know is, do, do you have any problems like living? Next Next door to, to 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 black people. I'm sorry. Wh what did you just ask me? I, I mean, like like I you know like I said, I just bought the place next door, and I, I want to know, do you have any problems? You know, living next door to black people. Uh, no, sir. Uh, I have no problem. I'm assuming you're a black man, and uh, I have no problem with that. Uh, I judge people by their actions, not their color. Okay. Now, do you do you do you have any any black people experience? Well, yeah, I've worked with, gone to school with, have several friends of many different ethnicities. Uh, what, what is it? What, what's this? How is this relative? Well, you know, like I say, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be living next to you, and I, I'm just making sure that you know you and I can coincide or coexist with, uh, on, on the same block and not really have a problem with one another, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Well, do you have a problem with white people? Uh, no, 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 I don't have a problem with white people. I, uh, I, I'm cool. I'm just, I'm just trying to make sure, you know, uh, I mean, because me and you already have a bit of a problem already, you know. Oh, oh so, we do. 
Yeah, yeah, we we have a problem. I'm, I mean, I'm, 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 I'm bothering me while I'm at work. What's your problem? Okay, well, my problem is this: is that you know, after purchasing the property, I went downtown to the city and actually looked at you know the the layout of this entire property. And when I look at it, you actually 25, close to 30 feet over the property line. Well, no, you're looking at the wrong map. No, no. The fence that separates my backyard from your backyard, you are 30 feet over that. That's impossible. You know, no, no. Listen, and I know this. Now, let me, let me, I'm going to tell you how I, I, I look at You got a jacuzzi in your backyard, right? So, so you've, been, you've been spying on me? No, I haven't been spying on you, sir. I'm just telling you. Clo close to that, not far from that fence line, don't, don't you have a jacuzzi there? Well, you, as a matter of fact, I do, yes. Okay. Now the pool is the pool is okay, but but if I if I push that fence line back thirty and actually get the property that I'm supposed to have, I pretty much own yo 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 jacuzzi, yo hot tub. I see. Okay. Let me tell you something. Uh, I've been in that house for 10 years. We put that fence up when we moved in, and it was based on the property line that was that was set when uh, 10 years ago. I don't know what you're looking at, but my fence is not moving. My jacuzzi's not moving, and there's there's no changing that. Okay. Well, let me let me let me. I'm glad you you, you voice what you wanted to voice. No 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 no. You hear you hear old Clifford out. Let me tell you something. Uh, Either we're going to take the fence line and move it where it's supposed to be, or we're going to put a gate between uh, uh, our two yards, and I'm going to be able to come and get in this jacuzzi and pool whenever I want to. All right, let's let's let's, let's talk about this. First of all, there's gonna, not going to be any gate, okay? And, and as far as you just coming over and getting in the jacuzzi at will, uh, i got a real problem with that. Uh, you've called me at work. Uh, I'm on the job, and I'm having to listen to this on a future neighbor uh, who, who's making weird claims about how he owns part of my land. I own the jacuzzi, sir. No, no, you did not pay for that jacuzzi. You did not pay for that fence. You just showed up making a, a you call me at work and, 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 and then hand me some story uh, with no evidence. I'll go down to City Hall and look at those papers myself because I don't trust the word you're saying. I've been there for 10 years. I've had 10 other neighbors in that backyard. Y'all cycle through once a year, I swear, and I've never had any problems with them until you come along. This is some Okay, well, i tell you what. Here's, here's something you need to understand. You got a new black neighbor, and you got a new black neighbor that owns part of, owns your jacuzzi because you're over the fence line, all right? And as soon as I move in, I'm coming and I'm getting in my jacuzzi. The you will, man. You know what I mean? This no. Move into that. I'm going to use the jacuzzi on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. You get it on Tuesday, Thursday, and the weekend. That's it. Because part of this damn jacuzzi belongs to me. The jacuzzi is owned by a black man and a white man. And we're going to get along. Bottom line. Look here. Well, listen here, you. Who are you to dictate what days I get to use my jacuzzi? Because it's not. trying to reach a Mr. Noel. Do you know Hi, uh, Mr. Noel. My name is Mr. James. I'm with the Border Patrol in San Diego, California. Listen, uh, I hate to give you a call here on, on Sunday afternoon like this, but it's been brought to our attention, sir, that you have been 
let's say, part of a group that's helping people get across the border. Wait, 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 what? What? Well, wait, let's hang on, hear me out now. Um, I'm just saying, uh, it's been brought to our attention here at the uh, Border Patrol headquarters here in San Diego that, uh, and I know you live in Los Angeles, but it's been brought to our attention that you have been helping people get across the border from Tijuana into San Diego. Wait, wait, wait a minute, man. I haven't even, I haven't even been close to the border, man. What well, the f are you accusing me of? I don't even go near the border. Okay, I, I, you so, must never rung the well. Well, no, I think I have the right Noel, sir, but I, I'm just trying to get clarification here. Now, let me lay it out a little bit more um, clearly for you. From my understanding is that uh, I'm getting some, uh, I've got an anonymous call that you, uh, per se, Mr. Noel, is the one that has been helping people get across. And you've helped over 80-plus people get from Tijuana into San Diego uh, into the United States. Man, how, let me tell you, how the f*** can I help people get into the United States if I just told you that I haven't even been close to the border? What the f*** are you talking about? What's wrong with you? So, I mean, come on, you probably have the wrong Noel, man. I don't, sir, I don't have the wrong Noel. How can I call Mr. Noel you live in Los Angeles, and it's been brought to my attention. They've given me the correct number on you, sir. I do have an address on you. I want to try and see if we can get this clarified over the phone, but I will send a squad car out there and talk with you, and if things don't go well, I will have you brought in. No, but let me tell you, man. No, no, no. Oh, cut this shit, man. Let me tell you right now. I haven't even been near the border. I don't know what the shit you're talking about, but let me tell you. If you are near the border, or if I were to be near the border there, too, and I would see my people trying to cross over... If I were you, I would help them over, because they're the only ones that actually work over here on this side of the river. Wait, wait. So get that into your head, man. They are the only ones that what? That work. You guys don't want to do anything. People in the United States are lazy, man. They don't want to do their yards. They don't want to get the restrooms. They don't want to serve in the restaurants. Let me tell you, this is going down the tubes because we are the ones that make this country roll. And I'm not saying that I'm crossing people over here. I'm not saying that, so get that to your f***ing head. I'm not saying that. All I'm saying is that you should appreciate what we do over here, and you're accusing me here. Uh, sure, I'm Noel, and I'm a hardworking person over here, but don't accuse me of any like that. Okay, sir, sir, uh, uh, I'm not accusing you. It's been brought to my attention, sir, that you, Mr. Noel, are the one that's helping people get across the border. Now, you, did you just tell me that if you were at the border, you would help them? Did you say that? I said I would, but I didn't say I was doing it. There's a big difference. And I'm pretty sure you understand that, because what the f*** is this? I'm over here minding my own business, and you're telling me all this f that people are telling you that I'm crossing like Mexicans illegally over here to this country? Let me tell you one thing, man. If you do not appreciate my people over here, don't start accusing me of bringing them over here illegally. Got that? I, I understand wholeheartedly what you're saying, but listen to me. I'm going to go ahead and send a squad car over there to your house and pick you up and bring hey, look, you... Look, look, no, 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 you listen to me. Look. If you send a squad car over here and they cross my yard, like you say, I'm crossing people over from the border, you're going to get your f***ing kick. I'm going to guarantee you that right now. You're okay? going to you're gonna do what? You're going to get your f***ing kick. Mira, you don't understand my people. F***ing gringo chingados. Que de no quieren enseñar un f***ing chicale. Y nosotros hacemos todo ese f***ing trabajo. I what, hope you understand what? Spanish, because if you work for the Border Patrol, I do you not understand Spanish. I don't understand Spanish. Don't you do that no more. You're going to have to break this down to me in English. No, let me tell you. You're a Border Patrol. You should understand Spanish. Understand my people, because look, man. Mira, I'm going to tell you one more time. Ese, si tú vienes a mis cantones, te vas a partir toda la madre. I, te lo digo de ahorita, güey. Did you understand? Please? What did I just tell you, Noel? I told you, do not speak to me no more in that language. Now, listen to me. I said I'm going to send a squad car coming over there, and they're going to come up in there and, and drag you out your house and put you in the car and bring you downtown until we get it rectified. Well, let me tell you. No, you no, 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 no. You listen to me. This is the United States, and I have rights. Oh, you got rights now. Is that what you're saying? Yes, I got a right to say. L do you have the right to be helping people across the border? Hey, man, let me tell you, those people have the right to better themselves, they say. They have the right, if they can get away with it, to come over here. I'm not saying that I'm helping them. But what I'm saying is, they have the right to better themselves, and you don't have the right to ruin their dreams, they say. People got the right to come over here and better themselves, but what are you doing to better yourself, no way? What am I doing to say you don't even know me, you see? You don't even know me. Hey, I got my own, my own lawnmower service. I do the hedges and everything. Is that because you know what? 
because the f- people here don't want to do it. I say. And that's why they get people like me and like my people that are coming from Mexico. And we do, we ain't afraid of any, any little bit of heat or getting dirty. I got no oil f- 24 7 to say. I got no problem with you having a lawn service. I got a problem with you trying to get people across the border when they not. See, because you know what? Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? You ain't no uh, uh, Cesar Chavez. No, I'm not no Cesar Chavez. I'm not leading any labor union or anything like that. I'm just the guy that's trying to get it done over here, and you're accusing me of saying that's. I I got one more thing I need to say to you, Mr. Noel. What is that? This is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just got pranked by your boy Victor. Victor, I'm gonna kick his <laughs> stick this ain't funny, is it? <laughs> oh, shit. man, who is this guy right now? This is Tommy. I'm, I'm Tommy. We're gonna kick <laughs> to it because this is <laughs> Victor. He's my partner. I know, I know he's your partner. You put me up to it. He said you gotta call. You see, when it, you see, we're there in the trunk and we're listening to the show, the Steve Harvey show, and you know when you. Guys do like this, and he's laughing his up. And man, I never thought that he would say, "Wow, well, I'm gonna f- up my partner over here," you know? Oh, oh man! All right, man. Hey, let me ask you something, man. What is the baddest radio show in the land? Oh, the Steve Harvey show, I say. <laughs> hey, man, y'all keep listening to us, all right? Yeah, man. And I wanna, I wanna let you know this, Noel, on the real. The Steve Harvey Morning Show welcomes everybody across the border. You hear me? Yes, sir. Orderly. That's Every- what I want to hear it saying. Coming up at about four minutes after the hour, it's my strawberry letter for today. And the subject is, when I want it, he doesn't. When I want it, he doesn't. Okay, that's pretty self-explanatory right there. But we'll get into it in just a few because right now it is time for the nephew and today's prank phone call. What you got for us, Neff? You prayed for a job. Okay. You prayed for a job. You bowed mm-hmm. your head and you prayed for a job. And here it is. We're going to give you a job. Cat dog, if you would, she prayed for what else? That doggone nephew Tommy, that boy crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Nashville, Tennessee, up in the brain. Stupid, straight up in Cashville. So y'all get ready. It's going down this weekend. That would be Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And for you grown and sexes that don't like to be out too late, I got Sunday ready for you. 4 o'clock p.m. show. When you leave the house, it's daylight. When you get back in, it's daylight. You like that, don't you? That's Sunday, 4 o'clock. All right? Two shows Friday, two Saturday, one on Sunday. The nephew is coming to town, laying in the cut. It is New Orleans, Junior Boy. That would be August Come the 12th. On, Junior, Junior Boy, yeah. who is on the show Let me go in New here, Orleans, Louisiana? Who on that show, man? Let me go in here and run it down to the people. Listen, you got Tony Roberts, uh-huh. Dominique, uh-huh. Nephew Tommy, myself, yeah. and it's uh-huh. headlined by the legend, the queen of comedy herself, Monique. That's yes. who's on that show. August 12th, Saturday night. Lakefront Arena. Stupid on so many different levels. <laughs> boy, that boy Tony Roberts and Dominique. Dominique and you. Boy? And boy? me. And Mo. I don't Come know. It's, 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 that's it's a just... lot of stuff. That's a that's Ooh. a burrito of stupid right there. It's Ooh. all wrapped in, and tight together. And it's in the end, oh yeah? Yeah, Ooh. baby. Yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> right after that, the nephew will be headed to Greenville, South Carolina. Greenville, South Carolina. Nephew Tommy and friends, that is on the 19th. And then laying in the cut at the Howard Theater, Washington, D.C. Here I come. Two nights, the 25th and 26th, Friday and Saturday, Washington, D.C. Howard Theater. Tickets on sale. Red now. Stupid is moving around this country, Shirley. Do you see <laughs> You're on tour. Stupid the same, is way on tour, around, Shirley, the same way this heat moving around, Shirley. The same way this heat moving around. Stupid right up in there. I don't know why they don't have me on the weather forecast. I don't know why they don't. <laughs> Coming up next, Shirley. Strawberry letters. Subject, when I want it, he doesn't. We'll get into it right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Coming up at about four minutes after the hour, it's my strawberry letter for today. And the subject is, baby, I can't tell my man he ain't fine. (laughs) <laughs> we'll get into that <laughs> in just a few because right now it is time for the nephew and today's prank phone call what you got for us Nev? wedding and a funeral wedding and a funeral at the same time at the same you know there's been some confusion at the church mm-hmm. and we're gonna still have the wedding but we want to let you know that when you're having the wedding that mm-hmm. the body from the funeral will be there 
in the sanctuary at the same time. All right? <laughs> you can't move right. the body. <laughs> we, yeah, it was a wedding and right. a funeral. <laughs> Cat dog. Are you ready for a second season of the Super Secret Bestie Club podcast? My name is Curly. And I'm Maya. Oh my goodness. Let's say a little prayer before we start this. This is going to be the best podcast episode we've ever done in our freaking lives. That's right. Season two. Super Season secret, two, baby. Super secret super bestie secret, club. Super, super secret bestie super club. Super secret bestie club. <laughs> <laughs> This is a best friends club, and you can definitely sit with us. Each week, we'll talk about relationships, heartbreaks, and of course, our favorite L word. Love. And. Horoscopes and astrology, according to our point of view, of course. We're not oracles, but we know a toxic Virgo when we see one. I'm, I'm pointing to Curly. Woohoo! Listen to the Super Secret Bestie Club as part of the My Cultura Podcast Network, available on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. This is a special transmission from M and Jem. And we're setting the navigation back to Earth. Why? You promised we would stop on Zorb for those flangle fries. We can go back for them later. We need to pick up some clean suits and fuel up because we have a lot more flights to do and we start now. Oh, uh, who's flying with us this time? Tell me, tell me. You know that's classified information, but soon all shall be revealed Ooh, do i still get my sound effects buttons unfortunately yes games oh yeah oh yeah and can we have a real alien on this time around honestly that might be a real possibility with how things are looking Woo! strap in tight and join us for season two of in our own world part of the my cultura podcast network available on the iHeartRadio app apple podcasts or wherever you get your podcasts see you soon Hola, I'm Alexia Nepola. And I'm Marisol Patton. Your, your favorite, favorite Miami housewives. And now, the host of the new podcast, Ay, por favor. Get ready because we are bringing the heat as we dish on hot topics, celeb gossip, and more. I'm so excited to, you know, bring our personal phone gossip that we've been doing for what, 23 years? Yes, now? we've been Chimiando for 23 years. And it's so much fun. And we hope that you guys are tuning in with us and are ready to laugh. You see, to some aprender a little bit of Spanglish because this is who we are. This is what we do here. Mm -hmm. And by the end of you listening and tuning in with us, you'll be able to say, Ay, por favor. And so your cockies run dry. We just can't wait for you guys to tune in. Yeah, and, and share all the achievement with us. Listen to Ay, por favor, as part of the Michael Dura Podcast Network, available on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get The Steve Harvey Morning Show, baby. <laughs> <laughs> and there you have it. A wedding and a funeral. <laughs> Man. What? You can, you can, you, listen, you could do both. You can do both. <laughs> You play All right. too much. We can bring them in and send them out. We can do both. We can. <laughs> it could be done. It could be done. It's going down, baby. Tampa, I'm on my way today. You heard what I said. I'm on my way today. Cap Alpha Cyber Turn Incorporated. It is the Conclave, and you do not want to miss me on Saturday. We'll be doing the family outing. All right. And it will be hosted by yours truly and the beautiful D.N. King. We will be hosting that thing together, all right? So get your tickets to uh, come hang out with me and the rest of the brothers of Cap Outside Fraternity Incorporated. Laying in the cut. Uh-oh. Sunday, baby. Santi. Santi. Redondo Beach, California at the Redondo Beach Performing Arts Center. The nephew will be in town. That's nephew Tommy and friends. Got a few tickets left. OMG. Going back to Cali. 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 Going back to Cali. Here come the nephew. Right out to Cali, baby. Uh-oh. It is Nashville. Cashville, Tennessee. Club Zanies, baby. Y'all already know the nephew is coming to Tennessee. Get the hot chicken ready because the nephew on the way. All right, and then we move on to August. New Orleans is August the 12th. Greenville, South Carolina, August 19th. Yeah, yeah, Carl. <laughs> oh, I was All just right. need some tickets for New Orleans. Go ahead. No, 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 no. <laughs> Surprise. Five All right. <laughs> Coming up next, Strawberry Letters subject, baby. I can't tell my man he ain't fine. We'll get into that right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. 
Coming up at the top of the hour, right about four minutes after, it's my strawberry letter for today. And the subject is, he doesn't wear anything under his clothes. Nut. <laughs> Wait till you Nut. hear this. <laughs> Wait till Man. you hear this. No. That's got to that gotta itch. That's yeah, got we'll, <laughs> Wait till you hear this. We'll get into it in just a few. <laughs> Not just itch. Uh, but <laughs> right now, it's time for the nephew's prank phone call for today. What you got for us now? BPE. TMC. Y'all want to give it a shot? BPE TMC. Give it a shot. Baby, put T. Tires, everything in my car. BPE TMC. What is it? Black people eat. Black people eat too much chicken. Black people eat. Too much chicken. BPE TMC. Let's go, cat dog. Hello. Hello. I'm trying to reach Jason, please. Yes, Jason. Hi, Jason. My name is Remy. I'm calling with uh, BPE TMC. How's your day going? I'm doing fine, but with a BT, whatever that is. BPE TMC. Uh, it's an organization. We've been around for the last five years, and we're trying to help different things in the black community. And I wanted to reach out and give you a call and see if you would be on board or help signing a petition that we're going to have uh, going around with BPE TMC, if you don't mind. Okay, what is it about? Well, BPE TMC, uh, uh, Jason, is uh, black people eat too much chicken. And what we're trying to do is cut back hey, what the, the shortage of chicken. Black people eat too much chicken. Who the hell is this? I'm, my, uh, my name my name is Remy, sir. Okay, what you mean by black people eat too much chicken? What well, what you, is, we've, we've, we've done a we've we've done a, uh, a a test study, and we realized, sir, that black people are the ones that are eating too much chicken. And what we want to do is try to cut back because right now there's a sh the Chinese and ask them they eat all kinds of chicken, chicken food, young, all this here, chicken and white people eat chicken salad, yeah. all this here, chicken, chicken stir fried rice with chicken and all this. Thing. You want to come to me talking about a black person? Eat too much damn chicken? Did you ask the white people? I bet you ain't hit no with no white folks. I bet you don't go to them. Y'all scared of them. Uh, well, sir, we're going we're gonna to get to that. We're starting in the black community. You Black people are the ones that seem to buy the most chicken. Man, no chicken. Guess what? I don't eat chicken. And if I did eat some chicken, I'd be cursing. Man, what the Are you big or something? you. You Hey, how in the y'all got my number in it? Where you get it from? Well, actually, we're getting numbers from the supermarket, uh, and we're getting a listing of people hey, who buy the most. Supermarket, you get my number in no supermarket, sir. What, right, the, the main thing we're trying to get you to do is cut back on eating chicken. Now, what Man, we want I you to do? I don't eat no chicken, and you know what I'm going to do? I'm gonna go and eat some chicken, and don't call me with no about eating too much chicken. I don't even call my phone. Do you got that? Uh, uh, uh. Hello. Hello, I'm, I'm I'm trying to reach uh, Callaway. Is this Callaway? Yeah, yeah, it's Callaway. Who's this? Uh, how you doing? My name is Remy. I'm with BPE TMC, and uh, who who Remy? Who? My name is Remy, sir. I'm with BPE TMC. What we're doing is we have a petition we're trying to get signed throughout the black community uh, the, of some things that we're trying to actually help out in the black community. Uh huh. So BPE TMC is actually an organization, and we're trying to actually uh, save some things in the black community. Oh, what's, what's B, what is that? What's that stand for? What the hell is that? BPE, what is that for? Uh, BPE TMC is, is uh, black people eat too much chicken. And what man. we're trying to do is get... <laughs> man, you got to be kidding me, man. Who is this, man? This is, this is Remy, sir. We're trying to get you all to actually sign a petition. What's going on is black people are buying too much chicken. Oh, uh, you got to be kidding me with this, man. Is this a white man? Who, the, who is this, man? I, I am Caucasian, sir, yes. Man, why are you calling me with this? Well, what we're Remy? trying to do is we're trying to get... Hey, how did you get my number, first of all? Uh, actually, we get it, we're getting numbers from supermarkets that are letting us know... Man, the, you got to uh, be... The people that... Man, you get the f*** off my phone with this f***, man. Talk about some eating chicken. Man, you can... Man, you gonna make me get out and smack one of y'all. What the f*** with you? Okay, sir, what we're trying to do is get you guys to cut back on... Uh, buying chicken. Who, who's you guys? What the f*** you talking about, you guys? Well, the black really? community is... The black community... Yeah, hey, man, head. you better go on with that <laughs> We ain't got time for that <laughs> man. Don't be calling my phone with that <laughs> man. Hello? Hello, I'm trying to reach Valerie, uh, uh, Val. This is she. How can I help you? 
Hi, my name is Remy. I'm with uh, BPE TMC. How you doing? I'm doing fine. And you? I'm very well, ma'am. Listen, what we're trying to do is, uh, if I take a little bit of your time, we're trying to actually get a um, survey signed by people in the black community. We're actually trying to help out in the black community. The organization is BPE TMC, and what this is is black what is people that? eat. What, what is that? Uh, that's that's black people eat too much chicken. So what we're doing is we're trying to get black people uh, do what? Black, say, black say that one more time for me. Black people eat too much chicken. You see, there's been a shortage in chicken. So what we're trying to do is get black there's people to cut back. There's been a shortage in chicken, and you want to do a survey? Well, we want what we want you guys to do is sign a petition that you're not going to eat any more chicken this year. That doesn't even make sense. We just don't eat chicken. You know, we eat beef, we eat steak, we eat fish. I don't see you trying to pull that off the market. Now, why would you uh, want to tell us not to um, to eat chicken and we eat other stuff, too? Where are you getting your deep well, findings from? Because this doesn't the, the, make any the, sense. The test study, ma'am, was over chicken, and it just seems like that. No, who that, did uh, the test study? Who did this test study? Well, we did, man. We're BPE TMC, and what, what we're, after doing the test study, we did realize that the the, the black people are the ones well, that are like eating. Was the test food. only just directed to black people? I mean, did you use white people? Did white people eat chicken too? Did you guys have on diets and stuff? Okay, ma'am. Well, that, did that, you use that, Asians? Uh, what about the Hispanics? Did you use them? Okay, ma'am, listen, What the, the, the bottom line is our first study is black people, and what we're trying to do is get you guys to cut back on eating. No, food. your study should be everybody. This is some <laughs> Where'd you get my number from? Ma'am, we got you, we got numbers from the supermarkets of uh, people that you buy a lot. You didn't get my number from no supermarket because I didn't get my number to no supermarket. This just don't make any damn sense. You calling me, interrupting me about some <laughs> like this. This is this, well, this is. Bottom line, ma'am, you don't tell me, you're not telling me, telling me, tell me what the hell I can't eat. You know, my you're mind, you got life and it. twisted, sir. Yes, you do. Just life listen. twisted. Calling somebody, telling them that black people eat too much chicken. You and your partition. Would you like to hear what the survey is actually saying? No, I don't want to hear what the survey is actually saying, because what you're saying is about a whole bunch of but the survey is saying that this is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. <laughs> <laughs> Valerie, this is nephew Tommy, baby, from the Steve Harvey Oh, Morning. my God. <laughs> oh, oh, God. God. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, you know, Tommy, I love me some chicken. <laughs> <laughs> chicken, anybody? Anybody? <laughs> Mm. I actually want some right now. Yes, <laughs> and waffles. <laughs> yes. I'm not mad at that. Ooh, chicken and waffles. Sounds yes. good, Shirley. <laughs> get ready, get ready. Dothan, Alabama. The nephew is coming to town this Saturday. Don't miss it. The tickets are on sale right now. That's nephew Tommy. That's J.J. Williamson. That's Jam and Jay Lamont and T.P. Hearns in the building. OMG, it's a reunion for some legendary comics. So come on out. The nephew will be straight stupid. I promise you that. Laying in the cup, Kappa Alpha Psi Fraternity Incorporated, my brothers at the Conclave, and it's going down July 22nd. That's going to be Saturday night, so you don't want to miss it. This is going to be the um, family outing, Kappa Alpha Psi family outing on the Riverwalk, hosted by yours truly and the beautiful uh-huh, Deanne King hosting along with me, one of Tampa's favorites. So you do not want to miss it. Tickets are on sale right now. Redondo Beach, uh-oh. That's Los Angeles, Redondo Beach, California, <laughs> on the 23rd, yeah. Sunday night. That nephew coming to town. Nephew Tommy and friends, OMG, been a minute. Last time I was there, I had people inside my head. Remember that? Mm -hmm. A whole bunch of people mm -hmm. in my head. <laughs> this time, oh, my God, come see what the fuss is all about. This is after... Uh, all everything that took place last year, this year, you don't want to miss it. I got a story to tell and mm -hmm. a whole lot of jokes to deliver from things that have taken place in my life. So you are uh, all right, in for a treat. Okay. Thank you. Coming up next, Strawberry Strawberry Letter. The subject is he doesn't wear anything under his clothes. We'll get into that right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Coming up at about four minutes after the hour, it's my strawberry letter for today. And the subject is, this romance is a problem for me. But uh, right now, we'll get into that and find out what that's all about. <laughs>
<laughs> but right now, it is time for the prank phone call with the nephew for today. What you got for us, now? Well, Shirley, you know, everybody has one uh, at work. Pretty much everybody, male, female, everybody has one. They have a work spouse. You understand what I'm saying? This right here is work husband, work husband, you know, and everyone has a work. Mm-hmm. What, 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 what? Carla, I miss your work husband right here. What is, what, what, what are you talking about? <laughs> I've been begging <laughs> for a divorce. Begging. <laughs> <laughs> How many times have you filed? <laughs> over and over. He won't sign these papers. <laughs> she wants to be free. Oh, my God. Yes. <laughs> so here we go. This right here is work husband. Work husband. Let's go cat dog. Hello? Hello, I'm trying to reach uh, 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 Gary. Gary. Who is this? Hello? Who is this? Hey, this is Tony, man. I uh, I work with your wife, Pam. Is is she all right? Oh yeah, she's fine. She's fine, man. I'm 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 one of her coworkers, man. I wanted to reach out to you. Um, you know, I've been working with her quite some time. I'm, I'm kind of like what they call a, a, a work husband, man. She, you you may have heard her mention me before, Tony. Wait, 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 wait. Back up, back up. Cause I, I may be a little sleep. What did you say? A, a husband? No, 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 nothing like that, man. There ain't but one husband here. Okay, no, I got that. I'm a work husband. You know, you know, like you know, it'd be just some, something playful at the job. They'd be saying playful at the work. What are you talking about? Well, you know, just just some you know playful. They'd be saying you know uh, uh, when you hang around somebody a lot, they say he's a work husband or your work wife. You know, something like that. But no, 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 nothing heavy, nothing heavy at all, man. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, what's, what's up, man? I mean, what's up? Well, well I was calling, man, trying to ask you uh, uh, how how long. Um, how long have you and Pam been married? <laughs> wait, wait, what's your, what's your name again? My name is Tony. Oh, okay. Um, we've been married about eight or nine years. I mean, what's up? How, how, how long do you do, uh, if you don't mind me asking, how much longer do you see y'all y'all being married? <laughs> I, I kind of do mind you. I, okay, what? Hold up. How'd you get this number again, man? Like, I got, no, I got the, I got the number out of uh, out of Pam's phone, man. I wanted to call you myself. Whoa, 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 whoa! Back up. out of out of my wife's phone. Yeah, dog. I don't I don't even ask. I, hold on. Whoa, why are you in my wife's phone, man? No, nah, dude. I mean, I, I just got it off a of desk, man. I wanted to I wanted to um, you know, I, I wanted to reach out to you, man, to kind of have a, like a private conversation with you. That's all. For what? First of all, why are you in my wife's phone? You calling me? Dude, I mean this is this this how this this husband thing this is really is really blowing me right no, now. No, no, it's just no, it's just a work it's just a work husband, man. That's all it is. What is a work husband? What are you what are you doing with my wife? You know, that's just like you know, like you know, I'll bring her some coffee and donuts to the job, or you know, get her some lunch I and mean, stuff, man. If, if she don't wait, feel like going, wait, my wife don't even like donuts, and, and we got a new coffee machine just two weeks ago. So why are you bringing? My wife, food. Hey man, listen. Really, I really, I basically, I, I just called for this here. How long? How long do you foresee y'all being married? To death do us part. What the do you mean? How long we gonna be married? What, what's your name again? Tori. Tony, man. Tony. 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 Tori. I don't give a damn. You asking me these? Hold on. Let, let, let me let me call my wife. Hold on. Hold wait, on. Wait. Say, say, hold on. Hello. Hello. Gary. Damn. Gary. Look, Pam, you better call me within two minutes. Right now, it's 1038. You better call me by 1040 or your black will be sleeping outside. Hello? Now, now, now Tori. Hello? Now, yes. Are right, you still Why there? you do that? Why you call her, man? This this won't be a conversation me and you having together. No, 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 no. You're talking about you. You my wife's work husband. It ain't but one husband up in here. One. I you understand. my last that- name. Till death do us part. Now I'm glad you called me on a Friday. I, I'm so glad because I got all weekend to think about that whooping I'm gonna give you. Cause this out here now. Hey man, hey man. All I'm trying to figure out how much longer do you think you want to be married to her? Oh, well, oh yeah. This whooping gonna be phenomenal. Are right, you better get right with Jesus on Sunday because I guarantee you you gonna meet him Monday morning. Hey, hey, I'm hey, listen, all I'm trying to early. say, man, if you... If I'm you, taking if my you, wife up there early, and I want to see your black 
I'm just trying to adopt. All I'm saying is if you didn't want to be, be married to her any longer, then maybe we could work something out. That's all I'm asking, no, man. I'm just trying to have a nice... Work out, partner. All we need to work out is be there Monday, because I'm sure the hell going to be there bright and early Monday waiting for your work husband, my Okay, look, man, I'm not going to sit up. I'm not trying to... Look, all I'm trying to do is have a deeper man-to-man conversation with you, man. All right? Well, you, you don't call me talking about you bringing my wife donuts and coffee and all up in her phone. This ain't no decent conversation. Hey, man, I, I'm her work husband, dog. Everybody, everybody, most people have a work husband or a work wife, man. That's that's known in the corporate world. A work husband. You hear what I'm saying? What? A work husband and you. I'm going to be there Monday, 8 o'clock. Hey, man, I'm not finna see and go back. Look, you know what? I'm, I'm finna just call Pam. I'll just call Pam. Oh, so she see, probably call me back in about a minute and 15 seconds. Yeah, we're gonna wait for her to call me back. Work husband, my from this on a Friday. Okay, well, that, uh, it, was just a, it was just a question, man. I'm just trying to see if you didn't want to, maybe we could work something out. So if, if I find out if there's any truth to anything you're saying, Oh, it's gonna be a lay down night tonight. Yeah, ain't nobody finna do nothing to my baby. I mean, ain't nobody finna do nothing to Pam. What? Did you just call my wife your baby? No, I got, man, I'm just saying. Hey, Monday, Mr. Work Husband. Hey, man, I'm not finna. Your... I got one more thing I need to say to you, man. No, you ain't got nothing to say to me. Say no. Monday. I, no, Monday. no, no. I got something else I need to say to you. Are you listening? You, you better talk to Jesus, because I'm gonna be up there Monday at 8. Okay, I got I got one more thing I need to say. You, you ain't got nothing to say to me except Monday. I got I do got one more thing to say to you. Go, go ahead, go ahead. I said that you listening. I'm listening, Mr. Work Husband. Well, guess what I want to tell you. Tell me. This is Nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just got pranked by your brother, Eric. Son of a <laughs> Eric put you up to this. Ah, he did. Yeah, I'm so glad this is a joke. Because <laughs> somebody was about to die. <laughs> I'm a serious Eric. You all right, man? Oh, man, that's a good one. You all right? Oh, I need a drink. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Man, yeah, man. Hey, I got one more thing I got to ask you, man. What is the baddest radio show in the land? Man, the Steve Harvey Morning Show. <laughs> Y'all crazy. <laughs> 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 Work husband, baby. Work husband. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Boo. That's you, boo. Hey, man. <laughs> he was not playing with you, dog. There's only one husband I, over no. here. <laughs> hey, yeah. but uh, my, my, all I want to know, man, how long you see yourself being married to her? And, you know, you see, you see it going south anytime soon. That's all. That's all. He kept saying, till death do us part. Till death do right. us part. You got right. some nerve. <laughs> 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 I'm ignorant and going to be ignorant this coming Saturday night in Dothan, Alabama, baby. Dothan, Alabama. That's me, J.J. Williams from Jamie J. Lamont, T.P. Hearns, the bill in the stack. That's right. That's me, nephew Tommy in Dothan, Alabama. All right, J.J. Williams at that boy, straight ignorant. Jamie J. Lamont, oh, my God, a talent that you really need to see. T.P. Hearns, oh, my God, ain't seen you in a minute. Can't wait to see you. And uh, during the day. I will be, uh, you know, I love um, giving to uh, Wounded Warriors. Freedom isn't free. It's a veteran's appreciation. The nephew will be there along with Davis Entertainment and VFW, which is Veterans of Foreign Wars. And we are showing showing these veterans mad, mad love Saturday during the day before my show. So I'm excited. I'm excited. All right. All right. Nice. Nice. Yeah. All right. Get Freedom isn't in. free. Veterans appreciation Saturday, July 15th. From 12 to 2, and we will be at the uh, Dothan Housing. All right, Dothan Housing. All right, nephew, thank you. Coming up next, it is the strawberry letter for today, and the subject is, this romance is a problem for me. <laughs> we'll get into that and find out what that's all about right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Coming up at the top of the hour, right about four minutes after, it's my strawberry letter for today. And the subject is, it can't be that serious. Okay, mm. we'll get into that and mm. find out what that's all about in just a few. Because right now, the nephew is here with today's prank phone call. What you got for us, Neff? What is it? Shirley, the postman always rings twice. Cat okay, dog, if you would. Hello? Hello, I'm trying to reach Carlos. This is he. Who is? Uh, my name Benny, man. Benny Phipps. Hey, you. Uh, I want to make sure I got the right person. You, you, uh, you work for the post office, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. Do you deliver mail off of Murphy Road? 
sometimes, yeah, yeah. Okay, I live in. First of all, I wanted to make sure I had the right postman. Now, it's been brought to my attention that there's a postman that has been stopping by my house. And I'm, I'm, what I'm not understanding is why are you bringing mail to my door as opposed to just putting mail in the mailboxes on the street where everybody got their mailboxes at? Uh, what do you say? You say it again? I live at Murphy Road. Murphy Road. Yeah, I deliver over there. Uh, but you say delivering packages at your house? No, I said you've been bringing mail to my house and opposed. Here's what I'm trying to tell you, Carlos. My wife is at home all day. She don't work. Mm -hmm. And my understanding is you've been stopping by there on more than one occasion on a on a daily basis. You coming by there two, three times, you know. But what I'm understanding is ain't no mail being brought over there. I'm trying to figure out what are you doing at my house. Now, just, what 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 really then then brought all this to a head? Because you already know what's going on. Let me go on and let you know that, Carlo. I do know what's going on. I picked up the uh, clothes from the cleaners this morning, and to my attention, it's a man's post office shirt in my package. What color was it? It's blue, light blue. Yeah, I got a blue one. Okay, but well, explain this to me. How your shirt get in my house? Do you have my name on it? Because that could be anybody's shirt. Okay, so so oh, 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 hold on. What you trying to say is it, some is Mo Post men stopping by my house? Yeah, man. Sometimes, sometimes you know, uh, we do have different guys in that you know in that neighborhood. You know, because I really here's my know. problem, man. My problem is this: is that my wife is at home all day, every day, and my understanding is, is that you stopping by there hey, hey, bringing hey, more hey, than first, just first me. First of all, first of all, dog, uh, you can call you can call the one eight hundred number because. How did you get my number, dude? Hey, I don't worry about that. I, I find ways. It's, it, I, how, how you how you get my address that you stopping by there every morning? Huh? I just deliver what they give me to, to deliver and do. I put the mail in a box, and this is a package I don't get out. Excuse me? I don't, dude. That that, that wasn't me, dude. I, okay, I just, so I go uh, to the probably... cleaners this morning and pick up clothes, and it is a post office shirt in there that belong evidently belong to a man. That's got to be. It must be yours. That's none of mine, man. That's not mine. I have all mine over okay, here. Okay, okay, okay. I'll tell you what. This is what we're going to do, Carlos. Because, Carlos, see, see what? let me tell you something. I know you're lying. See, and what you're doing is you're delivering more than mail at my house. And I know it, Carlos. You understand me? So let's... That's not me, dude. Excuse me? That's not me. It can't be me. Hey, let me. Let me tell you something. When you come on Murphy Road tomorrow, okay, I'm going to be out there at, them, at, at the mailboxes waiting on you. For what? Because me and you going to handle this problem that we got tomorrow morning when you bring the mail. So when you bring the mail, bring your too. Okay, Carlos? Hey, hey hold on. Are you threatening me? I'm telling you, when you bring the mail, bring your too. Dude, dude, I didn't come at you like that. You ain't got to come at me like that. Dude. Hey, man, you came up in my house, and I know you said my house. I told you that was me, man. Post office shirt in my house. Dude, that was not me. I don't know where you live. I don't know who the you are, but you threatening me, dude. Dude. Hey, man, I'll see you in the morning at the mailbox. Bring your <laughs> Carlos. I'm off tomorrow, but I will come to your house with plain clothes on and whoop your <laughs> What you say? You want to with me? Hey, you the bitch. Oh, you, you, you <laughs> Murphy Road. I will oh, be dude, there. Murphy Road. Bring your <laughs> because what you're not going to keep doing is running up in my house while I'm out at work trying to earn a living for my family, and you up in my house laying up, and you're leaving your clothes. I found some mace in there. I guess that's what you use when you spray on them dogs. I found that, too. I'm going to bring some extra mace. I'm going to spray your with that mace. I'm going to knock your out. So you I take it yeah, in I'm the be morning at the mailbox, Carlos. I can't wait till tomorrow. Excuse me? I told you. I, I wasn't the one, but if you want to with me, wrong for real. Okay, cool. I don't give a fuck. When I see you tomorrow, uh, when I see you tomorrow, it's home. It's whatever. Hey, you threatening me and all that but I tell you what, I will come over there in some plain clothes and whoop your because you're not going to make me lose my job, dog. Okay. That's my job. That's but Whatever it's got to be. I don't care if, you, if you're in the post office uniform. I don't give a damn if you're in your pajamas, Carlos. But when you come to that mailbox and I find you out there by the mailboxes, that's your man. Because I know you've been in my house, Carlos. I'm telling you, I'm there. Okay, so be it then. So be it. I got I got one more thing else I want to tell you, when you before you get there. Tell me what? It, you know, I recall me. What is you listening to me? Yeah. This is Nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just got pranked by your co-worker, Oh, you, <laughs> you, <laughs> ain't this a, <laughs> ain't this a, <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Bob Lowe. Carlos, you all right, man? Ah, dude, I'm driving. <laughs> put off the side of the road. <laughs> nah, my I'm hanging out the truck. <laughs> I'm about to go crazy. I'm on my way to your house right now. <laughs> was on my way to your house. I just got off of work. <laughs> Damn. I'm going to get him. Oh, man. Hey, I got him. one more thing to ask you, man. What is? What is the baddest radio show in the land? Steve Harvey Morning Radio Show. <laughs> no doubt, all the way. <laughs> <laughs> come on up in here and give me some pranks and praise up in here, somebody. Come on, come on, come on. All right, King of Pranks. <laughs> come on, come on. Some praise and pranks up in here. For those of you that think that pranks have gone too far. <laughs> okay, Kirk. Yeah. <laughs> and they have. That's my dude. <laughs> And that's what they're supposed to do. <laughs> yes. All right. Mm -hmm. Coming up this Saturday night, baby, it is jumping off the nephew, Dothan, Alabama. Dothan, Alabama. The nephew coming to talk. Guess what? You know what, Junior? JJ is on the show. JJ Williamson is on the show. That's my boy. That boy straight up out the Mississippi. That boy funny as all get out. Watch this now. Ain't, ain't, we ain't done a show in years. Jamming J. Lamont is on the show, Junior. Wait a minute. J. Lamont? What? J. Lamont? <laughs> Come on, yes, H yes, the human, the human iPod. That boy yeah. right there, it, yes. man. Yeah. That boy right there is gifted. T P hers. What? Wow. What? So get ready, Delta. You got some veterans coming your what? way. And <laughs> you want to find some ignorance for Saturday night? Come get your tickets. They on sale right now. The nephew is coming, Delta, Alabama, and uh, I think it's gonna be pretty good. Nice little reunion right there. Blast nice. from the past. Some some fellas I haven't seen in a while. JJ's doing real well, man. You know he's he's on the air when our sister stations in um yeah. in Dallas. Yeah. Oh good. Doing his thing. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. 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 That. Hey Tom, we got. And then what's laying in the cut, Shirley? Redondo That's Beach, what I baby. We're gonna. Yeah. Redondo yeah, yeah. Beach. <laughs> Woo! Redondo <laughs> Beach Performing Arts Center. The nephew coming to town. Been a while since I've been to Cali, mm -hmm. and I'm going back. And who gonna be there with me? Nate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Who? Say it again. Nate. <laughs> yeah. We, yeah. was, we was talking about my security guy earlier, yeah. Nate. Uh, Nate! <laughs> That's me. West Side, huh? Mm -hmm. West Side. Mm -hmm. The Redondo Beach, California. Get ready. That will be July 23rd. That is a Sunday night show. Tickets are on sale right now. I'm excited about coming. My girl Wendy Rock Hill gonna come hang out with me. So yeah. I got we're gonna, we gonna have some fun, man. It's gonna be <laughs> off the chain. So get your tickets. They on sale right now. Laying in the cut, Nashville, Cashville, Tennessee. Zanies, baby. And the nephew will be in Zanies. Uh, that'll be at the end of the month, dear. Oh, God, I'm just moving around the country. 28, 29, 30. 28, 29, 30. Nashville, Cashville. I'm going to come down there. I get that hot chicken on Thursday. You understand? I get that hot chicken on Thursday, and it get me started for the rest of the weekend. You got to get some hot chicken. You can't go there without getting that hot chicken. That's how you yeah. choose your comedy dates, by the food and the city. Yes, yes. St. Louis, I was there. I was eating ribs all yeah. last week. Yeah. All right, coming up next, Strawberry Letter. Subject, it can't be that serious. We'll get into it right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Coming up at the top of the hour, right about four minutes after, it's my strawberry letter for today. And the subject is, he's too big and fine to be this way. Mm. Mm. Okay. Wait till you hear it. Wait till you it's hear it. It's been about me all week. It's been, <laughs> it really has. <laughs> Word been. to the wise, you don't want this one to be about you, okay? Okay, okay. okay. Let me back. Let me backpedal a little bit. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> Right now, we'll we'll get to the letter in just a bit. But right now, it is time for the nephew and today's prank phone call. What you got for us, Neff? Well, let me see if I can see how stupid I can get this morning, Shirley. I'm gonna try to get. I'm gonna Push try to multiply limit. that thing by five this time. Let me see just Push how it. stupid the nephew can be. I mean, I'm digging in these in these prank archives. These prank archives. I'm dealing into these prank archives here. Ah, uh, reach, reach. Right there. That one right there. This one, right, mm -hmm, that one right there. Problem at the valet. Problem at the valet. Everybody with that, man? That, all right. Everybody got that? Okay. All right. The valet. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Problem at the valet. All right. All minds clear. Good. <laughs> cat dog. Cat dog. If you would, let's go. Problem at the valet. Hello. 
Hey, Orlando. Hey, Tommy, how's it going? Hey, man, what's going on? You doing all right? I'm doing good, doing good. Uh, what's up? Hey, listen, I need you to do something for me. But do you need uh, your uh, your car details? Or... No, 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 not this week. Listen, I got something I want you to do for me. I'm doing a prank phone call, and I want you to call this guy and, and tell him you're the valet downstairs. Ask him for his ticket number and tell him, hey, we got a little bit of an issue, but my, my manager's going to call you back. Uh, are you sure you want me to do it? You're the valet guy. That's all you got to do, all right? What, why does a Mexican guy got to be the valet guy and you get to be the manager? What's up with that? Just make this. I'm going to click over and make the call. All I want you to do is just tell him you're, you're the valet guy. Will you do that for me? All right, man. I got you. All right, all right, all right. Hang on. Just hang on. Uh, hello? Uh, hello. Is this Mr. Franklin? Yes. Can I ask who's calling? Oh, uh, yes. Um, I'm, uh, I'm Orlando with Valet. Uh, did you park a Lexus with us about 30 minutes ago? Yeah, I did. What's what's going on? What's this about? I'm just going to need your ticket number real quick. There's a small issue, and uh, once we get the ticket number, I could um, have my manager just call you back. Five three four six. But why do you why do you need my ticket number? Is there something wrong with my car? Did something happen? Um, my manager will call you back, and he'll give you all the details. Oh, okay. So so something did happen to my car. Um, once I give my manager your ticket number, uh, he'll call you back shortly, and he'll uh, tell you everything. Okay, well, can you have him give me a call as soon as possible? Because I would like to know what happened to my car if something happened. This is, I don't, I don't really understand what's going on here. I'm, I'm sorry, I, I have to go. But you can't tell me anything else before you leave? I mean, there's no details that you can give me about anything with my car? Uh, like I said, my manager will handle it. I, I have to get going. Perfect, Orlando. That's perfect. All right? I got it from you, bro. I appreciate it. Let's call him back. Hello? Hello, is this uh, is this Mr. Franklin? Yeah, this is he. Can I ask who's calling? This is Cliff, man. I'm the manager here down at the valet. Oh, great. Thank you. I've been waiting to hear from you. Oh, my God. 30 minutes ago, you you pulled in with a, they're telling me a silver, uh, light gray Lexus. Yeah, that, that's, yeah, that's my car. What What's going on with my car here? Okay, and what's your number? Is it 5346? Yeah, that's that's my number. I mean, I already went through this with the other guy. Can you just tell me what the hell is going on with my car? Okay, are you able to come downstairs right now? No, I can't. I valeted over there. I'm at a I'm at a, a lunch with a client somewhere else. I'm not there right now. I, why do I need to come down right now? Can you just what is happening? Okay, so here's the deal, sir. We have a we have a, a, a one of the um, valet workers here has gotten mad and he left. He quit the job and he's he's gone. He's left the premise. The problem we're having right now is. We don't see your car. What you know, the f- and mean you don't see. It? What do you? What? I'm sorry. What? What? Um, okay. Okay. Ho- okay. Ho- wow. All right. So my car is gone. My f- car is gone. Is that what you're telling me right now? Somebody f- quit uh, your company we're, and we're, took we're, my f- car. Well, well. Well, hang on. We're looking on every floor and we're trying to figure out if if it got parked somewhere else. But he's gone, and what? we're we're. That's why we called to get your number what on there. Parked somewhere else, man. What the. F- what do you mean? Do I have a car or not? Did my car get stolen? How many floors do you have? How long does it take? I just f-ing bought that car. That is a brand new f-ing car, and now it's just I, vanished. I, Are you kidding me I, right now? Well, hold on, hold on. I understand. I understand. Let me ask you something. Is there a way? Um, is there a way maybe you can come by tomorrow and we can try to work something out and just see a, you know? No, there is no way I'm coming by tomorrow for a car that's missing today. First of all, we need to get the police involved in this. I don't even know what. Wait, 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 wait. Slow down, slow down, Mr. Franklin. Mr. Franklin, Mr. Franklin. Police right now. Mr. Mr. No, Mr. Franklin, we don't want to get the police involved in this. We who is we? we? Who is we? Because I damn sure want to get the police involved. So who is we? I'm just saying, we are the, I'm, listen, I don't want to lose my job because we lost the car. If you just give me some time to find the car, that's all I want you to do is give me some time. Let me go by this guy's house where he lives and see if the car is there. You should already be in a car driving your b- to this man's house, talking to me right now, okay? The fact that you're not there is malpractice. I'm calling the police. I'm suing the f- building owner. I'm suing the manager. I'm suing the f- who made the valet box. I'm suing everybody affiliated with your f- business. Do you understand me right now? I, I, okay, but listen, hey, Mr. Franklin, listen, why, are you, why, are you, why are you upset with me? I didn't do nothing. I didn't take the car, okay? Why are you upset with you? Why, are you responsible for this parking lot? Are you a manager? I, what is your occupation, I'm the, sir? What I'm, do you do? I'm the manager. I'm the manager here. I'm, 
and Orlando called you earlier, okay? And we're trying to find out where the car is. We it are. Doesn't really feel like it. You don't even want the police involved, man. You're not trying to find sh. You trying to cover your ass right now? I'm mad at Orlando. I'm mad at you. I'm mad at your company. I'm mad at the man who put the damn asphalt down in the parking lot. I'm mad at everybody right now, okay, Cliff? Okay, okay, okay. But calm down. Okay, but let me ask you this here: Are you are you are you mad at um? Are you mad at your wife? What? What, what is mad at my wife? My wife didn't steal my damn car. Ain't your wife named Carrie? How the hell do you know my wife's name? You know how I know your wife's name? Because your wife got me to call you. This is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Mall. Oh, <laughs> damn. Franklin, you just got pranked, baby. By your... Oh, damn. Oh, Ooh, boy, we're going to marriage counselor for this one. This is... <laughs> Y'all have... You had me. You had your boy. <laughs> she said he just bought this car. He loves this car. He outside sitting in it when he ain't going nowhere. Wow. I can't believe it. Man, it's always it's always the closest people. It's all you know, I tell you what, I tell you who is not getting to ride in this car for a long time. She knows what her name is. She knows what her name is. Hey man, tell me this. What is the baddest and I'm talking about the baddest radio show in the land? It's the Steve Harvey Morning Show, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Get a prank or something. Like Get a prank or something. <laughs> you got really stupid. stupid on that one, by the way. Really yeah. stupid. Hey, <laughs> I'm doing my. I'm just trying to do my part. I'm just trying to do my part. Your do part. Your Come so yeah, natural to, to you. Yeah, it's Thank like you. you. It's like you're not even working. Right. Huh? Effortless, Junior. Right. <laughs> Effortless. <laughs> Effortless. Hey, I'm already, I've already gotten started. I have touched down in Tampa Bay, Florida. I am here for Kappa Alpha Psi 86 Conclave. Baby, the nephew is here. It's going down Saturday. Kappa Alpha Psi family outing on the Riverwalk, hosted by yours truly and the beautiful D.N. King. We will be hosting it. Come on out. We got some stepping going on. We got some music going on. We got some contests going on. We got everything you're looking for. Bring the kids. Bring the family. Have some fun. And we're going to be wilding out all day Saturday. All right. And then Sunday, the nephew is headed to Redondo Beach, California, the Performing Arts Center. That's right. Redondo Beach, California, Los Angeles. The nephew is coming to town. That is Sunday night. Tickets are going almost gone. Laying in the cut, Nashville, Cashville, Tennessee. That is 28, 29, 30. That is Friday, Saturday, Sunday of July. Last weekend of July. You don't want to miss the nephew. All right. All right then. <laughs> All right, thank you guys. Coming up next, Strawberry Letter subject, he's too big and fine to be this way. Mm, mm, we'll get into that mm, right after mm. this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Coming up at about four minutes after the hour, it's my Strawberry Letter for today. And the subject is, my wife needs to find something to do. Okay, we'll get into that in just a little uh. bit. Find out what that's all about. Mm -hmm. But uh, right now, it is time for the nephew and today's prank phone call. What you got for us, Nev? Well, Shirley, we headed to the church. Uh, so you and you already know, when we head to the church, you might as well brace yourself because it's going to be strong now. <laughs> it's going to be strong. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to take a different angle right here. We're going at media ministry. Media okay. ministry. As you know, I've done all of it. I done done parking lot ministry. I done mm -hmm. done us, your bowl. Yeah. Yeah. We done called the pastors. This right here is media <laughs> ministry. All right. All minds clear. <laughs> all right. We are headed to the media <laughs> ministry. Cat dog, if you could. Hello. Hello, Austin. I'm trying to uh, reach Dre. Andre? Yeah, this is Andre. Hey, uh, Dre, you the person that runs the uh, the media at the church? You over the sound system and everything and all the, um, the the screens and all that stuff? Yeah, yeah, I work with the church. Okay. Uh, how long have you been at the church, man? I've probably been at the church for like five years now. About five years. Okay, okay. Listen, my name is Doug, man, Doug Newsom, and uh, I, haven't, I haven't joined the church yet. But uh, I've been coming because my cousin, you know, my um, uh, my cousin them go there. They've been going there for quite a bit. My my cousin, uh, uh, I got I got one cousin that's in the choir, uh, Latrice. You know who Latrice is, right? Yeah, yeah, I, I know the Latrice. Doug, you you ain't a member of the church yet? No, no, I'm not a member of the church yet. But you know, I've I've been in there. You know, I, I'm liking the service and everything. So you know, it's just a matter of time. You know, uh. Uh, 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 when I feel like I'm, I'm ready to actually join, but I, 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 I ain't gonna lie, man. I, I'm calling you because I got a, a, a bit of an issue about uh, 
about something I've, I've been noticing for the last three weeks that's been going on in the church. And I wanted to, uh, you know, I had to ask around who was over the media, uh, yeah, mini- yeah, ministry. That's me. Yeah, that's, that's what's you. What's going on, man? Okay. So, uh, man, I, I, I don't know what's happening. Uh, and, it, and, and I ain't gonna lie. I gotta be real with you. It pissed me off. But, uh, for the last three weeks, you know, uh, when my cousin get ready to sing, you know, I don't know why when she get up to sing that the mic just go out. You know what I mean? The mic just go completely out when she getting ready to sing. And I'm like, what, what? This don't make no sense, you know? So. No, man. I ain't been. It's not like I'm timing it. I don't know. I mean, we don't have the best equipment at the church, you know? Uh-huh. We just, we just got to work with what we got. Right. I mean, it's not like I'm sitting there trying to sing aloud to your cousin. Sometimes the mics get a glitch, man. But see, but see, that, but see, that's my problem, though. The problem I'm having is the glitch happening every single time my cousin get the mic. You know, that, that's the problem I'm having. I'm like, okay, so every time Latrice get up there to sing, then, you know, the mic go out. I done came three weeks straight. I, I ain't heard my cousin saying nothing yet. So I, I, I'm calling you, bro, on, on, you know, on some real man-to-man stuff, just letting you know, bro, I'm coming to church again this Sunday. I'm coming. Now, if Latrice might go out again, hey, dog, somebody going to get the ass whooped. You going to bring that energy to church. Um, say what now? You gonna bring that energy to church? I told you, man, it's just a glitch. Ain't nothing I could do about it. Okay, what what, what I'm saying though, bro, what I'm saying is this right here though, and I'm being as real as I can. Which, if 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 Latrice might go out on Sunday, immediately after that service is over, with, somebody getting their ass whooped. I don't know why you calling, threatening a member of the church, man. Like I said, I ain't got nothing to do with it. I try to keep everything running cool. You know, I try to keep it running smooth. I can't tell you when a glitch is going to happen. It's electronics, man. It's old equipment. Now, I'd love for you to be a member of the church with us, but I can't. I mean, why are you calling up here threatening me? Hey, bro, because because I, I done came up there three times. Three times I done came up there to see my cousin sing, you know. My cousin been singing since we was kids. We all love to hear her sing. We love her voice, you know. We, we, we you know, we grew up listening to Latrice sing. So what I'm saying, I'm gonna say this here though, and I just said it, I just, I just said it twice already. I'm coming up there Sunday. If if Latrice might go out, bro, let me just cut you off real quick. Ain't no way that you're gonna come up here and whoop nobody's ass, man. That just ain't gonna happen. Like I told you, it's a glitch. But you ain't coming up to the church talking all this shit and then gonna whip somebody's ass. That okay. ain't gonna happen. Okay, so I see where we at now. So so let me just go on direct it this way. So let me say this from Doug. To Andre, from me to you, I'm I'm letting you know right now. Come Sunday, if if Latrice might go out, n- not not know somebody. I'm whooping your ass, Dre. I'm whooping your ass if the damn uh, might go okay, out. Okay, first off, ain't nobody whooping my ass, especially no punk ass dude named Doug. All right, he ain't gonna come to the church and whoop my ass. That gonna happen. Okay, what 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 make you think you can't get your ass whooped, Andre? What makes me? You over here threatening somebody over here with the media? You want to come test these hands and come test the hands, man? You know what? Matter of fact, when y'all next rehearsal, I can just come on over there then. You come on over there, man. Why don't you come over right now? I'm over at the church right now. Oh, so you at the church right now? I'm at the church right now. Okay, bet. Okay, okay, right bet. Now. If you okay. want to catch this, no, 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 no that's the cool. Parking lot. That's cool. But no, you're no. gonna need the church after you done get this. Ass okay, hey, 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 son. hey, Bob. Tell DJ and them we finna go to the church, dog. No, no, tell them we finna roll up to this damn church. Okay? Come on. Call all of them. Call all of them. Dog, you finna get your ass whipped, dog. So you done pushed up on the wrong one now. You done pushed up on the wrong one. So all, all this little shit you talking, cool. You finna have eight dudes hey, come man, up there and whoop your ass right now. You finna- so Dougie, you can bring Johnny, you can bring Billy, you can bring whoever the f- you want, but it ain't gonna happen. Okay, okay, cool. And, and real talk, Doug, you done call me talking all this bull- how you about to come up here and whoop my ass. And now you need like seven, eight other guys. Back in the day, we used to just handle this one-on-one. And now you want to come up here talking all that shit. You're going to bring every cousin you got in your house. If you want to do this, shit, man, come up here. Let's do a one-on-one. Oh, 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 you, you scared or something? Ain't nobody scared, but you talking that you whooping my ass. Now you want to bring up every disciple you know, man. You know what? Bring whoever you want. Just don't bring nobody you want back because I'll put you all down. Okay, well, I'm going to tell you this here. I'm going to bring Tommy with me, and Tommy going to be the one that's going to act a damn fool with you. I'm telling you that right now. Who the f- Tommy? So you don't know Tommy? Nah, I don't know Tommy. Okay, do you know nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show? <laughs> <laughs> 
Are you kidding me? Ah! Who called this number? Hey, man, Latrice got me to prank phone call you. Matter of fact, the whole choir is in on this, and they know that I am pranking you, Drake. Man, now you got me done turning up on the radio. Man, now I got to go ask for forgiveness for all that smack I don't talk. Now come Sunday, I'm turning everybody's mic off. Okay, man, I got to ask you this, Dre. What is the baddest, and I mean the baddest, radio show in the land? You know it's the Steve Harvey morning show. And yo, Tommy, if I could turn your mic off, I'd turn that <laughs> off, too. All right. You'll turn my cousin right. mic on. That's what you're going to do. You're going to get this straight. Mm -hmm. All right, coming up next for the nephew. Uh, first of all, let me say, St. Louis, thank y'all for coming out, hanging out with the nephew this past weekend. We did the doggone thing at Club Helium. Yes, we did. And I had some St. Louis barbecue. I don't know, Kansas City. I don't know. I don't, I don't know now. I'm just telling you, I don't know, man. I'm mm -hmm. telling you, it's it's, it's borderline, baby. Uh, coming up next on the 15th, I will be in Dothan, Alabama. That's right, Dothan, Alabama. And the tickets are on sale right now. And then, of course, um, on the 22nd of July, that's Saturday, it's the Conclave, baby. Kappa Alpha Psi Fraternity Incorporated. We will be in the one and only Tampa, Florida. Did you hear what I said? Tampa, Florida. So the family outing on the Riverwalk. The nephew will be hosting along with the beautiful D.N. King. We will be hosting the family outing. We got step shows. We got music. We got fun. It's all going down. And laying in the cut is Nashville, Tennessee. 27, 28, 29. I think I'm up in there. Uh, 27, 28, 29, 30. I'm in Nashville, Tennessee. Tickets on sale right now. That would be Zany's Comedy Club in Nashville, Tennessee. I'm on the run, baby. I'm on the run. All right, nephew. Catch him, catch him, catch him if you can. All right, coming up next, it is the strawberry letter. The subject, my wife needs to find something to do. <laughs> okay, we'll get into that. Find out what that's all about right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Coming up at the top of the hour, right about four minutes after, it's my strawberry letter for today. Subject, I taught this young man everything he knows. Okay? Uh -huh. Right now, mm -hmm, uh, the nephew is in the building with today's prank phone call. What you got for us, Nev? So I got to drop y'all down one of the classics here. Uh, and, the name, and the name of the prank is Keep Sweat. That's what it's called. It's called Keep okay. Sweat. Cat dog, okay. let's sweat it up. Let's go. Hello. Hey, I'm trying to reach Manny. Is this Manny? No, nah, this ain't Manny, man. This Sweat. Who's this, man? Hey, this Raheem, man. Uh, Wow, this what? Okay, hey, uh, Mr. Keith, you uh, we we got we got people down here. You're supposed to be here at that record store, man, right here in Harlem, and, and we got people wrapped around the building. You're supposed to be here signing these CDs, man. But it's been over an hour. These people been standing here waiting on y'all. Yo, man, I don't know nothing about no record store, and uh, and number two, I don't know nothing about doing no signing, man. Who set this up, man? I, I don't know. I, I, I mean, I, the name I was given was Manny. Who was who was Manny? Man is my road manager, but he don't set things up, man. He's a road manager. He's not my manager. He just handles my stuff on the road. But I was never told I was supposed to be nowhere to do anything, man. I mean, normally when somebody tell me, me and them have an understanding that I, I, I book what I'm supposed to do. So I don't know nothing about this, my brother. Okay, well, you know, we got to get this taken care of. We got people wrapped around the bill, and we got a table here laid out. We got uh, pens and everything for you to sign these CDs, man. We got over 100 people outside the uh, store. My brother, I, I, nobody told me about no no signings or no nothing, man. I mean, I, I don't know nothing about no signing, for real. Okay, well, you, are you hearing what I'm saying to you, man? We got people outside the building waiting for you to arrive to sign some CDs. Now, what am I supposed to tell these people? Yo, I don't know what you're supposed to tell them, man. I mean, you know, I'm, and, and it's kind of like you're raising your voice, dude. I don't, I don't, I don't I, first of all, I don't know even know who you are calling me like this. I told you, man, I didn't set nothing up, man. And, you know, I mean, I don't even know who gave you my number. You know what I'm saying? For, I mean, I, I don't handle it. All this information was on the fax machine. I got this as a contact number. Manny is the person I'm supposed to be talking to. And Mr. Sweat was supposed to arrive here at 12 noon. Now, here it is. It's, it's 1 15, 1 20, man. And you ain't here. And we got people wrapped around the building. We've been advertising this for the last two weeks. I mean, the album dropped My today. Brother, I don't think you, I mean, no disrespect to you, but I don't think you hear me, man. I, I, I don't know nothing about a signing. If I knew about a signing or I knew I had a signing, such that I wouldn't have the people sitting around or standing around like that. That's not what I do. 
but no one informed me that nothing like this was going down today. You know what I'm saying? So, you know. Okay, but look, man, now that you realize people are here waiting, what are you going to do? What am I supposed to tell them? Man, there's no way in the world I can get down there and do a signing at this time, late time right now, man. I mean, you but know. you need to get your bag in that. I'm you, you need you need to get try to try to get yourself down here, man. Well, first of all, and, first and, of all, I mean, you know, I, what did you just say? I, I think you just called me on my name or something, man. What did you just say to me, man? No, no, no. I'm saying I, I'm saying you need to try and come on down and sign sign these CDs for these people, man. man. These people are here. They wait in line. They've been waiting over an hour on you. Now this this not gonna man, look good. Look, this dude, is the date. Dude, dude, I mean, dude. I, we got your we got your CD almost on every show, dude, man. I, I'm I'm feeling you, and I, I'm I, I understand now. I understand what you're saying to me, but there's no way. I can get down there, man. We, you just gonna have to reschedule this, so we gonna have to reschedule this. I apologize for the, you know, misunderstanding. But bottom line is, I knew nothing about this. Uh, hold, hold on, hold on a second. Hold on, Miss Anderson. He's, this is Mr. Sweat. He's saying he don't know anything about being here. I'm telling him we got people all wrapped all around the building. He don't care. Yo, yo, dude. I didn't say I didn't he, care. I said he, there's nothing I could do. I didn't say that. I didn't say that, man. Don't put words in my mouth, my brother. What do you want me to Will do? You re- all you got to do is reschedule it for another time, man. That's what you do. I, hold on, man. I'm talking to my boss. I'm trying to hold figure out how to up, get... We got up, people finna get mad, man, because you're not here. Up, okay? Up, you, now, whoever Manny... Manny needs his <laughs> whoop, man. He does. Yo, I don't, Say what? I don't know nothing about that, man. I ain't got nothing to do with that, man. All I know is that nobody told me about that. You know, I'll call Manny, and I ask who said because I don't do things unless I know where, where it's coming from. There well, ain't no way you can get your you can get yourself hold down up, hold here. Up. You keep, first of all, man, you don't talk to me like I'm your child, man. You keep saying there's no way I can get my, you know, back up with, on what you're saying, dude. Hey, man, hey, man we're having a problem. This is supposed to be one of the biggest days of our record store. We got your CD on every shelf, and you you just so calm and collected like it's not a problem with you. Know what I'm supposed to do, man, when I didn't know nothing about it, I understand it's a problem. It's a problem because it made me look like I'm a no-show, but dude, I'm telling you again, I knew nothing about this, man. Hold on, hold on one second. Take all his damn CDs off the shelf. Every last yo, dude, one of them. Yo, yo, I don't know what you're talking about, man. You losing your darn mind right now, man. I'm not trying to disrespect you, dude, but you really losing your mind right now. You doing something you ain't got no business though, man. I said reschedule the situation, man. You know, tomorrow, the day How after How we rescheduling when the album drops hey, today, yo, man? Okay, well, today. well, there's nothing I could do about this, dude. Nothing. Who's your, wait, wait, hold. Sound like you raising your voice I at me. I raising my voice, man, because you now you now you disrespect me. You don't call my phone going off like 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 I'm somebody's child, like I'm your child, dude. Man, you don't talk to me like that, man. Come on. So you can't stop what you're doing and bring your butt down here to the record store. No, I so can't. These I people can't won't stop what I'm doing. No, 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 no. I can't stop what I'm doing, man. So what you're doing right now that's so important you can't come. Man, it ain't none of your business what I'm doing right now, dude. I'm saying I know I knew nothing about this, man. So I'm not gonna keep going back and forth with you like 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 I gotta explain to you why I can't I gotta stop what I'm doing to come down there. I knew nothing about it. It's not my fault, dude. You need to take this up with somebody who scheduled this because I didn't schedule it. There's a right and a wrong way to look a right and a wrong way to do somebody, Mr. Sweat. Oh man, come on now, you reciting them, my, my songs, man. Come okay. on, man. Okay, now okay, no problem. Songs. I'm just now gonna go calling. out here and tell everybody in the line, Mr. Sweat don't want to come, man. okay? And I'm taking all of the man. damn CDs man. off the shelf because you don't want to stand up and be the celebrity that you're supposed to be. Man, okay, now you know what, man? You do what you got to do, man. At this point, you do what you got to do, man. But the, you, yo, who, who am I talking to anyway? This man? Raheem, man. Raheem. Raheem. I work here at the okay. store. Okay, well, I'll see you, Raheem. You go ahead and do what you get ready to do, and I'll come and see you, dude. What, 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 what you mean you going to see me? What that means? I'll see you. I'll see you. Yeah, I'll see you. That's what it means. I'll see you. Okay, because cause the bottom line is, man, Tommy said you was going to come. He the one said you was going to come sign. Tommy, who? Now you, Raheem, Tommy, who the, who the hell is the Tommy? Tommy, man, nephew Tommy <laughs> from the Steve Harvey morning show. <laughs> Swear I got your <laughs> Boy, man, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> man, y'all tripping, boy, for real. Man, man you, you, you don't even understand what you give me makes me do, dude. <laughs> you crazy, boy. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Y'all don't have anything better to do than call me and mess with me, man. <laughs> I knew the album was dropping, man. I said, I'm getting it today. You, you man, good? 
Yeah, I'm good, man. I'm good, man. <laughs> boy, you crazy, boy. Oh, man, let me get off this phone, man. Y'all do what you <laughs> Boy, you don't even understand. Oh, man. sweat, man. I had to get you, dog. Look here, you know, I know you got your show, but you got to tell me what is the baddest radio show in the morning. The Steve Harvey Morning Show, man. Get off my phone every time. <laughs> 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 he got a little gangster in him, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you didn't know? Uh-huh. He got a little gangster in him. Did you know that? I ain't no kid had that little gangster, gangster like that. Can oh, play yeah. with everybody. Mm-hmm. I used to work okay. for Keith with an F. Keith. K E I K E I F F. Keith. 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 <laughs> or you can do K E E F. Keith. Real Keith. <laughs> that was oh, funny, yeah. Neff. Mm-hmm. Funny Love king him. of pranks. Happy king belated pranks. birthday to our boy Keith Sweat. The Keith. Oh, we got to go. Yes. Coming up next, right. it's the strawberry letter <laughs> subject. I taught this young man everything he knows. We'll get into it right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Coming up at the top of the hour, right about four minutes after, it's my strawberry letter for today. And the subject is... Why does he have videos of our neighbors? Um, we'll get into that, find out what that's mm. all about in just a few. Mm-hmm. But uh, right now, the nephew is here with today's prank phone call. Nephew, what's your Well, Shirley, here's something that, you know, most of y'all won't step up and say. What? To your pastor. But sometimes you got to step up and you got to look past him in the eye and you got to ask him. How much in the account, pastor? Wait a minute. Because you're How tithing and paying your offerings. In you the account, pal. You asked the pastor what? about the bank account. Time? Why, why not? Why not? I'm putting money in there. Right. How much we got in there, pastor? <laughs> Don't be scared. Listen, everybody that go to church on the regular, Sunday morning when y'all get there, ask pastor. How much How in much there, pastor? The How much we got in the account? Ask him. How much in the account, pastor? Let's go, cat dog. Hello? Hello, I'm trying to reach uh Pastor Hayes. Um, this is he. Pastor Hayes, how you doing? This is this is Brother Lonnie, Lonnie Thompson. How you doing? I'm I'm good, brother. I, and how can I help you today? Pastor, I'm actually one of your members at the church, and I want to just commend you that you're doing a good job the way you um, are displaying uh, safety. Let me say that first and foremost. Okay, cool. Thank you. You know, we just want everybody to be safe and, and healthy. And, and your name again? Brother Lonnie Thompson. Okay, and 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 Brother Thompson, I'm 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 kind of about to be in the middle of dinner. How can I help you, brother? Well, here here's what I wanted to ask you, man. Uh, Pastor, I want to ask you this. I I know you know a lot of people are going through different things, and 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 uh, people are, you know, trying to make sure they keep food and stuff in the house because it's, you know, time like this, you know, you kind of want to stay put and and but you want to make sure you got enough food and water and things like that. So, but 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 what I want to my reason for calling you is I wanted to ask you how uh. How much money do we have in the account? Come again? The church account. How much money do we have in there? Brother, brother, what? What do you say your name was again, brother? My name is uh, uh, Brother Lonnie Thompson. Okay, Brother Thompson, how did you get my personal cell phone number to be calling me at home this time of day? Well, I got this number from one of the brothers at the church. What, what, what brother at the church? Because they know not to give my personal number out to to people I don't know. Are you a well, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, but I'm a, but I'm a member though. I'm a member. Okay. Well, how, how long you been a member? Because I've been pastor this church for ten years, and I, your name ain't familiar to me. How long? How long you been a member at my church? I've been a member probably going on, going on three years now. But I ain't, I ain't been since you know, since that day I joined. I, you know, I, you know, I kind of got caught out there. You know how it go. But, uh, wait, but yeah. wait, 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 wait. So you, you've been a member of my church two or three years. You ain't been to the church in two to three years. Are you calling me to ask me about finances of my church? I, well, I'm I understand a, what you're looking for. Well, I am a member. So, I mean, I do have to, don't I have the right to know what we got in the, what we got in the account? No, actually, you don't. You don't have the right to that question if you don't actively come to the church. You can't come to the church, sign up for church, and then call me three years later asking me what we got going on at church. So I need to understand what is your purpose? What, what are you well, trying to Well, like I say, everybody going through hard times, I'm trying to see what we got in there because, you know, I, I need to pick up a few things from the store. I don't have the money right now, but sh- shouldn't I be able to lean on my church, though? 
you can lean on us. We, we've done a lot of stuff in the community. We've been feeding the elderly. We got a food bank. We've been cash apping people some money that when we can. But you ain't been at this church in three years. You can't call me after three years and think I'm about to give you some money for some. I don't even know if you're a real member. I am a real I'm a real member. So hold on, hold on, hold on, hold, hold, hold on, Pastor. Hold on. No, 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 hold on. You hold on. No, 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 you hold on. Boy, boy, look here. I'm trying to sit down and have dinner with my family. You sitting here on my last night. Look here, Brother Thompson. I don't know you. I ain't never heard of you. You am not about to call here and try to get some money out of me. And you ain't even a member of the church. You can't I am a church. member of the church. Because you come to the church one time and you ain't been back in three years. And you come to me for some money? I, I, I am a member. You, you are not a member of this church, sir. You, I am a member church. of the church. Look, look, look. Let me Mr. tell you Tom, something. Tom, I know this ain't no. No, no, I, no, no Mr. Thompson. Let me tell you what. You can't join my church two or three years ago and call me three years later, get my number from somebody and ask me for money because you're going through hard times. Now, if you was a true member of the church, you'll understand how we work and how we give money to people that are struggling. I just delivered 40 meals today to our elderly. Huh? Huh? Last week, we cashed out people money to go pick up groceries. Apparently, well, do you, you need my, do you need my cash app, then? Do you need my cash Boy, boy, you going to make me cuss. You ain't even tithing. So how you not tithing and think you? I told you I had fell on bad times. Didn't I say I fell on bad times? You fell on bad times for three years. Hey, 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 you know it takes longer for some people. Okay, why are you ju why are you judging me and opposed to trying to figure out how to cash app me because so I can get on? A member of my church. I don't know if you some scam artist trying to get money from the church, sir. I have never met you. I don't know you. Matter of fact, I'm about to call up the deacons to see who you are and why they would give my number to some boy to call me and ask me for some money. Hey, let me say this to you. If you don't cash app me, then I'm finna let all the members. I know you. I know our church ain't no mega church. You know we got three, four hundred members. I already know. So, but but I would let every member know that you're not cash helping me to help me in a time of need. I will hey, do that. Hey, 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 brother Thompson, you you can let them know. You can Facebook it, Instagram. You can put it on that TikTok and tag me in it. I ain't giving you a dime. I don't know you. I ain't never heard of you. Matter of fact, you need to get off my phone. I got dinner with my wife about to go on, man. And I ain't got time to be going back and forth with you. I need to know who gave you my number so I can call them up and tell them, don't be giving my number out to some stranger who ain't been our church in two to three years and going to ask me for some money, some cash out. Or if you don't get off this phone, who gave okay, you my uh, number? Okay, so let me ask you something. So, so you know Deacon uh, uh, Marvin Dillard? I know Deacon Marvin. Yeah, what about him? Do you know he listens to the radio every morning? Yeah. He's listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Pastor Hayes, you just got pranked by your boy, Deacon Marvin. <laughs> boy, see, and that's why Deacon Marvin about to get kicked off the board. <laughs> boy, you, you got me out here in my yard. Yeah, my neighbors looking at me like I'm crazy. They know I'm a pastor on the block. Boy, you almost made me cuss. You can't be doing that during this time, man. Pastor, you all right, man? Man, I'm good, man. I'm good. <laughs> baby, baby, everything good. My wife done came out here, boy, and you ain't don't want her to set it off. <laughs> uh, you don't want the first lady to go off. Okay. Man, man. Uh. But, no, nah, we take care of our church, man. We feed them, send them money, man, deliver meals, man, make sure everybody good That's during good. this time. That's good, man. Before we get off, you got to let me know what is the baddest, and I mean the baddest, radio show in the land. Man, this is Steve Harvey Morning Show with that ignorant nephew, Tommy. <laughs> that is. Every now and then you got to shake past up a little bit. You know, I don't really go to the church that much, you know. But, oh, you know, hey. Yeah. Uh -huh. you know, he didn't really go there, but I want to. I like a good cussing pastor. You know, that's, no. That's what, no. Why not? Sir? That's the ones you respect, a good cussing <laughs> pastor. That's going to lose it here at 9 then. <laughs> it's going down this week. It's Kappa Alpha Psi all week long in Tampa, Florida. It's the 86 Conclave. You don't want to miss it. I will be hosting the family outing on the Riverwalk along with the beautiful Deanne King. You can get tickets at CappaConclave2023.com. That's CappaConclave2023.com. We are welcoming children, families, and everybody. This is the family outing. So come out and have some fun with your boy. And then laying in the cut Sunday night, baby, it is Redondo Beach. Redondo Beach Performing Arts Center, nephew, Tommy, and friends. I'm coming to L.A. Here I come. Yeah.
stupid is on the way. Now, laying in the cut, 20, uh, that's Nashville, Tennessee, 28, 29, 30. They laying in the cut, all right? That's at Club Zanies. You already know about that. Then after that, where I'm going next, New Orleans, August the 12th. Let, uh, uh, August 19th, Greenville, South Carolina. Washington, D.C. on the 25th and 26th of August. The nephew was on the run. That's right. I'm back at it, baby. I'm back in my saddle. Come watch me work. Come see what the fuss is all about. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. Thank you, nephew. There's <laughs> a lot going on. Coming up next. A lot. <laughs> it is a strawberry letter. The subject is, why does he have videos of our neighbor? We'll get into it right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Coming up at the top of the hour, right about four minutes after, it's my strawberry letter for today. The subject, how large is too large? Mm. Mm. We'll get into mm. that in just a few minutes. But right now, the nephew is here with today's prank phone call. What do you have for us today, nephew? It happens to us quite often, Shirley. Carla, it happens. The title today is, He Left his draws he huh? left his draws okay it has happened oh, on so many different occasions and i think it's happened for all of us whether you whether you have no. found somebody's draws that they left no. at the house or or <laughs> you are the person that left the draws all right he one. left his draws cat dog if you could hello uh yes uh mr T yes Hey, this is the doorman, Mark, uh, of your building. Okay. I have a mistress in here who uh, is trying to get buzzed up to your unit. Are you are you at home right now, sir? No, 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 sir, I'm not. A who? Yeah, uh, a Mr. Um, what did you say? I'm sorry, what did you say again? Mr. Mr. Uh, and he wants okay. to be buzzed up. Supposedly he left some articles in the room or in your unit a couple of days ago. And, uh, I was out of town a couple of days ago. What day are we talking about? Uh, so what days was you actually in? Uh, he said Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. He, he was there all three days? You guys let him into my apartment for three days? He was in my place for no, three days? No, uh, Mr. Ch we don't let anybody in unless someone in the unit allows them to be buzzed up. That's the rules here of the building. So we definitely didn't do anything out of character. So who we let him in? Who buzzed him in then? Sir, I hate to say it, but I'm assuming your wife must have buzzed him up. What you mean? My wife was not there three days ago. She was on a business trip. She was not at the apartment three days ago. No, sir, your wife was here. I've actually seen your wife come in and out. Okay, the dude is there right now. He's downstairs. He's here right now with me, sir. What did he leave in my place? Okay, one second, Mr. Hang on. What, what did you actually leave in Mr. Park? Pair of pants? Underwear? And what, and what else? He says he left... Uh, a pair of pants, some underwear, and a toothbrush, sir. Sir, Mr. Hill. 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 He's there right now. I'm a Let me talk to him. Put him on the phone. Let me talk to him. Uh, you know what, Mr. I mean, right now, the, we're listening to you, and I rate the way you sound. I don't want to put this guy on the phone. Mark, if you want to keep your job at the building, you go put him on the phone now. Sir, Mr. Sir. 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 Mr. He's actually leaving out of the building now. He's no, um, no. You, what the would you let him leave? At, He's walking. I, I don't I know. I asked you to put him on the phone. What the is your problem? <laughs> you got video surveillance, right? You got video footage of everybody that comes in and out of the building, right? Uh, yes, sir. But you know, if, if nothing occurs, we I think we should have footage that goes back at least two weeks. So we should be able to pull some things up for you, sir. Yeah, I'm gonna need you to get that, and I need it sent over to me right now. I'm at my work email. I need it today, cause this is some. Y'all let some my apartment. And, 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 and this is uh, some hang on, you Mr. 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 Like, what kind of Mr. are you? What kind of imbecile are you? Hey, hey sir, Mr. Mr. Hang on a second. What? All right, well, let, 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 please hear me out, sir. Hear me out. I haven't. We haven't just let someone in. Someone in your unit buzzed someone up. We didn't just let anyone up. Now I know you don't want to hear it, but I'm assuming your wife buzzed this guy just turned up. We didn't do that. You shut the up and get me what the I asked you for, and then we're done, okay? Well, well, you know, you're saying I have a problem. Maybe you have a problem pleasing your wife, and that's why she's buzzing other people up. You, her. you go to f***ing talk talking to me like that, you punk. Sir, you're being, you're 
disrespectful to me as well, sir. No, 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 no. no, no the disrespectful is you coming and letting people come up in my building that you know is not. I haven't let anybody up here. I can't stop your wife from doing what she's doing. You let somebody okay. in my you're building. Taking, in my you're apartment. taking out on me what you should be saying to your wife. Somebody has got to dress up all the time and always buzzing somebody up to the room when you're gone. That's you what you what need to be concerned about. Door, man. Mr. F- you, 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 f- you know what? I'm the only f- around here busting my f- take care of f- down there. I'm over here working right now to pay for that f- so that your f- got a f- job. Well, you might be handling your f- whatever, you but evidently you're not. You're not handling your business at home. That's why she keeps buzzing people up, sir. You know what? Well, the business I'm gonna handle when I get home today is your mother. Your wife has been, hey, sir, you're going to quit calling me the doorman, okay? You are the mother- doorman. What's your mother position? Huh? What the f- you do for a living? I'm a doorman. Open doors. And thank you, Mr. Doorman. Matter of fact, I'm going to stop calling you Mr. Doorman because that's giving you too much respect. Okay. Uh, if you, you know, if you, if you stop Tommy from going up to your room, you'll be fine. That's Who the f- Tommy? Nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Your wife got me to prank phone call you. (laughs) 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 Y'all crazy. (laughs) (laughs) Y'all about to get smoked. Oh, you are my job, (laughs) cussing. (laughs) Man, this is not (laughs) cool, man. You don't know the <laughs> that was going through my head. Like that, she was about to get it. Y'all was, everybody was about to <laughs> get it. <laughs> hey, man, I got to <laughs> ask you, man. What is the baddest, and I mean the baddest, radio show in the land? Man, got to be the Steve Harvey Morning Show. <laughs> <laughs> he left him, didn't he? Didn't uh-uh. he leave him? Like won't, he, won't he leave him? <laughs> won't he will? <laughs> won't he will? <laughs> uh, coming up next on the 15th, I will be in Dothan, Alabama. That's right, Dothan, Alabama. And the tickets are on sale right now. And then, of course, um, on the 22nd of July, that's Saturday, it's the Conclave, baby. Kappa Alpha Psi Fraternity Incorporated. We will be in the one and only Tampa, Florida. Did you hear what I said? Tampa, Florida. So the family outing on the Riverwalk. The nephew will be hosting along with the beautiful Deanne King. We will be hosting the family outing. We got step shows. We got music. We got fun. It's all going down. And laying in the cut is Nashville, Tennessee. 27, 28, 29. I think I'm up in there. Uh, 27, 28, 29, 30. I'm in Nashville, Tennessee. Tickets on sale right now. That would be Zany's Comedy Club in Nashville, Tennessee. I'm on the run, baby. I'm on the run. All right, nephew. Catch him, catch him, catch him if you can. Coming up next, Strawberry Letter subject. How large? It's too large. We'll find out right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Coming up at about four minutes after the hour, it's my Strawberry Letter for today. And the subject is put up or shut up because you messed up. Okay, Uh-oh. we'll get into that. Find Uh-oh. out what that's all about. Yeah, she's mad. Uh, in Five just minutes. a few, <laughs> because right now it is time for the nephew and today's prank phone call. What you got for us, Neff? Now, this right here, Shirley, um, mm-hmm. you know, every, well, I don't know what to say, but everyone has done this, but, you know, I've done this a few times, you know, in my younger years, and people used to do it at their, mm-hmm. you know, at, the, at, the, at their workspace, you know. But this is called right. Butt Man. This is called Butt Man. You know, this is when you make a copy of your butt on the copy machine. I, you know, you ain't done that. <laughs> no, you ain't never done that. No, I haven't. Okay, Junior, Junior, have you ever made a copy of your butt on the copy <laughs> machine at work? Absolutely, I've Thank done you. that time. Thank you. Okay, now Shirley, are you yeah, saying I just to me? Yeah, to validate you. Thank you. Are you saying to me, Shirley? Yeah, you ain't I've never, never made done a- that. Never. Carl, this is crazy. Yes. <laughs> have you made a copy of your butt on the copy machine at, at one of your jobs in the past? No. Stop asking <laughs> damn kind of silly questions. Of course not. No. I'm the only one that laid up yes, in there and hit that butt. You and Junior. Yes. And okay. what for what? Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing yeah. this for? Now, now, You're making now, a copy Carla of Shirley, yourself. Let me tell you something, Carla Shirley. I've never done that. I just want to validate this fool. Just absolutely. <laughs> you just need somebody to go with you. I just go out here with you. <laughs> oh, you just lying. 
Yeah. Let's he, go, cat dog. Butt yeah, man. I'm lying. This is but butt this man. Okay. Come on. Come on, butt man. <laughs> Hello? Hey, I'm trying to reach Vaughn, please. Uh, this is Vaughn. Who is this? Vaughn, this is Darius. Darius with Human Resources. How are you? Uh, I'm doing fine. Can I help you? Yeah, listen, we um, have an incident that has taken place at the job. You actually, what floor are you on, Vaughn? I'm on floor 12. Floor 12. All right. Do you use the copy machine that often on that floor? Uh, not all the time, but I do use it every once in a while. Okay. Every once in a while. So here's what's going on. There's going to be some actions being taken place here pretty soon, some legal actions. And we're just clearing everybody. You know, this is this is just a proper procedure that we're having to go through. So let me just kind of enlighten you on what's taking place. Someone um, on the 12th floor has copied their butt on a piece of paper in the copy machine. So someone actually sat up on the Xerox machine and copied their butt. Why someone would do that, I have no earthly idea. But what's happening now is everyone on your floor is going to have to come in and show their butt. So we're scheduling this now. I'm thinking Friday at 11 a.m. Would that be suitable uh, for you to uh, come? Uh, 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 uh. Y'all y'all talking <laughs> y'all talking about y'all want me to come up there and show show my show my b because somebody uh, I'm a grown man. Okay, I'm a grown man. I ain't do that. Okay, you know what? I believe you. I believe you wholeheartedly, Vaughn. But just to clear your name, we have to, I hate to say it, clear your butt as well. So we want to make sure, we're going to find out whose butt this is on the piece of paper that did this. We're going to find out. You're going to find out who's, you're going to find out who's cheeks those are and you're gonna find out real quick they're not mine all right i'm not doing that man i'm not gonna come in you said friday you're doing this on friday at friday at 11 not coming in my day off so i can pull my pants down with some strangers looking really look at my look at my cheeks talking about somebody copy i'm not doing that i don't i don't want to i don't want this to take a turn von because right now this is if you're not if you're saying you're not coming in, then other actions will be taking place. If you don't come in and follow the procedure that everybody's saying, everybody else uh, that I'm calling, they have to come in. How many how many people work on that floor? There is at least 80 plus people on that floor. You talking about trying to have 80 plus people come in, drive all the way to work. So some strangers people we don't even know can look at our look at our cheeks. And I'm not going to do that. I don't know who did it, but I know they ain't me. Well, somebody, me somebody Xeroxed their butt on the 12th floor, and I, I we're going to get to, okay, but we're going to get to the bottom of who did it. And what you're, what you're not going to do, Vaughn, is tell me you're not coming in, what you're not going to do. Do you like your job here with this company? Okay, what you're not going to do is act like you're going to fire me because I'm not going to show y'all my sweet goodies just because you... Just because you're from HR, you got me fooled if you actually expect me to think that everybody that works on this floor is over here like, oh, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll let some strangers look at my look at my crack. You must be playing. No, sir, not with me. Okay, well, let me, ask, let, me, let me ask you this. Do you have a coworker named Andre? Andre, yes. You're okay, you and Andre says things. he knows you. Now, I'm just going to put it out here. Andre is stating that it could have possibly been you. Really? Andre got the nerve to say it could have been me? Man, f*** Andre. Why did he try to single me out? Like, I even use that damn copier. I don't around there playing games. I'm a grown f- man. He must be out of his d- mind thinking he going to say I did it. All I know is he stated that you were a possibility. That's what, that's what he stated. He said I was a possibility. That that's dumb. I, he ain't have absolutely no reason to think. I don't even use that copier, man. I use that thing like once every two, three weeks. Okay. Everybody okay, on so, that floor. Okay. So out of once every two, three weeks, is there a possibility maybe you propped your butt up there and, and copied it? Not at all. Y'all don't even, ain't even told me when this happened. I probably wasn't even working when the booty chicks got scammed. On the, you, can, you must be out your mind. You can waste everybody else's time trying to bring everyone in to get a free strip show, but you're not going to do that to me. This has to be unethical and illegal on so many levels. You're trying to come in and say everybody on the entire floor has to come show their cheeks? Man, you must be f***ing kidding me. What's your name? Whole 
time you're trying to call me saying this is HR, what's your name? Because when I, 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 I I'm Darius. I'm Darius. Out of human resources. I told you that when I first called you. Well, Darius. And, well, well, Darius. Well, Darius. When I do come into work, you the fuck I want to see. Let me ask you this, Vaughn. Do you know Leslie? Leslie, I know that better not even say my name. Do, but so you do know Leslie? Yes, I know Leslie. She works there with me. So you trying to tell me that Leslie said this too? Uh, do you want to know what Leslie said? Yes, I would like to know what Leslie said. So when I cuss her out, I get it right. Okay, Leslie told me to tell you that this is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show, and you just got pranked by your coworker Leslie <laughs> and Andre. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> <laughs> Leslie Dude, and Andre uh, got me to prank phone call you, man. <laughs> Dude, I was so, man, I was pissed. <laughs> yeah, your uncle is right, bro. Somebody is gonna whoop your ass. Man, I bet it, I bet it's this year. Alright, Vaughn. Tell me this, man. What is the baddest and I mean the baddest radio show in the land? The Steve Harvey Morning Show. Somebody is definitely gonna whoop your <laughs> There it is. I, I, maybe I'm the only one, that, you know, done done with butt man and done. Maybe I'm the only one. You understand? I mean, I've seen it done in movies and stuff like that. Man, <laughs> Carla, you work, you work, you used to work with your hood. Y'all ain't never been in the copy room and laid across that copy machine. Y'all ain't never laid across that copy machine and hit that button. <laughs> Carla, answer him. <laughs> Why are you quiet? Why is you quiet? Why is your eyes going left to right? You, you trying I to think about I, it. I did meet him in New Orleans. I worked. Ooh, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> this is nothing you have to think about. No, we no. ain't do that. No, no. Okay, okay. Get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Redondo Beach Performing Arts Center, L.A. The nephew coming to town. That's right, Sunday night. Nephew, Tommy, and friends. Got a few tickets left. Nephew, Tommy, and friends. Redondo Beach. Beach, baby. I'm coming like a beast. You ain't seen me and I ain't seen you in a minute. Come watch your boy work. Straight out of council. What? What? Right. What? 100% council free. <laughs> All right, nephew. Thank you. Coming up next, the strawberry letter. The subject is put up or shut up because you messed up. We'll get into that right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Drunk dialing dilemma. That's right. Whoa. Drunk dialing dilemma. Whoa. But right now, the mm. nephew is here with the prank phone call for today. What you got, Neff? Bad bugs. Woo. <laughs> Bad bugs. Makes you itch. Mm. <laughs> Say it again. Some of y'all still got them. Some of y'all still got them. Bad it, bugs. Now. Running cat. Hello? Hello, I'm trying to speak to Shanice. Uh, she's not here right now. I'm going to take a message. Uh, you, do you know when she's coming back? Nah, is this a business call or something? Nah, nah, this personal. I need to talk to her immediately. Nah, you need to talk to me. This, this a man. This, uh, who is this? This is, this is Brandon. Who, who, who are you? I'm Ernest, man. But uh, how do you know Shanice? I, I got a bit of a situation here, man. Uh, and it, it's basically a financial situation that I'm owed some money from her. So I kind of need to talk to her about, about getting this money. It's totally disrupted my whole apartment, and I need to actually see about talking to her about getting this whole problem taken care of. What, what's the what's the situation? I mean, I, I'm basically, right now, I'm $2,500 in the rears due to, due to Shanice. And, I, I, you know, I, I need to see if she's going to be able to pay me for this situation or what, you know? Do my girl owe you money? She, she owes me $2,500. $2,500 for what? I don't even know who you are, first of all, so... What's up with the twenty five hundred dollars? Uh, man, first of all, my name is Brandon. Okay, okay. and I've been I, I know I've been knowing Shanice probably for the last three or four months now. Okay, so the, here you you want to know it all in a nutshell is it's like this: Shanice been coming through. Okay, for the last three or four months, been coming over here to my spot, to my apartment, hanging out. I'm just now finding out within the last two weeks um, is I had to get rid of my couch. I had to get rid of my mattresses because your mattress because it's bed your mattress. Wait a minute, dude. Wait a minute. So you trying to tell me she was in your bed? Yeah, she been in my bed, dude. She been in your bed. Are you crazy? Hey man, come hey, on man. now, dude. Listen, you know, you know hey, dude, the problem is not right where she's twenty five hundred dollars. Problem is, you talking twenty five hundred dollars? You talking about my girl was in your bed? 
Now, we're not even going to get into that. You understand what I'm saying? But that $2,500, you can forget about it. No, 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 no. First Hold up. First of all, you no. calling here. You calling here. You calling here. And here is dude answer the phone and you still got the to ask for her and then go tell me about some $2,500 about some mattress? Dude, I'm out. My, my mattresses, man, are a thousand bucks. It's full of bed bugs. I had to throw that away. Man, I'm not worried about no damn mattress, dude. You talking about my girl. We've been together for four years. I'm about to pop the question on her and you want to sit there talking about she's been hanging with you or kicking with you for the last four months. It's about to be over in a minute. Dude, That's if you want to marry Shanice, cool. I don't care nothing about nah, that. Nah, hey, don't even worry about that now. But you over my phone talking about some damn mattress, man. That's, that's a problem, dude. I ain't worried about no damn mattress. I'm worried about it. I ain't problem, got no dude. mattress you right now. my house? You call it mine? Tell me that I do not <laughs> have a mattress right now, nor do I have a couch. Do you understand the problem that brings to me? I don't care nothing about, about your mattress or couch, dude. I don't care nothing about that. Your name, you said your name, Brandon? I'm Brandon, yes. Yeah, Brandon, okay. Don't worry about it, Brandon, because you're going to find me real soon. Don't let me find you before you find me, though. You understand what I'm saying, don't you? Dude, dude, dude. No, because you, you can add them bed bugs and that mattress or whatever. Answer these for all I care. But what I'm saying is, you talk about some bed bugs, ain't no bed bugs over here. Okay, so, so where's she getting the bed bugs from? She done brought them over here to my place. I don't care nothing about it. She ain't bring nothing over there, first of all. But I ain't, that ain't even a problem right now. Dude, you, Shani, you, you, you call me been over here, man. I ain't had nobody else over here. Right, don't worry about who you had over there, but you don't go call here talking about no money. You ain't getting nothing from here. Okay, first of all, dude, check this out. I don't have a problem with you, okay? Me and you, cool. No, me we and you got cool. a problem. We already got a problem. You calling me talking about you been sleeping with my brother. Hey, dog, dog, I'm going to say it again. Me and you cool, dog. We dude, cool. We not cool. We not cool. First dog, of all, dog, I'm going to find out who you are. I'm going to handle Sinise myself. I'm going to handle you later. What you, what, you, what you talking about? You you going to handle me. I'm going to handle you later. You want a mattress, right? Hey, hey, dude. dude you want a mattress, go right? Go ahead and marry Shanice. I, I ain't got nothing to do with that. My don't problem worry about is that. getting my money back, man, for the for the property of mine that she has ruined, man. I, don't worry about that. I'm going to get you a mattress. Don't worry about that. It's going to be a casket wrapped around that no. Hey, hey, dude, dude, why are you sitting here creating the drama with me when me, me and you, we ain't even the problem? The problem is Shanice. The problem is you picked up your phone and you called here. That's the problem. Okay. Now you got two so You ain't got no couch. You ain't got no mattress. Now you got a dude after you. You understand what I'm saying? You know what? I, I see I can't talk to you. When do Shanice get home, man? Don't worry about when Shanice get home. Okay. What you need to worry about is when I find you. Okay, so so when, when, I, when you going to have my money then when you find me? Because I need my money. Yeah, I'm going to have your money. I'm going to have your mattress, too. Please understand. You're going to be resting real well. Okay, okay. So so let me ask you this here, man. Shanice bring bed bugs over to my house. Leave them all in my mattress. Leave them all on my couch where I got to throw my stuff away. Where I'm wrong at, man? Where I'm wrong? I'm going to ask you straight up. Did you know she had a man? Say what? Did you know she had a man? But I, I mean, kind of, kind of, sort of, but not really, though. I ain't no kind of, sort of, man. Either you know she got a man or she don't got a man. You knew she had a man, right? And you still went and did it, right? Hey, dog, I ain't got nothing to do with y'all, man. I, I'm, I'm dealing with these bed bugs. You understand what I'm saying? Dude, do you understand you messing up a, a four-year relationship? You know how much time I put in with this woman? Four hey, years. Hey. Four years, we about, to get, we about to get married. And you calling here with this When are y'all supposed to get married? Don't worry about when we supposed to get married, man. You messed that all up. What I'm trying to explain to you is, dude, you calling here on some bed bug which I know she ain't got nothing to do with, but the fact that you told me that she was over your house, in your bed, that's over. It's over now. You understand what I'm saying? Now, when she get home, I'm going to deal with that. You understand what I'm saying? That's going to get dealt with. I'm walking up out of here. But when I leave here, please believe my next stop is to come find your ass. First of all, how did you get the number to this apartment? That's what I want to know. Hey, dude, she gave me both numbers, the cell phone number and the house number. It told me, you know, if it's an emergency, call the house. Okay, and this is an emergency? Yeah, this is an emergency. I well, got bad well, bugs, well, man. Well, well, learn, learn another emergency number. Learn 911, because when I come knocking on your door, Either you come out or you handle it, or you better call the cops. You understand what I'm trying to tell you? <sighs> hey, man, do you think Tommy will pay for the bed bugs? Who is Tommy? I'm just saying, do you think Tommy will pay for the bed bugs? Man, who the f is Tommy? Tommy, dog. Nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Ernest, you just got pranked by your girl, Shanice. <laughs> man. Y'all, y'all. You all right, man? Woo! Boy, hey, well, it was over. It was over. You understand what I'm telling you? It was over. <laughs> 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 what y'all think?
There it is. Yeah. Huh? Makes me it there it is. How I do. How I do. How I do. <laughs> You're the king. What do you, what do you want? You're the king That's of That's all I want. I just want but you know what? I need people I need y'all to tell people I'm the king. The show has three kings. Kings of comedy, king of prank, and king of rap. Right here. I mean, <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> Three, three, we, we three kings. <laughs> king of comedy, king of pranks, king of <laughs> and the rap, latest baby. edition is the king of rap. <laughs> no, not king Kang. That's different. Kang. Oh, Kang. okay. So you you are established. Yeah, he's fire. Okay. Now, how many albums you got? Whoa, you want to go with that? None. <laughs> No! Picky, picky, picky. <laughs> All right, check it out. The nephew is coming to town. I will be there May 2nd through the 4th, Virginia Beach Comedy Club. So loud. The nephew is coming to town. I think yeah, yeah. Uh, this might be a good, good time for you to come open. Really. <laughs> this, this, this good. I, I just sold everything. You ain't got to do nothing. I don't work in rooms that small. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Pop. Yeah, did he pip pop ting me? Yeah, he oh, did. Yeah. He, did. Yeah, he, he did. said his studio did. audience that is was big. That painful. Yeah. Well, yeah. It, no, it ain't painful to okay, me. Can I, can I, I will be in Virginia Beach. Can I bust a rap? Mass yeah. race. No. He didn't say it loud. He didn't even sing. But sound like to me, that was a pop ting. Uh, <laughs> uh, the king of rap right there, baby. King of rap. All right. Thank you, nephew. Up next, Strawberry Letter. Subject, Drunk Dialing uh, Dilemma. <laughs> we'll get into it right after this. <laughs> Coming up at the top of the hour, right about four minutes after today's strawberry letter, uh, the subject, my past fling is her new thing. But right now, the nephew is in the building with today's prank phone call. What you got, Nev? Upright trash cans. Ooh, that sounds serious. When you come by my house uh-huh. and you get my trash, yeah, I don't need my cans laying down on the side. I need them upright when you get through with them. <laughs> this boy genius, I tell y'all. <laughs> really? You got some genius out of that? What? <laughs> Pick your own Upright trash, trash cans. Right, <laughs> cat. Hello. Hello, I'm trying to reach a Kendrick. This Kendrick was good. Hi, this is Wade. Wade. I wanted to try and speak with you if I could. You, you're you actually um, one of the guys that work on the the garbage truck that comes to the neighborhood. Am I right? What route you, I, what route you on? What route you on? I, I, uh, sir, I'm not sure about what route I'm on. I'm in Mission Forest Subdivision, and um, listen, I'm, I got a bit of a problem. Uh, it, it seems that you got, you got a problem. On you need to call. First of all, how you get my number? Uh, sir, I, I, I've done the research on getting your number. I found out who's actually driving the truck, as well as the people that are on the back of the truck, and. Um, Want to get some things clarified here? I'm noticing that when you guys come by my home, who, you know you, who you gave got... you who? Hold, hold on, sir. I'm not. I'm not. Hold on, let me get up. I was, I was resting a little bit. Um, who gave you my number? Because you said you had a problem. I'm not the person who you talked to about problems. I understand that, sir. But what has been narrowed down is it's been given to me that you're actually the person that is the problem and and i wanted to give you a call personally and try and see if i can get that rectified now you're you're the one that's on the back of the truck and you you pick up the trash can thingies or whatnot and throw the garbage uh-huh. in so the problem i'm having is that when i come home in the evenings my trash cans are in a disarray you know and what i want to do is call you and tell you i want you to start bringing them to the back by the fence and sitting them up right and put the lids back on them and put in uh-huh. You, you say, hold on, hold on, sir. I, how you know I'm the person that even do your house? How you know I'm even? Because I know sir, you can't. I, hold on, sir. I'm, I'm, at, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying to be rude, but I'm asking the question. I know you can't be calling me on Saturday talking about your trash can, and this is my first Saturday off. I'm not, I want I, I, I want to get the problem rectified, and you're the problem, sir. You don't even sir. know if I'm the one who do your house. You don't you're, even know what route you on. I, route you're Kendrick. On. You're, you're Kendrick, and they've told me that you're the person on the back of the truck that comes through Mission Forest who on told, my street. Who told you that? 
I I I have ways of finding out, sir, who's doing what. Okay. What, what, so what, what, what I you need to find, what, no, listen to what I'm saying. So what you need to find out is the proper person to talk to about your particular. I don't know what route you. I don't know you. I don't know if I even do. Look, man, I'm not the person that you're supposed to call. I'm. Man, it's Saturday. First sir, of all, that's, sir, that's listen, first. listen. I don't want to take this to another level, but what I do want is my well, trash you, you put by the back fence. When you, call, when you call my cellular phone, talking about your, your trash on Saturday, and I ain't been off in no Saturday in a long time. Um, sir, I'm not trying to be rude, but you may need to re research your research and 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 talk to them because I don't even know if I do your route, sir. You and, are the and, person on my route, Mister. Don't tell me I'm the person on your route if you ain't. Man, listen to me. Listen Look, to no, me. You're, what you're going to do is put my trash cans where I want them and when I want them there and the lid's on top of them and quit throwing them across the yard as if you don't care. And I mean that. Man, who the f*** is you talking to about some trash cans on a Saturday and I ain't never been off on a Saturday before ever and you're going to call my sailor phone talking about your trash cans? That's right, because I, need to talk to, man. I want my trash cans put where they need to be in a post. I have to get out of my car, move the trash cans, take them over to the fence, put the lids on them, and I don't want to have to continue to do it. So I've done the research, and I found out, Mr. that you're the one. Man, I don't give a damn. Okay, okay, tell me how you want your trash can. I'm going to put them just like, tell me how you want your trash can. I want them put in a upright position by the back fence near the gate with the lids on the top of them, please. How about putting them right up your How about that? Because guess what? I, I know how I do your trash can from this on. If, if I see your now, you hear me? What, what your eyes look like so I can throw your trash No, matter of fact, matter of fact, let me tell you something. Matter of fact, mister, what's your name again? What's your name? Wade. I'm going to do my research. I'm going to make sure that I put your trash just like you like it all over your yard. You hear me? Excuse me? On a Saturday talking about up oh, my trash can and you lost your mind. I have not lost my... I want my I want my trash cans in an upright position. Me don't call my cellular phone with this nonsense. I got one more thing that I need to say to man, you. Are you, you listening? Me, man, nah, I'm not listening to you got to say. I know one thing. You don't make me tear this whole street up that you live. What street you live on again, sir? Because you don't call my cellular phone talking to me on no Saturday, man. You know I ain't on no Saturday. I got one more thing I want to say to you. Are you listening, Mr. Kendrick? Can I tell you that? Yes, tell me. This is Nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just Ow. got pranked by your boy at the job. <laughs> man, Tommy. Boy, Tommy. No, man, you. Well, you gonna get your all the time. You and gonna get your I ain't gonna get this time, Y'all funny. Y'all real funny. Boy, y'all about to make me blood gas, you boy. My sugar and my blood didn't went up. Oh, and I that, ain't been off on a Saturday ever. Call uh, me on, ooh, on my cell phone. Woo, man. Hey, man, I gotta ask you, man. What is the baddest radio show in the land? Oh, man, the Steve Harvey Morning Show, man. Y'all, y'all, I don't care who your uncle is, Tom. You call me on my cellular phone ever again. Whatever your name was. Man, you, you funny, boy. Uh, nephew Tommy. <laughs> I'm my cell phone. <laughs> now, am I the only one that wants his trash cans upright when they finish? Now, come on now. Well, no, you're not. People, of uh, course, you know, don't want their trash cans down. Okay, but. Then. Don't nobody so what, have time what, what, for that as a sanitation worker. Yeah. To place your trash can. When you, you get want. through dumping it, put them up right. To do a whole prank about it? I don't know. <laughs> play too much. Yeah. All right, let me drop these dates because I got a new date to drop on you guys. Okay. Here we go. Uh, it's almost sold out. Keswick Theater. Glenside, Pennsylvania, Saturday, April the 13th. That's me and the beautiful Samoa. Two shows, 7 and 10 o'clock. They got about, uh, uh, about 10 tickets left. That's about what they got, 10 tickets. And then you got me and the one and only Bruce Bruce the following weekend, Friday, April 19th, Knoxville, Tennessee, at the Civic Auditorium. Tickets are on sale right now. Uh, Virginia Beach. 
Virginia Beach Comedy Club, May 2nd through May 4th. Tickets on sale right now. And then the one I have never been to. This is brand new. Mother's Day weekend, Saturday, May the 11th. The nephew was going down the street from my hometown. Texarkana. Texarkana. Texarkana Convention Center, May 11th, Mother's Day weekend. Tickets are on sale right now. Texarkana, the nephew, is coming to town. All what right, y'all now. think? What you think, Uncle? You've been through Texarkana, a little bit of Texas, a little bit of Arkansas. Yeah, yeah. right yeah. up in there. What you, what you need? I need an opener, man. That's what I really need. <laughs> That's what I really come need. On, I need come a whole on. Yes. Yes. Oh, wow. Yes. You know what? You know what, Tony? You know what, Uncle? If you go out there and do 30, don't do 30. <laughs> boy, then, then what you going to do? Because, <laughs> boy, <laughs> let me tell you something, Tommy. I don't care how long I've been off. You a young warrior. I'm a beast out there, man. Thank you, guys. Okay. Uh, you going to mess around. The king cometh. <laughs> we well, got to go. On, king. Hell yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Strawberry Letters coming up next. My past fling is her new thing. That is the subject. We'll get into it right after this. Coming up at the top of the hour, right about four minutes after, it's my Strawberry Letter for today. Subject, my son caught me cheating. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, this one. Ooh. But right Damn, now. Mama. <laughs> exactly. Damn, mama. Right, Steve. <laughs> I'm a tell yeah. daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Right now, uh, it is the nephew on tap here for today's prank phone call. What you got for us now? My auntie's bike. Dang, you're so aggressive. My auntie bike. That don't sound good. I have to yell every prank. Oh, to, listen to it. My auntie yeah. bike. That don't sound the same. Uh-huh. That don't sound uh-huh. No, that don't sound right. My uh-huh. aunt is bike. <laughs> there you go. There you go. All right, let's rock. Hello? Hello, I'm trying to reach Vaughn. Yes, Vaughn. Hey, man, this, this, this K-Dub, man. Listen, do 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 you know somebody that live on? Yeah, my mama, my mama stay on. Hey, who is this? Hey, this this K Dub man, my auntie Miss Tinsley, she live on. Now my auntie say you uh came over here and stole a bicycle and some other stuff out of her garage. Okay, hold up. Oh, well, first of all, who is you, man? I, I stole a bike out somebody's garage. Who is this? Who is K? I don't know no K Dub. This is K-Dub, man. My, my auntie, uh, Miss Tinsley, live down the street from your mama. And my auntie just got you telling me you the one came over here and took a bike and, and a toolbox or something out of that garage. Man, first of all, I don't even know no damn Miss Tinsley. And second of all, I don't steal. Your, your auntie, Miss Tinsley, say I stole something out of her garage. Oh, hey, put, put her on the phone, man. Put your auntie on the phone. I ain't stole nothing from nowhere. I ain't got to she steal. Can't, she can't talk. My auntie can't talk to you. Why she can't talk? She say I stole something. No, my aunt, my auntie Deaf. She sign language me and told me that you the one stole stole the bike. Yo, auntie Deaf, and she told you she sign language you and said I stole the bike. Hold on, wait just a minute. Well, how you get my number? Hold on, wait how a minute, man. She sign right? language with me now. Hold on. What the okay, she say quit all that damn lying. You know damn well you the one that stole the bike. Hey, hey man, hold up. So your auntie. It's cussing me out through you in sign language. That's the you telling me that I done stole a damn bike. Say, man, for, for, hey, first of all, how the hell you even get my number, man? I got your, I got I your number from some people that live down the street that say that I asked them for Miss, uh, ain't your mama Miss? Yeah, Miss, my mama. Okay, okay, well, look, man, the people down the street evidently knew your number. I told them I needed to talk to you as soon as my auntie told me that, that you was the one that stole the bike out the garage. Now, look. I ain't trying to have no problem. I just hey, need hey, you to bring hey, the fight Can you, back. can, 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 hey, man, all that. Can you sign language back to your auntie? Yeah, I can sign language back to her. Man, can, tell her that I said that I ain't stole no bike. How about that? Tell your auntie I ain't stole no I'm damn bike. Right what now, man, hold on. I'm a grown man. I'm trying to tell her right now. Wait a minute. Okay, hold on. She's saying something. She said your black <laughs> is lying. And you know damn well you got that bike. Man, look here, man. You, your damn ain't it that street with nobody on this street except for my mama i'm a grown man what the i gotta steal a bike for no deaf see she must be dumb too she deaf and dumb she think i stole something y'all don't, I, mean, I don't even know y'all who the are you my auntie ain't deaf and dumb dude okay my, my auntie don't never lie and if miss tinsley say that 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 somebody took something that dog she telling the truth my auntie don't be lying, and just to be lying, why she just gonna lie on you? Why she gonna pick you out? Man, you know what? I, I don't know what the f- going on, but I ain't got no reason to steal no bike. Now I'm a, I got a car that ain't paid for. 
I got, I'm a grown man. I'm trying to get custody of my son. So I'm going to come in somebody's garage and steal a bike. Is you crazy? You crazy as she is, man. Get out of my line with that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. My ain't talk. I'm going to what she's saying. Wait a minute, man. I'm trying to see what she's saying. Oh. She said that black know damn well he took that bike. And he better bring that damn bike oh, back. Okay. That's that oh. Look at man. I don't know why the you still on my line, man. I ain't took no bike. The dumb ain't his line. Do he, do he, is he even sign hey, man, with that right? Hey, dog. Let me tell you something. You're going to respect my ain't You hear me? Hey, man. You're going to respect me. You call my phone with that I'm here trying to get my together. You call me some Hey, who are you? Who the are you? I don't know who this is. I don't know no I'm no K-Dub, the- man. I'm K-Dub. Everybody know K-Dub. I ain't never heard of no K-Dub on in my life. My mama been staying on for 15 years. I ain't never heard no K-Dub. I ain't heard no Miss Tinsley. I ain't heard about no deaf lady. I ain't seen no bike. Get the off my line, man. Hey, man, CC, you gonna make me go down and steal something out of Miss house if you don't bring that damn bike back. Oh, you got me Bring somebody to my mama's house if you want to. I'm on my way over there. Bring somebody to my mama's house. My family is going to be over for you. The deaf dumb ain't you got. Whoever the down there gave you my number. Everybody, you got me up. We'll blow this up. I'll that street up. You go by my mama's house. You better not step in my mama grass. You come by my mama plant. I'm going to you up. You got me up. You going to turn me to the dark side, I'm on my way right now. I don't know why we still on the phone. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What you say? I ain't... My ain't say ain't nobody scared of your... Ow. That's crazy. Say, tell your deaf ain't he to bring her outside. And I'll bet you she hear them licks I'm going to be putting on your... Yo, know, I'll beat your... She going to be undeaf today. I bet she get cured when she see me whooping your... Hey, man. Hey, hey look. I ain't coming by myself, homie. Tommy going to be there with me. Tommy going to help me whoop your... Who the is Tommy? Tommy Tell me who... Tommy, man, nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. <laughs> you just got pranked by your mama, Miss Vera. Ah, that's that <laughs> right there, man. Ah, <laughs> my, uh, my mama, no, I don't like nobody <laughs> with him, man. God. Uh, your mama you say, your mama say, my son love me to death. He don't let nothing, he take care of me. He don't let nothing go wrong with me. Already. He don't let nobody mess with me. He said, all you got to do is act like you're going to do something to his mama. Oh, man. Well, I hope she heard that. I hope she hear me cousin like I did, man. God, dog. I'm in the mirror sweat. I'm mad for real. <laughs> Y'all did this one, man. I swear to God, I wasn't myself. On judgment, man. Tell my mama she wrong for that, too, dude. <laughs> What up, nephew? What up, baby? You 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 off the chain, boy. You off the chain. You just like me, boy. You love your mama. I ain't mad at you. (laughs) Hey, I got to ask you, man, one more thing. What is the baddest, and I mean the baddest, radio show in the land? Man, without a doubt, man. It's the Steve Harvey (laughs) Morning Show, man. We'll be for you, Tommy, man. Without a doubt. Hey, man, tell Miss Vera I said, hey, all right? I, I go, I go, we're going to go drop off that little $200. But she want to she wanna play games, though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Don't bite me on her now, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that is. Straight Woo! stupid for you. Just yeah. stupid. That's all. I'm just trying yeah. to be a little stupid this morning. Play That's all. too uh-huh. much. You know, a couple drops of stupid in here. Uh-huh. That's all. Boy. Thank you. Tell him yeah. what. Team Tommy. Boy. Huh? <laughs> Boy. Why I can't be a team? This boy's stupid. <laughs> Most damn near all the time. <laughs> <laughs> on and off, Steve. He just up. plays stupid on the radio. He's he playing too damn good to be stupid. playing. <laughs> Let me say this. Uh, first of all, thank you to Knoxville, Tennessee. Came out and St- Uncle Steve, he, he wanted me to make sure. I t- man, tell Steve Bruce Bruce said hello, man. Uh, <laughs> that's my dude right there, man. Tell Big Steve. Uh, just I like Bruce, Bruce my dude. Man. <laughs> Bruce. Just like him. Bruce Bruce. <laughs> I love me some Bruce Bruce. He want me to tell everybody hello. Steve Harvey Bruce, Morning Bruce. Show. Thanks to Knoxville, Tennessee, laying in the cut. I got, uh, what I got? I got Virginia. Virginia Beach Comedy Club uh, starts on Thursday. That is May 2nd all the way to May 4th. And uh, that's Thursday, Friday, Saturday. You got a lot of stuff And them tickets on. by gone. They by gone. Yeah. You know, who headlining that show? Me, boy. <laughs> You're not going to do it. Steve Harvey. You're not going to do it. Me, and if you show up, me. <laughs> Oh. Oh. No, we're oh, team. I ain't gonna keep taking oh, these pimp pop team. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> they ain't gonna keep taking them. You gonna stand up for yourself, nephew? Oh, mine. You get mine, right on that table mine, and stand mine up. Mine is not a zip pop team. <laughs> sure, <Cheryl> Larry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen, we got to get out of here. Thank you, nephew. Up next, Strawberry Letter. Subject, my son caught me cheating. We'll get into it right after this. Coming up at the top of the hour, right about four minutes after, it's my Strawberry Letter for today. Subject, that's not what Steve Harvey wrote in that book. What? You heard uh-huh, that's the subject. Oh. That's, the subject oh. is, that's not what Steve Harvey wrote in that book is the subject. But right here, right now, Nephew Tommy is here with uh, today's prank phone call. What do you have for us, Neff? What you got? Well, you know, before I bring this prank up, you know, I want to go around the room. We're going to order a pizza this morning. How do you like your pizza? We're going to start with the beautiful Carla. How you how you like your pizza? Uh, Pepperoni, uh, some vegetables, mushroom. Uh, let's see. I just love mm. pizza. I don't care. Okay. Surely. Yeah. I like pizza with my pizza. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. I ain't mad at no pizza. Extra ain't cheese. Lying. Yeah. Thin, thick crust, uh-huh. whatever. Junior boy. Meat lovers. <laughs> there you go. There we go. Meat lovers. The, the big dog. Lou Malnati's classic sausage pizza pie. Ooh. <laughs> That just sounds. <laughs> I just love just pizza. Sounds. I mean, yeah. you right. can't go wrong with pizza. Can I tell you something? It's uh, my favorite food. Wow, you you I just can't it. go wrong with it. Mm-hmm. Oh, you can go wrong with it now. No you can go pizza. wrong Uh-oh. if you put them anchovies on there. Oh, yeah. Today's <laughs> title is no anchovies. That's what this is. No anchovies. <laughs> Run it. Hello. Hey man, who 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 is the person I need to talk to about? The, um, I got a pizza that's been messed up. Who do I need to talk to? Well, you can talk to me, sir. Well, what's going on? What happened to your pizza? Somebody put some f-ing anchovies on my pizza. Black people, uh, black people don't eat no f-ing anchovies, man. So, uh, so who, uh, who, 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 the f- would, who would do that? Who would put anchovies I, I, on my damn pizza? I, I, I don't want no settle, down, settle down with the language there, pal. All right? You know, if you got anchovies on your pizza, you just must have gotten mixed up with another order. I'll send you another f-ing pizza. It ain't a big deal. But I ain't asking no anchovies, man. What, what, matter of fact, let me ask you something. What the f- is an anchovy any damn way? It's uh, like a f- sardine. That's what a f- anchovy is, okay, pal? It's like a f- sardine. Hey, 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 let me tell you something, man. First of all, what's your name? What is your name? I'm Gino. I'm Gino. So you're the owner of the damn pizza place. Yeah, I own the damn pizza place. I don't need people calling me and cursing at me because it was a mistake. You know, mistakes happen, pal. Worse things go on in this life than, than you're getting some anchovies on your pizza. Hey, man. Hey, okay. So here's the deal. I done had a bunch of guests come to my house or order pizza, and every last one of them got anchovies on them. You know what I'm saying? So I got an issue with it. I done spent over $50 with you with these pizzas, and the, and the shit made wrong. Nobody likes anchovies. No, I told you something. Folks, black people don't eat no anchovies, man. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. I, 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 I'm almost certain I've served anchovy pizza to black people before. Okay. The black people that I know don't eat anchovies. Okay. okay well, then we'll send you some pizzas without any anchovies on them. Hey, you know I what? I don't, like your, I don't like your attitude. You know what, man? You were well, maybe if you didn't come at me with so much f-ing attitude to start with, you wouldn't get no attitude. Okay, okay, look at it. Don't get your ass whooped, okay? Don't get your ass whooped. What did you just... What, excuse said, me, don't... what did you just... Did you just threaten me? I said don't get your Who f- do you no think you're talk. talking... Who the f- do you think you're talking to, f- face? I, I, I'm talking to Gino, the owner That's of right. f- Pizzeria. You. That's Right. That's right. You don't tell me you're going to kick my ass, okay, pal? You know where the pizzeria is. You know, okay, so, you just so, calm so, the so, down. Do, do you, do you, want, okay, that's it. I'll tell you what, man. In the next three to five minutes, I'm going to walk down there and kick your little ass behind putting these anchovies on here and having a little pompous attitude like you think you can't get your ass whooped. You come on down here, okay? And we'll see. Do me a favor. Go f- yourself and the f- Unless she wrote in on, okay? And bring it on down here. All right, we'll take care of it there. Uh, Stop some anchovies up your ass, all right, pal? Okay, 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 cool. All right, cool. Okay, okay, okay. You like to say okay a lot, do you? Is that one of your favorite words, okay? You need to have somebody there with you when I get there, because I promise you, Gino finna get his ass whooped. 
Yeah, Gino's shaking in his f-ing boots, pal. Me and my anchovies, we're sitting here scared out of our minds right now. Okay, if okay, let me, me tell you. I've dealt with clowns like you my whole f-ing life. Please. Okay, let, let, let me tell you this here. Do you, do, do you know who you're talking to? I'm talking to some f-ing idiot who don't know how to talk. That's what I'm talking to. No, you're talking to Nephew Tom from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Mr. Gino, you just got pranked. <laughs> you telling me I'm throwing F bombs all over the radio? <laughs> <laughs> you dropping F bombs all over the radio, who, who, baby. Who, who I wanna know who did this to me because they're getting some F bombs. Who got, did this to me? Have, do you have a guy that works for you? Uh he says he works uh five to close. Andre. You got a Andre you got a Dre that works for you? Yeah, I got a Dre that works for me, and Dre's gonna be spending some time in a walk in freezer. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this is Black people again. don't need anchovies, huh? <laughs> Black people don't need anchovies, baby. Hey, I got to ask you this, Mr. Gino. What is the baddest, and I mean the baddest, radio show in the land? Your show. <laughs> the baddest radio show in the land is the Steve Harvey show. <laughs> With no Steve anchovies, morning. No anchovies. Steve Harvey morning, Joe. <laughs> I mean, I'll be saying I'm going to send you some pizzas. I'm sending that station dozens of pizzas with anchov- double anchovies on every one of them. <laughs> <laughs> no anchovies, baby. Oh man, <laughs> you be tripping. <laughs> no Thank anchovies. What do we say about anchovies off the air? Do black people eat anchovies? No. Yeah. Uh, no. They- no. Yes, they do. They do now. Terry Kennedy, who runs my. Uh, Production company East 112 mm-hmm. loves anchovies, and so does Reginald Hutland. I was oh, sitting with two black people uh-huh. having lunch, <laughs> and both of them ordered anchovies. She ordered a dish of them. Ooh, just wow. a little salty fish just in the little bowl, huh? I don't know what your <laughs> breath <laughs> smells like after you lay a anchovy in it. Well, I know what they smell like when they up round my mouth. Uh-huh. I put an anchovy in my mouth, man. I spit so far. I spit it on you. <laughs> the whole thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Everybody going to get some of this damn anchovy because I'm not finna for to suffer by myself. But I do like the I've Caesar never had dressing. It. Yeah. I ain't You've never had no anchovy. I, I don't think oh, I've ever anchovy had anchovy it. dressing. Uh-huh. Oh, it's delicious. Yeah, it's very good. Yeah. You've never had an anchovy, Tommy? No. I don't think so. How? I don't. Mr. Caviar? Wait a minute. Is this you know Mr. What? Caviar talking? Do they have a... Wait, whoa, whoa. Do they have a caviar pizza? Dude, of course. I'm sure you can. Yeah. Oh, boy, sure don't, 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 boy, don't tell me this. Of course. Don't, don't you, you tell me caviar. this, boy. Yeah. Of course. Uh, um, you, had, you had caviar on your pizza before? Uh-uh. <laughs> well, if they got an anchovy, it can't be far behind. <laughs> don't nobody do that. Man, that's what I'm <laughs> you don't eat caviar on no damn pizza, but they got it. <laughs> okay. Tom, you can All right, let it. me put it out there. Uh, Glenside, Pennsylvania. If y'all got anchovy, uh, not anchovy, if you got... Caviar on your pizza. Bring your boy one. I will be there Saturday, April 13th, along with the beautiful Samoa at the Keswick Theater. Come round back. No <laughs> Black people ask. Your concert finna be stinking so bad. I got them, Tommy. <laughs> got your anchovies. <laughs> <laughs> we got two shows, one at 7 and one at 10 at the Keswick Theater. You don't want to miss it. Tickets are on sale right now. That's Glenside, Pennsylvania. And then April 19th, a Friday night, Knoxville, Tennessee, me and Bruce Bruce. Now, me and Bruce Bruce will eat just straight meat lovers. Knoxville, Tennessee at the Knoxville Civic Auditorium. Tickets are on sale right now. Come get your laugh on. We're putting them out there. All right. Thank you, nephew. With, without anchovies. But I accept all caviar on my pizza. You can't make no damn caviar pizza at your house. <laughs> <laughs> you picky, you know. You picky with your rich, dog. You really are. Hey, dog, All right, we gotta go. I guys. Hate to tell you what they eat now. Don't tell me this, man. Don't we gotta go. Tell- He'll tell you off the air. Thank you, Nev. <laughs> Up next, strawberry letter subject. That's not what Steve Harvey wrote in that book. We'll get into it right after this. Coming up at the top of the hour, right about four minutes after, it's today's strawberry letter. The subject: the cookie drove my best friend crazy. Hell yeah. Me too. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. But right now, the nephew is here with today's prank phone call. What you got, Neff? That ain't my brother, baby. Huh? That ain't my okay. brother, baby. <laughs> you sound drunk. I mean that. <laughs> what? Oh, 
Okay, that's it, huh? That's self-explanatory, pretty much. That's, that pretty much speaks for itself. Yeah, it that does. ain't my brother's bank. It does. Mm-hmm. Okay? Right. So we're going to run it. Here it is. Right. Don't worry about it. It's something I need to take care of. I talk to... Hello. May I speak to Terry? This is she. My name is Daryl. Damon is my brother. I don't live in Dallas where y'all live at. I'm uh, the one that live out of town. But we didn't have a family meeting and talked about it. And uh, I know Travis is your son. He's eight years old. But the problem is, the reason why I'm calling you... Uh, Terry is cause we didn't found out that Travis ain't none of Damon's child. Excuse me. Travis ain't none of Damon's child. We, you, we, he been paying you child support here for the last. Wait, eight. hold on. And you said your name was who? I'm Daryl. I'm Damon's brother. And who gave you this information? We we all done found the information out. We actually gonna go down there to the courthouse and get all this stuff rectified. But we didn't found out that, that Travis ain't none of uh ain't none of Damon's child. And he's been sitting up here sending you money, seven, eight hundred dollars a month, and this child ain't even here. Now I hate for Travis to find this out, and he gonna have to find it out. But, wait, 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 wait. He ain't finna find that. Why are you calling me? Look, the family didn't had a meeting, and I'm the one that they decided to make the phone call and tell you what's going on. Now no, I don't. But you, 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 you don't have a damn thing to do with this. You, you ain't nobody, daddy, over here. So I'm not sure what you're calling for, or who died made you king, or wanted you to be head in charge to call, but that is not going to work out. But let me, why why are you doing this to my brother? That's what I'm saying. For eight years, the man been sending you 700 something dollars a month, and, and, and this ain't even his child. Well, you know, I, I, why, am, why am I even talking to you? I'm not really sure. Uh, your brother need to call me if he has any problems or questions. You have a good day. Day, day. Hello. You don't hang no damn phone up on me. Damon told me your little ass was hard-headed anyway. Now, look. Wait I'm, a minute. You know what? You you got the wrong one, baby. Like, I'm trying to not lose all my religion today, but you about to make me lose it on your about to make you me lose. Who, what? You don't know who you with over here. So, like I said before, uh, my son, your uh, nephew that you trying not to claim over there, I don't know why you came from wherever there. You said you came from the Dallas to try to cross the from, I came from California down here to Dallas, and I'm telling and you. You need to take your black come back to California because down here, it, it, you don't know me like that. No, I don't know you, but I'm finna know you, and Travis finna know that my brother ain't his daddy. Not, I, not, I, and I, I don't know. You know what? You need to talk to your brother again. That's what you need to do, and you don't need to be talking to me. You finna send us all the money my brother didn't sent y'all. <laughs> And when I do, Look, when I send when I send all that uh, eight years worth of money back, you you gonna send every dime back because it belonged to my brother. That ain't my brother child. Now we ain't got time to be going on no Mari Povich show or nothing to find out who the daddy. Right, you know what? Like I said, you picked the wrong one. To f with. It'd be your best bet not to call me anymore. You actually, it is a good thing that you call because if you came knocking on my door, you'd have got your with today. No, you go. Uh, that's my second thing I'm finna do if we can't rectify it over the phone. I don't have a problem coming over there, knocking down some doors and getting some questions answered. Because, damn it, this ain't Damon's baby. It, obviously, you must wish it was yours since you're taking so much interest. No, it ain't mine. But but it, it ain't Damon's either. And we got 700. You, you must not have any and looking for some. But I, I'm sorry. This one's taken over here, and Damon will continue to pay what he owes. Damon don't owe so another... With, that's what's wrong with you brothers now. You don't want to pay. I'm sorry. He's going to continue to pay. And you can call whoever you want to call him, do whatever you want to do. So go back and tell your mama and everybody else who's who, who, who waiting for this meeting to let them know. It ain't happening. Look, my mama ain't got nothing to do with it. Mama so been... You said, my... your mama, you said your mama and all y'all got together. She the same way. That's, I see where you get it from. You act just like her. Y'all from nosy people. Mind your own damn business. That's a grown man. That ain't my mama said it from the get go that it wasn't hunt, that it, it wasn't Damon Child. Nah, that mean your mama's a two faced lot because you ain't what your mama said. You ain't finna sit here and bring my mama up in this. Well, if you know so much, then you back, come knock on my door. Come knock on my door if you want to. We done done the math. Seven hundred and fifty dollars times twelve, <laughs> then times eight is seventy two thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> that's how much money my brother didn't send you, and that's how much we want back. And I need you to get to working on this money now. Mm, okay. Why don't you come over here and get it? Don't get your <laughs> whooped today, Terry. Come on over here. You don't see them get their <laughs> whooped. You, you in Dallas. When is, you, 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 I don't care nothing about it, but I'm in no Dallas. This ain't California. So what? Well, I don't even know what the hell. I don't, why I'm, I don't even know why I'm wasting my time talking to you. Like I said, you, your, your brother is is a weak. If he got to have you, y'all had a meeting and you got to be the one to call. 
I'm not really understanding. Look, I got one more thing I need to say to you. Is you listening to me? You know, you do know my damn nerves. That's what you're doing. You, you, you respect me. Are you listening to me? You what? This is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just got oh, pranked. My <laughs> oh, my God. You just got pranked by your sister Tanya, baby. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> she said, talk to her about her baby daddy and that baby. Yeah, I don't play with the children. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm so embarrassed. All right, let me ask you this. What is the baddest? I'm talking about the baddest radio show in the land. The Steve Harvey Morning Show. <laughs> <laughs> that is. That ain't my brother's baby. Woo, I guess not. Ooh, you play way yeah. too much, Tommy. You can cuss me out all you want to. That ain't my brother's baby. <laughs> But it is always the family member that gets into it. That uh uh-uh, that baby don't look nothing like him. I need a DNA test. You need one. (laughs) (laughs) Maury Povich, you are not. Oh, my God. That's where you you see it at, Carla. Uh Right there. Still on Oh, I love it. Oh, they come out. I love it when it's not the... um, the person that's on there and they take off running to do that. Ha- uh, doing a yeah, when he's not the father. Where that. you be going back there? <laughs> yeah, they be running. Are oh, you trying to get out of the way? You trying to get out of that camera, uh-huh. dog? They, they done ran back there so many times. They done already set cameras up back there. <laughs> yeah. And then, what about the times when <laughs> this guy comes out? It's not his baby. This then another guy comes out. They take the test. It's not his baby. Then another. You're like, one. What have you been doing? Like, You're what? right. You've been busy. Yeah. You been busy. What you been doing? <laughs> Did they put the baby on the screen? Yeah. And the yeah, baby hands be up. Yeah. <laughs> the baby be like, "Well, who is?" It? Oh no. Hmm? Are you my daddy? <laughs> Look at him, Levante. Look at him. Look at him, Levante. Then they it looks just like you. I know. Then they take the lie detector test. Yeah. That's wrong. No, Man. no, no. Not Ooh. the lie detector. You. <laughs> but then Maury gets up with that brown envelope. Yes. Man. Boy. I love it. I love After the fourth person they ain't found a baby dad, I like what Maury says. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, tell me, where you going to be? Time. I'll be at the Keswick Theater, Shirley. I'll be at the Keswick Theater along with the beautiful Samoa. Uh, Saturday, April the 13th, baby. Glenside, Pennsylvania. Uh, we will be in the building. We got two shows, one at 7 and one at 10. And tickets are on sale right now. Don't miss out. If you're living in Glenside, Pennsylvania, get your tickets. They on sale right now. Following a week later, baby. Uh, April 19th, Friday night, Knoxville, Tennessee. Me and Bruce, Bruce. Mm-hmm. At Knoxville Civic Auditorium. Tickets available at all Ticketmaster outlets. Me and the one and only Bruce Bruce will be in the building having fun. Never been to Knoxville, t- Tennessee before, but I'm on my way. So Woo-hoo. stupid is coming to Knoxville. Y'all don't understand me, Knoxville. Stupidity is on the way. Tell them, Junior. Tell them who's coming. <laughs> 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 All right. Thank you, nephew. Up next, it is today's Strawberry Letter subject. The cookie drove my best friend crazy. Mm. I had that happen. It's oh. been driving me crazy. I don't oh. know why this even a letter. Oh, okay, then. Well, it's a little twist to it. Oh, okay. It's a little different than what you think Well, if it's it just looks as, as face value, uh-huh. I agree. <laughs> Yeah. Going on the subject. <laughs> All right. All right. It's based next. on the title. I'm in total agreement. <laughs> we'll get into the letter right after this. Coming up at the top of the hour, right about uh, four minutes after the hour, it's the strawberry letter. For today, the subject post Valentine's Day drama, but right now, the nephew <laughs> is in the building. He's here with today's prank phone call. What you got for us, Neff? The title is Jean, I Got You Girl. Jean. Okay. I got you, girl. Come on, cat dog. Hello? It's me, the Gene. Yeah, what's up? Who this? My name is Vernon, brother. What's playing? What's going on? I need to holler at you for a minute, my man. About what? I want to holler at you about your wife. So you got a minute? Yeah, I'm listening. Uh, I don't even know how to break this to you, dog. I just want to be straight up with you, man. Me and your wife been kind of seeing each other. And, uh, really... She want to let you go, but she ain't, you know, she really ain't got it got it up in her to say she want to let you go. So uh-huh. you know, I'm coming to you like a man and letting you know, you know, that uh, she really want to shut it down with you. We've been seeing each other for a minute now. Uh-huh. So I don't know how we can, you know, 
I'm just coming at you like a man, brother, trying to let you know she don't even really want you no more. You know, we, right. we done talked about it, talked about it, and uh, I'm just trying to get it all I know. I'm tired. Right. I'm tired of hiding with it, really. Okay. Okay. Well, you know, it's a lot smoother than I expected, player. I mean, it is what it is. It is what it is. I mean, long long as you, long as you cool. I, I thought, you know, I just want to be a man called and holler at you and let you know. Have you seen her today? And where you from? From Jersey. I'm up around Newark. I mean, you said it's a lot smoother than you thought it was going to be. Well, you know, anytime some another man finna call another man about his wife, I mean, yeah, you don't expect it to be nothing, you know, pretty simple. That's for sure. I mean, yeah. I didn't contemplate it a long time by calling you, so I, you know today I just said to hell with it. I'm how you get my number? No, I've been had your number. I had your number a long time. All right, now you say you looking. Uh, it's a lot smoother than you thought it was gonna be. It ain't that smooth, but you know. Well, you don't like, want you know. Like the, the the thing is, you got one up on me because you know my information. Now I gotta come find you. Okay, wait, 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 hold up now. Yeah. You feel like... Oh, no, nah, I don't need to hold up. You uh, say what you going to say. Okay, you feel like you need to be looking for me or something? Yeah. Brother, look, look at this. Let's check this out. This is a decision that the wife has made. You understand what I'm saying? See, you have no reason to be mad at me about anything. You have no reason to be coming looking for me or any information on me. Because, see, when that happens, then it's going to really get stanky up in here. And I'm trying not to let that happen. That's why I'm calling you like a man, brother. Trust me, man. It ain't nothing that I'm never worried about. Okay. Well, I'm just letting you know, man. I'm letting you know up front. She, we, me and her contemplated a long time, yada, yada. So now, you know, here we are. So I said, you know what the hell with it. I'm calling today. Well, y'all should have did this on the phone together. I'd have respected both of y'all a lot more. Okay. Well, you know, and, and then, you know, if, if that's what it's got to be, we'd be face-to-face -face together, whatever it's got to be, man. So well, that's what I prefer, you know. Okay. So, but but let me ask you this here. Where is going then? Once we both stand flat-footed and tell you how it is, then what? I ain't, ain't, I ain't going to never be flat-footed. Okay. Well, well, well flat-footed or upside down, any way you want to look at it, bro. I'm trying not to get into this physical part, but it seems like you're leaning that way with me. It could be whatever, you know. You could be on this side of the dirt or the other side. It don't make a difference. It, it, it never does, brother. It never does. When two bulls come together, one of them got to go down. Now, guess what? We are doing too much talking. You got my information. Guess what? Now, I'm locked, loaded, and hunting for you. You lock and loaded? Well, there's no need for you to say it. There's no need for us to discuss anymore. Okay, cool. You know, mind, while, while we at it, man, let me go and drop it all on you then. Because it seems like we need to go and get it all out the way. You cool? Right. You know what I'm saying? I think you need, you know, matter of fact, if you want to just keep it all the way real, you might want to go take a blood test about Alana and make sure you the papa to that. All right. Feel me? Got it. So, uh, I'm going to have your wife give you a call, man, because we didn't contemplate it too long, and it's time. You do, yeah, you do that. You know my information. Like I said, you, you said enough. You hit enough bones there. Now I'm really locked loaded and hunting for somebody. So, you know what? I mean, somebody got to go. What you Nothing mean? you. Wait, 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 wait. What's all this somebody got to go? What, huh? you, what you saying? Somebody got to go. Somebody got to go. Like, okay, you talking about either me or you? One of us got to yeah. go? See, see, because well, you're saying the wrong thing, because what you must understand is if I've given you as much information as I already have, that means I have enough information to know where you are, brother. You know yeah. nothing about me nor where I reside. So if you're going to talk about lock and load and somebody got to go, then you're saying it to the wrong person because I'm already up on you, player. At, you got first to off, you do, at first off, you ain't really a north because you got a country accent. So second off, like you're dealing with a real street so however you want to handle it, you know my information. Guess what? I don't reside there no more. I ain't there no more. So guess what? Now you got to start from scratch like me. So i tell you what, man. On, boy. Here go the math, man. You ready for that? You ready for this math? You ready, What's player? Here go What's the, the math? math. This is Nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You've been pranked by your wife. I'm a killer. <laughs> Yeah, black man, chill out, boy. You you, you kind of had me scared for a minute because you really wasn't flinching. You Whatever you eating over there, you never did stop eating on it. Oh, I ain't going to stop eating. <laughs> I'm going to keep eating. <laughs> uh, I listen to y'all every morning. What's the baddest radio morning show in the land? The Steve Harvey Show. <sighs>
That one is that so was chilling. a real no, like hey, Tommy, real was, guy, was, real yeah, gangster geez. guy there. Yeah. I, Tommy, I was Tommy. Geez. I was scared huh? for you, Tommy. I was. I was. He, he was. He was gonna do something to you, man. Uh-huh. Yeah, he, yeah, he yeah, yeah. I felt hurt while he was talking. I yeah. felt pain coming. He, I was like, okay. I was, <laughs> hey, player, I was saying to you myself, want all please of it? Tell him it's a joke, quick. <laughs> Hey man, you, hey, hey man, you wanna you you, you wanna keep it all the way real? You probably need to get a blood test for little Alana. Yeah. So yeah, he, he said right there. He said right there. You cross the line now. He said yeah. Somebody yeah. got to go now. Uh huh. Uh-huh. See. So now, and he said, tell me, he said he don't live there no more. So I'm looking for you. That was checkmate right there. That was yeah, a checkmate it was, for me. Jay. Yeah. I'm still. Uh, Jay, I actually got scared, Jay. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> I'm still you know, right now. Yeah, I'm still you, you, When your heart starts pumping and you say, you know what? This is not something I shouldn't have. I shouldn't see, have But Tommy, see. <laughs> you ain't from the north with that country ass. With that country ass accent <laughs> you got. You ain't no north side blankety blank nowhere. <laughs> I'll see what you don't know I'll is you messing with a real. Boop. Yeah. Uh-huh. That was that was scary, Tommy. That was really scary, man. Oh, and yeah. the fact that I know he wasn't afraid of you, he never yeah. stopped eating. He yeah. never. Right. Because most people put their food down to make a point. He was now, eating Jay, now, and Jay, making you was, points. Let me ask you something, Jay. You was listening. You was listening. And what was he really eating? What was that? What? I don't know what it was. <laughs> but he was able to keep his mind on his food and you at the same yeah. time. And he didn't miss a beat. He I didn't miss was Chinese a food. beat. Uh-huh. <laughs> Uh-huh. Yeah. Some shrimp oh, and broccoli or something. Yeah. <laughs> well, I made it through it, and uh, he's okay. Yeah, he's not did, looking man. for me. He's not wanting no, he's to do not something looking. to me. But he sounds like uh, a guy that don't let the joke go, though, Tommy. He does sound well, no, like that no, guy. No, but let me tell you this, Jay. After we got through recording, I did stay on long enough to make sure. Are you and I, are, are we cool? Did he are me and you he, cool? Did he ever Do you need smile? anything from me? You know, Did he ever you need an smile? autograph book from Steve, whatever you need, uh, I got that. You know, you need saying? Steve Just, to call you or something. Yeah, that's my but nephew Tommy. playing. You know, whatever you. Need. Did he ever crack a smile? Did he ever like never up once? A bit? Yeah, never. You, it, you know, like when we got off, he's like, you know, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna let you make it, you know. But you know, oh, hey, you, you know, you messing with, with the Tommy. wrong one, you know. Hopefully, Tommy. I'll see you though, Tommy. With hopefully, a black I'll man see go. Like, well, uh-huh. what, what do that mean? Hopefully, you'll yeah, see me. But, what is, <laughs> when a black man go, uh huh, uh huh, mm-hmm. uh huh, I hear you. He's just bring, he's just taking in information. He ain't afraid of nothing. Yeah. Like, and I know a uh-huh. neck bone when I hear one. Nah. I, mean, <laughs> I don't know what he was. was shrimp and broccoli. <laughs> All right, thank you, nephew. Coming that was up, good, Tommy. <laughs> we got the strawberry letter subject: post oh, Valentine's boy. Day drama. Dumbest letter you ever heard. When we come back, right after this, you're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Coming up at the top of the hour, right about four minutes after, it's my strawberry letter for today. The subject: Get a load of this, guys. I like big butts. I cannot lie. Yes. Yes. <laughs> we'll, get that. Lot. <laughs> yeah. we'll get into that. We'll get into that a little later. Right now, the nephew is here with today's prank phone call. What you got for us, Neff? Well, we're still in black history, so we're going to shed a little light on it. This right here is Johnson's Freedom Papers. Johnson's oh. Freedom Papers. <laughs> yes. Let's go, cat. Hello? Hello, I'm trying to reach uh, Franklin Franklin Johnson, please. Uh, yeah, this is him. Franklin, uh, how you doing today? My name is uh, my name is Kyle Kyle Green. I'm with the uh, uh, Immigration Department of the State of uh, Tennessee. Uh, yeah, how could I help you? Now uh, you were you were born and raised in Tennessee, am I correct? Yeah, born and raised in Tennessee. Okay, now uh, do you do you still live in in the Tennessee area now, or are you in a different state? I'm right in Memphis. Still here. All my family, all the Johnsons, he's still here living good. Okay. All right. So here's what's going on. Um, It's been brought to our attention here at the immigration that anyone in the state of Tennessee who has the last name of Johnson, um, and I don't even know how to break this to you or tell this to you, but 
it's, it's been brought to our attention here at the immigration that anyone in the state of Tennessee, last name Johnson, for some reason, and we're going to fix the problem, but for some reason they're saying no Johnsons are free. You know, like there's some clause or something and some paperwork or whatever. But what we need is we need all the Johnsons to come in by six to, by six o'clock today, so we can try to take care of the problem. If not, if, if all Johnsons that are not reported in by six will have to get picked up. Uh, I know this is a joke. Like we we've been. I know this is a joke, baby. I'm free. What are you talking about? Like, well, uh, you calling me talking about? You talking about the Johnsons ain't free? What are you What are you talking about? Since you saw Pumpy Johnson go for the all everybody's attacking Johnsons now? Uh, no, sorry. This is this is a real. This is I, I know this is a, a crazy to get a phone call like this, but like I say, it, it's we got some paperwork here. Everybody's scrambling around trying to get to the bottom of this, but bottom line is we need all the Johnsons to come in because. Uh, right, right now in the state of Tennessee, no person with the last name of Johnson is free right now. Hey, get the f out of here! What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Are you black? Yeah, I'm black, but, but yeah, I, I'm black. Are, 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 are you free? Yeah, I'm free. So, what are you talking about coming to me talking about? Since my last name Johnson, my family got to come down to immigration because we ain't free. Who the hell are you calling me talking about some crap like that, man? Okay, sir, the, the, the pro- we're going to fix the problem, but we need all Johnsons to come in. We're going to fix it. Who are you, the head, of, paper- are you the head of the census or something? I, I'm, I'm sorry? Are you the head of the census? Uh, no, I'm not. Or something like that. Like, why are you calling me talking about Johnson? This, it, you are some Uncle Tom ass calling me talking about Johnson, that we ain't free. And we got to come down and, and you, you threatening my family. This guy, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sir. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, sir. I'm not, I'm not threatening you. All right, like I said, my name is Kyle Green. I'm with immigration. I'm just trying to fix the problem. You know, so you I don't. You better than me because your name is Green. So y'all so came no. down to the Johnsons. Sir, I'm not saying I'm better than you because my last name is Green. I'm saying we yes, have a are, problem. Kyle. You are so saying that, Kyle, Mr. Green. My name is Johnson. We come from a long lot of Johnsons. And don't let me have the bumpy Johnson on you because you saw how he was cutting my throat. Don't play with me. Okay, sir. Can we... Uh, I want to help you and I want to help all the Johnsons, okay? You ain't helping Let's nobody get... but yourself, Mr. Green. You Uncle Tom. I saw y'all likes in Django. The house mode. Okay. I bet you on them light skinned green eyed Terrence Howard looking mo. Thank you. Are those good hands. I'm black as ebony. I got a wide nose and I'm proud to be black. And they're going to have your light skinned ass for me. You going to bring my, my family down there? You got some guy for nerves. It's all this uh, uh, tribalism amongst us. Uh, sir, can I expect you to come down to immigration at 6 o'clock before Kyle 6 Kyle sound like a light skinned mother. Kyle Green. Uh, that sound light skinned. Sir, can I get you to come down to immigration by nah, 6 o'clock? No, you cannot have me come in. I'm going to come down in with my god whole, whole bunch of Johnsons, and we're going to turn it up. Okay, so is, 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 is your wife last name Johnson, too? Don't worry about what my wife's last name is. Don't try to set her up. Okay, is your is your mother still living? Don't worry about my mama still living. You don't have to. I'm about to hang this god on up. You question me. You, you, you've done crossed the line, you light-skinned mother Okay, okay, sir. All I know is that you know we got to. We were trying to get as many Johnsons as we could to come in. Tommy, Tommy is the one that told us to call you. Okay, Franklin, that's who told us to call you. Who? Tommy said you you probably want to call Franklin Johnson and get him on the line because he you know a lot of the other Johnsons and you can get them all to come in. That's what hey, Tommy no, no. said. What you think? I, you think I'm that mother that's gonna round up all the Johnsons? That's how they came over from Africa. It was one black motherfucker that took them all of the boats talk about they were going on vacation, and they came all the way over here. I'm not rounding them no god Johnson. And who the hell is Tommy? Tommy, man. Tommy said you would do it. Tommy said you would be cool with it. I don't know no god Tommy. He sound like him, too. Okay, do you know Do you know nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show? Do you know that motherfucker? <laughs> oh, I got my blood pressure. 
Hey, man. Oh, man. Hey, Franklin. Yes. Hey, Franklin, take this out, man. Your boy J-Rob is the one that got me to prank phone call you, man. <laughs> oh, he ain't he ain't allowed over to the barbecues no more, man. Was he a whiskey? Was he was he was he drinking some of that whiskey when he called you, man? That mother. I don't know what he was when I called him, bro. But he wanted me to make so he prank Franklin. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh man, hey, you gotta tell me this right here, Franklin. Give it to me, baby, Franklin Johnson. You gotta tell me this. What is the baddest? And I mean the baddest. Radio show in the lane. The Steve Harvey Show with Nephew Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> really, yes. Tommy? You that, went man. there on him. Oh. Hey, Tommy, but you know what, though? But Tommy, green but Tommy, but Tommy, <laughs> but Tommy, he had you shook up a little bit, though. Because yeah. he, he sounded like he had you all balanced a little bit because he was serious with it. Yeah, uh -huh. Bumpy Johnson when he said Oh, Bumpy okay. Johnson. Oh, you think I'm going to round up all the Johnsons? I ain't that blankety blank. <laughs> See, you light skin, ain't you? You, you probably one of them light skin Terrence Howard yeah. looking ass, boy. Green eye. <laughs> boy. <laughs> Boy, With good hair. <laughs> boy, boy, he was mad. He was hot. Kyle Green, sound like skin. Hey, <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, man, is your is your wife last name John? Don't worry about my wife. That's is right. your mother still? Boy. See, man, you don't cross the line now. <laughs> man, yes, Tommy. sir. He was gonna come bowed down it. there and yeah, be he was. bowed it. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. We need all the Johnsons uh -huh. to come down so we can get these papers together. But y'all, y'all not free yet. About that life. Hold up, man. <laughs> Is you black? Yeah. Oh, so you done got your Uncle Tom ass. Now you gonna round up. Whoa. See, that's you that, that you was on Django. He, he was, <laughs> right, right, he right. Had yeah. all, he, yeah. all his reference was light skin, Terrence Howard, mm. Django, mm. you a house in, you a yeah. Uncle Tom. He had Tommy, he was through with Tied you. Yeah, yes, he, he was. was. He was. He really Nephew, was. Nephew, happy Black uh, History Month. Yes. Happy Black History, yes. baby. Yes. <laughs> happy Black History to everybody. And all the Johnsons out there. Happy Black History. <laughs> all right, Nephew, thank you. Coming up, Strawberry Letter subject. I like big butts and I cannot lie. We'll get into it right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Your wife's birthday. Huh? Your wife's birthday. I got to get her something, though. What? <laughs> that's, that's crazy. I was so Yo, confused. I got to get her something, I got to dog. get her something. No, I'm not. <laughs> Come on, now. Run it, cat dog. Let's get this woman something. Come on. Hello? Hello, I'm trying to reach Darren. Yeah, what's up? Hey Darren, man, what's going on, bro? This, uh, uh, my name is Chris, man. I work with, um, I work with your wife, Sharon. I think, I think I may have seen you at one of the, um, one of the gatherings before, man. Like a, a happy hour we had after work or something. I, I don't know if you remember me or not. No, I don't remember you. Okay, 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 cool. Hey, listen, man. I know Sharon's birthday is coming up, so I wanted to, uh, if you didn't mind, I, I hope you don't mind me calling. I wanted to reach out and see if you were. Uh, you know, what you were getting her for a birthday, I, we, I wanted to make sure, you know, we were going to pitch in and get her something at the job. We want to make sure, you know, we didn't get, you know, you know what you may be uh, going to get her. You know what I'm saying? Kind of like something like a grab bag or some like that? Uh, no, I wasn't going to hit her with no grab bag. I was just, you know, like I said, we was going to get something. We, you know, we haven't really put our put our uh, all the thoughts to it of what we was going to get yet. But I, want, I personally want to see what you was getting. That way we don't, uh, you know, do Okay. Well, she likes money, man. You can, you know, uh, give her some give her some cash or, you know, Starbucks card or uh, something for McDonald's. Something, you know, it, it don't have to be too big. She she, she don't, uh, you don't have to, you know, she she's not that materialistic. Okay. Okay. Well, let, 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 me, let, me, let me ask you this, though, D. Uh, do you uh know what her size is? Do I know what her size is? You know, like clothing. You know, do you know what size she wear? Uh, yeah, I know what size. She's my she's my wife, man. What, 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 I think this is kind of like get, I'm getting a little bit uncomfortable with this, man. What? 
Well, well, uh, do you do you think uh, you know? I don't mean to make you uncomfortable, bro. Let me ask you this here: Do you do you think she she like uh? Do she like stuff from Victoria's Secret? Whoa, hold up, man! Stop right there. What the f- are you talking about? What? No, I, I like I say. I, I what, want to what, get. What's your hey? What's your name again, man? My name Chris. Like like I said earlier, my name Chris. Uh, how long how long you been with the company? Uh, I only been there six months. You know, but like I said, I think I saw you at, at one of the. Happy, I, I saw, maybe you just don't remember who I am, though. No, 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 man. But you way out of line talking this shit about her size. And I, I'm not comfortable with this at all, man. You know? Okay, okay. Right, you, right. You, way out, you way out of line. Right, but, but, but see, what, what you didn't answer, my question was, was, do you think she liked Victoria's Secret? That's I what I'm asking. I ain't going to answer your question. What the f*** you talking about? Okay, okay, what's, 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 but what's the language, brother? What's, what's wrong? We brothers, you know? I, we ain't, we ain't, we ain't no brothers. You a fool. Okay, what do you so, get off asking me about my wife's clothes and Oh, oh okay. Uh, okay, all right. I okay, understand you what? want to talk with her okay, tonight. What? All I'm, okay, what? Uh, all I'm saying is, 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 do you think she gonna like the Victoria's Secret? I'm I don't gonna... give a Hey, man, shut the up with that do you know how long we've been together? I've known this woman since high school. Don't come to me with that. Sh- okay. So, so I was just trying to get a. Uh, what 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 time do you guys get off? I'm coming. Uh, down I, right I, now. Leave, I leave. I leave. I leave office at five thirty, but I was gonna leave early. I, I'll be right. I, hey, we can talk about this face to face. Hey, hey, listen. I'm trying to get. Listen, what? I ain't, I ain't gotta listen to. Sh- I'm trying to get Sharon a panty and bra set, man. Okay? Hey, you ain't buying my wife's shit, And she wouldn't even accept it anyway. Okay. Hey, so, man, so, how, how how you get this number? How you get this number? <laughs> I know she didn't give you this <laughs> Let me tell you how, Sharon. I got it from your wife, Sharon, because guess who I am? I am nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Sharon got me to prank phone call you. <laughs> what? <laughs> that, Darren, Darren, this is Tommy, some, man. This is nephew Tommy, brother. Man, this is some bullshit. <laughs> this, this is some real This is some straight up bullshit. Hey, man, you ain't right, man. <laughs> you know, you need to stop with people. You know, because you might get, you might, somebody might be waiting for you after work one day, man. That sh- totally wrong. You ever heard of karma? <laughs> I heard of somebody karma. gonna play a prank on your ass one day. <laughs> your uncle is right. Somebody's gonna whoop your ass. It's just a matter of time. <laughs> Wax that ass. Here we go. Run it. Hello. Hello. I'm trying to reach uh, Owen, please. Yeah, this is Owen. Hi, Owen. This is Ramon. I'm giving you a call. Um, well, we're just confirming your appointment at 11 on Thursday, and I wanted to make sh- you're a new client, so we wanted to make sure that you were okay. Wait a minute. Uh, appointment for what? You have a spa treatment scheduled um, at 11 on Thursday. You did receive a spa treatment from your wife for Christmas? Um, but I don't remember being set up for anything or any appointment. Well, she's made an appointment for you for 11 o'clock on this coming Thursday. I'm just calling to confirm that you would definitely be in to the salon. Well, I thought this was like a couple's massage or something like that. So what is the treatment all about? What's, what, what do you guys, I don't, I don't understand. Um, well, she's got you signed up for, let me look. She's got you signed up for us to actually wax your back and your buttocks on Thursday. And we actually have a special that we have a, um, a Manzillion, which is a Brazilian. Wait, wait a minute. Wait. We have a this, Manzillion. This, is, this, is, we, this isn't for real. Sir, we had you lined up for an appointment. If you don't want the appointment, please let us know. Wax my my back and my ass. Get the hell out of here. Manzillion? What the it's, is a Manzillion? You're, you're, your wife has set you up for a back and butt hair removal, which is waxing. And what I'm saying is a manzillion is if you would like that, we would remove all the hair from your private area as well. Yeah, try again, man. 
there's no way I'm getting my private wax. What, so I can be hairless? Like a, like a, <laughs> no way. Get out of here. Evidently, if your wife has set you up for this, maybe she's not into all, you have, you evidently have a lot of hair on your back, I'm assuming. Yeah, I'm a hairy guy, but she's never said anything about it. She likes it. She, okay. She, she calls me her well, little gorilla. She loves it. Well, maybe there's a mix of communication because this is the thing she's asking us to do is to remove your hair. Yeah, no, that's not happening. And if she's going to have to tell me yourself, and there's no way I'm going in to have somebody rip the hair off my back and my ass and my private. You kidding me? To get the out of here. This is crazy. Sir, this is, this is a very professional procedure. It won't take long. We'll have you in and out within 45 minutes. But you're going to... For, 45 be minutes. 40, 45 it's going to take 45 minutes. minutes to rip off all of this hair? That sounds like torture. You kidding me? Okay, sir. You know, no, do you, no, do you not, no. I think we're done. I think what do you mean we're done? We're, no, we're I, I mean, I mean because, I'm, I'm going to no. tell her to get a refund. You're not, no no one's getting a refund, okay? There's not going to be a refund. Now, you're supposed to come in at 11. This is something that she wants you to do. Yeah, I'm not doing it. Listen to me. I am not getting whacked. That's not something a man does. There's no way I'm doing that. If this is for real, I'm going to have a talk with her as soon as she gets home because, no, no, no. Sir, sir right, now, right now, you are disrespecting my profession. That's what you're doing. Okay, okay, look, I'm not. I, I don't. I don't know what this is all about. I don't. I'm not trying to disrespect anybody, but there's no way I'm doing this. All right, I'm not getting the back. No, there's no way. Okay, so evidently your wife wants it, or she wouldn't have purchased it from us to have you come in and get it done. Well, yeah, so I'm gonna have to talk to her about that. I mean, if there's something she wants waxed, you can wax her private. That's cool. But a man has hair. I mean, it's is. Well, if she men have an hair. appointment, then she's serious about getting it done. Uh, yeah, well, I'm serious about not going. So, I mean, uh, you know, I don't know how, how I can explain that to you. I'm not coming in. You can reschedule it for somebody else. I'll talk to her when she gets home, but that's that's it. I'm just. I'm well, done. your wife has paid two hundred dollars for this procedure. What? Did you say two hundred dollars? Your wife has paid two hundred dollars for this procedure. Yeah. No. She's she's got to get a refund. You guys are no. This is this, wait a minute, sir, sir. Owen, this is non-refundable, so there is no money coming back. I will let you know okay. that. Two hundred f***ing bucks? There's no f***ing way. you got to be f***ing kidding me. To, 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 to take hair off of my back and my Two hundred bucks? <laughs> Sir, you know it's a, it's a, this is no. a very reputable spa here. We, I, I don't, I don't doing care. This. I'm going to I'm gonna go to the dollar store and get a, a, a pack of razors. For a dollar, and she's gonna do it herself, and I'll give her, I'll give her ten bucks. If she's good, I'll give her a tip, an extra five, fifteen bucks. I'm done. I'm saved. Two hundred bucks. There's no f-ing way. There is no f-ing way we are paying that money, and you guys are keeping that money. There's no f-ing way. Okay, do you understand? There's no. No, there's there, definitely way not no. a. There is not a refund, Mr. Owen. There's definitely not a refund, and Mr. Owen. What the? Who the f- are you? There's no f-ing way. And I'm going to talk I'm to you I'm Ramon. I am Ramon here at the spa. And your wife came in and purchased this wonderful gift for you for Christmas. R- and R- now Ramon, you're Ramon. Acting, I don't give no, a f- you're Ramon. Listen ass to me. Now. You're not respecting my profession. You're acting I don't I, Look, look. I'm not trying to disrespect you, but I don't care about the, the f- profession. There's no f-ing way. That's, actually, that's robbery. Charging somebody 200 bucks to rip off hair off their, their body. There's no f-ing way. I'm just not f-ing doing it and i'm going to talk to her she's going to do it herself i'm pissed because you're disrespecting my profession and you're not coming in at 11 i was you were supposed to come in at 11 so we could wax your back and your butt and now you're saying no there, there will be nothing whack i'm not coming in at 11 i'm not coming in ever she's going to take care of this so you don't have to worry about it ramon i mean well, there all there respect no to you refund. but no i need you to no. know that mr owen there is no refund okay I mean, this, this is f-ing ridiculous. I don't even know why I'm talking to you. Your cousin Peter, have you spoken to him lately? How the f*** do you know Peter? Peter got me to call you. This is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just got <laughs> pranked by yo. You just got Get the f- out of Tommy here. Oh. <laughs> I, I knew this was There's no f- way. <laughs> idiot. Oh, man, he's a good idiot. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I got to ask you something, man. What is the baddest, and I mean the baddest, radio show in the land? Yeah. Uber okay. Hearse. You going to be in a hearse. In a <laughs> yeah, Uber I'm Hearse, right. baby. Let's go. Hello? Hello. I'm trying to reach Sean, please. Yeah, it's me. What's up? Hey Sean, how you doing? This my name is Brian. Um, I got you on schedule. Um, you you ordered an Uber for tomorrow morning. I'm. I think yes, you're. Sir. Yes. Okay. You are you you scheduled to go to port, correct? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. All right. And I want to make sure you you wanted an SUV. Yeah, I wanted an SUV. Okay, and that's ninety two, eleven West. Um, what is that? Holman. 9211 West correct. Roman Drive? That's correct. Okay. All right. All right. So I'll be outside uh, tomorrow morning. You, we're talking about uh, 7, p- 7 a.m. pickup, correct? That's it. I got you, you got it. Everything's on point. Okay. All right. So listen, I wanted to let you know this, man. You uh, you ordered an SUV. I'll be there tomorrow. Um, I'll be there probably a little bit before 7 a.m., you know, when you guys order Uber uh, way in advance, you know, we try to get there almost like a car service and make sure we get you where you got to go. And I, I know the traffic's going to be a little crazy. So, um, you know, I'll be there on time. I'll be downstairs waiting on you. All right. I'd appreciate it. Okay. okay. Now, now listen, I'm, I'm, I'm a SUV, but it's a kind of a little different. So that's why I kind of the reason for the call. I wanted to kind of give you a heads up that, uh, I, I, I am an SUV. So I just want you to look for, the uh, the black hearse that'll be outside. A hearse? Yeah, I, I, I'll be in a black hearse tomorrow morning uh, at seven a.m. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. I thought so, it's, it's an SUV or a hearse. No, no, it's a hearse. It's a hearse. Actually, what's happening is is I I have another drop off at the airport as well. You know, there's a. I mean, it's, it's it won't affect you at all. But there'll there'll be a body in the back. But that has to. We're trying to get that to the airport too. But uh, a, you know, like I said, and, and a, as a matter of fact, it's a actually, body. Wait a minute, hold on. Yeah, you, you f- with me, man? No, no, no. I, no, I ain't no, trying to ride on my body. Well, there's a. There, I mean, there'll be a body, but actually, it's just costing you less. You know what I'm saying? So you don't have to. Look, you know, man. Well, I'm supposed to lay down next to this mother. What, what, what you talking about, man? Dude, it'll be. I, it'll I, be I, a, I ain't ride with no motherfucking body. Hang on, man. Listen. You wanted an SUV. I'm not riding with no body, dude. Are you tripping? Cancel this trip. I'll, I'll get another Uber or some shit. I'm not riding with a body, dude. Okay, if you cancel, that's going to cost you $50. $50? My well, man, you got like, you got like just downloaded the Uber app. Here's the deal. I know for a fact when you cancel Uber, the shit is $5. I'm canceling, and that shit is going to be $5. It's not going to be no $50, dude. It's going to be $50, sir. It's different when you have... Look, my man, you can pay me $1,000. I'm not riding with a body. You, you feel me? No, I understand you I understand you now, but do you want to get to the airport or not? Look, why don't you lay down next to the body and you drive yourself there next with the body, like, in, in the passenger seat? I'm not doing that Tell me what the problem is. I mean, obviously, you used to drive around with bodies and That's not my thing. You know what I'm saying? What What's the problem? I mean, you're going to be in the front of the hearse. You're not going to be in the back. We'll put While your the body's in, in the back. We'll put your luggage in the back. I mean, that'll be fine, right? Yo, my man, you tripping, man. This is a crazy You calling the wrong oh, with this crazy bull dude. I'm not doing none of that what, what part of that don't you understand? I, I'm going to get you there on time, sir, but it's going to be in a hearse. That's all the difference is, man. Don't You'll be riding, a- riding in a hearse when I'm supposed to be laid out in it. You understand? Right now, you got me up. What kind of phone call is this? Well, I mean, what's, you, what's, what's the problem? Obviously, you're used to rolling with, with dead bodies and hearses and all that shit. Since when did Uber start rolling with hearses to pick up regular live motherfuckers to get them from place to place? This is some crazy shit. Okay. I want you to think, when when did you think that it would just be cool as a regular picking up a body and just driving around in the street? I, I, I don't know, man. I mean, you know, I got two jobs. You know what I'm saying? I do Uber. You know, and I also, you know, work for a mortuary. So, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, but my vehicle is is certified and, and Uber approved it, so I'm able to use it as an SUV as so, well. So you, you call them and you give them a ride to live motherfuckers, and they don't have no reaction, no reaction to riding around with a motherfucking body in the back. 
Well, you know, uh, sometimes there's people act a little, you know, a little, it's a little different for them. I get it, you know. But like I said, the only reason why I'm calling you, well, like, obviously, you don't get that because you're trying to hit me with a fifty dollar motherfucking charge that I'm not, I'm not going for, and you're trying to get me to ride with a motherfucking dead body, dude. I'm not doing that. So I tell you what, bro. I'm gonna tell you this right here. I'm gonna get off the phone. Uh, tomorrow at seven in the morning, me and Tommy gonna be there. So be looking for us here. Who's Tommy, the f***ing body? No, no. Me and Tommy going to be there tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. You understand? Just be ready for that. Then you and Tommy are going to have a f***ing problem. Okay, okay. All right, tell that to Tommy, though. Because, see, Tommy don't Tommy don't take this too kindly. So tell it to him in the morning. Who's Tommy? Is he, he f***ing on for now? Okay. You don't know who Tommy is? No, I don't. Who the f*** is Tommy? Okay, do you know Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show? Do you know nephew Tommy? Oh, come on, man. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that's a f***ing... Oh, man, that's a f***ing... Man. <laughs> hey, man, hey, man. you not coming in a hurry? <laughs> no, man, your boy, you, you got a boy named Chase that you work with. Chase gave me your number, told me to give you a call. Get oh, you. man. <laughs> Yo, that, I'm going to put that in a hearse, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> hey man, you got to give me one more thing, man. What is the baddest? I'm talking about the baddest radio show in the land, the Steve Harvey Morning Show. <laughs> hey man, I'll pick you up at seven. All right, be there. <laughs> all right. <laughs> it's wedding <laughs> stylist. Run it, cat. Hello. Uh, I'm trying to reach Carmen, please. Oh, who's calling? Uh, this is the hairstylist, Lorenzo. Oh, great, great. Hey, we were waiting for you. Hold on a second, I'll get her. Hello? Hi, is this is this Carmen? Yes. Hi, how are you? Good. Great. Listen, um, this is the hairstylist. I'm supposed to be there to do your hair for the wedding. Hey, are you lost? Uh, no. I do have a bit of inf- uh, just There's something that has come up, and I kind of need to discuss some things with you. W- are you kidding me? Let me ask you something. Hey, you what, know, wait, you know I'm getting married in four hours, right? I do know. I do know. Let me ask you this. What time actually is the wedding? Is it at five or six? The wedding is at five. Okay. Um, what have you done to your hair so far? Nothing. You have the hair. I'm waiting for you to put weave in my on my head. Right. Um, oh, God, dear. No, yes. you're on your way, right? This is a joke. No, this is not a joke. I've, got, I've come oh, up. Mama, I've, find, tell Kim to come here. I I don't have a stylist today. You came highly recommended, and I've already given you a deposit. You you should be on your way. I do understand that, darling. I don't mind giving you your deposit back. I'm, I'm... No, that's, no, that's not what I want. I need you here to do my hair. I have no one here to do my hair. I, I've already paid you. I understand this, dear. Calm down. Listen, this is what I want to do, okay? I do have someone that I can send there that's going to do an outstanding job for you, okay? But I'm not... I've, 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 Got into a spat with Oliver, and I just I, I what? It is it's it's a very. Who the hell is Oliver? Oliver is my friend, and we've gotten. Are into you a, kidding me? Well, it's been a serious, serious, serious blow up. This is the most important day of my life, and you're not coming to do my hair. You're not taking care of your business because you've gotten into a fight with your boyfriend. Listen, I'm not going to go back and forth with you about this. I've been oh arguing with him. Oh, my God. I have argued with him all night. I'm not going to go back and forth and argue with you as well. You don't have to argue with me. What I need is for you to be here. I understand that, and I'm going to send someone there in you my... You are the most unprofessional stylist I have ever met in my life. I cannot even believe you're doing this. Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to deal with you on a professional level. Oh, but okay. you're not, because you're not here. I understand that, and I'm, just, I'm not trying to, 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 to rain on your parade at your all. Your professionalism went out the window when you called to say that you couldn't make it because you were in an argument with your boyfriend. What I'm not going to do is go back and forth with Mama, you. Somebody can find Kim. Find, um, tell her to come. Where is everybody? Mama, please get Kim to the phone. Oh, Lord. Listen, what have you done to your hair Nothing. so far? Nothing. Okay, has it been washed? Yes. Okay, so it's just waiting. Is that what's going on? Yes, that's what's going on. Have you been, done, have you been under the dryer at all? No. Okay, so is it still damp? Why are you asking me questions? You are wasting I'm time. I'm trying to get some. When I bring, when I send someone in, I want to send them in there. Yes, that, I'm sitting here with wet hair. Has your hair, has your makeup been done yet? No, I'm waiting for you to do my hair. <sighs> I cannot believe this. Why are you asking me these questions? 
<laughs> hold on, please hold on one second. Oliver, I'm not going to go. I'm Oliver. I'm not. Oh my God. I'm not going to sit this and is, discuss this with you. This is crazy. I'm not going this to discuss ridiculous. it with you now. Let me take care of the client. I'm not going. Hello. Are you kidding me? Listen, is there any way you could possibly push the wedding back to seven? You are crazy. You want me to change my time because you're in an argument with your boyfriend? Listen, this, this is the first you, time. This is, you are the most unprofessional stylist I've ever met in my life. And trust me, darling, I will put the word out about you. No, 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 hold, hold you, on, hold on. I will make sure that you never, ever do business again. Wait a minute now. What you're not going to do is oh, put no, the word out. Oh, no, you don't curse at me. You're not going to, you're not going to put You're warning my day. I understand that. You have and no I, reason to be mad. I'm the one that should be upset. It's my day. You're not going to talk to me like this either. I can I, talk to you any kind of way I want to. You call ruining my day. So you, hold on a second. See, you got this talking crazy to me, Oliver. And I'm not going to go with it. And I'm not, what I'm not going to do is sit and let some talk to me crazy. Oh, no, you didn't call me a I'm not going to sit here and let you talk to me. Oh, that. you know what? I wish you were coming to this church. I got your Listen, I'm not going to sit here and go back and forth with you. Now, I got someone I can send in there to get your hair done. Do you want it or do you not? Who are you sending? I am sending, uh, listen, I will be sending my assistant. And she does, she washes hair. She, she's been instructed what to do. Don't worry, she'll get it together. Do you want me to let a shampoo girl style my hair for my wedding? Look, do you want... Are you kidding me? Oliver, please! No, you need to be uh, talking to me, not Oliver. I understand. Listen, d let me tell you, don't raise your voice at Oliver don't right raise now. your voice at me. I can do whatever the hell I want to. Look, this is my, you have ruined my wedding day. No, I have not. I'm trying to get your wedding day together. Now I'm going to send this young shampoo girl to do my hair. Cynthia is very good. She will be there at 5 o'clock. We will have you ready. My wedding starts at 5 o'clock. I, I don't know what to say. What you need to be saying is you're on your way. I'm going to, Cynthia would be on I her. don't want Cynthia to do my hair. I didn't pay Cynthia to do my hair. I paid you to do my uh, hair. I'm and if you to... have to bring Oliver with you, you need to come on. Oliver, do you want to go? Oh, oh my God. Do you want to just go with me? <laughs> okay, listen, I have one more thing I need to say. You don't have to say to me. The only thing you need to be saying to me is that you and Oliver are on your way. You are about to ruin the most important day of my life. I am not about are to ruin. Are you on your way, yes I'm, or no? Are you on your way, yes or no? Yes. And I have one more thing I need to say before. What do you want to say? Uh, do, uh, do, listen, don't, don't, don't come for me. Boy, you better spit it out. This is Nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just got pranked by all your bridesmaids. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. <laughs> I am going to kick their I don't believe they did this to me. That's why I can't find those heifers. Oh, and I'm kicking your too, Tommy. Did they get you, baby? Did they get you? This was not funny. Not today. This was the last thing I needed today. You know what? They wanted me to, they wanted me to get you yesterday. I said, uh, I said, no, we wait until the wedding day. You I have me? been under so much pressure. <laughs> I got I got one more thing I got to ask you, baby. Yes. What is? What is the baddest? I'm talking about the baddest radio show in the land. The Steve Harvey Morning <laughs> Show, baby. Sebastian. Greg. <laughs> oh, Greg. Come on, shut up, Junior. Here we go, cat. Run it. Hello? Hello, I wish to speak with a Mr. please. Hello, sir. Um, my name is Sebastian. I am with the um, Art Institute. And I wanted to give you a call about... Um, I have a huge showing coming up where I'm going to be displaying my portfolio and all of my drawings within it. But I have one drawing that I'm looking to display that I have not put on canvas yet. And I'm looking to take something... Uh, uh, of essence to put on canvas, and I wanted right. to call you about getting permission. Well, wait, hold up, dog. Just to stop you right now, I don't, I don't do that, all right? I'm not a model. That's not my profession. So you would not waste your time no more, you know what I'm saying? Just no, go no, ahead and go. Uh, Mr. C I don't think you understand that my showing is going to have some very important people there. Okay. I am, like I said before, with the Art Institute. Okay, yeah, but like I said, dog, I, I don't do that. That's not me. I mean, dog, I, I hate it. You know, how, what, would you just call them folks up? You a solicitor or something? 
I mean, y'all just randomly picking out folks and trying to trying to get them to, to model up, man. I ain't sir, trying to break sir, your heart sir, sir, Mr. No, I'm not just randomly calling people. I I actually have done research in order to get your number. What what I'm doing is I I'm not calling you as far being a model that I'm going to portray on canvas, but you have something far more greater visually that I would like what? to behold on canvas. Now, you're married to your wife is. Am I oh. correct? Oh, whoa, 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 dog. No, for real, who is this? Seriously, uh, I mean, because like, I can get my number. How, no, my how do you get my number? Because you're talking about my wife and stuff? Well, sir, my how do you know my wife? My name is Sebastian. I am with the Art Institute. What I'm trying to do is capture and, and, and immortalize the beauty of essence on canvas. Okay, yo, for real, though, you, you just can't, you, you, you don't talk about my wife, all right? So uh, I, 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 I'm not I'm not call, calling in a negative manner towards your wife. I want to I want to mortalize her and and capture her on canvas, the okay. beauty that she beholds. I've seen your wife several times. You guys reside. Whoa, in whoa, whoa, whoa! You see my wife? Wait, wait where I, do you I, see I, my wife at? What? Why I, you? Why I, you? Why are you watching my wife? I've seen her. She she shops on 125th Street in Harlem. I've seen her so many times there. And she holds all the beauty that an artist would like to put on canvas. Uh, like I said before, I have a huge showing, and you're welcome to come out as well. Yeah, There's going to be so many important people there, but I want to, to call and get permission from you about painting your wife. No, you ain't got that permission, Playboy. You just can't, you just can't go around following my wife and, and, and trying to mortalize her, whatever you just said, all right? So, so no. I, I, but I, I would like to let you know, I, I have taken the liberty myself. I have painted your wife's head. What? Yo, you have lost your damn mind. You can't be just walking around here painting folks' head. You got to get permission for that. What's wrong with you? Yo, you are crazy. You don't understand. Your wife holds the essence that every artist wants to. I don't care what she holds. You can't be going around painting folks' heads. What's wrong with you? Sir, that's the reason why I'm calling, trying to get permission from you. I, Sebastian, want to put your wife on canvas because she holds the essence that every artist wants to behold. She mortalized the beauty of canvas. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold up, dog. Hold up, dog. Hold up, dog. You telling me you walking around my Harlem painting my wife's head? What kind sir, of is that? What the are you doing, dude? Yo, sir, you, sir, you, sir, I'm only trying to complete my no, portfolio. I no, no. Sure. Your portfolio. Here, listen to this. If I see my wife's head anywhere, I don't care, newspaper, magazine, I don't care where, billboard, wherever, yo, I'm going to find your and I'm going to whoop your Do you understand what I'm saying to you? I'm going to sue the you. You understand that? Sir, I don't want to have a duel with you, sir. A duel? What the is a duel? What the f*** is a duel? What the f*** is a duel? In fact, what name is Sebastian? What kind of name is that, Sebastian? Sir. All I want to do is paint your wife in her rawest and purest form. Oh. That's what all the f*** does raw and purest form mean? What, what the f*** do you want? Seriously. I want to paint your wife. I I want to paint her in the nude. Are you out your mind? No, 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 no. That's what you should do. Tell me where you at. You want to paint something? I'll give you something to paint. Tell me where you at. 125th. Meet me 125th. That's what's up. I'm going to whoop your ass. Meet me. Meet me. Paint me. Paint me. You out your mind talking about you want to paint my wife in the nude. I'm going to take them brushes and stick them up your Mr. She holds the essence that every person should be. I don't give a what she holds. I don't give a Be out your mind for asking me some like that. Sir, I must ask you, do you think that you are the only person that has seen your wife in the nude. Surely there's been men before you that have seen her in the nude. Oh, that. Who the f are you? Hey, my wife ain't no mother. You call my wife a f Is that what you saying? Are you calling my wife a f f you? I want to paint no. your wife in the beauty that she be in on canvas. What the f did you not understand? I just said f you. No. I told you, meet me on the corner of 125th and claim power. F I got one more thing. I just what? want to say to you. What? Say it. This is Nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just got pranked by your boy. <laughs> what? What? This is this is nephew this is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Oh. Oh. 
Oh man, yo, man. Yo, yeah. y'all. Oh, I was moving furniture in here, dude. Tommy, <laughs> I mean, you got me, dog. Oh man, y'all got me. It was Sebastian, sir. Yo, yeah, yeah, dude. Where the f you get Sebastian, bro? <laughs> I, I was about to whoop your and, and Sebastian's. <laughs> I was to paint brushes and I was about to paint all of them with your. <laughs> hey, he told me, man. He said, man. He oh, said he man. loved his wife to Hell every yeah. part. I said, all right. Well, let me let me say this right now. <laughs> loves you. <laughs> <laughs> let me get one more thing from you, man. What is yeah. the baddest? I'm talking about the baddest radio <laughs> show in the land. Yeah, man, it's Steve Harvey in the morning show, baby. <laughs> Number twos need love, too. Let's go, cat dog. Hello? Hello, I'm trying to speak with uh, Mr. Andre. He's actually not here right now. Can I take a message for him? Yes, def my name is Zach, and I'm calling from the, uh, the Seasons Hotel, and I'm following up and trying to make sure we got you guys straight for uh, Thursday. We have you all scheduled on Thursday for our junior suite, and we have champagne that's already been ordered. And I just wanted to follow up and make sure if you guys wanted any other amenities in the room. We definitely have you guys scheduled for lunch at noon, and the couple spa treatment is at is at 4. I'm following up. I'm kind of like your um, concierge, and I want to make sure that um, if you guys need anything, we can get you taken care of. Wait. You think, wait, 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 you say your name is Zach from where? I'm Zach, man, from the, uh, from the <laughs> Seasons Hotel. I'm calling about you guys' um, reservation that you have here at the hotel on, what do you on, guys? Uh, on what Thursday. What you guys? To <laughs> have a reservation there. So you said Andre has a reservation there on February 13th in a suite and lunch and a couple's massage. Who, who's the couple? I'm not, I don't know anything about this. I'm his wife. Um, I, can I, can I, okay, can I, can wait, I, can hold I, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, miss, okay, I'm sorry, what's your name, ma'am? Destiny. Okay. Wait, Destiny, can okay, I? Wait, 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 pause, pause, pause. So you're calling from the seasons because my husband, Andre, has a reservation for the evening, starting with, you're saying, like, lunch and a couple's massage, a couple's massage on the day before about... Um... Ma'am, can I? Okay, okay, hold on, ma'am. Can I? Can I get you to hold on for a second? I can't believe this. Shit. I'm sorry, that wasn't even meant for you. Oh my god, I'm. I'm gonna beat his. Can I get you to hold on for a second? Yeah, yeah. Oh my. Okay, god. I'll be right back. I, I, oh my god. I'll be right back. Okay, uh, Miss Destiny. Yes. Are, are you okay? I just don't even understand. Oh my god. <laughs> We're going to cancel that room, okay? We're canceling the lunch. We're canceling oh, oh, the couple's oh. spa treatment. All, anything that is booked under his name, I would like to cancel it at this point in time. So I'm okay, like, man, but I'm I not I'm not, a, I'm not. allowed to cancel. Only the person that has made the reservation can cancel. I just can't. I don't. If you don't mind me, I don't normally get personal. How long have you guys been married, ma'am? We have been married for 11 years, and we have mm. two children together. So uh, what is this, this, the day before Valentine's? Is this jump-off day or something like that? Oh, my oh my God. Thank you for this call. I can't even. Oh, oh, my God. He told me he had to go out of town for work Thursday morning. He wouldn't be back till Friday afternoon. Okay, well, let me ask you something. Let me, let me ask you something, Miss Destiny. He, he, I mean, you're going to see him on the 14th, ain't you? Seriously? Are you are you kidding me right now? I mean, I was just trying to look at the Are the you kidding side. me right now? You're talking about my husband is bringing some tramp to the, the, the seasons. He must like her. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, but and like I said. Don't, don't ask you, me no stupid sh like that about I'm, I'm going to see him on the 14th. Don't even ask me no dumb sh like that. Y'all better hope y'all see him by the 14th and stuff. Y'all won't be looking for his ass because I'm about to get in that ass for sure. Is he crazy? <gasps> oh, my God. Can I say something, Miss Destin, if you don't mind? Don't say nothing stupid, Zach, okay, I, I, because I'm, not... I'm, I'm really on the edge right now. 
Okay, I, I understand. I understand. Um, I, I, I'm just playing, I guess, devil's advocate here. Don't number twos need love, too? Goodbye, Zach. Did she hang? She done hung the call back. Call back. What? Did you hang up on what me? What do you want? Did you, did you right hang up, up on, on me? You. you damn right I hung up on you, you little unprofessional p I can't believe it. You call here, get me on the phone, telling me some outrageous shit about my husband, cheating on me, bringing some shit to the four seasons and all this shit. You know, I'm about to go whoop his ass. I want to come down there and whoop your ass. And you're going to turn around and ask me, like, don't, don't number two me out you. You better hope I don't run into you, okay? If you see an angry black woman coming your way, know that it is me. I'm coming for your little <laughs> too. Don't ask me no stupid sh like that. And my husband out here cheating on me. We got kids and sh Okay, okay, let me ask you something. A ain't your sister Latricia? Ain't that your sister? Wait, what you saying? That Lat my sister Lat coming down there with my husband? No, 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 I'm not saying that at all. But Latricia is going to be her you know my sister? Actually, who the f is this? Who the f are you? Uh, do, do you have to know who I am? Hell yes, because I want to make sure when I come down there to whoop your ass, I'm whooping the right person. Well, when you come down here, look for me. Look for Tommy, nephew Tommy, from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Your sister, Latricia, got me to prank phone call you. <laughs> oh, you dirty mother. <laughs> Oh, 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 I'm sitting right. here putting my boots on right. You don't have to go and act the fool. I'm listening to the fool. Oh, okay, okay. That's how we go play today. All right, okay. Nephew Tommy, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yes, yes, okay. Uh, I'm going to go get her, though. I'm going to go get her, though. That was stuff. Uh, you should feel my heart. It's a pound at 100 miles a minute. I was I was fired up and ready to go. <laughs> Whoop somebody's ass. <laughs> uh, you know what, Tommy? <laughs> he was right. Somebody just going to f*** you up. <laughs> and you know what? I bet you was going to be a woman. You got to let me know what is the baddest, and I mean the baddest radio show in the land. The Steve Harvey Morning Show. And it's crazy <laughs> nephew, Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon. How can I help you? I'm trying to get Cecil. Get it, Cecil. Hey, Cecil, Ma, one of my boys gave me your number, man. I'm trying to get a uh, a car service for tonight. Okay, listen, this is my personal number. Do, do you have the, the, the main number? Man, I keep calling the main line, but ain't nobody answering. I done called that about six, seven times. They keep rolling over to like a, to a voicemail or something. Okay, 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 brother, what's your name? My name's Tony. Okay, listen, Tony, I got a customer in the back. Let me get them handled. Can you, you got a few moments? I'm going to hit yeah, the drop you, off. Let you, me get the door for them and all you that. Want to call you back? Back. Hold the phone, all right? Okay, cool. All right, thank you. Have a good evening. All right, Tony. Yeah, what's up? Yeah, now uh, you saying you called the main line and you just keep going to voicemail or something like I that? I keep calling the main line, but you know I, I know I'm calling at the last minute, dog. I'm trying to get a um, get a car for tonight, man. Okay, what you need? What, what, listen, we we got a we got the SUV, we got a, a sedan or two, we got a couple limos, white or black. What you need? If I could get a, I guess a, a like a black limousine, be cool. Okay, we got that. We got that. What time? Where I'm picking you up? What time? What it costs, you know, for an hour? Because all I need is an hour. Where's it? Sixty-five dollars an hour, but we only do three-hour minimum. The first three hours. Sixty-five. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. See, hey, well, see, see, so all I need is an hour, man. Really, like forty-five minutes. So, you think they'll work with me? Well, you can't get them, so you're dealing with me. I, uh, let me see. Let me. I tell you what. I, I'll do you for a uh, hundred fifty dollars, and I'll take care of you. But now, I'm, I want you to know, I'm going to let them know everything. So I got to have either a credit card or a receipt or something on the cash to let them know because I'm not no crooked brother. I'm going to let them know everything that I'm doing. Will that work for you? 150 I, I can give you 150 when you pick me up. That's no problem then. Where am I picking you up and at what time? All right, I'm at 98 <laughs> Village <laughs> Drive. 98 <laughs> Village <laughs> Drive. Okay, 98 <laughs> And where am I taking you, sir? I'm going downtown on Capitol Street. Downtown the Capitol Street. All right. And what time am I picking you up? You could get me like at eleven forty five and like at eleven forty five at night. That'd be good. 
Eleven forty five. Okay. That forty five minutes you to an hour you gonna need. Eleven forty five to make sense. I see twelve forty five, twelve thirty, twelve forty five. Okay, good there. Um, let me see. And uh, downtown capital what? You didn't give me an address. I don't really know the address. I'm going to um to <laughs> bank. Bank downtown, all right. Right. Um can I ask you something, uh, uh Tony, right? Um uh, Yeah. I'm not trying to get any business and no, we don't ask questions usually, but a bank at night's gonna be closed. I mean, you 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 you're not going to work because I gotta take you back. So you are dropping off to something, somebody, something like nah, that. No, 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 I ain't dropping nothing now. But I'm picking something up. See what, see what I need you to do is just right here. I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna be in there probably like about 15 minutes. But when I come out, man, I need you to have the car running and we need to get out of there. Wait a minute, you you asking me to, to run you down to a bank at midnight and you picking something up at midnight and I got to be ready to go when you come out. Me and my boys, when we come out of there, just come, when we get in, when we get back in the back of the, the the limo, I need you to I need you to put the pedal down, man, and let's get out of there. Look here, young 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 brother. Well, how, how old are you, man? I'm 24. Yeah, that's what I figured. Look here, man. It sounds like you're in some kind of shady. I don't do that, brother. That that. Hey, I, hold I, on, I, hold I on, man. Hold on, man. Yo, you a driver, dog. Your job is to drive. If you pick somebody up, first of all, you ain't supposed to be asking nobody where they going, what the f- doing. Yo, supposed to drive. Let me so stop what you, I'm let telling me, you is, man, once we come out let, the bank, drive, drive. Let, let me stop you. That's why I'm driving. Instead of working somewhere else driving, because I was ignorant like you at one time. Now, let me tell you something, but I don't know your business and really don't care at this point in time. I'm not doing no crazy like this here. Brother, let me tell you something, man. What you need to do is get your young into some type of training school or something to find yourself a job. You're going to go down there and the gonna blow your brains out. Hey, 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 I ain't really trying to hear all this right here. What I'm trying to do is pay you this 150. You drive me where I'm trying to go and, and you bring me back to my apartment. apartment. Look, 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 brother, listen, you can't get right now. Not even no advice. You need to listen to me. That's what's wrong with you young now. Y'all crazy. Get rich right all overnight type. Boy, you need to slow down because they got some. You feel me? They got hey, some. Man, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, man. Hold on. What you know? You don't know nothing. You don't know I me don't at all. I need to know you, brother. Well, how you going to be preaching to me, dog? Because I've been there, man. That's why I'm driving a d- limo. Because I've been there. Young brother, I'm trying to keep you from going there because you won't like it. Look at Tony, I don't know what to tell you at this point. First of all, I'm not doing it, so you can cut that out, okay? Now I'm thinking of you and all the other young brothers that do this dumb s***. You watch too many of them movies or something. Brother, you need to get your s*** straight because they got a place for you. Bro, let me tell you something. They read my mouth, I read it. Anything my mama told me, they didn't want me to know they cut it out. Do you feel me? They looked at me every night when they wanted to. Fed me garbage that I had to eat or die. You ain't ready for that, man. You ain't ready for Why the f- think he got your name? You brothers don't know what the f- going on out here. You got it too easy. See? Now you talking about going down there robbing the bank. The bank. You ain't no, you ain't no bank robber. You don't you sound, sound like, like no little no, 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 no. The way you going, you ain't making nothing because they will blow your young way about their paper. You don't understand that. And you so sure ain't ready for no jail. Can I say one more thing to you? That, yeah, what is it? All I want to do is tell you this, that I'm nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. And your boy Cardell got me to prank phone call you. I don't give a who you are. If you around with them folks downtown, they're going to blow your well, they're going to give you 100 years under the jail. Did you, you, did, you, did, you, did you just hear what I just said, though? What, you said something about well, my partner. You know, I, I heard. No, 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 no. I said I'm nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Your boy, the other another driver, Cordell, got me to prank phone call you. Nephew Tommy. <laughs> oh, you mean Steve Harvey on the radio? <laughs> No, man, no, no, no. This is, are you serious, man? Hey, Cecil, your boy Cordell got me to prank phone call you, man. I'm going to get that. I'm going to get that. <laughs> man, will you lit my fire, man. Don't you know that? I'm in my fight mode. Fight power. <laughs> he said, be careful. He said, Big Cecil, he been he been down there. He done, done some time. Uh, yeah, been there. Been there. All right, man. Calm down, baby. Calm down, man. I got one more question to ask you, man. What's the baddest radio show in the land? <laughs> I won't say nephew Tommy, but Steve Harvey Morning Show. <laughs> I got you, baby. Me and your boy Cordell got you. Yeah, well, I'm going to get here. If I ever meet you, brother, I owe you one, too. I love your wife more than you do. Hello? Hey, I'm trying to uh, I'm trying to reach Trey. This is Trey? Who is this? Hey, Trey, how you doing, man? This is Milton. I work at your wife, Teresa. Milton? 
Yeah, yeah. You, you, you probably heard of me before. I've been uh, been at the job probably about five years now. So has she ever mentioned me? No, no, I ain't heard no Melvin. What's going on? Is everything cool? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything is good. Everything is good. Hey, listen. Um, I wanted to uh, have a conversation with you, man. Uh, I, I, I don't really know how to spring this on you or whatever, but um, like I say, I've been working at, at the spot for five years and been on Teresa probably like around three. And um, I, I guess what I really want to say is that I, I didn't, I didn't gain some feelings for Teresa. And you know, oh, to be wait, honest, wait, whoa, 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 hold on, hold on, man, hold on. Hold on. You calling me and you're telling me right now you have feelings for my wife, who you work with, and you right. named her Teresa because that is my wife. You have feelings for my wife. Is that correct? Yeah. You know, it, it took me a while to, to come forward and say this, but, I, you know, I'm, I'm man enough now that I, I feel like me and you need to talk about it. Bro, have you lost your mind? No, no, I haven't. I have haven't, you lost I, your I, mind? Today, no, listen, I'm just letting you know, today is the day that I decided I'm not carrying this weight on my shoulders no more. I'm getting it off of me, all right? And at the end of the day, I love your wife more than you do. What? I, what the are you I love your wife more than you do. Bro, so you, how long you been loving my wife? You tell me how long you been loving my wife. How long, how long you feel that you have been in love with my wife? Uh, I mean, I'm looking at, I know, I know, I know at least two, and how long, two does my wife years. Know this? Does my wife even know this? I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm sure she's aware of it to a certain extent. To a certain extent? What, what, how, how certain of the extent are we talking? I mean, you know, when we go to lunch together, she, you know, I mean, I'm sure she knows. Y'all be, y'all be going to lunch together? How long y'all been going to lunch together, bro? We've been going to lunch together at least, at least two and a half years. I mean, we go to lunch together almost every day. I mean, we might miss a day if she go with the girls and I go with the oh, fellas. Man. So be it, but for the most part, me and her, me and her, pretty much at lunch together. Yeah, I need a. I swear, I, bro, stay the, stay the hell away from my wife, bro. I need you to back the. Uh, ain't no more lunches. Uh, ain't no more. No, 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 bro. Because you, you, you didn't talk enough. That you didn't talk enough. Ain't no more in love. Ain't no more state. You need to stay the back. Period. Stay the back, man. I don't want to hear none of that. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing at all. Because as soon as he come home, we don't Hey, listen, listen. I, I know all about you, Trey. Everything about you. All right? I already know how you treat her. Right. Bro, I'm hot. Bro. I'm feeling like a strong sensation right now because I really want to reach through the phone and just break your f***ing neck right now. That's what I, I really want to do. I do. I, That's what I, I really want to do. And why is my wife talking about business outside of our household? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Hey. All I'm saying is when we go to lunch, she let me know how she's feeling. She let me know what she's going through. Hey, she let me know all of it. Stop, stop with that lunch, bro. I don't want to hear another damn thing about lunch, bro. Ain't no more lunches from here on out, bro. You calling me, talking about you in love with my wife. You've been taking... You know, what the f***? Who the f*** is a Milton? I'm Milton. I don't know where you at, bro. Where you at? I'm Milton. You, at the, I'm Milton. you, you there now? Hey, they do. Hey, they, man, hey, man, listen. Calm, calm down with all that energy you got going on. Like, hey, you finna do something. You ain't, don't tell me to you calm ain't, down. You're not finna don't do tell me to calm down, bro. What you got nothing to work? You're not you're not finna do nothing. Tell me where you at right now, bro. I'm getting my keys right now. Tell me where you at right right now, bro. Right now, bro. Tell so so how at. about how about when you got laid off and you was off for six months and she was carrying all all the, all the weight and paying all the bills? You ain't jump ass in. Yeah, I, mm, all right, bet. So, since you know how to, since you know everything, I bet you know I got a too. So all you need to know is all you need to know is, bro, you're done, bro. You're done, bro. Okay. You're done, bro. Okay. It's it, bro. Okay. That's it, you know bro. what? Why my the why we had the folks talk about that. He with my f***ing wife saying that he in love and shit, talking about lunch and shit. What the f*** up? Shut the hell up. Why we at? You can thank me for the for the for the suit that you got for Christmas. You can thank me for that. I picked it okay. out and I paid for it. Okay. A uh, uh, word? Oh, okay. Cool. 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 All right. Cool. Well, let me go in the closet right now. Right now, all right. You talking about the great suit, the three piece? That's what you talking about? He's got the great bull right here with this bull. This keeps the anyway. I ain't like this. No, now, way. now you don't like the suit. You don't want the suit three times. Now you don't like it. Well, you ain't you told me at lunch when you don't want the suit, dude. I swear to God, bro. I swear to God. I need to talk to my wife, man. I need to talk to my wife. I need to talk to my wife because I. I Hey, man, listen, you know what? I just couldn't hold this back no more. Me living behind in the shadows, and but I'm over here kicking money out to Teresa when she needed it. 
while you was laid off, I'm helping her out. I'm going, you know, I'm, I'm doing, I'm doing too much on my. Bird, you been... So you was giving her money? You kicking her money when I was laid off? You kicking her money? Dude, somebody had to step up, man. And me and Teresa's tight, so you know, I just tried to step in and help her out. <sighs> so you giving my wife money? Is what you saying? Do you want me to make you feel better about the whole thing? You want me to make you feel better? I... You ain't need to make me feel better about s***, man. I, real I'm, talk, I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm, all I need I'm to do go. is talk to my wife. That's okay, all, that's, that's, all I got to do is talk to my wife, bro. Okay. That's that's fine. But can I say something that'll make you feel better? What? I'm going to say this to you, Trey. This is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Your wife, Teresa, got me to prank phone call you. <laughs> Wait, What? <laughs> Hey, this is Tommy, man. This is nephew Tom. Steve Harvey Morning Show. Your wife on the Steve Harvey Show. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> bruh, bruh. You got me opening the safe, getting it, bruh. Like, <laughs> bruh, bruh, don't do that, bruh. You gotta stop that, Tommy. Come on now, come on. You gotta stop. My heart is racing. I'm sweating. Oh, come on now. But hey, I gotta ask you this. It's twenty twenty. You gotta tell me this. You gotta tell me what is the baddest and I mean the baddest radio show in the land. <laughs> Gingivitis. What? Gingivitis. You're in somebody's mouth? Somebody on the fourth floor got gingivitis. Let's go. Gingivitis. Come on, cat dog. Hello. Uh, I'm trying to read uh, Kelvin, Kelvin Davis. Yeah, this is Kelvin. Who am I speaking with? Okay. How you doing, Kelvin? Um, uh, let me make sure I got the right Kelvin. Kelvin, you you um at the job, you um you work on the fourth floor, right? Yeah, I work on the fourth floor. Are you in the cubicle next to Randy? Yeah, matter of fact I am. Uh but but who who am I who am I speaking with? Well, I'm not at liberty to give my name right now, but I'm bringing some news from the job that I think you might want to uh, you know, this is some news I think that you would probably want to know. And uh I'm just let's just say I'm an, I'm an employee from another floor. And I got I got wind of what was going on on the fourth floor, and I wanted to you know I wanted to I wanted to bring it to your attention because I think yeah, on, on your floor nobody's bringing this to your attention, you know. Okay, so, so let let me get this straight. You can't tell me your name, but you work on a floor below me. Do you know me? Uh, I've seen you before. I've seen you before. Okay, no, 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 no. See, this, this is just, that, this, do, do you know me? I mean, I don't know you. No, so no. Let me, let me, let me. Okay, I, I, so how did you, how did you get to so called being the spokesperson for people who work with me? Hey man, I, like I say, I just wanted to give you the news because the whole fourth floor is gossiping about you, and nobody's telling you what's going on. Okay, so obviously the gossiping about me has got to you on the third floor, and now you are coming to be my deliverer, so to speak. I'm I'm just a guy I'm just a guy bringing you some news, man. I'm just here to let me let me ask you this, bro. Are you are you flossing at night? Am I? What business is that of yours? But I'm just I'm just asking. Are you flossing at night? Do you floss on a regular basis? Yeah, I floss on a regular basis. What's that got to do with the price of tea in China? Okay. When's the last time you've been to the dentist? Man, who the hell are you? Let me tell you, to be honest with you, man, my problem is not really with you. I'm really upset with the people on the floor that's not telling you. But you know, well, why ain't you why ain't you talking to them? Well the, the problem is, man, is that is, is that they talking about you and they're not telling you what your issue is. So let's get to the issue at hand. So you are flossing. You are flossing. That's what you're saying? Damn straight I floss. Okay, are you brushing your tongue? Come on now. Don't, don't, you don't have to you don't have to question me about my hygienic makeup. Okay. You don't know so, me. You have never talked to me, but you're going to side with a bunch of folks that think they know I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, me. I'm not siding with them, brother. I'm not siding with them. But well, so, if you're making a the call issue, on man. their behalf, you're siding with them. Okay, Kel, this is Kel, bullshit, Kel. man. Kel, Kel, Kel listen this, to me. This, this is, this they, is they, messed they, up, dude. Really? You don't even know me and you're going to approach me like this? So, Kel, they think you have gingivitis. Oh. I mean, are, are you are, when you go to your dentist? Are y'all cleaning below your gums, dude? The dentist do what he do. I'm laying there with my mouth wide open. 
and I go more so, often than every six months. So what the hell are you talking about? Well, okay, something is wrong, okay? And everybody's saying that it's you, it's your breath. That's that's just, uh, you know, they saying they leave the fourth floor to go down to the lobby just to get some fresh air. Cause oh, that's bull****. Bull well, this is what I want you to do. Since you're speaking on their behalf, tell every one of them sorry so-and-sos that if they got a problem with me, they need to come approach me. And then, if it's that bad, I'll blow my stank ass breath in their face. Bring it on. Because okay. this conversation so, with you is, is really way off base because you have no business calling me, telling okay, me what okay. they say. Can, can I give you some 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 items to mix together for you to gargle with later tonight? Can oh, I give so you, you work you work in the building, but now you're a dentist, man. You know what? This is bull, <laughs> and we gonna settle this <laughs> tomorrow first thing in the morning. When I matter of fact, I'm gonna go to the fourth floor and wait for all these sorry so and sos to come up there who's been talking <laughs> about me behind my back. And guess what? You invited to the party too, player. Since you're going to be their representative, each one of them lying bastards when they get in there, as far as I'm concerned, when tomorrow get here, is going to be ass whooping. And if you want some of it, show up since you're the representative. But you can get a bit of it. You know what I mean? Tell them, do you. Do you think it could be some cavities or something? Do you think you yeah, could be a cavity? My foot in your cavity ass is what it's going to be. And whoever else want to try to take it out, they going to get it in theirs. So guess what? It's on tomorrow. Are I you, know I ain't got gingivitis. Are you only brushing in the morning when you leave for work? Are you only brushing Dude, in the you, have you not understood me? Don't keep questioning me. You can question me tomorrow after I will their ass and yours. Then you okay. can, can, you bring, like, can you bring me? Why'd you try to do why'd you do me this way? Then I tell you. Then I tell can you. you bring, can you bring your toothbrush tomorrow? Yeah, can I, you bring I, I bring a toothbrush. It, 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 it's five fingers on my toothbrush. I bring them, they'd be balled up, and you will get the Mr. Cleaning that you ain't never thought you would get from a dentist. Okay. They just don't know okay. what you hey, started. Hey, hey, man. Hey, hey, bro. Bro. Uh -huh. calm, calm down, man. Just calm down. We're trying to get to, we're trying to fix the problem. Let's no, no, this is going to fix the problem. Kevin, you kicking ass is not going to change your breath. It no? ain't, I ain't going to worry about it. So well, guess what? Them more, lying I jokers can come down there and sit in your cubicle. All right, so do you, 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 I mean, do you want to know who, who, who put this out there? I want you to know me when you see me tomorrow. Go ahead and lay it out for me. Tell me okay, who so, the hell you so, are. So this is Nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Randy got me to prank phone call you, man. You know what? You almost caused me to say something. You is lying to me. How you going to call brother and do me like that, man? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, I got you. You wait till I see oh. Randy in the morning. You wait till I see him. Uh, all right, man. Give it to me. This 2020, baby, tell me what is the baddest, and I mean the baddest radio show in the land. <laughs> Without a doubt, man. It got to be Nephew Tommy and the Steve Harvey. It's 2020. This is exotic delivery. Exotic mm -hmm. delivery. <laughs> an animal? What you thinking now? What you thinking? What you thinking? No, I'm thinking an animal, like an yeah, exotic sound like animal. animal or something. Yeah, mm. like a tiger, mm. a cougar, or right. jaguar. All right. Well, let's 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 see what we got. Come on, cat dog. Hello. Hello. I am trying to reach uh, Adrian. Adrian. Uh, yeah, this is this is he. How how can I help you? How you doing? My name is uh, my name is Rashad. I'm with uh, GPT. And we um have a delivery for you. I'm gonna be arriving probably in the next uh I guess about the next ninety minutes. Are you are you actually at the house, sir? Um, no, I'm 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 not at home right now, but I mean you can just go ahead and leave whatever it is. My my wife and you know, kids can probably get it when they're home from school, you know. So let me make sure I got the address right. Are you thirty eight North River Drive? Yeah, yeah, that's that's my address. Okay, so is anyone there right now at all? Uh, no, nobody is home right now. I, I don't understand why you can't just just leave the package there for us. No, to get. Uh, well, Please. this has to be this has to be signed, and I have you on here as the handler for this delivery. So I definitely got to get quite a few signatures from you. I got about five or six pieces of paper uh, sheets that you need to sign off on. Are you? Is your what time does your wife get there, sir? She'll, she'll be there later. What do you, what do you what do you mean? I'm I'm a handler. I'm handling what? What are you what are you delivering? This is GPT, sir. This is Global Pet Transport. We have two peacocks. We have a seal. 
and we have a baby kangaroo that we're dropping off today. Okay, this has got to be, this got to be some kind of mistake, right? I, we have a dog. That's it. We don't. We don't. We're not an animal sanctuary here. I don't. I don't understand what what you're talking about. We didn't a, a kangaroo, a seal. I mean, you're what? you're 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 Adrian, correct? Yeah, that's my name, man. But okay, and you're 38 you're my... North River Drive. Listen, listen. Yes, that is accurate. But again, I, I'm not a handler. I'm not handling things. Okay. Okay, so sir. I, let me let me. Let, if there is some confusion, you, your name is here. Your address is here. So. I don't see where I have a problem. Everything I'm asking you, you're saying is correct, except now you're saying you don't want your delivery. It's not my delivery, man. So this is, that's what I'm trying to tell you. This is not, I didn't order a kangaroo. I didn't order these things, okay? A kangaroo, a seal, and two peacocks. That doesn't even make sense, man. Two peacocks? Whose order is this? This is not my order, man. You got my name. You okay, got so, here, you okay. Got so here's here's what we need to do. You, will your wife be here, be at the house within the next 90 uh, minutes? She, she she might be, but you know what? What are you saying? What I'm going to do is leave them here, leave them at your at your place, and you can call the company that shipped them, and you can figure out oh, what went wrong oh, or whatnot. But it is my oh, on, to leave these oh, animals there. What 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 is your what's your name, brother? What's your name, brother? My name is Rashad. Rashad, let me tell you something right now, okay? You're not about to leave no animals at my house, okay? You're not leaving no peacocks. You're not leaving no kangaroos. You're not leaving no seals, okay? We're not having a petting zoo at my house. When I get to my house, Rashad, ain't no animals gonna be there. Okay? Okay, you know what? Hold on a second. Okay, let, let, me, let me get my wife on the phone here, alright? Let me, let me call my wife. Well, hang on. Hang on, call, sir. Okay? I don't... I, listen, sir, I don't have time for you to reach out to your wife, for you to try to figure out what you're going to do about your kangaroo, your peacocks, your seal. I'm, no. I got to make this drop. I got to keep moving. I have other animals on the truck. I don't give a f about your other animals, okay? I'm going to call my wife. I'm going to see if she may order the damn kangaroo or seal, okay? Because I know I didn't order s***, all right? We're going to okay. figure this s*** out, okay? And she's not going to okay, hey, Sir, listen to me. Listen to me, sir. You can figure this out when you get home. Right now, I'm I'm now about an hour out. I'm going to drop the animals, okay? You if there's something Rashad? Sir, if 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 it's not yours, somebody will come back tomorrow and pick them up. What the do you mean somebody going to come back and pick them up tomorrow? I'm not going to have no seal in my house overnight. What the do you think I am, huh? Right, Mary Poppins, man. I ain't out here doing nothing with these fucking animals like this. You you crazy, Rashad? Please. If there's a Okay. animal at my house when I arrive, so help me God. So 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 help you God what? You're gonna have to, the the animal's gonna be there when you get there, man. You're not finna you you slowing up my whole delivery uh route today. Okay? You, I ain't got time for this. I ain't got time for this either, man. I'm not know know him. But why you order why you order a kangaroo if you don't want it now? If I didn't order the kangaroo, that's why I don't want the fing kangaroo, because I didn't order the fing kangaroo. Why else be telling me what the I ordered and what the I want, okay? This is the worst customer service in the world. I don't even a customer of yours. You trying to tell me that I got a kangaroo, a peacock, and peacock? Plural. You have two, two peacocks. You have two and peacocks, sir. This doesn't even make any sense, man. What the f I'm going to do with those animals? Huh? Those animals I, well, I don't know what you're going to do with them, but you're going to sign You're gonna sign this paperwork, though. That's what you're going to do. Are you out your mind if you think I'm signing that paperwork? Hey, man, I don't, I don't, I, 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 animals, listen, man. I listen, I don't, I don't want to whoop your ass at your house in front of your wife and kids behind some damn animals. I don't. Wish but you're going to you sign would. my I paperwork. I wish you would. I wish you would try to whip my ass in front of them. I'm about to show my kids what it looks like when a motherfucker show up and talks real reckless. Okay, you showing up here with a damn caravan of animals like I'm in the This is ridiculous, okay? Huh? No. F*** out of my face, man. This is ridiculous. It's, it's, there's only one thing I, I really just, I, only one last thing I need to tell you, to be honest Please, with you. Wh what is that? The only thing I can tell you now, Adrian, is that I am nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Your wife Bridget got me to prank phone call you. Oh man, you gotta be fucking kidding me! <laughs> oh man, woo, wow, oh, this is—you <laughs> don't want the delivery, man. You don't man, want. Well, I don't want the kangaroo, man. I don't who the f orders the kangaroo? Who, the, who orders those animals together, man? You gotta be high up your mind to order those damn animals together. <laughs> All right, baby, give it to me, 2020. What's the baddest, and I mean the baddest, radio show in the land? Let me hear it, Adrian. It's the Steve Harvey Morning Show, baby. <laughs>